be here for more than 50 years. Our first guest has been recognized by all as one of the funniest men on planet Earth. And now, at long last, he's nominated for his first ever Emmy Award for the great documentary, Mr. Warmth, the Don Rickles Project. You can see him live at Town Hall in New York City, October 22nd through the 24th. Please hide your ethnicity and welcome Don Rickles. <laughs> Sound like a movie, huh? <laughs> well, it's great to see you, and congratulations on the Emmy nomination. Very exciting. Long overdue. Spe thank you so much, and thank you, because Jimmy did a great job. We had a town hall thing uh, where we had all the people talk uh, at the Emmy at the TV Academy, yeah. and you were so great to come. And the, uh, I'm sorry about the money, <laughs> but uh, we're working it out. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But Whatever. Was great. You're yeah. a sweetheart well, of a guy. Believe me, it was my pleasure. That's we good. did an event together. Okay. And that's good. We're the okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more. Oh, oh, okay. You were not. You're a good announcer. Here we are. Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> you, you get a brain hemorrhage. Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> hey, Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> It's a little false. Three gay guys in the valley went, he's on? <laughs> well, um, it is great to Hi, see sweetie. you. You didn't think you'd see me up close, huh? <laughs> <laughs> kind of exciting. You should see me in my underwear. The legs go up. <laughs> I've not seen that. I would like to come by the house Shut and see up, you Shut up, Jimmy. Don't get out of here. <laughs> Don, you are nominated in, in this category, and it's a tough category. You're nominated against uh, Wait John a minute, Stewart. Wait a minute, it's not one Emmy, it's two. Well, yeah, two. well... One I'm, for the show. Uh -huh. and, and you know what, Jimmy? That's the truth. And, and you, you, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, and you young people. I'm 82 years young, and my wife and I said, you know, in, in my entire career, Cleto, I, they always said, you know, Don, a funny guy, funny guy, but nobody ever knew I was alive, really, you know. <laughs> And they all said, yeah, 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 he's funny, but he insults everybody, leave him alone, blah, blah, blah. Now that I got an Emmy, I got people going, hi, Don, how about a cocktail together? Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, but, and, 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 if, and if by some miracle, which, you know, that's, uh, just being nominated is an honor. But if I do win an Emmy, I say to you people, and to Jimmy, and to Cleto, and his son, and the entire group here, you people will never see me again. <laughs> And we have mixed feelings then about it. <laughs> You're nominated against Tina Fey. Weak, weak. <laughs> Stephen Colbert. Also weak. Also weak. <laughs> John Stewart. Maybe. <laughs> David Letterman. A threat. <laughs> a threat. No, that's funny. You know Dave, and I know Dave, and, and uh, he, he's a wonderful guy. And it would be so hilarious if I went into me and walked him and said, I don't want to be on your show anymore. I'm too big. I'm going to be with Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then Regis Philbin would go, ah, he got an Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> and David Regis Jay, is a good friend of who's mine. Jimmy? Yeah, Regis is a good friend. Yeah, he's yeah. not here. We had a birthday party the other night, and we celebrated. And my you wife, did? Yeah, we didn't give a gift. <laughs> uh, no, he's really rich. I, cause I knew him when he was schlepping around looking for work down right. here on Hollywood Boulevard, you know, when Joey Bishop, rest his soul, was alive. And I said, Joey Bishop, and he went, ah, ah, ah. He was the announcer like Ed McMahon, God bless him. Regis was, yeah. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm 82. I'm not a moron. <laughs> See, I like this front row. You're a Mexican, right, my friend? But you know, you're American Indian, an Indian. Am, am I right? What's your tribe? <laughs> no, seriously, what's your tribe? Yeah, Aztec. What, Aztec? Yeah. Trouble. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> no, that, that, that's the guy. See, I work all Indian casinos. And oh. young people have been very kind to me. You're not thinking, oh, he's going to make a speech? <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I said hello to Geronimo, and this guy wanted to know 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
No, so we work in the casinos, and your people have done wonderful things with the reservations and casinos and helped a guy like me to have plenty of work, and we thank you, really. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, okay. Shut up. <laughs> Let me just tell you. You're wicked, no, uh, what, no, you, uh, uh. Which means stop circling my house, I'm getting fed up. <laughs> Cleto, don't you find this funny? <laughs> That's Cleto's son is sitting there going, well, when, 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 do, when do we play again? <laughs> Don, you, um, you have been all over the world, but you have been to China where the Olympics actually were. I was, did you uh, watch the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, I saw one when the guy did a high dive and hit the cement. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, the Olympics is great. These young people are so fantastic. Uh, and, the, and hey, the NBA was not great, and you were a former sports guy, and yeah, you yeah. know, uh, to see our, our USA and Kobe Bryant and the rest of those great young people playing and win, that was great. It and was, destroy everyone, really, yeah, in yeah, their path. It was great. Did you enjoy watching that, even though they won by, you know, they won so Well, I have a lot on my mind. This is not my whole life. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't lay in bed going, uh, Channel 4, put it on. I want to see the, the, the sword deal, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, don't you love that when they do all the go? And he just hits him with a with a silver suit, and the guy goes. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't get it, you know. But you and your and friend... the audience didn't either, so it's all right. <laughs> you and your friend um, Bob Newhart, part of the documentary. Oh. Bob Newhart. Yeah, he's in the business. You yeah. guys, <laughs> you took a trip to China that is in the documentary. Yeah, we went to the Beijing, and, and you were in the documentary, too. But I wasn't in China, though. Well, hey, you want everything for China? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's the old joke. You go to China, you say, oh, I want chicken chow mein. That's my favorite. Uh, I'm a New Yorker, so it was always chicken chow mein. And they don't make those kind of dishes. But it's, the food is fantastic. It really is. Is it? And the people were very gracious. It really is. And then we went to one of these uh, villages way out of town. And poor Bob Newhart, he, he's a Mideasterner, you know. He knows one thing. You go to Paris, he goes, do you have spaghetti bolognese? You know, <laughs> that's all he knows. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm laughing now because he's going to call me later. going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're trying to make me a jerk? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. I love to hear myself. <laughs> well, now he's a great guy. Bob's a dear friend, and his wife Jen. I, well, Bob, my Barbara and I, we adore them and love them. They, you guys they, do a lot of traveling. Oh, together. yeah, we used to before 9/11, and now with grandchildren and a lot of responsibilities. But if you if you ever meet people in this business and you can adore, it's the Newhart family. They are. A great, and we spend Christmas together. And, yeah. I don't think they're probably going to meet him, though, unfortunately. Bob, what? <laughs> they're probably not going to get that chance to spend Christmas with Bob. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody was nice. They applauded. I know, I know, I know. And you had to run in with a dumb remark. Why? I, you know what? It's probably best You're a big take... star. You make $40 million. Why do you turn? These people loved it. They went, and there you go. And blah, blah, blah. You stop it. You're right. You're right. Let's take a commercial break. We're right back with Don yeah. Rickles. So we're live at Town Hall in New York. October 20th. We're right back. One time on The Tonight Show, he, uh, he went out to the audience, and uh, <laughs> there were two kids. He asked two kids. He said, you know, what's your name? The kid gave him his name. He slapped the kid in the face. Don't lie to me. <laughs> what is he doing? He's out of control. <laughs> you don't do that to the audience. You're slapping the audience. <laughs> it's, not an, it's not an actor. It's not somebody in show business. The poor kid is just, he told you his name. Yeah, that's from Mr. Warren, the Don Rickles Project, nominated for two Emmy Awards. And uh, we're here with Don Rickles. And Don By the way, that was Marty Scorsese. You, you folks, it was on a sign, so in case you didn't know. But uh, he is one of the finest directors, he really is. And he's Italian like you, you know. Yeah, just... So every scene we did, he went, <laughs> He's a wonderful artist. Do he you really get is. excited when a guy like Martin Scorsese says he's a fan of yours and he not, wants... Is that no, impressive? not really. When I'm with you, I get excited. <laughs> this is exciting because you have not performed in New York City in how long? Oh, God. Well, it wasn't that long. I, I performed maybe... Uh, Five, six years ago in Carnegie Hall. Uh, oh, you, five, six years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, then after my, my big treat was before he passed away, the great man. He was my hero, really. We all have heroes in life, and he was my Frank Sinatra. Uh, <laughs> 
You will, you will never see. I think in this business, when we, uh, you as musicians know, when you never can duplicate a guy. This guy was, I hate to call him a guy. Mr. Sinatra was fantastic, and I was uh, on the show with him at Radio City Music Hall, Jimmy. And I grew up in New York. I grew mm -hmm. up in a place called Jackson Heights, mm -hmm. and uh, now it's Haiti. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And anyway, so I got. <laughs> I didn't know you were a Haitian. No, I had no, no idea. No, no, no. <laughs> so Jimmy, so I work at Radio City Music Hall, and to walk out on the stage, you know, and, and on the marquee it said. Don Rickles, Frank Sinatra, and the Count Basie Orchestra. Frank never got over that, you know what I'm saying? Because he knew I was bigger than him. <laughs> anyway, I can say that now because he's gone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a special man, you know, and to be with him was to... You know, he walked into a room, he had a great charisma. Reagan had that. Certain people have that excitement. You have it. I have that, yeah. yeah. Thank to you. <laughs> For three guys in an alley, you have it for you. Know? <laughs> No, you do. You have a great, and you have a great warmth to me, which, and I, I mean that sincerely. And you make, and your mom and dad, you, you make people feel at home. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And let me tell you something. If, if you haven't, or even if you have, go see Don Rickles at Town Hall in New York City, October twenty second through the twenty fourth, because uh, it, you know, it's something everyone should see. Don Rickles, everybody, look for him at the Emmys. We'll be right back with Maurice Green. First ever Emmy Award for the great documentary, Mr. Warmth, The Don Rickles Project. You can see him live at Town Hall in New York City, October 22nd through the 24th. Please hide your ethnicity and welcome Don Rickles. <laughs> Sound like a movie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to see you, and congratulations on the Emmy nomination. Very exciting. Long overdue. For more than 50 years, our first guest has been recognized by all as one of the funniest men on planet Earth. And now, at long last, he's nominated for his first... You may have read about our first guest tonight in his best-selling autobiography, or you've seen his Emmy Award-winning documentary about his amazing career. If you're lucky enough to be in Austin, Texas, on December 10th and or 11th, you can see him the way God intended, live at the Paramount Theater. Here he is, Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles! <laughs> It's, uh, it's okay, a... well, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks so much, gang. It was great. Thanks for the one, for the one guy that stood. Thanks. <laughs> no, you're, you're a great crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Cleto, how are, how are you? I spoke to immigration. You can stay. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get any word on Guillermo? Is he going to be okay? Guillermo. Guillermo's great. <laughs> You gotta be nice to these Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you wind up in a bathroom. <laughs> God bless your people. <laughs> what are you bringing up? You're a good guy, Grandma. <laughs> what do you call him? Grandma? Gomo? Gamo? What do you call him? We call him Grandma, yeah. How long have you been in this country? You, he still can't talk English, this guy. Uh, you know what? He's been here a long time, too. God too. bless you. I love you. You're a nice guy. I love you, too. 
A lot of fun, too. <laughs> it's like talking to a mute. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here, and uh, always an honor to have you here. And in fact, the last time we were on television together, you uh, I presented you with a, a TV Land Award. Yeah, that I still had. It's an erector set, that thing. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> yeah. Put it in the house, and my, my, my grandchildren stepped on it and bent it, for crying out loud. As I recall, when they gave you the, when I gave you the award, yeah. you looked at it and said, thanks for this cockamamie award. Yeah. I did yeah. say that, You Jimmy. did say that, yeah. <laughs> but you were great, Jimmy. I, I've had a lot of hosts introduce me and so forth. You were about the weakest. Oh, I was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> You got that personality that just don't cut it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need yeah. somebody a lot of pizzazz, but you're a good guy. <laughs> good Italian kid, good Italian cook, you know, really. You, I had you and you and Regis, your friend Regis, yeah. over for dinner and your wife's respected yeah, wives. Poor Regis, as well. he's, you know, he's got a uh, what, what, he got a hip, hip replacement. Yeah, he's gonna get the other one replaced and come out on the stage and then get on the Jerry Lewis telethon. <laughs> <laughs> walk on, walk on. <laughs> With hope in your heart. Have you spoken to Regis? Yes, I spoke to him today. You did? How yeah. is he? He threw up on the phone. <laughs> no, he'll pull through. I, th I think it's, it's a mouth-to-mouth -mouth right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> he'll pull through and do another 80 years on that show in the morning with that girl. Hi, Reed. <laughs> you know, the two of them, zippity doo dah. A 78-year-old man with a 21-year-old broad. Hi, Reed. <laughs> Get up early in the morning. It's all I need. Hi, Reed. <laughs> Now, you, did you guys have a good time at my house that night? Because sometimes it was it's, great. It's we hard had, to we tell. Had dinner. I went, gee, are they out there? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like Cataract City, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> the black guy went, I know what that is. Anyway, <laughs> I made a joke about a black guy. There's not a black guy here for a <laughs> They're it all still in works. Yeah, we'll find one. Anyway. We'll find one. Yeah. See, there we go. There's one right no, no, there. I, I, don't, oh, oh, there was. Look where they're sitting. <laughs> with, the new, with the new president, you should be sitting here. For God bless you with the new president. <laughs> look where they're sitting. Anyway, uh, you got to move up, baby. It's your time. <laughs> No, God bless. I'm, I'm really proud that we have a black president. I'm waiting for a Jewish president, and then we can declare war on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's a great man. Look at the... How, 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 how old a lady are you, dear? No, the chair. <laughs> how old a lady are you? Yeah, how old a lady are you? I'm about 67. God bless you. You look wonderful. You. No, they, they have that, when they get a little older, they have that look, you know, like... <laughs> not you, not you. I do, I do. When I'm alone at night, I sit on the bed and go... <laughs> then the wife tries to go for the canary and everything comes alive, you know? <laughs> How long have you and your lovely Jump wife... Jump in when you think of something. <laughs> How'd you get this job? You just sit there, <laughs> just sit there with the toy. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to be quiet. No, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we can do that for another half hour. <laughs> what were you going to ask me? Jimmy? I was going to ask how long you and Barbara have been married now. We've been mm -hmm. married 44 years. 44 years. And you, at this point, don't applaud. You never saw her. <laughs> anyway. No, she's a lovely girl. She's at home now. You know, Jewish boy just lays in the bed and goes... <laughs> it's like making love to a ship. <laughs> See, that joke's gonna cost me, because she's at home now with the jewelry, signaling the cops. <laughs> Speaking of the jewelry, will you, go, will you go Christmas shopping for your... Will you shop for your wife for Christmas, or does... Jews somebody... don't. We send somebody. Oh, yeah, okay. That's right, of course. Jews don't shop for Christmas. <laughs> and it's Hanukkah. We don't do that. We sit in the house going... Happy Christmas, happy Christmas. And then we take the tree and throw it out the window. You don't, <laughs> you don't have anything? Do you go of over Of course. Yeah. We celebrate just like Christmas is a national holiday. I, they have a new thing now. You're not allowed to show a tree. Ridiculous. We don't have a tree in the house. That's pushing it a little bit, you know. <laughs> Although the original guy was one of us. Uh -huh. uh, uh, <laughs> He was a rabbi that got moody. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that joke, can you see it? The Pope's now in, in the Vatican going, what did he say? <laughs> Charlie, what did he say? Anyway, well, I'm Charlie. Huh? But um, you do not do any shopping personally for the, like, for the holidays? No, you holiday, buy I think I have grandchildren. Uh, uh, my, my, my grandson Harrison and Ethan, the two grandchildren. I send them a bucket of money and that's it. And you then they I mean? get what they want? <laughs> no, we got a trapoline. I bought them a trapoline. My, my grandchildren, trapoline, you know. It's a great thing. They jump and they jump. You know? well, yesterday, the kid hung himself in a tree. <laughs> anyway, uh, but they love it. They just jump. You know, they're kids. They don't know. They, they don't know what Papa... You know how they know me? Papa from Mr. Potato Head. From the Disney show, you know, Toy Story 3. Well, by the way, Toy Story 3 is coming out uh, next year and... I'm part of you, Mr. Potato Head, and that's all I know. Pop ups, Mr. Potato Head. You know? Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. That's a big deal. My grandfather was Mr. Potato Head. You lately, I mean, with this Toy Story, I mean, really is amazing. You've been getting awards. You got your Emmy Award just last year. Finally. All of a 51 sudden. 51 years in the business, and finally. Finally, Kathy Griffin was with me. She was wonderful. On, on that show, I couldn't believe it when I said Don Rickles. You know, because when you're in a business a long time, they forget who you are. But, you know, when you're out there all the time grinding in Vegas, and you don't have that problem because you, you never got an Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. Yeah, I actually do have one. But Where? It's, <laughs> it's, I don't carry it around with no, me. No, you have yeah. an Emmy? Yeah, I do, yeah. For what? Um, <laughs> Not for... If you tell me for this, I'm going to get a stroke. <laughs> Not for this, no. He's got, a, he's got an Emmy for this. <laughs> no, what do you got an Emmy for? I, got a, I used to host a game show called Win Ben Stein's Money with Ben Stein. And we got oh, Emmys God, for yes, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. The hawker in the audience goes, no, no. It wasn't well, a real Emmy, though. That. It now, was ben, a daytime. Ben Stein's very clever, by the way. Very good. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And so you did it. So you, both of us can hang around and just spit on them and shine them up Yeah, a bit. sure, we'll spit on them. But the whole no, thing. it's a great thing, though. Uh, that, that, to me, is two things in my life. Uh, getting an Emmy and being with Frank Sinatra, rest his soul, at the Ronald Reagan inaugural, to perform at the Ronald Reagan inaugural, his second inaugural, with Frank Sinatra. And uh, I don't know if you young people know, but Frank Sinatra was a great star, great artist. And, uh, of course, everyone... Everyone knows Frank Sinatra. He was great to me. Every time he went to dinner, he made me taste the food first. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's great. He had, a, he had a What happened? Day. Tell that story about what happened at Ronald Reagan's inauguration, because uh, it's, it's, a great, it's a great story. Which one? Many, many things. Well, one time we were up in the dressing room, and Frank said, there's no drinking. You understand, Don? Now, cool it. There's no... Because I like vodka. You know, I'm not going to lie to you, you know. <laughs> I haven't had any now, but, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but you know, and, and with Dean Martin, who said, okay, hey, Pally, we're not, and we're three of us in the dressing room. <laughs> Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and me, you know. I was sitting there, and, and, and we're ready to go on for the president, you know. So Frank says, no drinking, guys. Now, you understand it? No drinking. Oh, you got it, Pally, we're not going to take anything. And Rick goes, you know, we're not going to take no drinks. No drinks, we're not going to have anything. And Frank goes out of the room, and Dean opens up his coat, and there's a row of booze right in the coat. <laughs> <laughs> and that night we made Ronald Reagan know he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was fortunate enough to see you in Las Vegas at the Orleans Hotel where you appear from time to time. Yeah, and, and they uh, just gave me another two year deal. And, oh, congratulate. And it, is, it is unbelievable to watch you on stage because. People always ask, like, hey, Rick, yeah, I mean, it really was a fantastic show. You've got so much energy. Well, you know, Jimmy, uh, with all the kidding around, both of us know. When you get out there, we're all people. You know, we're selling ourselves. I have uh, no cart out here, no chair, no table. You, you got to sell yourself. So you got to get out there and punch your way and do what you do. And I think, I always say to young people, try to be different. If you're different, you have a chance. Like, you're different, because nobody knows what the hell you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. I, lo I love Jimmy. He knows it. I <laughs> anyway... Uh... In fact, so much so that I'm taking you to dinner tonight. Uh, you that's know right. That's how, many, right. how many acts do you know take, take the star of the show to dinner? You no don't know one that. does. No yeah. one ever takes them to dinner. Thank you. I want to show this real quickly if I can. This is your, uh, we got this from your school, the American oh, Academy uh, of Dramatic yeah. Arts. This is your school picture. How old are you in this photograph? About four. <laughs> No, I must, I must have been in my, just in my early 20s. Yeah. They actually sent the, this, uh, there was like a little description. Uh, when they interviewed you, they, they evaluated you. They, age 20, it says here, height 5'6", weight 160, coloring dark, 
proportions good, stage presence fairly boyish, reading intelligent, dramatic instinct expressive, temperament sensitive, notes, <laughs> fine boy has acting instincts and ability, except it says here. Is that's, that's pretty cool. And you have, and you have Regis's hair. You had the same hairstyle Regis has now okay. in 1946. That is unbelievable. Well, Don, I know you. I know you have to. I know you have to. Um, to get uh, out of here. How, how, how long? How long have you had that for crying out loud? <laughs> Go to a doctor. You're a star of a show. You're gonna come out every night. <laughs> Gotta snap out of it for crying out loud. <laughs> I got two hours to look forward to oh, this yeah, at dinner. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, yeah. uh, I, I make fun of Jimmy, I, and I adore you. You know that. And Thank I, you. And you guys, and you've been doing so great. And, I, and it's always a pleasure to be with you. And I, and I say from my heart. Oh, thank you. Thank the you. money is. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's insufficient. It work really on the, is. Work on the money. But let me tell you something. If you've never seen Don Rickles live, you absolutely must. The Paramount Theater in Austin, Texas, December 10th and 11th. Uh, Don will be there. And, of course, the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas for the next two years. Don Rickles, everybody. The great Don Rickles. We'll be right back with a new and Nomi Rose. Okay. Gambo. Gambo's great. <laughs> You gotta be nice to these Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you wind up in a bathroom. <laughs> God bless your people. <laughs> what are you bringing up back in? You're a good guy, Grandma. <laughs> What do you call him, Grandma, Gomo, Gamo? What do you call, call him? him? We call him Grandma, yeah. How long have you been in this country? You, you still can't talk it? It's, uh, it's Okay, a... well, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks so much, gang, it was great. Thanks for the one for the one guy that stood. Thanks. <laughs> no, you're, you're a great crowd. <laughs> Cleto, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you? I spoke to immigration. You can stay. <laughs> Did he get any word on Guillermo? Is he going to be a? read about our first guest tonight in his best-selling autobiography or you've seen his Emmy award-winning documentary about his amazing career if you're lucky enough to be in Austin Texas on December 10th and or 11th you can see him the way God intended live at the Paramount Theater here he is Mr. Warmth Don Rickles <laughs> This guy. Uh, you know what? He's been here a long time. Now, God too. bless you. I love you. You're a nice guy. I love you too. <laughs> a lot of fun, too. <laughs> it's like talking to a mute. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here and uh, always an honor to have you here. And in fact, the last time we were on television together, you, uh, I presented you with a, a TV Land Award. Yeah, that, I still had an erector set, that thing. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> yeah. Put it I, in the I, house, and my, my, my grandchildren stepped on it and bent it for crying out loud. As I recall, our first guest tonight is a legendary performer, a best-selling author, a two-time Emmy winner, and a major, major John Stamos fan. Do yourself a very big favor and see him live in concert Saturday, this Saturday, October 15th, at Agua Caliente in Rancho Mirage, California, October 22nd at the Grove in Anaheim, and November 12th and 13th at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Please say hello to Mr. Warmth himself, the great Don Rickles. <laughs>
Instead of. John, we booked your favorite. We booked your all-time favorite musician tonight, John Stamos. Who said that? <laughs> Well, you and John are very close. Uh, uh, wait a minute, can I talk? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the man did a drum roll, it was cute. Then he went on and on and on. It was like a hanging, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, he's a great drummer, really. Uh-huh. Annoying kind of a personality, but a great <laughs> <laughs> We don't need that, a boom bang. <laughs> you don't like Anything that? Anything to keep his name alive, da da boom bang. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't like rim shots? You no, don't... I don't like Greeks. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> It's a joke, it's a joke. I like Greeks, for your salad. Anyway, uh, what the hell did the Greeks do? World War II, they kept saying, want a tomato? I'll tell you this, I just made that up, I don't know. Hey, lady, this is funny stuff, you better start laughing. <laughs> Pretty. That's, that's your wife? Well, I'll make a fuss over you, look at her, like it's a monkey, f sake. She's very pretty, you're married short time, right? Three years. Three years. You're still taking a shot, huh? Yeah. Do what the Jews do. You know, just lay in the bed and go, don't want to fool around, Shirley? <laughs> yeah, all right. Is that what the Jews do? Yeah. <laughs> I know what I said. I'm not a mute. I know what the hell I said. How are you, Jimmy? I'm doing well. I missed you, Jim. I, I, miss, I missed you, too. Thank you for coming back so quickly. You were here last month for our tribute yeah, show to my soul. uncle. Yeah, miss Uncle Frank. My uncle Let Frank, yes. Peace, but and, you and were I, beautiful. And, I appreciate you coming back. I heard a lot of good back. things about you, Jim, and it was great. Oh, you did? Well, good. Well, yeah. I, heard a lot of I always hear a lot of great oh, things of about you. <laughs> Wait, but I tell him, lousy. Hey, hey you've uh, got a, uh, a Twitter account now. Yeah, Twitter is, oh, it's a big thing now. Your name, at Don Rickles, is your Twitter account. That's it. I tell you, I sit there, and the wife says, twit some more, twit some more. I never met my wife, you know, she keep her in the other room, go, he's twitting, he's twitting. Do you do it yourself? All myself, Jimmy. I don't have no staff, none of that baloney. Of I that. do it all by myself. You type Not it like in? you with 18 writers to do a dummy sketch that don't mean anything. <laughs> he's got 17 dumbbells in another room with a pencil going, you got anything? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you happen to be right. <laughs> You have but I still say, still say, the football days you'll never... I was with Al Michaels, good guy, yeah, friend of both. Great guy, yeah. And I was talking, I was talking about you, and I always remember with the sports, because he was started out as this great sportscaster and, <laughs> and involved in sports. Why do you laugh? I bet you made a good living there. Well, I don't think I'm considered one of the greats, but yeah, I had, I had fun on it. That's the first damn truth you ever said in your life. <laughs> do you agree? Do you, do you think... Wait that a minute, the guy's laughing in the band. Let him laugh. <laughs> good to see you guys. And it, didn't, I, didn't I promise you the Border Patrol wouldn't bother you? Didn't I? You did. You did. No, oh, oh, there's no voting. There's no voting here. I don't like it when people go, oh, oh, oh. I do what I want. For the money you're paying, you ought to kiss our you know what. <laughs> John, I want to ask you, have you ever, would you watch Dancing with the Stars? Religiously. Do you? <laughs> have they, no, I do. I do watch it. Have they asked you to do that show? They did, but... The paramedics don't want to work that, those hours. <laughs> no, they did. I was very flattered. I did. You know, but uh, you dance, you dance. When you get to be my age, you know, you do a turn, you probably screw yourself into the floor. For right, yeah. Time. No, it's, it's a great, it's, it's a wonderful show. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but the voting is... <laughs> yeah, you know, right. Well, something I, I, weird I, happened you know, tonight. I, I, yeah. They have a different system. If somebody is half drunk and falling on the floor, the winner is Harry. <laughs> <laughs> it occurs to me that you would be the greatest reality show judge of all time. Have you ever considered doing something like that? Not since Hitler died. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, first of all, congratulate you. Your uh, grandson is about to make his bar mitzvah. Yeah, my son. Uh, you know who he's Jewish? That's nice. Yeah. Are you excited about that? Oh, I'm, how can I be excited? It's a lot of money for Colonel. You, know, <laughs> you got to chip in. No, it's, it's great. I, I, I'm, I'm delighted about it. And he's a wonderful boy. His name is Ethan. Uh -huh. And in the Jewish religion, you know, uh, see, when you're born, uh, you know, they, they take you in a room and, and you take out Spider, and a guy comes with a hammer and goes, bang! And you go, Israel! You know? <laughs> That's a little too deep for you. A lot of Gentiles are here tonight. This is a. Uh... This looks like a Gentile crowd. <laughs> this is Here's a... your Easter. Easter this! Easter, they roll the eggs like dummies on the lawn. They roll the eggs. When you start. Jews salt them and eat the eggs. That's what we do. <laughs> I'm going too fast. I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. 
<laughs> when you started <laughs> out... Wait a second. Yes, yes. The old man's starting to pass away here. Come on. <laughs> you know, hey, I'm no kid, but I can tell when you're older than me. They can't close their mouth. <laughs> That's the first sign it's over. <laughs> Listen to me, dog. It's your husband. First sign. You wake up in the morning, he's laying in bed going, <laughs> Now, God bless you. How old a gentleman are you? 62. You look it. I'll tell you this. <laughs> now, 52, you're a baby, for credit. He's a baby. He's 62, he said. 62. Uh, okay, well, it was the correction night. What the hell is it? <laughs> What the hell's the matter with you, Jimmy? I'm sorry. I'm a guest. You're not to correct me. I'm sorry. I wanted to mention, though, because it's interesting to me that you're going to the bar mitzvah because you st when you started out doing comedy, yeah, you well, I worked work in, at I worked in a, in a place called the Elegant in Brooklyn. There's a little nightclub. Uh, uh, My I, dad worked there, by the way. Did he really? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I, I love your dad. What, was he a waiter? He was a busboy. Yeah. yeah, well, sure, he must have been, you know. <laughs> and I still got uh, pea soup on my pants. <laughs> No, and I worked there, uh -huh. and, I, and the afternoon used to do the bar mitzvah, that I'd do one at night, that I'd do one at midnight, all the time. All the Jews came in, and I, I was like the king with kidding around on bar mitzvahs, and, and I got maybe $10, you know. But it was fun, because, and Italians used to come in and go, eh, well, the Jews are having a party. <laughs> and then they, to relax themselves, they shot me in the leg. <laughs> anyway, uh, Every no, that's a joke, right. ain't it? The, the Italians, the Italians are great people. All my managers are Italian, you know. But my manager now, Ali Weissman, he's, he's a Jew. Uh -huh. And Antonio Opasano, he's Italian. And, and so I keep the Italians, always got to keep the Italians close. You're Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. <laughs> the hell happened to you during World War II? You kept running, running, running. <laughs> All your generals said, they're attacking Ronzino, run! <laughs> I I'm apologize sorry, I got for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you do, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, I'm Doc Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> when you, so will you entertain at your grandson's bar mitzvah? If Stamos will play the drums. <laughs> John, will you play the drums no, at the no, bar mitzvah? No, 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 no. With this a little bit of this. No. <laughs> what do you say? He'll bring the, he said he wants a little bit of this. How about a little bit of this? <laughs> Don Rickles, everybody. Yeah. October 15th, in October 22nd in Anaheim, and November 12th and 13th in Vegas. We'll be more with Don when we come back. We're right back. the Greek islands doing the same thing in the nude playing the bongos <laughs> look at this guy he gets he gets you know we go to a restaurant you know uh -huh. and we sit down and say I'll have the I'll have a vodka and a little club soda and a girl comes John would you just play? and he goes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thursday <laughs> he lines them up this guy's in heat 24 hours a oh, day oh I know oh I know and when I was his age spider just laid in the pajamas going mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you guys even meet? I you don't know. You're very unlikely is, friends. Oh, okay. How did you and John meet? Well, he was begging in front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, how did we meet, John? We met, we met at a Greek restaurant, Tony's Taverna in Malibu, I think. All right, Tony. Yeah, Tony. And I guy. love Don. He's he is my hero and one of my dearest friends and my greatest. All right, don't, don't get crazy, okay? <laughs> Okay, it makes it like I'm a Jew going to the, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, but thank you, John. That's very sweet. I would, I would say the same thing about you, but I don't feel that way. Uh, well, that's fair. That is fair. <laughs> he knows it's, He knows I love me. It's good, good for him to get a little rejection every once yeah. in a while. Butt out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don, do you dress up for Halloween? Uh, always. <laughs> what are you, a moron? <laughs> well, well, is that on the notes? Do I dress up for Halloween? <laughs> when they're putting me in an institution, I go to... Uh, uh, you, uh, what was the last time you dressed up for Halloween? When I pulled a robbery in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Never even they entertain the grandkids or anything like no, that? No, no, no. They just sit there and go, pop, pop. They call me, pop, 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 pop. And I go, let me alone, you pay me. Leave me alone. <laughs> No, no, I, I, you know, when I was a kid, we, they, I didn't run around with the trick and treat. I, I had, because I realized I was going to be too big for the for the neighborhood. I you know see, what I mean? see. So I, I, I just <laughs> lay on the couch, watch the ball game, and somebody say, "Trick or treat, get away, you little pain in the ass." <laughs> anyway, uh, no, I, I, I was, a, I was a good kid, but I, I didn't bother with too much with that. Do you answer the door in your neighborhood? We have help. 
<laughs> even even when we were poor, we had some. I um. We happen to, across this ad, this is an ad from 1963 um, from the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas. Oh, my God. And, uh, well, first of all, I like that they, okay, Don Rickles, and they call you the, uh, pot the provocative potentate. And then, if you look right here, which I don't think you can, you can necessarily read, but it says, your show times were midnight, 2.30, and 5.10 a.m. <laughs> So help me God, and, and a guy called Terry Jenkins, who's a good friend, he's now the chairman, uh, not the chairman, he wished, he's the entertainment director of the Orleans, where I work. But in those days, we used to do a dinner, sh uh, a breakfast show. Imagine five in the morning, over a bar, I stood over a bar. In those days, Louis Prima, rest his soul, was the, was the big guy, you know. Yeah. Uh, over a bar, I got your mother, where's over a bar? Anyway, you... <laughs> Well, these are little impressions. Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> so we used, to, we used to do a show. I'll, I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> we used to do a show over a bar, and the guy's going, uh, and they're all drinking. And I'm going, you know, sir, that, that shirt is not too cute. Who the hell are you? <laughs> and more corned beef is dripping down his shirt. For crying out loud. But I had to talk to people while they were eating and scrambling eggs and so forth. That's crazy. It, it was, but in those days, for the money and the broads, it was worth it. What did you get paid for something like that? Do you remember? Huh? Do you remember what you got paid for uh, doing a show like that? I don't want to drop numbers because the way the economy is, what I say is poor. The people will say, we could live a week on that. <laughs> I got you. No, I'd rather not what say. What would but... you do between the 2.30 and 5 a.m. shows? What did I do? Be what? What would you do between 2.30... Well, between the 2.30 and 5, 10 a.m. shows. Want to take a wild guess? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, I wasn't a, a good-looking man, and I was never attracted. But girls were always afraid of me, because he's a wise guy. If you fool around with him, he's going to tell everybody, you know. Right, right. And then some would get a couple of drinks in him, you know, boom, boom, boom. That was the old story. Are you, are you going to tell anybody? <laughs> I said, have another one. <laughs> <laughs> Don Rickles, everybody. You can see him. October 15th, the Rancho Mirage, October 22nd in Anaheim, and November 12th and 13th at the Orleans in fabulous Las Vegas. Thank you so much for being here, Don. Our first guest tonight is a legendary performer, a best-selling author, a two-time Emmy winner, and a major, major John Stamos fan. Do yourself a very big favor and see him live in concert Saturday, this Saturday, October 15th, at Algo Caliente in Rancho Mirage, California, October 22nd at the Grove in Anaheim, and November 12th and 13th at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Please say hello to Mr. Warmth himself, the great Don Rickles. <laughs> I like Greeks for your salad. <laughs> anyway, uh, what the hell did the Greeks do? World War II, they kept saying, want a tomato? I'll tell you this. I just made that up. I don't know. Hey, lady, this is funny stuff. You better start laughing. <laughs> Pretty. That's, that's your wife? Well, I'll make a fuss over you. Look at her like it's a monkey. <laughs> sake. She's very pretty. You're married short time, right? Three years. Three years. You're still taking a shot, huh? Yeah. We booked your all-time favorite musician tonight, John Stamos. Who said that? <laughs> well, you and John are very close. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Can I talk? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the man did a drum roll. It was cute. And he went on and on and on. It was like a hanging. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, he's a great drummer, really. Uh-huh. Annoying kind of a personality. But a great <laughs> we don't need that a boom bang. You don't like anything that? to keep his name alive. That a boom bang. <laughs> you don't want. You don't like rim shots. You no, don't... I don't like Greeks. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke.
wonderful to see you, Don. Wait a minute, they're still cheering. I'm <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to cut them off. Well, I'll let you finish. <laughs> Don, this is, um... <laughs> yeah, everything all right? Oh, uh, it's great, great. You know how many times I you've like been here? I like Hitler had one of those. <laughs> Thing. All of a sudden, you're going to get an umbrella, and I find you skipping in the park. <laughs> this is the, the eighth appearance you've made on this show. I'll drop my pants and fire a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> this is the eighth time. That's exciting, really. It is. Well, yeah. Yeah, for me, it is. Wife yeah. and I can move out of the motel and get to a big house. <laughs> Look at all these people. God bless them. Look, look at the way they dress. Torn jeans. Jeez. Yeah. This guy all mustache and a trick-or-treat shirt. What the hell? Where do these people come from? They must be out in an alley saying, can we see the show, Al? <laughs> Nobody. I'm not with them. I'm dressed like it's at a party for Christ. I know. Man. You and I came dressed very well. and uh, Don't nobody... put me with you. Please. <laughs> I know who I am. I remember when you're doing football and baseball, and all of a sudden they gave you this little thing and you skyrocket. Yeah, well. <laughs> By the way, um, yeah, as you know, not yeah. only am I excited, but my uncle Frank is especially excited that I you're love here uncle tonight. Frank and, and, and God bless you. Hey, Frank. Yeah. God bless me. And your grandfather. Yeah, first time. Thank you, I know him when he was a cop in New York, and he used to stand on the street and go, Psst, you got a minute? <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's his, but you're <laughs> it's Jimmy, his first grandchild. Jimmy, yeah. I know him since he's a kid. Yeah. At the Elegante in Brooklyn. Yeah. Shut up, Frank. <laughs> he does. The Elegante. I was, at, I was at my club. I, I started in Brooklyn, New York. Right. right. All Italians and Jews, and the Italians just sit in the front. And go, when is he going to get funny? <laughs> all class, all classy guys. Well, you've with the guns in the pocket. A long I'm way. Not I'm sorry. I don't know why to talk. What's the matter with you? I'm a guest. You just sit there like you do. And when do you need to be finished? Well, I do want to say congratulations. Toy Story won uh, the Golden Globe Award, and you were a potato in that. That's got to be exciting. 16 years, Mr. Potato Head. John Lasseter came to me down at my house and said, listen, Don, you're going to be this show, Mr. Potato Head. I said, I don't do cartoons. Leave me alone. <laughs> and now it's 16 years later. I got a big house with hunting dogs and whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> so it was worth it. You know what I mean? I would think so. But he always says, you know, it's, it, you, you should see it. It's for grownups, too. It really is. But when I first started, Lasseter was always the kind of guy, I just wanted to check, you know. He said, listen, Don, you're going to be, uh, Bucket, the band can't see me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now you look like you're in the toilet. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll move like back. Anybody here. got a magazine? <laughs> <laughs> look at it. The son don't want to laugh till the old man okay's it. Look at it. God bless you. I, I spoke to Border Patrol, you're going back. <laughs> There's no voting. You got in here free. There's no voting. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what was I saying? John Lasseter, the guy who runs yeah, so, Pixar. So, you know, to do the thing, you know, you just say, uh, you sit in the booth and there's nobody there and you're with a microphone. He says, now, Don, you got to understand, when the duck gets sick, you're, you're Mr. Potato Head, you got to feel sorry for the monkey, and then the, and then the elephant is tired, and the bird is I said, it's 6.30, I want to go home. <laughs> I don't give a crap about the elephant or the monkey. You know. 16 years later, get a nice check, you know, and now I worry about the animals. Did you go, <laughs> did you go to the Golden Globes or the parties too or anything? Too big, I'm stuff? too big for that. You're too, too big, big for that? <laughs> I went, uh, Brad Gray, dear friend, gave a party and, and Disney and uh, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, Toy Story people gave mm -hmm. a, a party. We went to that and oh, you uh, did. had a couple of vodkas and, and met a few people. I met Jeff Bridges for the first time. Lovely oh, yeah? guy. Yeah, nice guy. Came over to me and said, I'm Brooke, Jeff Bridges. And I said, get away. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> No, I didn't say that. He's a lovely guy. And all the actors. Did you know, you know his dad, Jeff Bridges? Oh, I did. Yeah. Well, I knew him when he had the bathing suit and was diving for fish. <laughs> anyway, uh, you people don't remember that. Do you? It's an old show, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Hey, you're Fred. <laughs> you're murder when you work with a dummy. It's murder. <laughs> 
<laughs> your very dear friend Regis made a big announcement on the air uh, the, the yesterday morning or the morning before last, yes. saying he's not going to be on the show anymore. Yeah, I'm sick about it. <laughs> <laughs> you and Regis are very close. We and are. We're dear friends, and it was time to walk away. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, the man was on the show and started a wheeze while he was talking, you know. <laughs> hey, hey. You know, I know the dame and the Irish and the priests and the whole thing. It was, uh, I'm fed up with it. <laughs> and the little girl next to him is going, he's going to go. He's going to go. <laughs> anyway, so it should be exciting. Yeah. No, uh, Reese had a great run, and I, I love him dearly. He knows that. His wife, Joy, is not here tonight. She's a stripper, you know. <laughs> I did not know that. She works, in, she works in Cleveland, quietly. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Did he call you and then tell you what, what was yeah, going on? he calls on? me. He calls me on the phone, you know. And he's always, I say, you know, Reed, the show last night wasn't the, the, the morning. I never... I, once in a while I get up that early when I'm not taking a shot at the wife. Yeah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Hey, when you're married as I am, I'm married 45 years, God bless her. And, and I guess you never saw her. Anyway, uh, see, that joke will cost me. No, when you're married 45 years, it's not like you young people. You know, right away you get in bed going, come on, Charlie, let's go. Yeah, yeah. When you're married 45 years, you say, you got a glass of water? Let's get in the tub first and get cooled off. <laughs> See, Jews don't do that. We circle a bed and get an estimate. <laughs> anyway, uh... Regis. Regis, yes. Re now, are you worried now that Regis is going to be out of a job that he will want well, you to care. pay? Why do I care what he does, Regis? Well, you go to dinner, he's going to want you to he pick up well, a check. He, no, let's not get crazy. Uh, <laughs> no, he's a very wonderful man. And you know what? When you think about his career, God bless him, so many years, and to, and to be as warm, to know the gentleman really is a treat. I, I, to be on the serious side for a moment, really to know him has been a great treat for me, and you know him too. Yeah, he's a great guy. He has guy. a great style and a great deal of class. And I'm going to miss him on the air, but I'll see him socially, and we hang out. Because well, when we go out socially, he's great, you know. He goes, did they, did they recognize me? <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's annoying, you know what I mean? I'm surprised, I have to say, that you were not invited to the White House state dinner for the Chinese president. And I think you would have been a wonderful addition to that meal. Uh, absolutely. Jews love chicken chow mein. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. How many times have you been to... How many times have Wait you... Wait a minute, I, I like that remark. <laughs> no, how many times have I been to the, the White, White House? The White House, yeah. I think about, about eight. Eight times? Yeah. Well, what do we got, win a prize? What I don't, well, it's... <laughs> I, I, I had a great relationship. Ronald Reagan was Sol. He was, well, I knew him when he was governor, and then he was an actor, and we on the roast, the Dean Martin roast, the Dean Martin roast. Had a great time with Ronald Reagan. He was great. And then George Bush, uh, God bless him. You know, I was at the inaugural and did a show. And Frank Sinatra said, "He said we're going to have Rickles." It was the uh, Ronald Reagan inaugural. He said, "We're going to have uh, Don Rickles." Frank said, "We're going to have Don Rickles on the show for the Washington for the Ro inaugural for Ronald Reagan." And the, and the cabinet said, "Nah, what are you crazy? We're not going to have him." What? And Frank said, you don't have him, you don't have me, you know. And he said, look how quiet it got. And he said that, of course he had a gun on him. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I can say that because his guys are all dead. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> give me a minute, because everything I say, I'm going to do up in my room later and laugh my ass off. <laughs> Funny so he, he he insisted that you be a part yeah, of the yeah. inauguration. Yeah, yeah, and I got on a show, and I, and I got out there, and I never know what I'm going to say. And it was a great night, you know, with kidding the cabinet and everybody, and they were all wonderful to me. And, and then uh, Ronald Reagan was great, and he became president, and I didn't hear from him. But no, 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 he was always, always so nice. And, uh, and, and the guy, I, I met Clinton just for a few minutes, a charming gentleman, but I only met him at uh, Clint, Clint Eastwood was uh, on it, you know. Mm -hmm. You know Clint Eastwood? I've met him, yeah. He's a lot of fun, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, uh, he and Robert De Niro, how would you like to be with the two of them on New Year's Eve? <laughs> Mother, come on, this is funny stuff, Ma. <laughs> Ma Barker sitting there going... <laughs> Come on, Mom, I'm funny. Gee. In, anyway, um, in my March, mother loved me. Anyway. In March, you're going to do two nights at the Orleans in Vegas. How many years have you been doing Vegas now? About 52. 52 years in Las <laughs> Vegas. And I went and saw you at the Orleans. And really, it's a fantastic show. And if you've never seen Don Live, or if you have seen Don Live, it's it's I I, oh, recommend, you, I couldn't dude. recommend it more highly. This is um, and really, like, for you, it's amazing at your age. And I hope you take no offense, but... 
the... No, I'm not offended. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm sure I'm, I'm 84. Thank but God. it is incredible to watch you on the stage. It's like you got hit by a bolt of lightning or something before you go on stage. Well, it's true. It's, it's all of us. Even at your age and you're still a young man. But when we get out there and the light goes on, it's either a prison break or do a show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm coming from Brooklyn, you know, every time I see a light, I go, run, Charlie, run. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's great because you got the energy and young people, that some of you are here tonight, that, that come, still come to see me, and I'm very flattered because I, 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 I just exaggerate all of us, and that's what I do. They say the insult guy. Listen, after 50 years, uh, I hurt nobody. I'm never mean-spirited, and I have a good time, and I enjoy myself. And I say this from my heart. I am the greatest living comedian. <laughs> You can see him January 28th at Ruth Eckert Hall in Clearwater, Florida, and you're going to be playing with Joan Rivers there, too, yeah, she's right? She's a wonderful artist. Yeah, I'm going to be with her, and she doesn't know it, but... <laughs> John Rickles, we'll be right back with the... God bless him. Look, look at the way they dress. Torn jeans. Jeez. Yeah. This guy all mustache and a trick-or-treat shirt. What the hell? Where do these people come from? They must be out in an alley saying, can we see the show, Al? <laughs> Nobody, I'm not with them. I'm dressed like it's at a party for Christ's sake. I know. Time. Eighth appearance you've made on this show. I'll drop my pants and fire a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> this is the eighth time. That's exciting, really. It is. Well, yeah. Yeah, for me, it is. Wife yeah. and I can move out of the motel and get to a big house. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people. It's wonderful to see you, Don. Wait a minute. They're still cheering. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come in. Well, I'll let you finish. <laughs> Don, this is, um... <laughs> Yeah, everything all right? Uh, it's great, great. You know how many times I you've like been here? I like Hitler had one of those. You've got a new thing. Eh? All of a sudden, you've got to get an umbrella, and I find you skipping in the park. <laughs> this is the... the Great to see you. Lunch. <laughs> I must say, before we go any further, Uncle Frank rests his soul. He's watching, but you are magnificent. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I just feel after that whole ceremony for Uncle Frank, it, it makes me feel good that I could come out and be Red Skelton. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not easy, you know, after you do a whole thing, you know. I know, I know. I, want to, I didn't want to come out. I want to go to the cemetery and say hello to my father. <laughs> well, my I father's laying there now going, why didn't he come over and see me for crying out loud? <laughs> we'll do your my, dad tomorrow night. My father night. died, you could cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> There's a girl getting a spastic attack. <laughs> Well, it's great to have you here, Again, and uh, we really appreciate you coming on, on, on late notice to honor it's Uncle the, Frank. Hey, well, well, the man was great. He really was. In fact, every time I did the show, every time, he always, he always, always touched me after a salami sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but every time you say, because we go back to Vegas, yeah. you know, way back in New York when he was a cop, and I was working on Copacabana, and he was out, he always came into the kitchen, because I used to come out from the audience, and he'd come into the kitchen and say, hey, Don, is this, and you, you know how your uncle is, the, the guy laughed at, the, he laughed at anything, you know, if you were done. <laughs> I'd say, you know, Uncle Frank, uh, my cousin, that's shaking with him. <laughs> that is true, yeah. yeah he laughed yeah. at everything, you know. That's we have way. a clip of the fir first time you were on the show, I think in 2006. Really? And um, your first interaction with Uncle Frank, I think, on the show. Yeah. Really? By the way, I gotta tell you, Frank's yes. your uncle. God yes. bless you, Frank. Frank saw my show in Vegas. This is the truth, ladies. And he came backstage and he said, You know, Don, you were great. I'm gonna call. Why don't you call up and maybe you'll get the job? Call up the show. <laughs> Frank, I did what you said, and now I got the job. I can't thank you enough, Frank. He really Frank, said you're that. a moron. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you're right. Well, you're right. <laughs> Those days, I mentioned earlier that my uncle Frank worked at Caesar's Palace for uh, 20 years with uh, Cleto Senior, who's one in our band yeah, here. Yeah, nice to see you, Jesse and Frank. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jesse and Frank, they were the James gang before your time. <laughs> and who invited these people? Know. They're so sad. There. I didn't die, Uncle Frank went. I didn't die. The host made a blithering idiot out of himself earlier. No, so you, it, you know what he used to do? Uh, 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 Uncle Frank was the security guard, and by the stage door, in those days, he's, you went right out into the casino mm -hmm. when you came off with the show. This isn't too fast for you, is it? No, no, oh, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're looking, at, you're looking at me like I'm a chemistry set. <laughs> and he used to stand by the door, you know, uh -huh. every night, every night. And I'd come out and he'd go, stand back, everybody, stand back, Mr. Rickles is coming through. Stand back, stand back. And there was nobody there. <laughs> stand back, Mr. Rickles is coming through. Did you ever, when he was Sinatra's security guard, did you know him then? Did you oh, have sure, interaction sure, back then? Sure, He used to come around and he'd say, uh, yeah, you with Frank tonight, huh? <laughs> Everything struck him funny. You know? Yeah, well, yeah, sure. I said, Frank, don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was, that's the way it was. Your yeah. mom was a real character. Oh, yeah, my mother was a Jew Patton. Uh, General Patton, you folks, he was a great general in World War II. This crowd is dumb. I mean, every time I call up her name, the one that, that, that whole second row goes, hmm. Patton, huh? Anyway, General Patton, he was, a, he was, my mother's the kind of woman, uh, like Frank, everybody, like your Uncle Frank, if I could say that, a daughter. I mean, mm -hmm. when, when, we, when I first came out to California, we lived in, 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 uh, the, the Sunset Towers at the time, just the two of us in a room, and we had a, we had a, a towel came, like a big sheet came down between us. Really? I, yeah, this is the truth. I'm going to have a date. I had to go and say, Mom, please, I'll give you a hundred. Go out. You know? Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was one of those, what do you keep saying really? Well, I'm a liar. I don't know. I don't know if you're kidding or telling me the truth. Sure I, I'm kidding. No, I, I don't want to get depressed with you longer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jay, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> Uncle Frank, he's trying to depress me. <laughs> Hey Don, I know that your uh, your lovely wife Barbara celebrated her birthday. Yeah, on ninety-four. Friday. Looks great. Anyway, <laughs> no, no, God bless. <laughs> what did yeah. you do? What is at this point? Do you go out? Do you go and find something for her and buy her something? How does it work? Well, usually, I, you know, I take her over to the hotel and do a couple of moves. Uh huh. <laughs> at my age, you just open the robe and go, "Come on, Spider, come on." <laughs> And he just sits there going, hmm. It's a snap out of it. Take a nap later. Come on. No, we, we have a good time together. We, we, we've, been, we've been friends as well as lovers for 46 years. So I've been, I've been very, very well. Yeah, yeah, sure. and, it's, and it's like uh, uh, Chippy, right? Was she, Aunt Chippy, yeah. yeah. She d divorced Frank. Yes, that's right. Smart move. Okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a joke. God bless you so much. And Chippy's in the back going, no, it's not a joke. Oh, no, she's right no. there, yeah. Hi, Chippy, how are you? She, um, it was... I heard a lot about her. I've never met her. I met her tonight. I met your wonderful sister in Vegas. And, and she came up to her with the husband and said, yeah, well, no, I'm kidding. She, yeah. she, she, my mother, my mother. Yeah. Well, what do you want me to do, throw a party? <laughs> <laughs> your mother was adorable, and your, and your dad, too. They were great. They came backstage, boom, whacked it down a few. Uh, <laughs> no, they didn't. They, didn't. they, were, they, were, they, were, like, they were Italian, but they acted like Mormons. You know what I'm saying? My, mo my mother's Italian, and my dad's German-Irish. I'm not from immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, you thought I'd be clear. You your, father, your father's German? German-Irish, yeah. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. No, I'm a Jew, and we, hey, it, it's all over, and we're now friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was here then. He wasn't over there. But You, you don't have that. to cop out. I know your father. I know, I know. I know. So, um, Does he still wear his helmet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask my mother. Okay. Um, <laughs> the... Um, Hey, I got a high five from Don Rickles. You don't get that every day. Do you remember when we took Uncle Frank to dinner with us? Oh, yeah. Jesus, we had such I a couldn't tell him that he was coming because I knew he'd drive me insane yeah, for yeah. weeks leading up to the dinner. But the yeah. night you were here and yeah. uh, Bob Newhart was joining us for yeah, dinner. Yeah, right. And I said, Uncle Frank, you want to come to dinner with us? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was right after you, your book, it uh, yeah, came yeah, out your first right, book. Right, right. And Uncle Frank, unbeknownst to me, had written notes um, with every story in the book on them. Yeah. So at dinner, 
we sat there and Uncle Frank said, Don, do you remember when you uh, entertained President Reagan at the White House? And you said- It's in my book. Yeah, Frank, it's in the book. <laughs> and then he would turn to your wife, Barbara, and go, Barbara, did you know Don entertained President Reagan? <laughs> And Newhart was laughing, yeah. was crying. Yeah. He was laughing so hard. Yeah. It was, it happened like 14 uh, times in a row. Yeah, Newhart's that, Newhart's that kind of guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, Bob, Bob that, that was a fun night. It, it was, was great. Fun. And, and see, Uncle Frank, actually, when, when you came to that stage door, he always acted like, you know, like you were the biggest guest in, in show business. And I'm sure he did that with every performer that came through. Mm -hmm. But I must say, in my case, whenever he came through, he'd put his arms around me and go, you remember the night? Remember the night in Caesars when you, when you said to the girl, she's a dummy? Remember that night? <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> yes, they tell me they start to do a, stuff I did, you know, years ago, maybe in, di in different clubs, and he knew everything I did, you know, and he'd always ask about my mother because I used to tell him stories about my mother, and 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 the, the great thing that you're blessed that you could stand out on this stage tonight and do a monologue and show pe and make people laugh and so forth and so on, and yet show the great love and respect, and and I you you you're to be commended. You oh, were just well, th thank you, Don. I, you know. I'm serious when I say you're not just Uncle Frank's favorite but all of our favorites and we love having you here. And I, I must tell you uh, com, uh, associated with that yeah. when my father, rest of the story, he died he died very young unfortunately, he was 55 and he died but he was a great guy, he really was and my, I was working in Washington D.C. In, in a strip joint you know, and you guys play that kind of music <laughs> you know, in those days they opened a the feather and you saw nothing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and, all, and, all, and all the service men were in, were in the audience going, <laughs> and I was in the back going, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm a funny son of a bitch. <laughs> but what I must say, that night, my cousin came to me. It reminds me with Uncle Frank God. I'm sure he'd appreciate this, knowing where he is, really. That, that they're probably having a meeting now, talking. <laughs> and and he would come back. To, he came back to stage. He said, "Don, can I see him?" And I said, "Jerry, I'm going on. I got a show to do. I'm going on. Come on, leave me alone." He said, "I got to tell you something now." I said, "What?" He said, "Dad just passed away." And I went, "Yeah." And I went out right after that and did the best show in a joint I ever did in my life. Really? It was so funny. The 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 shock of it gave me such such a lift in a weird way. That I was funny as hell, I really was. And it was, it was something I always remember. You know? Wow. So now when anybody dies, I go over to the house and... Ha <laughs> 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 I'm a riot. I'm sorry. Charlie died. I'll be over to the house in a moment. Well, thank you for coming to our house and, oh, uh, and entertaining us. It's great, great to have you here. Don Rickles, by the way... If you've not seen Don live, you absolutely must. And uh, the people in Vancouver are very lucky because September 16th, Don will be at the River Rock Casino and September 17th at the Red Robinson Theater. I, Uncle Frank would have wanted you to have plugs. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he could. Don Rickles, everybody. We'll be right back. Music at Don Rickles is here with us. You know, your grandchildren are very lucky because, well, because you're around for them, but... Um, and they will come into a lot of money. And they will come into a lot of money. <laughs> and they have Mr. Potato Head to always oh, watch, yeah, Mr. That's a, the that, voice. Pop-Pop is Mr. Potato Head. That's what they remember, the Disney, the Disney so, thing. Uh, uh, along that line, I actually, I bought, um, my Uncle Frank was lucky that his first granddaughter, his first grandchild mm. was born in January. Mm, yeah. And her name is Frankie, after him. Yeah. And um, they have these books that you can record your voice so that um, you can hear people reading your story. So, you know, if your grandparents, whatever, you can hear your grandparents reading you a story. And I thought it would be nice to team my Uncle Frank and Aunt Chippy up to have them read a story to their baby granddaughter that she could listen to. Uh -huh. and, um, and, well, here's, here's how that went. Oh. Great to see you. Lunch. 
<laughs> I must say, before we go any further, I didn't want to come out. I wanted to go to the cemetery and say hello to my father. <laughs> well, my I father's laying there now going, why didn't he come over and see me, for crying out loud? <laughs> we'll do your dad my, tomorrow my night. my father died, you could cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? There's a girl getting a spastic attack. <laughs> Well, it's great to have you here again, and uh, we really appreciate you coming on, on, on late notice to honor it's Uncle the, Frank. Hey, well, well, the man was great. He really was. In fact, every time I did the show, every time he always he always, he always touched me after a salami sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but every time you say, because we go back to Vegas, yeah, we go way back in New York when he was a cop, and I was working on Copacabana. And he was out, he always came into the kitchen, because I used to come out from the audience, and he'd come in the kitchen and say, hey, Don, is this, and you, you know how your uncle is. The, the guy laughed at, the, he laughed at anything, you know, if you were done. <laughs> I'd say, you know, Uncle Frank, uh, my cousin, that's shaking with him. <laughs> <laughs> that but is it, true, yeah. yeah. He laughed yeah. at everything, you know. That's we have right. a clip of the fir first time you were on the show, I think in 2006. Really? And um, your first, Uncle Frank rests his soul, he's watching, but you were magnificent. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I just feel after that whole ceremony for Uncle Frank, it, it makes me feel good that I could come out and be Red Skelton. <laughs> uh, you know, and it's not easy, you know, after you do a whole thing, you know. I know, I know. I want to December 7th in Tucson, Arizona. Please say hello to Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> What does that mean, Don? That means get off my mind. <laughs> Why are those blacks all the way in the back? <laughs> hey, if Obama wins, this is your state. <laughs> is that what's going to happen? <laughs> I don't know, and I don't care. You know, the band I'm played for a Jewish the song the band played on the way in. That's your theme song. That's a song. When did that become your theme song? The other night when I made a move on the wife. <laughs> She was laying on the bed, and I was in the hall. And <laughs> anyway, uh, and I missed and hit the doorknob. Anyway, uh, do you know the title of that song? Why is this a test? I, 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 I know what it is. It's what's the name? La Virgin de la Macarena. <laughs> that, that, that includes me. Anyway, <laughs> la Virgin Macarena. No, I got that. Believe it or not, from from my attitude of always being aggressive, you know, and making fun of people and. And in good spirit, and so I always said to me, I loved, I loved bullfights. My wife and I used to go down to Tijuana and watch the guy, you know, knowing no toro, jefe, jefe, toro. That's all I know, jefe, toro, toro. <laughs> and, and I used to sit. We used to sit the ringside with the blood on the shirt. Really? No, I'm making it up. <laughs> I hate a dumbbell host. I hate that. I'm sorry. What's the matter with you? The I'm regular saying guy makes isn't sense. here tonight. Andy. Jesus. <laughs> You're going to Brooklyn. <laughs> I just, I can't imagine Barbara with blood on her at a sporting event and enjoying this kind of a thing. Your wife, Barbara. I know who my wife is. For <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, them, I... <laughs> we are going no, to my, Brooklyn. My wife goes, she, she talks like this. This is exciting. <laughs> it's a matador, go matador, go. Exciting. <laughs> hey, see, you don't laugh. That's what I got to go through. <laughs> No, we, she's a great woman. I'm married. Uh, are you married here? No. Sorry. Anyway, uh, you're, you're a stunning woman. Somebody ought to make a move. Uh, Mexican! Anyway, uh, no, I'm married 40, I'm married 47 years. Very <laughs> you can see the, you can see her later. She's on the corner going, Sailor! Anyway, uh, <laughs> Damn it, that was my best job. <laughs> anyway, um.
Don, you have an iPhone app. This is an app yeah, that... Yeah, I don't know that stuff. You, you don't know what it is. Well, I'll tell you what it yeah. is. It's an app. You yeah. know what an app is yeah. in general? Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, I always get hung up with that, with the, with the apps. My wife says, you must have an app. You must have. I got that and I got the tweets. And I got the you apps. are tweeting. Yes. Yes. The app is, uh, it's like a, a program that's on your Oh, on yeah, your you telephone. hit my head. That's the thing. Yeah, you press your head. Yeah, you, you ruined it the last time I was on. I you, did. I you ruined buried it. the whole damn thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I ruined it. No, it's the thing. You, you, you hit the top of my head, and for two ninety nine, I say a couple of smart, clever remarks. No, it, I'm sure. You'll enjoy it, and I can tell by your response, nobody's going to buy it. <laughs> You can be insulted for less than $3, yeah, is what right. you're saying. Absolutely, absolutely. We found this uh, photograph. Excuse me. Yes. Would, would you fix your dress? No. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You're ruining it for everyone. No, no. You know, I'm, I'm 86 years old, married a lot of years, but when I see stunning legs like that, and it's a little high, this leg starts to go crazy. <laughs> Tell us about this photograph here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. That's, uh, oh, yeah. That's you. How yeah. old are you in this picture? I guess in my late 20s. Uh-huh. And, um... That's in Florida. That's at, the, I think, at the Rowell Hotel. And that's Abe Schiller. He, he was one of the hosts. And those two guys, uh, two Italian, two Irish guys. No, two, two English guys that got lucky. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Beatles that, came to see you perform. That's right. They never did. And I understand that they were in town not too long ago, and Paul said... <clears throat> Paul's the one that's still with us, thank God, right? Yeah, yeah, well, and Paul one said, of the two. Yeah, you know, I went to see him. I, hey, he really does insult you. He insults you. No. <laughs> and did you I, used, I used to make fun of him because they talk like that, but they're billionaires, so I start kissing their... You know what I mean? <laughs> and you, you, you spent some time with them afterwards. And do, you, do you remember that? Were they a big deal at that time? Well, they were, but, but Paul liked to put the blanket over me. I, you know, <laughs> no, they... Uh, 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 <laughs> Hey, if there's another outburst, I'll clear the room. <laughs> the black folks can stay. <laughs> That's nice. That's very find generous. Out to, find out how the debate's going, then I'll let you know if they can stay. <laughs> you, um... No, you, uh, no it's, it's, it's the truth. What was I saying? You were talking about the Beatles. Oh, yeah. And about, uh, they were great. Uh, you know, for them to come to see me, there was, it was at the very, very height when they just arrived in America. And people were... We're going bananas over them, man. And they found out about you, and they wanted to come see you, but did they not know that you were going to make fun of them while they were in the audience? They didn't live under a rock. <laughs> of course they knew. They, they knew. But they were ready to have some fun, you know. And, you know, the British, with their sense of humor, you know. Mary, want to take a pop at it? <laughs> you know. And they don't see the Jews go, okay, Shirley, here I come, baby. You know. And the Italian guys, hey, how about some of this? You had a, a great honor. Hey, I'll try that again. Hey, I'm <laughs> on a Comedy Central, go on, go on. got a bunch of seals out there. <laughs> Gave you an award. You got the Johnny Carson that, that Comedy was, that Award. That was a big treat for me. That yeah. was, and it was presented to you by um, John Stewart, John Stewart, and Robert guy. De Niro presented yeah, Robert this De Niro, award yeah. to you. Well, John Stewart was great. Bob, uh, I did a picture with him called Casino. But Bob, yeah. you know, he doesn't usually do that, but he was so sweet. He never he, does that kind he, of stuff, No, right? but, he, yeah. but he did it with us, but the trouble is nobody could hear him, you know. <laughs> because, you know, when you're with Bob alone, even sitting in a restaurant, you say, Bob, pass the butter. <laughs> and you got to make out like you know what the hell he was talking about. You know? Do you have a real friendship with him? Is he somebody that you have, like, a real relationship with? No. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? No, 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 Bob, Bob's a very... Quiet kind of guy on a loan. He has his own group of friends, and I have mine. He's not, you know, big crowds don't, you know, knock him out. You know, I like to, you know, it's like it's like Regis Philbin who couldn't be here tonight because there was too much excitement. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he's in New York getting out of a cab. Regis is here. <laughs> Regis, hey, Regis is here. And Donald Trump's up on the roof going, "Where's my comb?" <laughs> do you? Do you, he, you know, he drives. Uh, you know, Regis drives the car. For for Trump. D Regis is a Donald Trump's driver now? <laughs> Man makes a million billion dollars and I'm talking to a <laughs> Do you know Go Don to a doctor for Christ's sake. <laughs> well, do you know Donald Trump? Is he somebody? What is that excitement? <laughs> I don't know. Is he somebody yes, we you went, know? We went, this is true to me. We went, uh, oh, many years ago. My wife and I, when the Trump Plaza just went up, and we said, we're going to see the apartments. This is your wife, Barbara? I'm talking to them. <laughs> no, it's a hooker from Detroit. 
What the hell's the matter with you? No, I'm sorry. Tonight, you're a nervous wreck. You're going to Brooklyn like it's exciting, for Christ's sake. Build a bridge on your ass and go home early. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. So Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump. Right. So he said he heard we were in the building. Mm -hmm. And the real estate, it's true, the real estate guy. Can you guys see okay? <laughs> Dick, your singer is like this. Going, you, want, you want paper? <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, this is how, 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 about, how about a magazine? <laughs> That's what my father used to do. Go in the bathroom for seven days with a magazine. You know. <laughs> Dad, we only had one toilet. Dad. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know how I got into that. But. I don't know either. <laughs> but they laugh. That's what counts. That's all that matters. Newhart says, "Why do you say that?" I said, "They're laughing, aren't they?" <laughs> you know, it, that kills me. Anyway, what, what was I telling? Donald you? Trump. Oh yeah, so Trump. We go to the building, and we're in there looking at places. And the guy says, "Mr. Riggles, this is penthouse is is this this is uh, seven hundred thousand dollars, and this is about two hundred thousand dollars." And all of a sudden, Trump hears we're there, <laughs> running down the hall, and he comes in. Don, how are you? You know, and, and if you know Donald, you know, Don, how are you? Is a, a big moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> you said, you're looking at apartments here. So it takes us, truth, takes us around. And he said, now this apartment, six billion eight for the kitchen, nine billion nine, and you have a terrace, and a hundred billion seventy thousand for this, <laughs> and for the dog's place, it's another hundred thousand. It comes to about six billion eight. You'll have it. You'll love it. This is where he's talking to me, you know? <laughs> he was actually your real estate agent on the yeah, scene. Yeah. And I met his family. His father was a judge. I don't know if he's, hope, hopefully he's still with us. His father and his, and his kids, you know, the son, the, his, you ever see his children? Yeah, yeah. They're great. They keep taking his medicine away. <laughs> anyway. Uh, is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Donald gets up in the morning. He goes, oh, oh, the sweater gift. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't blame them. I mean, really. That was when... a good line. I don't blame him. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. When you jump in, it's dynamite. <laughs> I'm happy to help. Dynamite. Well, you can see Don with his friend Donald Trump. Will Donald Trump be at this particular show? No, there's a cover. Okay. <laughs> Don Rickles performing October 20th. That's this weekend at the Hodge Mahal in Atlantic City and December 7th at Casino del Sol in Tucson, Arizona. Don Rickles, everybody. We'll be right back with Bristol Palin and Mark Bellis. What does that mean, Don? That means get off my mind. <laughs> December 7th in Tucson, Arizona. Please say hello to Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Our first guest tonight is a truly legendary performer and one of the funniest men to work the earth. You can see him in his natural habitat live on stage in Las Vegas at the Orleans Hotel March 24th and 25th and on April 12th at the San Manuel Bingo and Casino in Highland, California with Joan Rivers. Please say hello to Mr. Warmth, the great Don Rickles. <laughs>
minute, maybe they'll start again. <laughs> I must say that's it's very kind. That's we as performers live live that uh, your applause and unfortunately <laughs> ah, that's <okay. laughs> Jimmy. Well, how are you? God I'm bless doing you. Well. How are you? And how is Australia? This I man <laughs> called me from Australia. That's how lonely he is. <laughs> <laughs> the only phone call I made from Australia. Oh, he and Molly, his lovely lady. Call me woman, Australia, and I was talking uh -huh. to you like you were in L.A. around the corner. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you got on the phone, you know, and you acted like you belong there. <laughs> Did you ever go to Australia? No. They put a dummy in the front row. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're very sweet. I'm kidding. We do that especially for you. <laughs> Shut I want to congratulate you. <laughs> That's a good ad lib. Huh? Shut up. After what I heard before. <laughs> okay. I want to congratulate you on entering, you really have, have entered the digital age in a very, very big way. And I will explain more. First of all, you're tweeting now. Yes, yes. I follow you on Twitter. I swear, Jimmy, I swear. My wife, Barbara, I married 47 years, and she says, why do you, why do you just sit on the couch? <laughs> I said, well, sweetheart, you got a tweeter, you know. So now I sat down, I said, what do you do? Just write little funny things. And I'm sitting there writing little funny things, you know. Right. And the guys are writing back like, uh, boom, and go tell you. Uh, yeah, and right. Yeah. But no, people are very nice. And all of a sudden, I got, and I have no followers, you know. I write my own stuff. They say, no, no, you have people hired who writes for you. No, I write my own stuff. I write, write about you. Stuff. You yeah, know that. You did write something about <laughs> me. Because I, I know you need help. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, he doesn't. He does great. I, I, I swear. <laughs> He's <laughs> got to laugh like a dead duck or something. It <laughs> It's funny because it's the insult is there, and then you have to say, no, no, you don't need help, which indicates that I actually do need help. Now, what did you prove by that statement? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody I'm sorry cares. I said it. The show went right in the toilet as soon as you make your speech. When you are try to keep it rolling, <laughs> like like my boys there, the, the Cleo brothers. <laughs> Father and son. That's, I know it's father yeah, and son. I mean, the Cleo boy, son, and, and this Clark Gable's son over here, whatever it is. It's Dickie, yes, yes. And you're a nice gentleman. I never mentioned you. What is your name again? My name's Dickie. Dickie? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> My mother used to say, don't touch your Dickie! <laughs> No, Why do say that sort of thing? <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> God bless. Good to see you, Dick. Thank Good. you very much. Good luck. What about a kid? <laughs> Dick, he's oh, Irish, no. and he's got tattoos all over his body. <laughs> no, don't knock it for tattoos. Don't knock the Irish. I didn't don't knock. That way. I the actually... Jews are perfect. The Irish are so-so. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. No, I'll make you feel good, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not only are you tweeting, which seems like enough, but you now have an app. And I have your app. I actually own your app, and I have it on my iPad here. You gotta explain a lot of that stuff to me, Jim. I'm, I'm you not... don't know how this works? Well, I, you know, I, I just take the finger like you do and punch and see what happens. Okay, here's first of all, we got your app here, and it's loading. And your theme song plays. And it says, Hey, dummy, tap my head or shake me for a classic Zynga. All right, well, let's just tap your head and see what happens. Smartphones, eh? Uh, who cares, smartphone? I only have dummy phones. Kiss my hockey puck dummy phones. <laughs> All right, and well, what we can do here is go through categories, and we can pick different things, um, like, let's see, you've got ethnic is a good category. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, sure, I don't have the armband, sure. Let's see what, what you have to ethnic. say right about- Right away, he's gotta knock the Jews. Right away, <laughs> ethnic. <laughs> Let's see what you have to say about my people, the Italian. Oh, I love the Italian people. They eat spaghetti, they swell up, and they die fast, and the whole family has a festival. <laughs> what else did I do? All right, I'm going to go to miscellaneous. This is another category. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, there's one about sex toys. Okay. Ooh. Sex toys I don't need. The wife has all of those, and I just jump over them. <laughs> Uh, if you get a chance, folks, buy it. My wife is short of jewelry. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you got celebrities on here, too. All right. I hope I made it. Bob Newhart's so great, so wonderful, so clever. But I gotta be honest, he really gets on my nerves. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me get, I want to get to myself here. You're very Bob I... Newhart, my dearest friend. He's gonna scream at me for crap. Okay, this is me. 
Jimmy Kimmel's a great host. There's one big problem. He laughs at hello. <laughs> That is true. I do laugh at almost everything you say. Yeah, yeah. I know what you do. <laughs> well, this is... <laughs> I got to stop doing it. Yeah. This is a very cool thing. And you have a website Wait as a minute, well. Wait a minute. That's... Isn't that... The, you have to pay for that? Too? Yeah, two, it's $2.99. $2.99. That's not bad, guys. That's not bad. It's less than $3. You also have a website, which, if you don't mind, we'll go through. Oh, it's got your concert dates on there. And uh, there's a uh, yeah. gallery here with yeah. photographs of all sorts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was good times. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go through some of these. And will you, because there's some great, great pictures in here. And will you tell us about some of these things sure. that uh, we're seeing there? Okay. Oh, here's a good one. That's you and uh, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood is the most humble guy in the world. We did a picture called Kelly's Heroes. I don't know if any people saw that. <laughs> That, that, that's about 45 years ago in Yugoslavia. I was supposed to go there, my wife and I, for like uh, maybe two weeks. We stayed six months. And we watched uh, Clinton, and he walked around. He was a lot of fun. You'd say, Clint, isn't this fun? <laughs> anyway, uh, but he's a sweet guy. His, and I said, I want the same account. You get a chance to look over here. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm trying to <laughs> run the thing. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. <laughs> okay. But, so we're getting the same accommodations I want as Clint Eastwood. Did I know to him a pickup truck and a dog was paradise? <laughs> <laughs> but he's a great star. Really, you ask him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great one. You, what are you doing here? First time in my life, I was very young then. And they said he can't do it, and I water skied on Lake Mead. First mm -hmm. time with a guy called Stan Irwin taught me how to do it. We got another picture of you really water skiing there. You're doing it pretty well. That's pretty good, Jim. Huh? That I never would have imagined, I have to say. Now we got a bunch of, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got, uh, there's one of you and Tommy Lasorda of the Dodgers. Yeah, Tommy's a great guy. Great. Tommy Lasorda had me, uh, I don't know if you're in, in uniform that day. I used to go down and talk to the team. They always, and all these kids from the, the Dominion Republic used to sit down and go, hey, there you go, you talk to Tommy, get me in the game. Talk to Tommy, talk to Tommy. <laughs> I said, get a visa, get a visa. <laughs> oh, here's, this is a good one. There's you and Barbara with... Uh, Liberace. Yeah. Liberace. Yeah, they're doing a movie about his life, by the way. Lee was a great guy. He really was. He was a charming man, and he, he adored Barbara, and I, I used to kid him, you know. In those days, we didn't do about skipping around a lot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Today, yeah. it's normal. Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. Yeah, Liza, darling lady. Big star. Great. This is... Uh, That's uh, me you and Bob Newhart, You my and the great friend. Bob Newhart, That's yes. That's right. I'm Santa Claus, and Jewish. I, I did that as a favor. Uh, <laughs> We got, uh, oh, you Carol O'Connor. Carol O'Connor. Great man, great man. We had, I did his show and we became great friends. He used to like to sit down, let's have a booze, pow. He was a big drinker, Carol O'Connor. Well, he's Irish. Where, where, where else was he going? <laughs> you and your pal Regis there. Yeah. How is Regis? As you and I know, Regis, ladies and gentlemen, even though he's not on the show, he's the most charming, kindest human being you'll ever meet. And he, he's going on a trip for three weeks on a cruise. He's on the cruise right now. He yes. said, Don, I don't want to go three weeks, three weeks on a cruise. And if you know Regis, he talks to anybody. You know, the guy pulling the rope. Hey, how, how you doing, Charlie? The guy on the uh, mop on the floor. Hey, Lou, good to see you. And he gets out of the cabin and goes, oh, Regis is here. Regis is here. <laughs> he drops his shy. pants and fires a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> And I was honored to see that you have a photograph of the two of us here yeah, yeah, in yeah. front of uh, like a monster truck or something. But can we... May I, and I gotta tell you, yeah. which you folks might not know. I know Jimmy a long time and I always used to kid him. I, I didn't know him when he was in sports. He was great with sports as, as a critic and an announcer. An athlete. And, and a, pardon me? And a great athlete. Don't push it. <laughs> You were doing great till I'm the, sorry to interrupt. all of a sudden a great athlete. <laughs> Go in the bathroom, get quiet. undressed and look at your body and you'll know what a great athlete. <laughs> great athlete. <laughs> the lower part does a ripple around the mountain. <laughs> anyway, but Jimmy was always a, a good, charming, wonderful guy and still is. And everybody, not everybody, but a good deal of the crew and the people you see around him our family and dear friends. He hired people, like the Cletos. He knew his son way back. Yeah. He hires people that, that cared about him and he cared about them. And that's very unusual that I, had, had, he should be Oh, back. thank you. Well, thank you. That's not, I thought it was gonna end with something neat. But if we zoom in here, can we zoom in at all on this? Because you can see it's me and Don. It says Don Rickles and Jimmy Fallon are seen backstage. <laughs> <laughs> 
little proofreading next time around. Watch Jimmy Fallon and if you want to learn how to play ping pong. <laughs> Don Rickles, everybody. You see Don at the Orleans in Vegas, March 24th and 25th, and San Manuel Bingo and Casino with Joan Rivers on April 12th. Our first guest tonight is a truly legendary performer and one of the funniest men to work the earth. You can see him in his natural habitat live on stage in Las Vegas at the Orleans Hotel March 24th and 25th and on April 12th at the San Manuel Bingo and Casino in Highland, California with Joan Rivers. Please say hello to Mr. Warmth, the great Don Rickles. <laughs> That's how lonely he is. <laughs> the only phone call I made from Australia. Honestly, he and Molly, his lovely lady, called me from Australia, and I was talking uh -huh. to you like you were in L.A. around the corner. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you got on the phone, you know, and you acted like you belonged there. <laughs> Did you ever go to Australia? No. They put a dummy in the front row. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're very sweet. How are you? Wait a minute, maybe they'll start again. <laughs> I must say that's it's very kind. That's we as performers live live that uh, your applause and unfortunately <laughs> ah, that's <okay. laughs> Jimmy. Well, how are you? God I'm bless doing you. Well. How are you? And how is Australia? This I man <laughs> called me from Australia. Once again, it is an honor to have you Wait here. Wait a minute, I'm still that pawn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was... I appreciate it, but let's put it down a little bit because I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> no, that's very sweet of you, and I, I really appreciate it. Well, that's it for me. Take care. <laughs> Cleto, good to see you. Still got the sun in the band, eh? I spoke to Border Patrol and he'll be okay. Well, that's great news. Yeah, he stands by the border with every day. <laughs> anyway, I make fun of you because you know why? Because you're Mexican. <laughs> no, Mexican people are beautiful. <laughs> I'll tell you. No, they are. They are. They, uh, you go to Mexican restaurants, don't you? Oh, sure, yeah. You, you, yeah, well, you don't go any place. You sit in your house with your, with your big place, with, with your cooking and your personal friends. No, I go you... to Mexico. I go to Mexican places. Yeah. You, you I even do. go to Mexico. Do you really? Yeah, sure. I'm not a travel agent. What do you want from me? From <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jimmy, it's good to see you, man. It's good to see you, too. Can I ask you a question? Read has... the card. Read the card. Find out what's going on. <laughs> has, Regis, has Regis ever written you an angry letter? Has he ever been angry with you in general? Who cares? <laughs> Do you really think I get up in the morning and say to my wife, Barbara, I hope to God Regis isn't mad at me. <laughs> Leave Regis alone. He's an Irish kid that got hot and became a star, and now he's with a 12-year-old broad and going, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> at 11 o'clock, 10, 10, 9, 9 o'clock in the morning, when minors get up for crying out loud. He takes his star very seriously. Yes, he does. He, he loves he, that star. He does. He gets up in the morning and says to his wonderful wife, Joy, I'm a star, and she hits him in the head with a pajama top. <laughs> no, See, Regis is a good guy, and he's a lot of fun. If you, you know, if you're lonely, he's great to be with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
you uh, what well, you had the big premiere of Toy Story three? What well, was it last weekend, right? Yeah. yeah. Last weekend, you took your grandsons, yeah. and of course, you play Mr. Potato Head. Right. And uh, did, the, did the boys like the? Uh, the, film? the, 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 the that's, that's Ethan and, and Harrison. They're, both kids going to come into a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks in part to this piece of they, plastic They don't want right the there. balloons and the toys and a picture of Tom Hanks. They don't want that. They're waiting for Dan to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not really. God forbid. They don't. They, don't. they, they just they, they, they keep wondering how I feel. Uh, they do. <laughs> they ask you a lot? They're, they're, their mother, that, my daughter, you uh -huh. know, says, yes, Dan, how he feels. Ask him, you know. And every time I'm in front of them, I go, <laughs> and the two kids go. <laughs> now that's all nonsense. I don't do that. I, my, my my daughter will call me later and say, "Why did you do? It's not funny." She talks like my wife. The two of them. Listen, mom, will you please talk? To her? That's the truth. I'm on my wedding night. My wife said to me, "Is that about it?" How long have you? How long ago? How long have you guys been married now? You and Barbara. About an hour. <laughs> no, we've been married forty-five years. Forty-five years. <laughs> Don't applaud. You never saw her. <laughs> anyway, uh, that joke is going to cost me. <laughs> she just sits in the room when we go down the beach, you know, with the jewelry and signal ships. <laughs> but uh, a lot of Gentiles, they don't know about jewelry. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> But you guys... Look at me, you don't see guys that sit like that anymore. <laughs> very very old-fashioned. He's a young guy, too. Hey, Rose. <laughs> what are we going to have for supper? <laughs> you're, 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 you're a good-looking kid. You're, you're an Italian kid? Irish kid? No. Let me see your papers. <laughs> what is your heritage? Uh -huh. Scottish, English, oh. German. Oh, German. <laughs> Just to relax you, I'm Jewish. <laughs> no, that's all over. God, I was in World War II, and that was, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff, but now it's happiness and wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hit him? Did I hit him? You got him, yeah. Right there. Good luck. So what's your first name, Fritz? Dan. Huh? <laughs> what's your first name? Dan. Damn my foot, Dan. <laughs> World War II, I never met one that came out of the woods. My name is Dan. <laughs> okay, good luck to you, sir. Good luck. Is that the wife? Yes, my wife. Ooh. I'll tell you this. No, no, I, I you know, with the lighting. <laughs> no, you're very pretty. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don, have you been watching the NBA? Oh, jump in when you think uh, of something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. Are you, um... I know you're a big sports fan. Have you been watching the Lakers and the Celtics in the series? In fact, I was watching it backstage, and then I had to come out and do this. <laughs> no, they're, I, I will only give you a clue. They're, they're doing very well. And, why don't we see you courtside next to Jack Nicholson at these games? I know because you're it's seven million nine for a seat. <laughs> it is Jack very Nicholson expensive. has nothing else on his mind but to give me the seat. I, I, I'm not in that world where they sit right in the front. I could. I could. We'd have to chip in. In fact, I count on guys like you. Well, Joe Smith is a wonderful sports fan. He's a friend of mine. I sit in his seats. Uh, uh, Brad Gray, you know, uh -huh. all these top guys. Right. Where do you sit? In the balcony? Where do you sit? <laughs> I don't even go. You do, well, of course. You used to do sports. You should be running right to the game. You know, I don't go because it's embarrassing when you're a celebrity and you're seated in like the 30th row. What do you mean a celebrity? Who knows you? What do you mean a celebrity? <laughs> Game. Don, you're going to find this Wait shocking, minute. but Don't ABC you find that know? funny, Cleto? <laughs> well, start laughing. You're getting on my nerves now. Right now. Mexican all of a sudden is auditioning me. <laughs> you had um, you had a birthday last month, yeah. and you got a gift that um, I, I, your wife got you an iPad for your birthday. That's right. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing, I got trouble, you know, with the, with the midnight lights. <laughs> you know, and I, I'm not, I, I, I heard you're not that way either. I'm, I'm terrible with anything. You're not good with computers. With computers, no, nothing like it. So why would she get you an iPad? Because I'm lonely. 
<laughs> no, it's great, especially on an airplane now. And I and I love sports as you do. Yeah. See the Dodger games, you know. See, see the see the Laker games. See see a lot you of. You can sports. get it on the airplane. No, I get it while we're flying. I hang out in the wing. <laughs> <laughs> How did you ever get to be a host? I don't, I don't know. Understand I don't know. It. It's a clerical what a error. Dumbbell, you come up with the. I love you personally. We're good friends, but you, you got to lay down. These I know, headaches you're and right. headaches. <laughs> Did you get it on the plane? No, I was in the cockpit with the pilot. Turn it on. Turn it off. <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> um, what could I possibly say? You know, Jimmy, it's the truth. Though. Would you ever believe in our time, when we, when you were a young man, that we'd ever see? This is the truth, gang. You know, every time I look out there, I think I got cataracts. I can't see a damn thing. Today. And I know you're out there because I see one broad walking. Now they're there. They're out there. No, but no. But it's true. When you, if you have, if you happen to be continental, but when you get on the plane now, we never dreamed in our day that you'd see a. I, I got on flying to uh, to New York. Sat down, watched the Laker game, then watched the Dodger game, the whole thing. Had a couple of vodkas, fast, unfastened the seatbelt, and the game wasn't over. And I said to the pilot, circle the field, circle the field. <laughs> but it's amazing that you can sit there and see all these, all these sporting events, yeah. and you land. Because in the old days, you know, I had a couple of drinks, and I'd say to my wife, uh, where are we? And she said, another 30 hours, just go to sleep. You know? <laughs> and speaking of technology, this is 3D, this Toy Story movie. Is this your first 3D film? Yeah. <laughs> and do you and do you like 3D? Is this? Did you I wear... love 3D. <laughs> you do. That's another thing. I get up in the morning and say it's 3D by him. <laughs> you put no, it's on exciting. the glasses. I put on the glasses. No, I'm George Shearing. I go with a stick and a cane. <laughs> They don't know who George Shearing is, the young people. He, he's a gentleman like, uh, you know, like Ray Charles, you know. He, Ray Charles, I always wondered, you know, Ray was, was blind. Of course, we all know that. But why did he keep doing like he was on a ship? <laughs> I noticed that. That always bothered me. I said, the guy's blind. What is he selling? <laughs> I thought he had a key on his ass, and they're winding him up. Or <laughs> anyway, he was a great performer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this guy. What are you about? 250? How much you weigh, big guy? You don't know. What are you, shame? Put a little dart on your can, you'll be a balloon for crying out loud. You see the tattoos he's got on his arms? Well, that's there? all right. That shows he's rugged. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I got it. He, he, he's, he's, the, he's the fairy. <laughs> The Tooth Fairy, though. The Tooth Fairy. Don, have you, uh, are you familiar with the work of Ozzy Osbourne? I guess I, I am. I, you know what? I, he's the, uh, the, the uh, after-school teacher of, the, of English. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yes, he's... I, no, I never met him. I, I saw him on the street and ran. But, uh... <laughs> well, if you would be so kind, I'd love for you to stay, because I think it would be a wonderful thing. I must say, before you go any further... I, I adore the man. He's a great star and a great artist. I've never met him. I've never met his wife. Uh-huh. Uh, well, tonight, let's make that happen. What do you say? Wait a minute. I'm going to have to that part. <laughs> hey, that was... I appreciate it, but... Let's put it down a little bit because we're going to get emotional. <laughs> no, that's very sweet of you, and I, I really appreciate it. Well, that's it for me. Take care. <laughs> Cleto, good to see you. Still got the sun in the band, eh? I spoke to Border Patrol, and he'll be okay. Well, that's great news. Yeah, he stands by the border with every day.
Once again, it is an honor to have you here. <laughs> anyway, I make fun of you because, you know why? Because you're Mexican. <laughs> no, Mexican people are beautiful. <laughs> I'll tell you. No, they are. They are. They, uh, you, you go to Mexico. Rickles, everybody! You're fine. You're fine. I thank you, audience. I thank you so much. And I must get this off my chest. Yes, go on. Go to a dentist. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> when did you get so aggressive? What I, the hell's I, wrong I, with you? you when we first you? met, it was, hello, Mr. Rickles, how are you? No, it's what the hell's wrong Like an equal you're talking to me, for crying out loud. He became an American citizen. He thinks he can hang out with me, for crying out loud. No, no, I don't quite say that. And they said your papers. I want to be American. All right. Okay, Scotsman, go in the back and clean up the room. Hey, no, no, no. no, no, no. I'm, you know what? Gee, you know, on television, it looks like you got a massive audience. You got six Jews and three Italians. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and one, and one Irish guy sitting there going. <laughs> oh, there's a black brother. Oh, yeah. bless you. <laughs> Is it a holiday? God bless you, baby. The dog, dog, dog. I'm talking to the I'm black right man. Here, huh? Mr. Right here. This guy's important. They get moody. There's no baseball. I had nice dog <laughs> It's a different world, though. Okay. All right. Listen, I'll tell you what I'm looking at right here. Why did you? Well, okay. this is important. I want you to pay attention. I'm not a judge. You're a person. I, 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 look, I'm trying to tell you. You, I'm looking at this. This is the dates that you're playing coming up, right? February 27th, the King Center in Melbourne, Florida, right? March 2nd and 3rd, uh, the Seminole, is that how you say it? Seminole Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. March 20th and 23rd, the Orleans Casino in Las Vegas. And should you really be working? You've probably got a lot of money by now. Why are you working so much? Because <laughs> I'm Jewish and my wife needs jewelry. <laughs> You must have money by now. You can't be going How out. How do you know what I have money? A Scotsman asking about money. I, <laughs> I, I think about no, money. Uh, no, I love the work as you do, Greg. Right, right, right. Craig, Greg, Greg. I always call you Greg. You yeah, know. I know. It's... Does it matter on the sign? Nobody cares. It is. Right. It's part of your they just show up because it's a long line. There's a line. Let's get that line. Anyway, <laughs> they think it's Bob Barker. I'll tell you this. <laughs> it says <his> suit. <laughs> it says suit. Yeah, it is. One for the Scotsman. All right, thank you. <laughs> Anyway, no, I, I enjoy the stage, and, uh, you know, as you know, the traveling is always a little bit annoying, but I take jets. What do you, what do you take, bus? Yeah, I take the bus, yeah. <laughs> but I enjoy the stage. You I take, just, what do you mean, you, 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 you take jets? How long have you had that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you all get that? When they get rich, they all go, and, 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 and. <laughs> When I first met him, it was, hello, Don, how are you? Now it's, I, 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 I. <laughs> You know, you, you, you really you really have come after me this time. I don't really understand you why. Know why. You know why? Like because you became an American citizen. Well, well and I voted against it. Well, I voted it. against it. I, I voted against it. You came up against it, and I said to immigration, don't let this guy get over the fence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were Mexican. <laughs> I got nothing against the Mexican people. I love them. I eat the tacos and go, ooh, ooh. Anyway, I'll tell you this. Is this too fast for you? No, I'll oh, keep it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You're a great host. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
No, you're beautiful. And that's good. You know what, Greg? We yes. go back a long time. Peter LaSalle was the first guy that introduced us. He was, that's right. And Peter yeah. LaSalle uh, was Johnny Carson's producer, rest his soul. I miss Johnny. Mm -hmm. And no offense to you, but he was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Anyway, uh, no, no, I, that's, that's fair. No, no. You, no, no, it's you're, fair. You're, it's fair. No, no, that, that's, that's a little below the belt, but who cares? No, yeah, that's right. Anyway, uh, well, look at your notes. No, Say no, something. No, no, I'm waiting for you to stop so I can find out why you actually are out working all the time. And you said that you take jets. Do you have a private jet? That's what I was going to ask. Yes. I put wings on my ass and fly. Right. <laughs> you something. Can I really genuinely ask you a question? Certainly. Will you, will you just allow me that once? Okay. All don't right. bet. Don't bet. No, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> when you come to the show, which is always a great pleasure for Thank me, you. as you know. Thank you. I always... <laughs> I'm always amazed at the, the size of the posse that you bring. You bring a lot of people with you. A lot of people. A posse. It's, a, it's an American word. Look it up. Posse. <laughs> I'm catching it! I'm catching it! Coming for you. Yeah, <laughs> No, it's uh, you. Probably... No, I have a friend, Tony O, who's uh, my road manager. Paul Sheffield is my publicist, and my manager, Elliot Weissman, who's in Florida yeah. planting trees. Yeah, yeah. I... But, you... but John Stamos is always with you. John, John Stamos is a great Greek that follows me around, going oopa oopa, and I give him a cookie, and he goes away. <laughs> <laughs> John and I met many years ago, and he comes to Vegas, not like you, but for, before you, and came to about 12 shows in a row, what have you, and uh, he lost his dad, rest his soul, and he always had a thing about me that I I'm, uh, represent his father's image, and, uh, right. and I was very sweet of him, and I, and I love John, and he's great, and he's 44 years old, and he looks around for 12-year-old goes, Psst, got a minute? Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's uncruel, it's not, he's, it's, 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 he's, he's not looking for girls. Anyway, see, when you get older, this happens. <laughs> the other one just his legs dead. This. All right, that's enough. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Don Rickles, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. So I got I got this book. Uh, it's written by uh, the comedy legend who's just won two Emmy Awards. It's a very new book. It's a very very clever title, Rickles Letters, and it's uh, <laughs> and it's a bunch of letters written by uh, the comedy legend that is Don Rickles. And look, there's one to me. Yeah, it's it's really really flattering as well. <laughs> We'll talk about that. Please welcome the legend that is America's treasure, Don Rickles, everybody. You'll just get him started. Okay, Listen. that's about it for me. Yeah. I know. Very right. nice to see uh, wait, you. Don. Wait a minute. Let me thank them, huh? Well, okay then. Come on. Stop. Pull yourself together. This is an important night for me. <laughs> really? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was very kind. I, you know, as you get older and get in this business a long time, it's great when people receive you as you do, and I and I thank you so much. And for that, no. Uh... Okay. Now, getting back to you, the yeah. monologue was weak. The monologue was weak. Uh, I thought you might notice. Not really. No, no, no. I was, make yeah. fun of Greg. We, know each we were at a dinner party together with Regis Philbin, remember? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. always like going out with Regis because you know where your money's going to go. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yeah. Anyway. What is it? What are you about? I'm Wrestling just, referee? I'm just trying to keep the audience awake. Come on. Well, you only got seven people here. What yeah. are you making a fuss for? <laughs> We can't afford any more. <laughs> Anything great? Yeah. yeah. Ah, I listen, can't, I can't. listen to your book of letters. Right. Yeah. I, I, can I read out a little bit of the letter you sent to me? What is this, Germany? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. 
Dear Craig, I'm right to give you an alert. Work on your accent. I know you became a US citizen, but after watching many of your shows, immigration has taken another long, hard look at your credentials. <laughs> They're seriously considering pressing charging and sending you back to your native Scotland where you'll get, be more comfortable doing your former job herding sheep. <laughs> it's amazing how a guy in a kilt got to be a big star. It's kind of odd, though, that the whole audience lays on the floor looking up. <laughs> From what I've heard, there's not much to see. Yours truly, Don Rickles. Now, come on! <laughs> You get, you get to a lot of people in here, my friend. Yeah, well, I, you know, it's a fun thing to write. I, I, I imagined a, a book I'd write to all kinds of friends, living or dead, you know, and, and thank God you're alive. And I oh, said, yeah. as a mercy thing, I'd put you in the book. <laughs> and, uh, but no, you, you're a friend, and I, and I wanted to say a few words about D you. D did, you uh, did you put uh, Trump in the book? How long have you had, ha ha had that? What? Anyway, uh, did what? I'm working with a guy with a problem. <laughs> Make seven million dollars a week, and he stands here going. Hi, 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 hi. Seven million dollars a week. How can you sit there and say that? You know CBS. Why are you hollering? You're going back to Scotland in the morning. Oh, God. How can you Man, see it? Why is he dressed up like a yo-yo over there? Why? Uh, you can't say yo-yo anymore. Oh. You have to say yo-yo American. Yeah, you yeah, can't. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. Anyway. That's a, you got you got letters in here to God. Yeah, it's a, it's interesting book, but why talk about that? It's it's a hit, and I don't need it. Oh, really? Anyway, uh, all right. Listen, congratulations about the Emmys, by the way. It was so fantastic. Before to see I you say there. that, by the way, oh, David yeah, yeah. David uh, David uh, Ritz, a uh, fine writer, helped yeah. me put this together. And I think uh, for Christmas and so forth, it's an interesting thing. My uh, wife needs jewelry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she'll be doing okay. It was. Uh... It was very nice to see you getting these well-deserved uh, Emmys at the uh, at that fantastic show we went to. Well, you know, Craig, and, and, and you ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, being in this business 55 years and my age, uh, I was so delighted, really, to receive an Emmy. You know, yeah. it's the, your peers and it's a thing called... Uh, <laughs> and as you know, Craig, it's called Mr. Warmth, the, the Don Rickles Project, and my son Larry and... Uh, uh, John Landis, a wonderful director, and uh, Bob Eggleman and uh, Mike Richardson. They all helped put it together. And uh, Tony O and uh, Paul Sheffern. We had a great team, and they just... W we went to different actors. We went, the, the guy I, I adore, uh, amongst many, uh, Clint Eastwood is one of my yeah, guys. Clint I, Eastwood, yeah. But uh, going to Bob De Niro and asking him to do the part, we said, Bob, Don would like you to say a few words. He went, well, what do you want me to say? Well, yeah. well. Well, and John said, well, say, say he's a good actor. He's a good actor. <laughs> these are the kind of things. And Clint, another, both of these men make fortunes. And they're wonderful gentlemen. They really are, besides being great actors. But you talk to Clint, you say, you know, Clint, how about dinner tomorrow? <laughs> I did a picture called, why do you lean over? Can't you hear me? I'm sorry, I can't understand your accent. Oh, What'd you say? He leans over like we're, like we're in court. Hello. <laughs> No, Greg, I, I was in... Step back, you're scaring I'm me. I'm just... Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Clint, Clint Eastwood, you know, uh, and all these... <laughs> all right, all right. You Clint son of the gun. I know, I know. You're gay. I know. Uh, <laughs> European, but it's much the same no, thing. No. I, uh... You were going to tell me about this, uh, Clint Eastwood thing. What did you do, just cut meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jump ball. Yeah, tell no, me about, uh, your, tell uh, me about uh, your, your dinner with Clint Eastwood. Oh, with well, well, Clint Eastwood. Uh, and, and, and Clint's a, another one of the kind of guy. But everything is low-key, you know. Yeah. And they, they don't like to be seen. And the last time I was with Clint once, we had dinner. And we did a picture called Kelly's Heroes in Yugoslavia. I love that picture. That's and, a great picture. Uh, 40, 40 years ago. Really? Trust me. Everybody was going dobra, dobra, dobra. And, uh, you know, Clint was uh, running around going dobra, dobra. And when you eat, it made Mexico a warm-up. The runs were like a, like, a, like a mystery, I swear to God. Every time I had dinner, I went, oh, oh. And, and the guy went, dobra, dobra. They put oil, olive oil, Craig, olive oil, buckets of olive oil. And you well, just... that, that, that goes right through you, the olive oil. Where were you? What are you, a cop? Yes. That's right, I'm a gay European cop. <laughs> what? At what point? Actually, it's not a bad idea. No, so uh, Yugoslavia was a great experience. Sully Savalas, rest his soul, he, he was something else. I miss him and Carol O'Connor. And in fact, 
you know, and, and all these gentlemen, they're in a, we like to think of a better world anyway. But the way things are today, I don't know how people say a better world. Yeah. But uh, my, my son goes up in my dressing room and on the wall has all these actors and he goes, dead, dead, oh. dead, cancer, dying, dead, dead. And then he looks at me and says, you feel okay? Oh. <laughs> You take a lot of that from your kids. They, they give you a lot of talk back. Uh, yeah, I gotta be nice because if I get in a home someday and I'm spitting up, they're gonna be standing over the bed going, Dad, we're not paying for the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> no, you... they're great. Uh, I have a daughter, Mindy, uh, a wonderful daughter and a wonderful son, and they've been good to me. You know, uh, today, uh, our, our children, you know, it's a cycle. They're going to take care of us eventually. All right. And my, my son and daughter have been very good, and I've been very good to them. And, uh, I delve out a few bucks once in a while, and they go, thanks, Dad. And then they go, go, he's so cheap. Anyway. Uh, no, are you going to be, are you that, gonna be that, with that, him wait, for wait, Christmas? Wait, I'm not finished. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's a joke about being cheap. Uh, That's my daughter will say, Dad, she talks like my wife. My wife is this. She say, sweetheart, how'd you like the show? Just great. Let's go to dinner. <laughs> are you finished? Yeah. All right. Uh, are you going to... Uh... Are you going to spend Christmas? Do you celebrate Christmas? Sure. Well, oh. Jews, we can participate. We sell you the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I celebrate, I celebrate uh, Christmas Eve, uh, every Christmas Eve, God willing, with our dear friends, uh, darling Ginny Newhart and her husband Bob, Bob Newhart, oh, right, a yeah. great comedian and yeah. a great friend. And we spend every Christmas together. And my favorite time is when we sit by the tree and he reads the book of Jesus. I'm not familiar and, 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 with that and, and, one. And then, you, and, and, and then, you know, see, Bob is, we, we've traveled the world together with the New Hearts. Right. And God bless him. So before 9-11, we went all over the world, really. And I, like in Germany, when we were in Germany, you know, uh, we, we'd walk down the street and Bob would say, uh, don't, 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 don't kid around. Don't, 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 don't say anything. Don't, don't. And I'd go like, Stumm in I'm in No, you shouldn't do that in Germany. And he'd go, don't, don't, don't do that. You're going to get in trouble. But he's a great, a great gentleman, and his wife Jen, and we spend Christmas Eve, and they sing the you, carols. You sing carols? You do all that? No, no, I stand in the back and figure out how many gifts I had to give. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you sing the carols or not, because you're Jewish. I don't know if you, if you have, uh, you know, if you have to stand back from We Christmas have great or... cantors. You've heard of a cantor. Oh, yes, of course. Cantorial chants. Yes. We made it up before you guys. Yes, yes, out I loud. know. All I'm saying is, though, but it's not, silent night, baby. Jesus. You're starting oh, to get the... on my nerves. You're well, starting to get saying. on my nerves. <laughs> Baby Jesus. Where are, is he in town? Anyway. Uh, no, no. Three Catholics went, huh? <sighs> and you go back out on the road, you, doing the, uh, the, you do the casinos, don't you? Oh, the, I, I sure yeah. do. I do the Indian casinos. And the only problem is every time I work, they keep circling the hotel with, hey, 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 hey. Pain in the ass. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> They, they keep circling and boom, and then I have to be nice. And the chief always comes up and goes, We like show what the kid when they were. <laughs> then I got to go outside and wash their horse for crying out loud. Don, Don, I, I played at Indian casinos. That's not true. You're, ju you're just making well, that up. Well, that's why I'm a star and you're sitting all in the right, deck. All right, all right. <laughs> I guess that's the way it is. Don Rickles, everybody. All right, man. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody. Don Don, welcome. Okay, welcome. that's it for me. Yeah. How are you, Don? It's not bad. It's not a carnival. It's a show. Hey, it's not nice me. young people. You have a nice young audience, really. Nice. <laughs> Except the, the guy here in the front with the Washington haircut. Yeah. Get him a get him a cherry tree and get him out of here. 
Okay, how you been? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Don't pick on the man. How, 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 how long have you, have you had that? Uh, that, that, that. Well, no, 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 I don't have that. No, you're good, you're it's good. It's the heat's getting to me, it's August. I no, always I, get like this in August. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of good talk about your show. A lot of people have been telling me they're turning it on. Really? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, 12.30 at night, when, when the wife's just laying there going, Sweetheart, you want to fool around? I said, No, Greg's on! Greg's yeah, on! Yeah, 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 all right. When you're married 44 years, you've got a Jewish wife, she just lays there and goes... <laughs> <laughs> you young people will find out, it's not all the big job, you know? It's, there's more to it. <laughs> now, you've got to enjoy life. How long are you married now? Uh, six months. Ah, good. He's really crazy about it, isn't he? Ah, uh, six months. <laughs> no, I was doing that thing. <laughs> I, I, I heard that this has just come out in Canada. Congratulations. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you made it in Canada. Well, what are you talking to me like I'm a Mountie? I'm not a Mountie. <laughs> <laughs> Canada, no, Canada, Canada, that's the big time. Howard Blank and all those people up in Vancouver and all the great people yeah. up there, and I, I'm delighted that it's on there. And I, by the way, I won two Emmys for that. Yeah, all right, yeah. shut up. You, yeah. you can keep the applause down. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, two Emmys, you know, I'm in the business 50 years. 50 years. And I said, when, I, what is this on tape? I know what I'm saying. Yeah, I keep, yeah. What do you remind What do you, playback Charlie? I yeah, mean, yeah. Talking to the FBI, yeah? Where were you? In the car, in the car, in the car, in the car. <laughs> don't do that unless your apartment needs heat. Yeah, all right. You don't remember that. In New York, when we were struggling actors, we used to do, all right, all right, I'll turn on the heat. Anyway, I didn't have to go there. Sit up. It's not a toilet. Sit up, sit up. Guys sitting here in shorts like this. You want a magazine? Anyway, uh... They don't, not, they don't understand that. They said that's too fast. I forgot where I was working. Put up the signs. Anyway, so I went. You don't have signs? That was good the way you turned around like that. That really, like, that really yeah, helps. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it again. Helps the joke that went in the yeah, toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here to help. I'm yeah. here to serve. No need to holler. I'm right on top of you. No, no, this is, this is, that's, part, that's my yeah. thing. I do. I yell stuff in a phony Scottish no, accent. No, you, the Scottish accent is great. I've never been to Scotland. Have you not? They no. love you there, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not go. going. Why not? So many other great places to go. And I have nothing against Scotland. There's Italy, there's Israel. No, I don't want to go to Israel now. I don't feel like ducking. Anyway, I'm a Jew, so there's no problem. <laughs> the German guy with the rifle, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no Germans in here. So, are you going to say I'm a liar? Yeah, no, I'm not saying you're a liar. I was saying, look, if you remember, I was congratulating you on your newfound fame in Canada. Yeah, well, I, 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 not I... only Canada. You know, this, this very honestly, when John Landis and my son Larry and, and, a, and a great group of people and Tony O and, and Elliot Weissman and all this put this thing together, yeah. it, it, really, it, it really tells a story of, of how tough a life a comedian can have and how joyous it can be. And for you young people, it's, it's really something I, I think you'll enjoy because it, it tells the personal part of your life and it tells the fun part of your life. And as I hold this in my hand, I want to thank the Academy. Thank you. <laughs> Give me the damn thing. Give me the damn thing. Well, you, got all these, you got all these different people there. Why, why, why am I not in this lineup? You're like everybody else there. Because you're everybody. not big enough. Why, come on! <laughs> no, you're, you're big enough, but I, I, I wanted to keep it funny and happy, you know? <laughs> you stop doing that, you'll break it, for crying out loud. Don't worry, that, this is the American stop one. Stop dying, it's not an X-ray, it's a, it's a show, for crying out loud. Good one, too. Oh, God bless your kid, keep going. <laughs> <sighs> What about the, uh, the Orleans? You go to the Orleans. I yeah, love that room hotel, in the Orleans. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I, I mean, They've got a bowling alley in them. <laughs> I'm not Polish. Anyway, uh, and nothing. No, I, Polish people are great, but they, they're big in bowling. Jews don't bowl. We own the alley. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, I laughed at your crap. You're going to start right. laughing. Oh, God. Oh, ho, ho. Anyway, so... <laughs> why, why do you sit like that? Are you, are you, do you think I'm a dentist? Why do you... Oh, well, I, well, you want me to sit next to you? you like no, 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 no. No, no, I'm sitting next to you. I got I've had no, no, no. Yeah, I'm sitting next to you. There you go. I don't want you. I don't want you. Hey. Those are great boots. Well, thank you. Those are great boots. You now, want... that, that right there, that's your oh, Austin Powers boots These aren't bad. Right these are a little right gay, there. but they're not bad. <laughs> 
No, these are great. These they are, are dude. Your shoes are smart. Do you, are you happy with those? What is this, a shoe show? We're doing a regular show here. Right? No, no, we're getting a little more daytimey now. Oh. I'm asking you about... Hey, this is great. It's, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, on, we're on American Airlines. More yeah, peanuts? Yeah. More peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you go, you go to Germany, around the world, right, Scotland? Yeah. I, yeah. I was just on the airline now, and the girl came up and said, Sir, would you care for another round of peanuts? And it's 78 hours, and you get peanuts, you know. <laughs> and I love when, when, when they come, oh, this is the captain. You notice, you can never hear, because I just came from uh, Connecticut, I was up in Foxwoods, and we had a long, from Boston, it's a long ride back, you know. You people, you get out of the house at all, you people? No, no, anyway. no, no, no. So when you come back, it's a long trip. But well, I love from, when, from Foxwoods in Connecticut to Boston, that's like two hours. No, no, don't be a smart ass. Oh. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you're yelling. Will you stop no, yelling? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah. so, no, so you come back and the pilot gets on, you know, like you're maybe two hours from Boston out, and you hear, this is the captain speaking. Well, I'm just going to see, and it's hot, 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 right? And you're all not available, baby. You see the seatbelt, and I'm buying it, yeah, and hot, 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 Crash. Anyway, so. Uh, I was just thinking that. It's a long, long ride. No, how long, you, the, the gentleman with the yellow shirt, how long are you married? What? Ten years. Do you have to do this? Ten years? <laughs> you got a little spring on your ass that makes you do that? Ten years? <laughs> Ten years. God bless you. Third wife? <laughs> Second wife. See? Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. You were only one off. Oh, huh? uh, you're, you're, you're very stunning. You, you look like you're very happy. Anyway. Uh, you know when you talk to these people, we have to pay them. Well, with the money you make, you'll get over yeah, it. Yeah, I, don't make any, I, don't I make spoke any to Peter LaSalle, your producer, who said to me, it's a little out of line what he makes. You know, you, you do it. You know, you got to think of it. You yeah. were doing comedy sketches on other television shows, yeah. and today you're a big star. You're making a lot of money. You got married. Who you be you talking big, to? Who are you finish? Let me finish. Oh, you got a big house. In, got a big house in Malibu. A big house in That's Malibu. right. I met your son, who loves to do magic. Oh, my, yeah, my son. Yeah, your yeah. son is like what? 10, 11? Eight. Eight. I'm yeah. not a kidnapper. You can tell me the truth. No, no, I'm telling you. He's eight. 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 He's adorable, and he does magic. He yeah, comes he's... over here at a dinner party, which we were at, That's and he said, right. "What's his name again?" Milo. Right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> He got it right! Set him again! Anyway, move up two steps, you got it right. Anyway, so, I'm really so, glad I remembered so, it. Actually, and, and the kid's right. adorable. <laughs> don't, when I'm talking, don't. Okay, do that. I'm sorry. Though. This guy here in the front's great. He's sitting like this the whole show. <laughs> the hell are you, a mannequin? Will you stop talking to We have to pay them. I told you we have to pay they'll them. They'll get over it. The, the whole front row. These guys are great. They, they really dressed up for the show. They're, yeah. sitting there, they're sitting there in their underwear, for crying out loud. <laughs> So, so the, his son, his son, adorable kid, he comes up and says, Mr. Rickles, want to see some magic? And, and I'm having a couple of vodkas, and I'm not in the mood for no eight-year-old kid pulling on my pants to do magic, you know. And he goes, watch this, Mr. Rickles. Turn around, boom, boom, disappear. And of course, he's an eight-year-old kid, and you go, so, so where's the magic? That, watch this again, Mr. Rickles. Disappear. <laughs> so I slapped him in the face, and he went away. No, that's a joke. He that's, was ad he's adorable, yeah. but he loves to do magic. Tell him, I, tell him I talked about him, okay? Yeah, well, sure. <laughs> I, to be honest, I mean, you're a legend, Don, but with the eight-year-old set, I just don't know how much uh, they'll that's learn going. someday. All right, if I'm God just lets saying. me live, they'll know someday. Right, oh, well, by the way, yeah. I was in New York recently. I got a segue because you're not a big help. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was in New York. This is. I'm listening, I'm listening. And gang, listen, any of you New Yorkers know this. And I love New York. I was born and raised in New York. And so a couple of weeks ago, we're in New York, and we came out of Elaine's. That's a very prominent restaurant there, which we hang out late at night. And we're coming out of Elaine's at, late at night. And you, you have these gentlemen that are in bad trouble. You know, I don't want to use the word beggars. They're not beggars. They're people in trouble. Well, they're beggars. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but they're people in trouble, really. A lot of homeless. We got a lot of economic problems, which you all know, but I won't get into that. But anyway, so we're walking down the street. My wife and I and a few people, uh -huh. and the guy says, oh, Mr. Rickles, Mr. Rickles, please, and I use that voice because that's how they sound. Yeah. Mr. Rickles, please, please, help me, help me, uh, yeah, 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 get, get a few dollars, give me, give me something, Mr. Rickles, Mr. Rickles. And I always have a set thing that I do all the time. I take a $5 bill out of my pocket and I say, here's $5, buy yourself a ranch, okay? <laughs> and the guy goes, thank you, Mr. Rickles. And we walk away, and that, usually that's the end of it. And as we're walking up the street, the same man comes running after me. Now, Mr. Rickles, we need cattle. <laughs> Don Rickles, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name, 
My name is Drake, and I am, I am the sad gay clown at the head of a mighty robot skeleton army. Or, I'm a middle-aged white guy telling jokes in the middle of the night. Either way, you're here, I'm here. Why not carry on? My next guest, in fact, there's a bit of class now, so behave yourself. He's a comedy icon. He's at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas, March the 20th and the 21st. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody! Don Rickles. I agree. <laughs> no, that's awfully sweet here, really. I, I, in my career, I've gotten applause, but this is cute. When you've got an audience of about 12 and they go crazy, <laughs> just go crazy. Yeah, they go. It's a very, very small audience, but they're, they're quality. Why, quality are you, people. why are you yelling? I'm right on top of you. <laughs> By the way, it's well, nice to be back with you. You're a good friend, and I'm delighted to be on your show. I really am. You, you, He's a special kind of guy. You know, we've been together socially. We've got to know each other over the years now with Peter LaSalle, his producer, who's, who's, who's in the background wondering if Johnny Carson will call. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> Johnny, rest his soul, was a, was a great artist. Oh, yeah, yes, artist. yes. No, no, absolutely. That was a great ad libs. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> I, was just, uh, I was just trying to remind you I'm here. <laughs> I'm over here. I'll, I'll, I'll remind you of something. Why? Mom! Why? Why? Listen, Don. No, Don. Don, listen to me. Listen to me. This is. I, I need you to concentrate. Okay. All right. What is I, this, a test? When you hear yeah, the bell... It's, it's a test. When, it's just, come on. When you hear the bell, go to history. For right. <laughs> are you... Are, do, you, do you go on the Twitter? Do, do, do you... Do, do you... Do, do. <laughs> you see... You never got, you got your visa, you became an American, and you're still doing it. Uh, 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 uh. You still can't get over wearing those funny pants and watching sheep die. <laughs> he, you're in America a long time now. I mean, when I first met him, I got on the show and said, How are you? Uh, 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 uh. And, and, and all your crew went, Isn't he great? Isn't he great? <laughs> Oh, come on, you gotta start. And listen, do me a favor. There's a new thing out called a hanky. <laughs> you don't, you don't sniff like that. You don't do that. Now listen, but I want to tell you something. <laughs> that was good. See, that's see, that's talent. When he went, <laughs> where? Oh, nice to see you. Dad, lady. you saw the Swedish girls, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> I'm much. Yeah. I'm happily married now, darling, <laughs> and I don't get excited anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's enough now. <laughs> Nothing else moves except this. <laughs> By the way, his name is Spider. Anyway, that's, that's too deep for you. I'm sorry. Show the cards. See, that's cute. Well, what are you talking? Oh, you're still here? I thought, I thought you forgot about me. I thought you'd met your new friends from Sweden and you were off. No, they, no they, they're young and beautiful. Uh, they are. Where were you 60 years ago when I was... <laughs> when I was in heat 24 hours a day? Yeah. Yeah. No, they, they're beautiful girls. Are you, all, are you all single girls? Yes. Want to go to a party? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock it off. Knock it off. There's laws against that kind of thing. Now, that's sexual harassment. You can't talk to an audience like that. You have to respect them. <laughs> that, was good. that was a good speech. Thanks. No, <laughs> See, I let you talk, and where do you go? Right? Yeah, dump yeah, it. Yeah, it doesn't no, mean no. anything. So, what's new? Hey, hankies. Hankies. You were the one that started on the hankies, that's and then you were there. Yeah. Well, you okay. got your, well, yeah, There's the one right there. Okay, Scotsman turns on Jew. No! That's not fair! That's not fair! Okay. Okay. I don't think that's fair. Nah. How's you Barbara's Barbara all right? Oh, thank God. She, we, you know, uh, I must say, we're, we're married, well, we're, we're married 45 years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
Don't applaud. You never saw her. Anyway, uh, see, that joke will cost me. That yeah, that will. That will. Jewish broads, you can't. You got to come up with a couple of diamonds or something. You know what I mean? She sits around in Malibu you know, with, a, with a ring, signaling ships. Come on, this is funny I, I, stuff. I, I, that, no, it's, 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 it's great stuff. Uh, no, I'm if I leave it up to you, we'll be mutes. No, no, no. I'm just working at a slower pace tonight. I'm working at a slower pace. Well, slower pace. Uh, a good, slower good, pace. Uh, uh, How's you know, Barbara you know then? She, is she good? That's what I asked you. Is Barbara, is she all right? Well, yeah, but I have a new thing now. She gets up at night. You have a new thing? She must be happy about that. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, finally. Whoa. I was wondering where it was. Yeah. Boy, I, was Boy, I know. You, you were really I, trailing me. You were though. worried. I was. I think we were all a little worried. Anyway, we got that right. Good. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. But you, you're, a, hey, you're a newly married man. You're a lovely wife. Yes, I. Uh, yes, she is. I met her. She's adorable and beautiful, she is. Mm -hmm. and it's great. It's going good. She's Swedish. <laughs> She's not. She's not. But she kind of could be. She has blonde hair. She's a lovely girl. She, she really, is. Yeah, really she is. is. You like her, don't you? Yeah, I like her so much. No, but I mean, that, that last party we were at, you what were kind of like that. Was, I got no, 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 no. You were, you were getting a little bit grabby. <laughs> not, no, not me. That, no, yeah, yes, you. That you was were, you in the back of, with the waitress going, <laughs> Hey, no. No. No, not I, me, not me, John. I'm I a never sad get gay I never get horny like that. Spider to go to sleep at night. When you get older, you get in bed, get in the pajamas, and, and, and the big guy goes... <laughs> in the old days, when I was your age, got in the pajamas, and he went, when I was single. No, 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 no. Always searching. <laughs> And then when I was younger, when I was 18, 19 in the yeah, Navy, yeah. you know, we used to talk about broads and we had those tight pants, and all of a sudden you looked down and you said, is that a, is that a boil? <laughs> See, you weren't, well, you, you weren't in the service. No, I wasn't in the Navy, no. Well, I, I dressed as a sailor a couple of times. <laughs> But I wasn't uh, in the Navy. Ah, uh, God, I, yeah, I was in the Navy. I was... How long were you in the Navy for then? Oh, about 30 years. No, I was in the Navy two and a half years, World yeah. War II. Where, where were you, Pacific? Uh, no, no, Spain. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, was in the, I was in the Philippines, uh, Tacloban, Lingayan Gulf, Cebu. I was on PTs. Uh, I kept saying, I said, I'm a comedian. This is true. I said, I'm a comedian, I do jokes. I said, keep firing. <laughs> No, 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 you don't understand, sir. Joe. <laughs> Keep firing. <laughs> and now they all come to Vegas, watch the show, and go, funny guy. <laughs> and I gotta kiss their ass so my grandchildren get toys. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> hey, you know, we, we gotta take a commercial break. Are you okay with that? No, oh, sure. Hey, with the salary you get, take everything yeah, you right. get. We'll take a commercial break. I'm trying to be nice to you, but you keep interrupting me. What's it now? Before I forget, because right, we're what? good friends, so I can uh, take this liberty. Okay. My, my manager's been under the weather. His name is uh, uh, Elliot Weissman, uh -huh. and he's, uh, he's had some problems with his health, but uh, I just wanted to let him know that we're thinking of him and wish him good things. That's, that's right. right. Oh. On that note. On that note of uh, managing your career, uh, I said earlier on that you were at the Orleans Casino on Feb in March, but it's February apparently. It's February the 20th and the right. 21st. I'm just writing it down here. Right Thanks for that excellent joke, guys. And I then pick up some chopped liver and boom, boom, boom. Yeah, chopped liver. <laughs> and a bagel. Diamonds for Barbara. <laughs> She's got yeah. that. She's hey, got the Orleans is a great place, isn't it? I, I like that casino. And, uh, I used to what go do you, What do you think of Vegas? It's new to you compared to my years. Oh, I've been well, there 50 years. And... Uh, it seems like a big corporate event to me. I mean, the, when you were there with uh, oh, Frank and Dean yeah, and yeah, Sammy, well, you know, that was a very different time. Yeah, right? what happened to them? Uh, anyway, uh... <laughs> no, I don't want to be the one to tell you. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to make too many jokes. Yeah, some, of, some of their friends are alive and yeah. we can stand here going, No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, there were, there, were, there were great friends. Mr. Sinatra, I rest his soul, was, was a great friend to Barbara and I. And uh, his lovely wife, Barbara, is still with us. And he was, he was a great man. He really he had some dark sides about him. But 
to know him was to love him. And then Dean was great. All those guys in San we we had some great fun. Today, it's, you know, it's like... Vegas a, is very different. Well, now, sure, right? you, yeah. you have a cup of coffee, the guy goes, cup of coffee. Four, here's your chit, here's your card, here's your boom. Oh. Hey, you watch hey, 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 come on, let me see. The Jew wants to go no. with you. <laughs> Remember those kind of guys? I would say... I would say, anyway, so it, it was great because it had an atmosphere of uh, the, the tough guys were, were always great to the actors. Now, today it's different. Everybody is wonderful, I must say, but it's more corporate. You know, it's more, yeah. uh, for everything advances. It's now more of a, a Disneyland kind of atmosphere where you can bring your family and your kids. In my and, day, and also prostitutes. You, there's still prostitutes there. <laughs> Don't be crude. I hate that when you're crude. <laughs> Talked about your penis called Spider to the speed the Swedish girl. And then you say, but why am I being crude? You're out of control. Well, I'm just saying, you've upset me because you said. You're out of control. Damn it. Now, I can't take too much more. You're out of control. I'm trying to be nice. Don't uh, uh, sting me. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, come over here from another country no, with no, a dress. Don't start, with, don't start with that. Well, now, how long have you been a citizen? A year. Uh, two or two years. Well, you're going back. Well, no, you can't. <laughs> Don, we have to take, uh, apparently, yet another commercial break. Will you stick around? Oh, sure. It's, it's a mercy thing. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Don Rickles Show. Oh, I'm his... I'm his sidekick, the sad gay clown from another country. We were talking about Las Vegas. By the way, you know who's on tonight? Uh, well, it's been done already. Regis was on with, uh, with his wife, Joy. Uh, on Dave? On, on Letterman. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah. the guy you walk around behind his car and go... <laughs> Hey, don't be embarrassed. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, for the money you get, you should do that. Do wait, that. Do what? Go behind his car and go. Yeah. Why did I do that? I know what I said. What is this on tape? I know what the hell we said. I'm, I'm just making sure. Gee, I'm checking everything I say anymore. <laughs> this gentleman here, sir, would you sit up? This is not a toilet. If you don't. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. No, it's a truck. It's a guy in front of me. You were. You were flying to him. He was. He was. No, you're right. He was flying to him. How about, a, how, about, how about a magazine? You want a magazine? Yeah, yeah. Get him a magazine. We, we got visitors from another country here, pal. You don't want to be sitting all slouched over like that. <laughs> Isn't he great? <laughs> oh. So, so, back, so, let's, so let's, Regis let's, was on, Dave. Did you watch it? It was fantastic. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, Regis really believes he, you know, he's Pavarotti. It's, forget about uh, it. Yeah, I know. But Re, he's a darling man, and so is Joy. They're great people. No, Regis is coming here. He wants me to sing a song with him that night. But you know what? what? Reading your book, you, you, you did everything. You're, you're a fine singer, too. No, no, no. I just put that in the book. It's a lie, though. No, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can sing. No, a little bit. Yeah. You had quite a life. You know what? I didn't realize... Uh, uh, what yeah. you went through. You went to get to the big time like this it really was good. Although, come on, come without, on, without, come on, come on. No, I'm not going to, without a band, with a small little group and a tiny studio that nobody cares about. I yeah, mean, yeah. Oh. you've really gotten big and that's great. Big I mean, for me, yeah. big for me. Hey, I'm 83 and I'm, I'm kissing no. up to you because I'm going no place. No way you're 83. You're not 83. You're 83? I'm 83 You must moisturize. You moisturize? In, in May I'll be 84. 84 in May, gang, yeah, not bad, huh? Yeah. Hey, what day is your birth? My birth is in May. May 8th, me, you, and Harry Truman. When was yours? May 17th. That's a bad number. Uh, no, come on. No, God bless you. That's well, that right. means you're a Taurus well, and I'm a Taurus. That's why we get along. That's so why quick. we get along. Let's get some broads and get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Swedish girls. <laughs> You don't want old yeah, man. He's young. You and me yeah. forget about it. I, I just lay in bed now and just spit up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> More diamonds, <laughs> more power. Yeah. 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 Right. That's right. All right. That's right. All right. So listen, you're going back to Vegas. Are you out in the road? You're doing more stand up around the country, oh, that yeah. kind of thing. Thank you. you know, I really am. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I I just came back from a place that you were at. With, with both of us, with Austin, Texas. Uh, oh, I love it down there. I'm going down there soon to yeah. Texas. Oh, you're yeah. going back? Yeah. yeah. I, I I loved it there too. They were great to us. The theater. Yeah. Yeah. And did, did, you, did you have a look around the town of Austin? Oh yeah. Beautiful. You know, a lot of guys come up to me and went. Yeah, yeah. But uh, 
And, and they didn't even have a saddle on them. It was one of those. Hey, lady, this is what you're going to hear. It's free. <laughs> The woman with the guy that's walking. I know, the guy that was sledging. I know, I saw it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Billy Graham will come in in a minute and help your hand to get better, you know. You know, I, I think of that because I, I, my biggest thrill in life, really, and I think, I'll ask you that same question. Okay. My biggest thrill in my career to, up to date was being in Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Center for Ronald Reagan, rest his soul, and Frank Sinatra had me uh, on the show, and this is the truth, this is the truth. And they, Frank called me in Hawaii, I was in Hawaii. Right. He says, Don, you're gonna be on the inaugural for Ronald Reagan. I said, Frank, you're kidding, I'm just pack your bags, do what I tell you, you're gonna be there. Yeah. Frank goes to Ronald Reagan's cabinet, and says, we're gonna have Rickles on. No, no, what are you, crazy? We're gonna have Rickles? <laughs> no, no, he says, you're gonna have Rickles. No, no, and he said, God rest his soul, he said, if you don't have Rickles, you don't have me. Oh. That's, that's truth, that's how it started out. And then I got to Washington and had the Marine Guard and all that fancy stuff and boom. And they said, well, what is Rickles going to do? And he said, whatever he wants. <laughs> and I've, I've never been off the color of the road. I really haven't. I, if you see me in person, you'll realize. I, I say a couple of things, but nothing, you know, the young kids today open with them. Yeah, that's and, you know, true, yeah. And, hey, I don't put it down. If the people laugh and show up for them, more power to them. But I'm getting a little pissed off. <laughs> anyway, uh... No, not really, not really. They're, they're wonderful young comedians, and I'm happy for them. Oh, I don't like them. Well, <laughs> well, any guy that drinks out no, of a thing no, like no, that, no, how are you going to like anybody? I, I'm telling you, the young comedians with the hay, have you ever noticed how some things are like other things? No, I'm 47, I've been married three times. I never noticed how some things are like other things. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, hey, have you ever noticed? And plenty son of a bitch. Yeah, plenty yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. Anyway, so you're at the inauguration, it's Ronald Reagan, yeah, Frank Ronald Reagan, right, thank you. And so we're at the inauguration, and I get up there, and, uh, and bless me, I did Rickles as Rickles does, and I made fun of the president, and, I, he, and Ronald Reagan was a great man, he really was, forgetting your politics, but he was a great man. And I don't say that sarcastically, I mean, really, whatever you believe in. You know, today, it's like today, Obama, God bless me, he's a new president, everybody's happy. But you go to parties here in L.A., and if, if you liked George Bush or if you didn't like George Bush, in my day you said, well, not my cup of tea, or it wasn't my kind of guy. Today you say to party, you say to me, Don, uh, you know, uh, oh, President Obama, I didn't like the speech you made Friday. Uh, Don, uh, President Obama, I didn't like... What are you crazy? What do you mean you didn't like it? What are you nuts? What are you nuts? Obama's the greatest. What are you crazy? That is insane. It's true. Absolutely true. Tom, we're out of time. I gave you the whole damn show and we're, we still don't have enough time. <laughs> You're going to have to come back again and end oh, the story because we're, yeah. we're out of time. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, no. you, you, you folks are delightful. And I tell you, being in the company of this man, really, and I got to know him socially as a friend, he and his lovely wife, to know him is to be really blessed because he's, he's full of warmth and, and he's a real booster and a supporter of all of you people. He really is. Well done, Rickles, everybody. We'll be right back. of In Your Pants. In Your Pants. With, uh, my name's Jeff Peterson. Uh, my first guest tonight is a, a young rising star in the stand-up comedy circuit. He's, uh, yeah, he's sensational, this kid. He's, uh, he, it's, on September the 23rd, he's going to be at the Casino Rama in Ontario, Canada. Uh, and then on October the 16th and 17th, he's at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Please welcome the rising young star of American comedy, Mr. Don Rickles, everyone. <laughs>
All right, that's, that's enough. Don't get, don't get him. He'll, he'll get uh, ideas if you start with that. <laughs> that was, that was very kind of you, but it should have gone longer. <laughs> no, thank you very much. I, I'm very, I'm very proud of that. You know, as we, as we get older in this business, uh, you're, you're very grateful that the good Lord gives you a chance to perform. And when I see you folks respond to, you see us, you know, it's never old. It's like what's in here. So don't ever think you're old. <laughs> See, I thought for once you were going to be sincere there. I thought you were going to. I thought it was. Uh, it was going to be a heartfelt moment, and then people would be all excited about Why it. And you there you went. You undercut it again. Why are you hollering? What are you hollering about? I'm right here. I'm you know, that reminds me. That reminds me. It has nothing to do with anything. You know, you, 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 you young people. You know, Broadway. You know, you ever see the Broadway actors? And I love Broadway. That's the one thing in my life. I don't know about you, what? but I never did Broadway, and I want. I did off Broadway, but never did Broadway proper. I said, gee, if I got a shot on Broadway before I die, that would be great. And I've had a few opportunities, but you know, it means work. And so, uh, <laughs> and so Broadway was always the thing. But if you ever meet a Broadway actor, and you meet them socially, you go, how are you, Tom? I'm pretty good, Don, how are you? Now you meet them the night before the show goes on. Ah, oh, are you excited about the show? I'm fine, Don, how's the family? Are you okay? And then they go on stage. Broadway, my mother knows my dog is dead. Broadway, <laughs> Broadway. And they talk like this all the time, you know? So that was the story, which you people have no idea what the hell I was talking about. Hey, that's pretty good, though. Hey, uh, that's, uh... What a night! What a night! You don't have this excitement too often, and then when you get to my age, this goes up. Anyway, uh... All right, here's 100 for you for the broad, and 200 right, for yeah. me. Does those money bits? He's, he's a lonely guy. He's a lonely. Yeah, I'm a lonely guy. Hi, hi. By anyway, the way, by the way, may I may I drop this in? But what? and I and I really mean this, my uh, This wonderful man, uh, his lovely wife. Uh, you're going to have a baby. We are. Yeah, yeah. We're and, uh, yeah. Got, got, you, you have you have one child. Yeah, I got a nine-year-old boy, and I got another one coming. No, no another nine-year-old boy. I, I mean, they, uh, <laughs> isn't he great? Dynamite. Everything he says, dynamite. Yeah, I see. Uh, sometimes when you do that, I just don't think you're being sincere. I think, <laughs> you're, being, I think you're being sincere. That's a it, wild guess. No, you're right. You're right. I don't know why you do that. I'm always because I don't like you. <laughs> see, I, I never liked you. I never liked you. I respect you, but I don't like you. I see. I don't even think you respect me. I think. No, you're... that's not true. Okay. I don't respect you, because I'm so pissed off that you skyrocketed. I can't believe it. <laughs> When I met him, he was in Scotland going, nah, all right. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that was quite hey, a weekend. I saw you laughing. You like that one. <laughs> you don't see the host laughing when no, I do. No, you know? no. Usually they go off like a, like a lot of them. And go, ah, that son of a bee. No, no, no. No, I, anything with sheep, I'm usually interested. <laughs> I won't go there. Yeah. You've been over there. You've been over to Scotland. Have you been over there? No, I never have. We really? like to go to places where we can have fun. Oh, see? <laughs> I love, I, 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 I've been over to England. I've been in England. Maybe. Well, I love that I go, Mary, Daddy's home. Daddy's home, Mary. Want to take a pop at it, Mary? How about a pop? You know, they don't even know what that is, you know? Uh, you know what I love? This guy in the front, guy, little heavy set guy. The guy with my, and he's sitting here like, what's going on, Rose? <laughs> Sit back. You're a heavy guy. Sit back. Because a couple of minutes, you'll, the, the guy next to you is going to go. <laughs> uh, God bless you. Is that your dad? Is that your dad? Is that your dad? God bless you, dad. I was only kidding. Dad! The old man, see, you can always tell when they get old because the mouth can't close. <laughs> You can't do that, no. My, you know, I, hey, I'm 84, but I close the, Dad, you got to keep the mouth closed. Otherwise, they, they come with a hook and you're in a box like this. <laughs> keep the mouth closed. They'll never know. But as soon as you do this, that's when the guy goes, get the sheet, Lou. Get the sheet. No, 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 Wait no, a minute. No, I'm no, a no. funny son of a bitch. No, no. <laughs> Done. Can I just, just for a second, excuse me. 
CBS in no way endorses the views of <laughs> Mr. John Rickles. Ah, they ought to because you're going in the dumper without oh, it. Oh, come on. Come on. You know, you are a gracious, wonderful man. We, we, we got to know each other through Peter LaSalle. Peter, the lovely Peter LaSalle. He produces not, this show. Yeah, he's, well, he's, he's, uh, in, he's in the uh, wonderful control room, and this is what he does. <laughs> But he's a charming guy, and he takes care of you. And he was with uh, Johnny Carson, who... Uh, you, did you know Johnny? No, I never met Johnny. He was... Uh, rest his yeah. soul, you young people and the elders, too. He was a magnificent host, as well as this gentleman is. And, and Johnny was... Uh, and made it, made it possible for guys like my friend Greg to, to be that successful. Why do you always call me Greg? My name's Craig. You call me Greg all the time. You know, you know me for years. You know me for, you know, I've known you for like seven years now. You, you still call me Greg. Why do you call me Greg? Because it's not going to change Frank. your career. Is it going to change it? Yeah. What, you're going to have more people in this closet? What are you kidding? <laughs> the, room, the room seats two, two, 200 maybe and one against the wall on a hook. And he's worried. <laughs> He's worried. Is his name Craig or Crunk? Who cares? <laughs> Get up in the morning and say, bah. <laughs> when, the, when does the dummy talk? Call me a hockey puck. Yeah. Just once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rickles, who's the dummy now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, 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 to his own, Don. Uh, how, do, how do you challenge a toy? <laughs> anyway, uh, in uh, your pants. <laughs> what did he say? He said, in your pants. In he your pants. All the time, yeah. God bless you. Yeah. I want his name and I want him dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's the trouble. He's already dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's just yep. dead. Yeah. <laughs> We have to take a break now. Okay. Yeah. Let's get back to Wes, and when you're through smelling your hand, we'll continue. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right. That was nice to have the audience do that. That was very sweet. Yeah, of you. I didn't have them do it. Oh. They did it. No, I swear. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with my friend Don Rickles. Now, I say he, he is my friend. I know he pretends like he's not my friend. No, but we, we are. We, we are. We're friends. Now, you kind of. You, uh, <laughs> when did we meet? We met when I first started this show, didn't we? Yeah, well, uh, uh, Peter LaSalle again. Peter, who's a, an old friend and a good friend. He's not yeah. old. He's good. Well, hey, you seem yeah, pretty he old. Yeah, old. <laughs> you see him walking around like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a night. What a night. <laughs> No, but uh, God bless. And, and Peter was the one that introduced us, and uh, he told me about you coming here, and uh, it was very exciting. And, and you made a way for yourself. Because the com competition, you know, with, with all the, the people uh, on television today, and it's great that you created your own identity, which is so important. I, 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 I think the lack of money helped. I think what happened was... Uh, you don't have an orchestra, you don't have a lot of things, but you have a show that's weak, and it's going. Yeah. <laughs> and I think... I think that's... I think that's the charm. I yeah, think that people are not threatened. Weak, that's it, that's yeah, they're not threatened by talent. But you or... know what you have? That's, you know, you know what you have, which is uh, your opening is so great. When you hit the 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 uh, camera and you do America, blah blah blah, yeah. and you do it with this uh, wonderful dummy pain in the ass out there, <laughs> and, and, and you know, and, and you do all that stuff, and you do all that stuff. That's original and that's great. That's what makes you so successful, in my opinion. Well, really. I think what is is that what happens, the reason I hit the camera is because to get it going. <laughs> What a night. No, I'm just what a night. Tell me about doing the Orleans in Vegas. I love the Orleans. Five, six. Oh, oh anyway. Uh, I'm doing the stand up again. I see that's a great room there in that Orleans there in Vegas. It is. Uh, yeah. I, 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 you know, it's 50 years. God bless. 50 years in Las Vegas and. Uh, I, I started in lounges and, and now in the Orleans Hotel, which is a great room for comedy. Yeah, it really no, is. It is yeah. But people say, you know, com comedy, we people in comedy, uh, uh, I, I tell you very honestly, you know, a singer comes out there, someone like Sinatra, got lucky. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> what man on earth could say that, by the way? It's, it's only a joke, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> what could he do to me? <laughs> But, you know, I always said, my mother, rest of always said to me, Don, you're out there, we sell ourselves. We have nothing. We're, we're like bare naked. 
We come up if you like us. And it's personality. You know, so many times you hear a guy say, oh, that joke was funny. But if you don't like his personality, you get a little uptight. And so we have to sell ourselves. Uh, this wonderful gentleman, Craig and I, every night we sell ourselves wherever we work. And uh, you get, even when you walk, go to dinner, like my wife says, well, my wife, you know, 45 years married, and you know what her big comment is? Is that about it? <laughs> anyway, uh, Sure, I've heard say. I've heard say. I've heard say. No, because as Craig knows, with his lovely wife, we're always performing. When you meet people, you can't say, how are you, Don? I, I would like to say, I feel lousy. Leave me alone. <laughs> we can't do that. You've because... done that to me. Wait a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Well, You've well, done that to me. Well, with you, I meant it. All right, okay. Anyway, uh, no, not seriously. But yeah, we're, always, we're always trying to sell ourselves. And my wife said, well, I don't know how about your missus, but in 45 years, I, that's why I love her, I married a Valium, you know. I go into, I, I go into a, a restaurant and I'll say, Don, how are you? I go, what do you say, sweetheart, how are you? And she's like, will you stop it? Just stop it. <laughs> Talk like a person. I said, if I would, you wouldn't have a dime of jewelry. Yeah, well, let's do that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we're out of time, though. We're out of time? Out of time. Okay. Hey, no, oh, I, I, no. I'll be trying to leave a little more, you know, a little bit of a hug after you're done. Oh, I hey, see. No, I, I see. Hey, this has been a wonderful night for me. I'm going back tomorrow to the States. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you the very best. I, I wish you and the best And with your well. new child, may God be good to you uh, and your lovely bless. wife. I mean it from my heart. You're indeed a gentleman and a great deal of class. And God you, my friend, really, I mean, and, and Maestro are, I mean, are a legend, and it's, a, it's just a, a joy to know you. Don Rickles, everybody. Don Rickles. guest this evening is one of the greatest comedians of all time. He would tell you he was the greatest comedian of all time. I'd say he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. <laughs> all right, he's the greatest comedian of all time. <laughs> he's got a stand-up tour underway. August the 6th, he's playing Mohegan Sun. August the 20th, the Arcada Theatre in St. Charles, Illinois. And then September the 16th and 17th, he's in Vancouver. <sighs> <laughs> Did the lights just go out there? The lights changed there a bit, didn't they? No? <laughs> Ooh la la! With me, they did. They did, didn't they, Jeff? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Mr. Warmth, the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody. <laughs> It was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was not bad. I thought it was like, they're glad to see you. I'm still a little, I don't know, but... You don't have to yell. I'm right on top of you. Well, I don't know. I like to make sure you can hear me. Okay, that's it for me. <laughs> I like that you're wearing tweed. Is that tweed? What, are you blind? No, well, I'm just saying. It's, it's a tweed. It's I don't know. Nice. Well, I'm not in the garment business. It's a jacket. I paid for it. I got it. It's nice. It's tweed. a nice jacket. I was trying to give you a compliment. That's all. Jesus, you're getting oh. out of control. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm overcompensating. Ah, uh, don't worry. This show's going to stay on as long as I say so. <laughs> no, it's great. And, and nice to see you folks. Because, you know, you work a lot of shows. It's, supposed to be, it's in the dark. You know, you don't see the people. Yeah, yeah. But here you see the people. Yeah. And maybe we should be in the dark. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Don't, don't put them down. They're all dressed pretty bad. <laughs> Look at this guy sitting here in his underwear. I love when they come in with the jeans. Hey, Rose, what time does the show go on? <laughs> You get the class. You get the class. Do you that scratchy, suggestive Well, thing I got a fungus. It's from the Navy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's a, this is CBS, buddy. You can't be scratching yourself like that. I can do whatever I want. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> you hey. came into my dressing room and I got ticks, for crying out loud. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that again. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> so annoyed. With yeah, that. no, come on. Now. Hey, listen, uh, the uh, the stand-up tour, right? Eh? You're going out and playing the Mohegan Sun? And oh, yeah, Mohegan yeah. Sun. Those Indian places are great, you know. Now, be especially careful, with, please. No, they're great. They're great people, especially when the show's on the keyboard. Hey, 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 hey. I don't mind doing a show, but, you know, the audience, they're all standing going, oh, 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 oh. CBS in no way endorses the views of Mr. Rickles or any of the... Uh, don't worry. With your job, you're shaky. Don't worry about it. They're going to dump you and it's over. Don't worry about it. Well, you know, you, can I talk? I'm a guest. I beg your pardon. What the hell is this? A no, tournament? I'm, I'm sorry. you got to fight to talk with this guy, for kind of like. Nice to see... Are you Japanese? Chinese? Are you Chinese? Yeah. Oh, you? We Jews, we love you, especially on Sunday. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off. Boy, I can talk. China, very pretty girl. You can't talk to the Chinese like that. We owe them money. <laughs> as long as they keep doing the laundry, everything's good. Cool. Oh. Hey, 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 like he says. For the money you're paying, that's a funny joke. Oh, come on, man. Gee. Got to worry about so, it. So let's talk to me about this, uh, doing the stand-up Don't tour. beg. I'll talk to you. Don't beg. Well, I'm just saying, though, I'm, I'm worried about you. have got a hectic schedule. You got, you got no, thank Sun. God, you know, you're working. Mohegan Sun is great. Tom, Tom Cantone, he's, he's the big, big guy there. You don't know him. He's a nice right, guy. No, I don't know the big guy. Stands out in front going, Nicky Waka, Nicky. <laughs> you give him a cookie and he goes away. Real plenty of yeah. Do you still enjoy? Do you still enjoy doing the stand-up? Well, sure. Really? Gives the wife a chance to put on the jewelry and stand in the house and go, ha, ha, ha. Sure, I, you know what? It's the traveling. You're a pilot now. Yeah, well, I've been a pilot for a while, but I don't fly myself. <laughs> well, you can bet your bird I'm not going to go with you, I'll tell you no. that. No, did I, you do flying in the Navy? No, you did some flying in no, the Navy. No, no, no. Jews don't fly in the Navy. <laughs> we just stand on the airport and say, here, buy me a plane. No, I, I, was, in, I, was, uh, yeah, I was in World War II, the big I one. I know, I know. <laughs> you, were, you were in Ireland walking around going, got to get him? <laughs> been to Ireland. I'm not from Ireland. I've never been to Ireland. Where, where are you from? I'm from Scotland. What, that's better? Yes, it's better. <laughs> Sit around all day long going, all right, Charlie, pump it up. <laughs> Pumping your bagpipes. Get a day job, for crying out loud. I'm an American now. I'm not. I, I'm, Let me see your papers. I don't even know. Look, I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo right see, there. <laughs> don't I? I tattoo sailors. That, that shows like you like you got a lot of class. Don't worry about the tattoos. You don't need the tattoos. You're a big star now. Hide the tattoo. In the navy, when a guy had a tattoo, it was supposed to be tough. Yeah. You're not tough. I met you backstage. You know you. <laughs> you're a nice guy with a lot of class. You know and. And you got a wonderful, by the way, I saw your baby. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, my six-month-old yeah. baby just has, met a, has yeah. a wonderful baby. And the kid's like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's adorable. It's Do you know what's amazing, though? Yeah. I mean, I mean this with the greatest deal of respect. He looks exactly like you right now. <laughs> In fact, it was a Tuesday night. Hey! No, no, God bless her. It's a, and, and Megan, your wife, is, is beautiful, really. She is. I, I've, she's got very bad eyesight, clearly. But uh, <laughs> do you know she has no sense of smell? What do you do, sit in a bed all night going... <laughs> no, no, no. I love you, honey, but you stink! No, no, no. Anyway. She has no sense of smell. She can't smell when I smell. She had, had some kind of accident when she was a kid. She can't smell anything. Well, so what? That's good news for a guy like me. <laughs> Put her in an institution and forget about her. <laughs> Can't smell. Look at the way this conversation's going. I went out some she stinks, which is a stupid joke to say. And you call her about how she smells. I'm not here to discuss your wife's high hygiene. I'm here to discuss why you're still on the air. Well, it's clearly an oversight. Things go a no, little late at night. Just, by, the way, by the way, you're doing so well. I'm very happy for you. I really mean that. Isn't he? He's, he's really good. Like that. Hey, did you ever, did you ever in your life work with a partner? Did you ever have a, like a, a buddy or a sidekick or something you did your act with? No, somebody, to, you know, walk around behind me and check if somebody trying to pick me off or something like that. But yeah. No, no, I've always been alone because greatness doesn't need a partner. <laughs> That's what I try. I, I, just, I just sit and I take a shower and, a, and the water runs up. I go, <laughs> my God, who am I? Oh. The other equipment just goes, uh, uh. 
When you're married 46 years, the wife says, I'm in love, and I say, I am too. Give me a minute, I gotta go in the other room and think about it. Anyway, uh, 46 years married. You, you should That's see That's amazing. You'll, you'll see her out on Hollywood Boulevard. Psst, sailor. Anyway, uh, I kid about her being a hooker and all that stuff. But she's, <laughs> she's not, I know your wife. She's a very dignified and classy woman. Well, uh, you don't know when you're alone, boy. You don't know. Yeah. When, uh, when she does that bathrobe trick, forget about it. <laughs> she no. does the bathrobe trick? Why are you getting horny? What's the matter with you? You told me about the bathrobe No, it's, we got class. 46. Uh, do you make love often? You see, I give him a little sex and when he went to you wet your pants just then, didn't you? I was going to say on my own or with somebody else. That's all I was going to ask. <coughs> now, sex is, see, you young people remember, sex is beautiful, but the basis is to be a friend and to care about each other and to wake up in the morning, and take a pop, but then forget about it a little bit. <laughs> but don't base your whole life on boom, 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 you know. I haven't, and that's why this leg don't work. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a commercial break? Hey, it's your show. Do whatever you want. All right. We'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Don. I'm here with the legendary Don Rickles. Are you all right being called legendary? Is that okay with that? I don't mind. As long as I'm alive, thank God, you know. Yeah. I am now uh, 85 years young, and I feel good. 85? Yeah. Yeah. Now, you just... Uh you just started on the uh, on the Tweety, the uh, the Twitter. Yeah, well, uh, Barbara, that's my wife. Uh, you, you'll meet her later. She's out in the hall going, got a minute? You, you walk over and talk to her. <laughs> lonely broad, lonely broad. Anyway... But no, I, I just got into I know you're into that. The, the Twitter, and she said, yeah. it's, a, it's a good thing for you. And I've, it's, it, to do these tweets, it's new to me, but it, it, it keeps the, the head going. And I write some funny stuff, uh, hopefully. And I just joined the tweet, and I'm very excited about it. Now, what's, what's your Tweety handle? Is that Don Rickles? That's it? Don, Don Rickles? Don, 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 Don. Don, Don Rickles? <laughs> it's Don, Don, Don. I, I, don't, I think it's Malibu Bob. I, I don't, I really Malibu don't. Bob? Malibu Bob's the guy. Never mind about no, Malibu Bob. Don't you get pissed Bob. off at me? I'm just talking no, nice. You don't start to bring up Malibu Bob in my show. <sighs> Nazi guy, I swear to God. <laughs> no, I, I don't know too much about it because it's the beginning for me. But I, but I'm. Well, I'm going to help you. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm going to help you. I got some Tweeties here. Oh, good. And then and some people have asked asked me questions on the Tweety. <laughs> oh. Boy, oh boy, what? Did I you do? talk to him yet? No, I don't talk to dummies. <laughs> How hey, are you? Don, hey. <laughs> hey, look, I'm a big fan of your earlier work. Thanks. Before the talkies, I mean. <laughs> God, God bless you. Yeah, yeah, be careful with him. He's, he's, he's spiteful. He doesn't have the no, warmth he's a good guy. You, you, know, you gotta make to dress up like that. You need the job. I mean... <laughs> God bless you, though. You're very good in this. You really, you really you, are. Thank you, sir. You're a legend. I loved you in Toy Story. Oh, I'm thinking of Tom Hanks. <laughs> That's two he got off. I'm too. starting to get yeah, a little, no, little annoyed. I'll get him unplugged. I'll get him I've been unplugged. nice, but the man's trying to make no, no, a no, turn right. on me. No, you're right. You were being nice. He was being antagonistic. I can have him unplugged. <laughs> no, nah, leave did, him alone. Did Frank ever say that to you? I can have him unplugged? Frank who? You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Frank Sinatra, rest of the soul. He was, he was the best. He, you, you brought a man in that I adored. He was, he was great. And, and if he were here tonight, he would break him up. Yeah, he would. Anyway, uh, yeah, I know that. No, he, Sinatra was somebody special. And I, in fact, I'm going to work with his, uh, with his son, which I'm looking for, Frank Jr., oh, yeah? with, with his orchestra and so forth, and we're looking forward to it. Well, what are you going to be? Are you going to be singing? No, no, I'm going to be tap dancing in the hall. <laughs> Man, it was a perfectly legitimate question. Oh, what a dumb thing. I'm what the hell is wrong with you? I was asking you a, a perfectly legitimate question. Don't, you... don't, don't steam me, Craig. Oh. Don't steam me. <laughs> Why would I get out there? I'm, I'm, I'm a comedian, suppose, supposedly. I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a singer. I do music and so forth. But uh, working with uh, his, his son is, is going to be a big kick for me. Oh, you must have known him since he was very small. Oh, yeah. I knew him. Well, he was kidnapped once. Oh, yeah. yeah that's weird. Yeah. Was Are that you? you? No. You know oh. what? Oh. If it was me, you'd see me now. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you know why they let him go? Why? They heard him humming in the trunk. Anyway, uh, 
<laughs> That's a deep story. The kid was in the trunk. Yeah, and I yeah, couldn't yeah, find yeah. him. And then, hey, don't vote on this stuff. Don't vote on no, it. You're not voting. All right, here's another Tweety. Uh, this the year. old man knew about that. See? What? I don't know who you are, but you're an old man. Anyway, uh, no, how old a man are you? 62. What? 62. 62? Go to a rest home for. He's 62. These people are Look at him, he's sitting there enjoying himself. Is that the wife? No. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Hey, hey, there's one. This is from Oscar in McKinney in Texas, all right? You ready? Sure. Dear Craig and Don and Jeff, I recently started dyeing my hair to combat a few greys. Everyone says it is noticeable. Should I stop? Do you ever dye your hair? Never. Why not? Because I'm handsome. What do I have to dye in my hair? Yeah. Hey, here's your answer. All right, this is from Mark in Fort Lauderdale. You spend a lot of time down in Florida there? Have you been down there? Hey, that's what... When, when God says it's time up, that's where Jew goes. <laughs> <laughs> he sits up in heaven going, Irving, Fort Lauderdale, come on! <laughs> you don't know about that, did you? I do about know about that. that. I've been Miami Beach, that's where my mother, rest of soul, used to sit on, sit, on, sit on the boardwalk and say, look at the sun, look at the sky, look at the sun. And then and she'd say, where's my check? Anyway, uh, no, she was a great lady. I brought that up just to keep her name alive. Anyway. You ready for another one? Here's one from Louisville, Kentucky. Have you ever been to Louisville? Yeah. Do you know how to say it properly? You don't say it Louisville, you say it Louisville. No, you know what you say in Louisville? What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff and Doug. Wait a minute, that's a clever remark. Who else would say something like that? Here's one. No, this is a good one. This is a good one for you. You're, no, I mean this with all respect. You're a slightly older gentleman, so you have some advice here. Okay. Right? Okay. It's from a young lady. She says, my younger sister is seeing a guy who doesn't run with the right crowd. How do I kindly tell her to find a nicer guy? Should she run with the bad crowd, the, the young lady, or? No, if she's a hooker, she can run with a bad crowd. <laughs> if she's CBS a... cast. <laughs> I think that's fine, isn't it? That's a reasonable answer. If she's a hooker, she can run with a bike. That's right. <laughs> what else is there for crying out loud? Yeah, exactly. All right, here's another one. Dear really Craig, getting on my nerves. Yeah. Really getting on my nerves. My girlfriend saw a few texts from an ex that were rather inappropriate. Oh, you wouldn't understand this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Yeah, you know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, uh, you just give me a, a hard time about that. All right, dear uh, Craig and Jeff and guest. Uh, oh. oh, well, there you are. I'm 29 and running for local office. My parents have said that I can't count on their vote. How big of an insult is this? Well, I would say go in your room, put the covers over your head, and have a game. <laughs> the hell do I know with these questions? My well, I'm just I'm, I'm trying to, because people are going to ask you stuff on the TV. Is treaty. this a parade? Yeah, what, yeah. What's going on here? Every I, no, I think it's great, though, that people... That, <laughs> the, tweet, the tweet is a good thing because it gives people a chance to, to let out and vent and talk about things. And, it, and it's a great thing to do. And that's where I'm going to give it up. <laughs> Don't you want, I think you should get a, a lot of How many followers have you got already? I think 25,000. 25,000 already? You're just like you've been on like I, Well, I just air. started. I just really started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think... And, and you see the response. Thanks for wishing me luck. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I, I said 25,000, and this whole section went... <laughs> well, you know, they're a little scared of you. You've been picking on them. Why are you scared? Them. I'm a friend. Look at, look at them all. You, you came in, you stood out in line like you want to see a big thing. You stood out there all day long. Get jobs. Do work. Do something. <laughs> this kid, I love the way they dress up. This is real California. The kid down, down the aisle there with the sandals, with the, with the, with the, with the, Jesus, with the Jesus shoes and the, and the Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Look at this guy. And the white pants. Uh, uh, all right. Could you just leave it? That's enough. Don, don, Come in again go. when you think it's trick or treat. Yeah. Come in again. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta. The Don Rickles, everybody. Uh. Give me a
you go. Ah, oh, it's lovely to see you. Over here, buddy. Over here. Over oh. here. What are you staring at them for? No, they, they were so sweet to, to stand up. I guess, I guess the underwear stuck. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, really. Uh, when you get older, you know, and you get that kind of reception, you, you want to walk away and say, why am I with him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what no, the hell, we've, we've, been, we've been friends. All, it's good to see you. It's boy. lovely to see you. Uh, we got that out of the okay, way. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, go, look, look, look at that. F Filipinos. <laughs> Where are, you, are you Filipinos? Oh, God. Two and a half years. Two and a half years looking for your uncle. <laughs> Navy. World War II. Big one. Big one. <laughs> Cebu. Taklobin. Lingayan Gulf. Mindanao. I was there. All, all, all. I'll be with you in a minute. All right. <laughs> All trees, all jungle, now big cities, wonderful. We went up to Manila, and MacArthur's still sitting there going, am I dead? God bless you, great country. I'm not going back there. No, no. I... What, you, what, what the hell is this, a parade? What happened? No, it, it, well, I was doing the emails. This is kind of a thing we do. People send in their problems. I answer them. I'm helpful. I'm a helpful guy. I'm like Dr. Phil. <laughs> Well, no, Dr. Phil's a very clever guy. He really is. What? He is. He really is. Really? You think he's, he's got a problem? He's on the air. <laughs> That's a joke, Dr. Phil, if you're watching. He don't watch this. It hit the lights. No, no, no. He, he does. He watches. You know who loves this show? Oh, Michelle. Why do you do that? You're cutting wood? Uh, no, you're not. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> clever son of a yeah. yeah. He taught well, me everything I know. <laughs> No, uh, you know who loves this show? Who? Michelle Obama. Really? No, I made it up, but... <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't do jokes about the president. He'll get moody and come over the house. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what I've been doing? I've been following you on Twitter. You're on Twitter. Yeah, and my wife got me on this thing. You know, you write these little... Da, 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 da. She said it gives you... Nah. That's why she talks. It gives you something to do. Because you know? <laughs> she's in the other room going... <laughs> Shining jewelry all the time. That's what Jews do they, when they don't work. They just shine. Hey, I'm a Jew. Don't turn on me, for <laughs> sake. Yeah. Hey, your Christmas is coming up. We're very excited. We have Hanukkah, you have Christmas. And, and we got it made because we don't have to bother with a tree. <laughs> You don't have a Hanukkah bush in the house? What's wrong with you? Well, the wife. We put some decorations on her and hoist her, for crying. <laughs> no, I, Hanukkah, and it, it's all the same. It really, Bob Newhart's my dear friend, you know. Right. We go to his house every, hey, you know, the, the seating here is great. I, I'm going to wind up. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, I'll come, I'll come around to the next. No, no, I don't, I, I don't know what you got. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Lady, we're gonna take the left bus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no it, it, it's true. We we have a great time with Bob and uh, with his family and Jenny and all. But my kids, my grandchildren, we all get together and we sit. And then Bob reads the book, you know, and blah blah blah, and we sit there like we're enjoying, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but Bob reads uh, the Torah? No, no, Bob doesn't. Bob's still saying Lakayim. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> See, you Gentiles, it's Lachayim. But he can't get that out. It's Lachayim. And I told him that's a ranch in Mexico. <laughs> I, hey, I learned a good... Don't Jewish call me hey. I'm not no, a no, horse. No, 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 I, I got to I, I learned... Hey, a, hey. Who no, just says hey? No, no, no. I learned a good Yiddish word. Here's my, here's my Yiddish word. You ready? Yeah. Mishpucha. You yeah. got it right. Yeah. Yeah. A it's Scotchman a, saying mishpucha. Well, because Scottish people have a lot of... <laughs> going on. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> Sitting around borrowing money from the Jews. That's right. <laughs> Well, Scottish people and Jews, they're kind of mishpucha. There. I even used it right, didn't I? What is this, the Israeli hour? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Let's talk about the Irish. You're an Irishman, right, sir? The guy in the second row behind the Filipinos. You're an Irishman. <laughs> what are you? German. Get a rope. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the one that turns against you earlier on. <laughs> now, those days are over, right? <laughs> By the way, by the way, you sir, I don't know, what's your first name? Dawes. My foot, Don. 
I was in World War II. I never met one of you guys say, my name is Don. <laughs> no, I'm kidding you, Don. Really, but there's a, a military channel. It tells all about the war, you know, World War II. It's a lot of good stuff about uh, Germany and what happened and so forth. You know? <laughs> Snap out of it, huh? <laughs> I'm talking to a dummy. You're making the gentleman a little uncomfortable, you know what I mean? I, uh, Get over it. Go home. No, no. <laughs> All right. Hang all right. on. Hang on a little more. Right. Oh, I thought that was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, well, another my drink. Oh. Hey, to all of you, uh, on behalf of this wonderful gentleman, we've been friends now, is it seven years? Ooh, friends? at least, yeah. And, oh, he had a, a baby, and we, we became friends, and, became and friends. it's nice. We, I went to his home. You should see his home. You know, Looney Tunes, his home is... <laughs> When he came to my house tell for the first him, time, him, he, he gave me five bucks at the front door and he said, Here, here's five bucks. Buy yourself a decent house. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I think I'm in love. <laughs> hey, anyone gives me five bucks, I'm interested. Do you know what I'm saying? He's got a lovely wife. And, and the place, I, I with steps, I, I, steps put me away, you know. As you get older, steps bother you. My wife says, Stop talking about AIDS. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You know, because she figures if I go, <laughs> you know, then she's got to give up the house and work the streets. You know. <laughs> no, God, no, that's not funny. No, you know, no, you I, shouldn't I, talk yeah. about death. You know, I don't feel good. <laughs> no, I feel fine. But yeah, yeah, you're get right. older and never feel, never feel. As, as you're all young people, predominantly. As I look at the audience, always, and you know that too. Well, always remember, as long as this working good, you've got, you've got beyond life. Is this works? Well, well, well yeah, there is that. There's a few other areas you want to keep going as well. well. Yeah. I'm just well, saying. Oh, you're, you're talking about popping a wife. Don't bring no. that up. What the hell? I, look, I do a classy show here, mister. That's not the kind of talk that we... Why not? It's, it's normal. Not with you. You walk on your rope, stand by the toilet, and go... Ah. Anyway. <laughs> we do it normally. Yeah, all right. All right. She lays on the bed, and I go... Nah. No, when you're married, you know, you're married, how long are you married now? Uh, three years. Ah, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, three. What the hell? I'm not putting it down. Okay. I think it's wonderful. Well, I met your wife. She's great. She's nice. By the way, uh, the check didn't come. Sorry, man. I'll get it. <laughs> I'm talking about something else, but we won't go into that. Anyway, but he, he, he's married a lovely wife. The whole secret, and I tell you that, 46 years married. Now, I'm telling you, 46, this is beautiful, you know. That's great. No, no, ha, ha, ha. But if you're gonna blame, if you're gonna base a whole marriage on, you got trouble. You gotta do what I do. Take your mind off it and then go. <laughs> we'll be right back with Don Reckles, everybody. We'll be right Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with a newcomer to show business, Don Rickles. He's a star now. What are you playing there? Did you remember your first gig in show business? Yeah. Look how quiet it got. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it wasn't a cemetery, I'll tell you that. Yeah. No, my first job was a place called the... Well, not the first job, but when you go back, I, I remember it called the Sawdust Trail in New York. Yeah? Right on Broadway. No, 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 no doors, no windows, just wide open. And when the wind came up, the papers came on the stage. Anyway, it's the truth. And dirt came up and everything. And I stood by a piano, and I had no act, and the guys just sat like that, you know. And some of them had, you know, the major thing with the bird looking around, you know. <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 you lost. If I'm going too fast, no, no you're, you're going not. too fast. <laughs> What's the major thing with the bird looking around? I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand. Well, I'll walk you backstage while you get a look at the bird. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's moody today. Really. <laughs> you know, when you're married a lot, you know, when you get older, you get up in the morning, you got the pajamas, you say, and she says, sweetheart, and you go, and you look down and you go, <laughs> <laughs> and he's in there taking a nap. Anyway, uh... I'm too fast. I'm sorry. I'm too fast. No, but that, that, that's the point. The point is, we're talking about... So guys were wearing their pajamas no. and their penises were hanging out? Shut up. For the money I'm getting, I'm a riot. Okay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, killer. You and me both. He's talking like I got to like I, I gotta do good here, for crying no, out. No, you don't have to do good. Let's all go over to Ralph Market so watch a fly die on the fruit. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I ever seen. <laughs> 
Dorothy, sometimes comedians have to laugh at what they say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, a great star. He just left the, the, the show previous. Robin uh, Williams. Robin beautiful, Williams. Beautiful yeah, he was here last night. Yeah, he's a wonderful. Yeah. 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 You know, I, with, with charm and fun, but, and there's so many young people today that are that are coming up, and it's it's great to see it. Really, a lot is. of good young comics. Yeah, and unfortunately, they're here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I get to see them, and they get disillusioned nice and early in their careers, and that's what works out for them. They get to see what a dark, desperate little room looks. No, like. they don't. They get a big shot when they get over here. Really, this doesn't do much for me. Where am I going with you? Um, we're both. Hey, we're both going to work in the same place in Florida. What's that? Uh, no. <laughs> What's that even a place? Uh, uh, hard Rock hard, hard Rock Casino. Yeah, yeah, Hard Rock he Casino. Goes, he goes t tomorrow. He'll, he'll be oh, there yeah, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, night. Sunday night. And I go the following week. I'll be there. And it, it, it works out that way. And so don't suck up all the laughs, okay? Yeah. But it, it, it's kind of fun. I'm going to be following you. Yeah, yeah. I'll you follow. And I asked you. I said, he's so wealthy. I said, don't you take a private jet? He says, no, Don. I, I can go commercially. But with your money, come on. My money? What kind of come private on. jet am I going to take? I'm oh, a World please. War II bomber. That's what I'm going to take. <laughs> and I'll be with the goggles on. Sit with the goggles on. You get to sit in the machine gun, Don. It. Well done. <laughs> I just said, you because you made a play. <laughs> that machine gun. That, 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 that machine gun. Oh, the German guy. <laughs> 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 You know, yeah. nobody, nobody realizes well, how many shows and sketches you did in your career before you did this. Oh, yeah, I did them all over. You did, That's you why, did. Yeah. How did you, in Scotland, how, how, really, what was, what was your first big job? No, I used to well, play well, Oh, you played a horse. Yeah, I played a horse. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do the, the sawdust room. It was right there. Right oh, I don't be a smart you know, I'm just yeah. sad. No, what did you do, really? What, what? I used to play in bars. I used to... Uh, yeah, me too. That's yeah, what I did. Yeah, just... And, and uh, I, got, uh, I got off the trail with the sawdust, but it wasn't pleasant. It was, it was tough. See, th today, the young kids, they got comedy clubs, which yeah. is great. In my day, in his day, we, we had to work and forget about it. You know, guy sitting in the front. Oh, when's he going to get funny, Rose? Yeah. <laughs> And they always they did, did that, that thing, was, yeah. That, 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 that. that was instead of applause. <laughs> hey, you do it right, it makes the same noise. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. I never dreamed you would top me. Yeah. I'm not topping you. I'm no, just you can. Them. That's Join why them. we're comedians. We're, we're not rivals. <laughs> yeah. No, that's it. And I'll tell you what I'll do. When I do the Hard Rock Cafe in Florida, uh, the casino now, yeah. I'll leave you a little present in the dressing room. Yeah, a, like a bomb. <laughs> yeah, kind of no, like, no, like a bomb. No, you're, <laughs> no, you're, you're sweet. It, it, it's wonderful that we can go out in casinos for both of us, and for you young people, really, and the elders, too. Casinos, the, the Indians are great. I, I work all, I, I worked the Orleans just recently for Terry Jenkins. No, in, in Vegas and around the country. It's all casinos. And the Indians come into the lobby. Hi, 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 hi. You know, you wash their horse and they kiss your, you know. Anyway, uh... It's sad, though. It's sad because, you know, before the white man came, there was casinos all across America. Yeah. So what was your first job in show business then, no? My first, I told you that. No, yeah, no, I did, can't yeah. remember that. It's so far back. But you know what? I did, see, what I do, I don't do particularly jokes. I do attitude. You know, like this man in the front, right? I'll tell you the truth. I don't like you. <laughs> now, that's not a joke. It's the way I said it to you, right, sir? I wasn't mean. I wasn't vicious. As the wife held on to him. What are you holding on? Look at him. Woman's holding on like he's got to go. He's got years. Yeah. Know, what is I... your name, sir? Doug. Are you Jewish? No. Well, how'd you get those seats? <laughs> You're Jewish? I am. Oh, get up and give her that seat. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, hey. We, we, we're out of Let's time. Hey, 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 again we're, with the hey, hey, hey. We're out of time. I'm just trying to be... Out of time? Yeah. I didn't have to travel from my estate to be out of time for Grand Ole <laughs> I've been to stay in Beverly Hills and I had a slip here to be do five minutes with a dummy when the show's over already, for Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> these people love me and I want to get a better job.
is one of the greatest comedians of all time. One of them. <laughs> He's uh, appearing June the 21st at the Seminole Hard Rock uh, in uh, Hollywood, Florida, and then June the 23rd at the Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Please welcome the man, the myth, the legend that is the great Don Rickles, everyone! <laughs> That was sensational. You're never going to talk. Oh, come on. What's happening? Don't start already. I just want to just say, you people are delightful. I mean, I work all over the country. When you come here, you great audience. I mean, you make a guy feel real home. Great. Except in the front row, there's always somebody in the front row. It's always like, eh, eh, show. <laughs> but you're, you're delightful. You really are. And to make this man, this man, who has skyrocketed in this business with horse tricks, <laughs> It's not a trick, it's an actual horse. It comes out, it moves around, and people love that animal acts. Come on, you must have appeared. No need to get pissed off. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not getting pissed off. I'm just saying, don't be mean to animals. No. That's what I'm saying. That's a yes. love. Charlie Hutch hopped over there. Well, Charlie Hutch? Yeah, Jim yeah. Peterson, yeah. <laughs> no, he's good. He's got a job to do. He stands behind that stupid dummy. And you people enjoy it. <laughs> the good news. But I didn't just get a colonoscopy. I also got the endoscope. It went in the other way, too. Yeah. yeah. I had the full, I had the full thing. Yeah, well, you know, the way you drank, you should be dead. Yeah. <laughs> I read your book. I know what you did. Really? You read, you read my book? What is this? I gotta repeat everything, everything I say? <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm I, just, I, read, I, my, I <laughs> read my book. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm touched. I'm moved. Well, you sure, read I read your book. That's why I'm on here, because I know it's over. Anyway. <laughs> No, he had a tough life. He did. He did. He came to America, yeah. schmackled a couple of Jewish people, and you skyrocketed. Anyway. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What does schmackle mean? I'm not, I'm not mishpucha. Well, what is the, what is, what is... You better start learning, otherwise they're going to move the desk. <laughs> <laughs> schmackle means, you know, make a fuss over, make a fuss, you know. Yeah. That's it. The guy in the yellow shirt, you, in, the, in the green shirt, you were very good, sir. Yeah, he was. He's pretty he's good. good yeah, sir. Yeah. Where are you from again? Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah. yeah. Seemed to be a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I, like think, I think a, a lot of his sense of fun is in the shirt, no, to be fair. He's a charming gentleman. I make fun of you because, you know, if New Year's Eve came around and it was you and I in the room, I'd be depressed. <laughs> but you're a nice gentleman. Good luck. Is that the wife? Ooh. I'll tell you that. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. You're a pretty woman. Hey, oh, says you can't do that. No, she understands. How long are you married? 37 years. Is he a mute? Yep. <laughs> 37 years. God bless you. I'm married 47. Jewish boy. Just... Yeah. Hey, hey. Why did they applaud? You never saw her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Why would you talk us? to me? I don't see you for because ages. Because I'm going no place with you. Well, come on. Come and talk to me. You talk to everyone. Right, you talk I to I the guy wanna, in the green shirt. I want to... I, I got to level with you. You're married now a long time. I was at your house. I was at his house once. You have a new house now. Yeah, I got a new house. Yeah, and uh, you don't have to climb the stairs to get in. No, anymore. and uh, 48 steps. It's called Heart Attack City. His house. <laughs> when I went the, the first time, and and you still polishing the nails like you do? Yeah, I still polish my it nails. Put, yeah. puts nail polish on the feet. You know? <laughs> no, no, I'm not making this up. And that's why I did what you did. I went. <laughs> yeah. You know why I do that? Because I'm not your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do. I, 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 don't you polish your toenails? No. When you find me skipping in the park, you'll know. <laughs> I don't know. I like, I like seeing my feet looking pretty. Yeah, I, I know. pretty I know. feet. I never suspected you for that, you know. Well, having pretty feet? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you, you had a tough life. You really did. Nobody did. talks about that. But God bless you, you came along. I'm, I'm a serious now. You came a long well, way. You, you didn't come from, you know, you didn't come from, your background was never, you know, like in, in, in England now. Hell, mommy, daddy's home. You know, yeah, no, that's, I no, that's the way they do it all the time. You know, mommy, the war's on. Daddy, the war's on. <laughs> mommy, the fighter plane is going down. <laughs> 
See? Guys in the army, especially if they were Jewish, going, fire, fire, what fire, what? I got a gun, I'm going home. <laughs> that was one of my biggest jokes. Yeah, yeah. You see, no, I'm, I'm just, are you Hawaiian? You're very pretty. Are you Hawaiian? No, when I go like this, what, your bus bother you? <laughs> are you Hawaiian? I'm what is your What is your background? What is you? I'm mixed. You're mixed. Your father was a sailor? <laughs> mixed. Mix, I, what, I, mix, I think let, let her finish. I, 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 mix, I, I would let her finish, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy horny... Hey! He, by the way, he's married to a very beautiful lady. Very he really beautiful. is. God bless her. She, yeah. she paints her toenails, too. You don't seem to have a problem with her doing it. <laughs> Shut up. All right. <laughs> hey, well, wait a minute. I'm not sure <sighs> with you. I want to, one other thing. You said you're Mexican. <laughs> no, mixed. Mixed. Mix, mix, mixed. Mixed. <laughs> And, and, and where do you live? You, oh, you, oh, you are Mexican. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, I go, I'm getting it now. Yeah. I'm getting it now. Yeah. I make kids about a kid about Jews, kid about Mexican, kid about black. You kid about kid about everything in life. That's what it is today. You you said this. You said that. You've got to be able to be honest and not be a mean spirited or unkind. I say from my heart, really. I don't like you. <laughs> Trouble. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, we're back. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. I was letting them know that you know, tone it down a little. <laughs> he didn't say that. They yeah, just, I, he's just covering his own, you know. But I, I, I got to say this. There's a lot of shows on the air, and since I've known you, really, you've always been a kind of guy that you you don't stand and rave and look for applause. You, you're just a, a down earth guy. I really mean that. And, I, and I'm very delighted to always to be on your show. I mean that sincerely. Well, really it's do. always a pleasure to have you because you're so. No, it's it, thanks, I because you are you're always so nice to the audience. Thank you. Pardon, uh... me, pardon, me, pardon me. I this is you always like to have a little little diet coke. <laughs> Wife's not here, so. <laughs> That's, that's not Diet Coke. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I haven't had any in 20 years, but I still got a nose for it, man. Maybe I don't know what that is. Yeah, and I got news. That, that was quite a thing in those days. And look, and look how you came back. You came back, and now you're a millionaire, and you go every night. They don't know this. <laughs> no, that's not true. He beat a big problem, and thank God you're, you're a big star now, and you'll never see me again. <laughs> You know, sometimes, buddy, you confuse me. You know, you, you kind of slap me, and then you tickle me, and then you slap me, and then you tickle me. And I find myself kind of... I'm a sort of a rabbi. Uh, no, that, no, I tell people they're good things, and then you bring out their bad, but then you, you coat them with good things. And I, and I coach that's, you... That's what rabbis do. <laughs> You'll never find out. Anyway, when you become a Jew, I kill myself. Hey, um, let me ask you a question. Sure. You know, when I, I normally, when I, uh, when I wrap this thing up, I have a... Uh, oh, know, it's time to move. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. But I, I don't want to be, I, I want to offer you the, the, the option of going for the big cash Don't come up with the harmonica, the money, and all that crap. I don't need that, for great out you, you, you Go on Jimmy Fountain. Win three weeks at a ping pong tournament. I don't need that. I don't need all whoa, of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fountain's giving away ping pong tournament? <laughs> That's what he does. How can I compete with that? <laughs> You'll never hear a Scotchman. You don't know. Don't uh, give me the money or the thing, and don't say the one question or that's to just, me. Just give you the money? Uh, no, I don't need the money because I know what I'm getting here, and I'll be back. Anyway, uh, this oh, is well, this is what we call a mercy visit. You understand? Know <laughs> Oh, can I can I offer you a memento of your trip? That's better. You know what you can offer me? What? Nice bottle of vodka, and I'll go home early. How about that? <laughs> We have I don't need your one. harmonica, I don't need your, your fake phony money that you hand out and all that baloney. I don't need that. It's not fake money, man. Well, I don't care. Money. Well, you, you use it as a good ending because you can't think of anything funny. It'll okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. He knows. Hey, he came alive. Hey, see that? Hey, What's no. your name, by the way? What's your name? Uh, I'm Jeff. Really? And, uh, we really have to have Ed Asner back on the show again. <laughs> Ed Asner, what does that mean? He's been, a, he's been an idiot. 
of care, out of care. What does that mean? I think, he's, I think he's implying you might look a little bit like Ed Ad. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see this? Well, what is it, trick or treat? Yeah, okay. It's a picture of Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I wore the wrong underwear. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That that's was great. It. She's my age. Is she? She's 86 years old. Are you 86? Would you? I'm 86, 86 years old. 86 years old. Man. May 8th, 1926. Besides the, Her Majesty, yeah. uh, Harry Truman, who I adored, a great president. You kids weren't born then, but he was a great president and a nice man, too. You know. uh, I wouldn't know. Did, did you know any president, American president? Yeah, I did the White House Correspondents Dinner when uh, uh, George W. Bush oh, was president. Oh, you did? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> and my claim to fame was, which was a delightful night, I did the inaugural at Ronald Reagan, rest his soul. I did the inaugural for Ronald Reagan, and it, it was a great night. It really was. Yeah. And then I did the, all those, you know, those roasts they have on television today with Dean Martin, rest his soul, and, and again with, when he was governor. So I've been around, and yeah. I got two traffic tickets and uh, one for touching a girl on the subway. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think no, we that's, all learned that's, something. Don Rickles, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the late night show thing. My first guest tonight, where is he, Jeff? Oh, he's a legend. He's a legend, all right. He's one of the all-time great comedians. He's performing March 29th at the Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. Oh, yeah. We've played that, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. And the... Uh, <laughs> it is. It is. I know that one. It's very... Whoa. And the... Uh, uh, April the 13th and 14th, he'll be at the Orleans in Las Vegas. That's a good one. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody! <laughs> That's enough. You get them all big-headed before we start, then it's going to be crazy. How you doing, Don? Wait a minute, I'm talking to the audience. What? The applause was... I thought it was pretty Next good. I'm not talking to you. Okay, okay. Next time, throw the clothes in the air, okay? No, you were very sweet and very kind, really. And I said, sweetie, give me that big applause because I'm not staying long. Okay. Got to talk to Scotland here and hope it goes over. Okay. I'm sitting right here, man. I well, can I hear you. I can hear you. You're yelling. I was in the back. Everything with you. It's the doctor. You're going crazy. Well, I'm scared. Well, get abroad and go home early. <laughs> he's, he's married with a kid, but he don't know it. Anyway. Two, two kids. You have two kids? Two kids, oh. yeah. Since the last time I saw you, there's been another one. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah. Do you, wear, just, huh? do you wear the pajamas? Do I wear the kiddie pajamas? No, you wear the regular long, long pants pajamas. Uh, yeah. And then you do the... And then you do the parachute trick, right? No, what's the parachute trick? I mean, I've got one breast larger well, than the other, but what's the... You couldn't handle it. Jews only do it. You couldn't handle it. So, is, is it something to do with... Shut up. Oh, my yeah, come on! <laughs> why with this? Why? Get, getting on my nerves. I don't no, know why, why I'm am I getting here? on your nerves? I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> look at the audience here. Look at the kid in the front. The, the dummy, he don't know he's sitting there going... <laughs> they don't know what's going on, for crying out loud. If they knew what's going on, they wouldn't be here. <laughs> no, you're a good guy. You're all right. You're... All those other guys are having trouble in New York. Every time we're switching shows, you're going to be here in spite of what the people say. <laughs> no, it's, I, I'm, I'm done. Your, your career in a new theater, it's great. I wish you luck. It's nice in here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, 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 I mean, it's fancy. Made to fix your dress, huh? Anyway, uh... What's wrong with her dress? The one, the one over there, the one that has the dress up where she's smiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding you. She didn't yeah. even know I'm talking to you. You're very stunning. <laughs> don't, don't judge the lady in the, uh, in the audience. That's what? not right. This is Germany. Hitler's dead. What? Why? why? <laughs> I can do whatever I want. For well, yeah, There's a Jewish kid. I said Hitler, and his glasses fogged up. Look at that. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that kid there. You know, the one with the nose sucking up the rug. Hey! Hey! 
Now, come on now. We've moved on. What are you begging me? I know what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. a Jew. You're, what, what are you? You're Episcopal. What are you? What the hell are you? Sco uh, Scottish. I see. I, I asked him a question and he panicked. I'm, 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 I don't I'm, think it's fair. Scottish, Scottish, Scottish. Yeah. I don't think it's fair to say that I panicked. I just, you know, I was trying to present you with the information which was accurate. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Mom and Dad are going hunting Friday. <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, it's your turn. All right. Uh, I got to do the questions and the answers for crying out loud. You seem to be quite happy doing it. I, that, I'm just letting you get on with it. That's all. I, the Orleans, you're going back to the Orleans. That's a great place. Oh, it's a great, that's great, that's great. fantastic, that stage well, it's, there. It's Vegas. You know, Vegas is the, what it's all about. Do you know you're the record breaker in Vegas now? You're the, Am I? Yes, you are. Yeah. I get the feeling I'm talking to a waiter. <laughs> if this late night war continues the way it's going, you might well be talking to a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> God love you, God love you. Uh, yeah. Can I just tell you about our... Can I just tell you about no, you, our you specials turned, you, today? You turned, yeah, <laughs> you turned on me. Now you're trying to cover it up, but you turned no, on me. No, I did not. Got a little nasty, a little turned turn on me. I did not you know? turn on you. No, it's okay. I, 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 for you. I can handle it. Jew, shoot him. Hey. Hell. <laughs> turned on me. What were you going to say? I was going to tell you about our specials. I think that's what I was going to do. I, I can't remember. The, and also the Wild Horse Pass Casino. That's that's a good one. <laughs> it is. It is. I've been there. It's really good. I have been there. I swear. It's really good. Do you have a good doctor? Uh, he's frightened to say penis. Horse. I know the Wild Horse Casino. I worked. There. I worked in every. You know. And it's. All, we're lucky. You work there too. It's all Indians. God bless them. Really. They, you come up to the hotel and they go. Okay. I know. Okay. Well. 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 Yeah. <laughs> And, and you go to your room, you wash their pony, and you go to bed. So I just heard they cancelled the White Horse Pass Casino game. Here's your pass. Yeah, come on. Come on. Pass this. Remember that in New York? Anybody from New York? No wonder. No, you're no wonder. Not. No, you're not. No wonder it's quiet. <laughs> two, two cockamamie Italians in the back. Where, where, where are they? God bless you. Be from New York. I'm, I was originally there, and I moved here, and I've got a big house now with hunting dogs and a Jewish wife that runs and cleans the lawn. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, we're doing good now. Yeah, yeah but Again with the waiter. Stop with this crap. It's, uh, it's body language. I'm trying to remain open to your... No, I was at your house. You don't have to make open to me. I moved house. I moved house. Did you really? I moved house. Remember you were at my house and you didn't let you... No, the steps was killing me. Well, yeah. I moved to a place with... No, he, he had me invited, invited to his house, and I'm not a kid anymore, and going upstairs is not easy. And he has on each floor... A doctor saying, come on, try to reach the medicine. <laughs> anyway, uh... Well, can I tell you, I know how to throw a party, <laughs> but they, uh... But the new house, you can just, you can just walk right in. Not you, but the, you, you can you just walk right in. You can drive right up, walk right in. Really? Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. You come to the new one, you'll yeah, be fine. You wait, you wait for me. Why wouldn't, you, why wouldn't you come in my house? Because I'm too big. I don't need your oh, come house. Come on, man. You come to my house. You and Barbara come to my house. Everybody thinks I'm doing well in show business. You come to my house. I came to your house when you had that funny outfit on and playing trick or treat with the maid. I remember that. That's not, that's not me. That's Schwarzenegger. That's not me. That's the other <laughs> Isn't it great? He got off one good one. Listen, uh, we have to go to a uh, commercial break. Do whatever you want. I, I'm, I'm leaving. Hey, no, you, no, you can't. No, you, in two segments. Two segments. Oh, two, you agreed. Two, what a two, two segments. Two segments. Okay, two segments. Well, look at the old, the old people over there. <laughs> Get something for the old ladies starting to go. <laughs> when they start wheezing and leaving their mouth open, it's trouble. <laughs> I, th I think she's just excited. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I Don Rickles, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. I'm here with uh, Don Rickles. Now listen, uh, I got I got here, Don. Uh, I have photographs that were uh, of you. Look at that. You there's you right there. Look at you. Look how adorable you yeah. are. Look at that. That's that's my wife, and that's yeah. Lee Liberace, a great friend of his. And he was hey, wonderful. I never I never met Liberace, but I went to his museum. 
Did you? Yeah, it's got a lot of his stuff in there. I think that he m might have been gay. <laughs> I have a career and you can go on by yourself. All right. Now, here's another one. I like this one. Look at that. This is uh, this is you with uh, look, that's Bob Dylan, right? That's right. There. That's right. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, right? Bruce the man. Were you guys in a band uh, together? <laughs> you know something? What? I'm getting ready to slap. Ah, uh, see, <laughs> like, this is always the same. You, always yeah, with a smart remark. I would man. Bruce Springsteen, by the way, is a great performer, and this gentleman, of course, is a great artist. That's a, that's what? a long time ago when we all had a couple of vodkas and told each other how great we were. <laughs> Yeah, Drinking with, uh, with Bruce Springsteen? Yeah, well, he's from Jersey. Bob he Dylan? don't know what time it is unless you give him a drink. <laughs> Puts on the gloves. America! America! Where's you think we're living? In Spain? We know where that is. <laughs> he's yelling, America! America! You know. he's, he's got other songs, man. Give him a break. He's an American legend. What are you, a, a war veteran? <laughs> I was in the service. Were you? I, <laughs> you weren't in this. Sir. I was in there saving your canary. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in World War II. <laughs> I know. That's true. That's true. Those, those, those pictures they don't show. Two and a half years in the USS Cyrene in the Philippines, and the Japanese came over to me and said, oh, "My children need toys." <laughs> anyway, uh, two years in the jungle so this guy can have a show. Hey. Hey, oh, come yeah. on! And I said, I do jokes. I did. I said, I'm an entertainer. And the guy went, entertainer? I'd like to sort of be in special service. Special service. Okay. And I'd like to do some comedy and have a band, a comedy and a band. Okay. Next thing you know, I'm in the Philippines and the guy says, keep firing. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that really true? I swear to God, I was <laughs> on a, a, a 20 millimeter gun. Like you, you younger guys, if you know the service, you know, it come in little cases, and I had to put it, boom, in the gun. You know, Jewish kid, we don't do that. We had a, a maid go, lift that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you got to give me a, a minute. I, I said something that made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about that, huh? Made yourself laugh. Uh, Look at you, Mr. Professional. That's right. <laughs> Every night before the show in Vegas, I sit up in my room and I laugh my ass off. <laughs> no, so I had a 20 millimeter gun, and the guy said, uh, This is where you do it. You put it in a casing, and when the Japanese fly, you know, bum, 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 you know. And I said, I, Captain, I don't do that. He said, No, 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 just, just what I tell you. And every time the plane's gone, I was going, bum, 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 bum. And then I put the casing down and said, Can I get in show business? I want to be in show business. <laughs> And they kept attacking. They kept attacking. <laughs> no, but they're wonderful people today, and it was, it was a great experience. You, you were in Scotland inside your mother. Anyway, uh... I know what you're thinking, Craig, Craig, why has there not been an email segment on yeah, the show? Go on, go on. Let me tell you why, because it gives more time to my first guest. That's why, who is a legend, an American comedy legend. He will be performing at the October the 11th and, the, and the October the 12th, two days right next to each other, at the Orleans in Las Vegas, and November the 21st at the Wild Horse Pass Pass <laughs> Casino. And really, do I have to do all these damn dates? <laughs> The Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. We played That's that. That's a good one. That's, That's a, a good, good one. one. Yeah. yeah. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles. <laughs>
Oh, man. Get the paramedics. Guy, <laughs> you're all right. What's going on? I've never seen you with a cane before. Are you all right? No, no, I'm playing soldier. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I'll straighten the cane. The cane woke up one morning, had a little pimple on the, on the leg, you know? Yeah. Why am I on an angle and you're sitting so far? Well, here, I'll come around. <sighs> no, no, let's not get crazy. Tell me about it, Don. Little pimple, little pimple. And all of a sudden, uh, my wife says, let the doctor come over. I want him to see the... Hey, he came over, one, two, three. And Ann Peters, that's the doctor. And she said, uh, you're going to the hospital. I said, what? You know, turns out that I have what they call... I can't even pronounce it. He gives you a virtuitis. Can he say that? <laughs> I can say whatever I want. This show isn't going to make it anyway. You're doing better, man, I take it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, uh, Craig, I really don't know the pronunciation. I always screw it up. No, it's anyway, it's a disease that, that eats up on the flesh. It really oh, does. Oh, no. No, I'm making it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it eats up on the flesh, and it, it could be very serious. And so I went to the hospital and had... Uh, uh, seven operations. Oh, and uh, look at their reaction. Good. <laughs> no, I don't think they're saying good. I think they're like, oh. Yeah. Ask it, jump in when you think it's something funny. All right. Hey, well, let, tell you, let me just move this handle for you here, all right? Okay. It's the very, very provocative place. <laughs> it's right there. You don't understand that, that God's spider. Oh. <laughs> and spider gets restless and comes out of the pajamas about four in the morning and goes... What kind of spider are we talking about? A brown recluse? Is that what we're talking about? A spider that makes the wife smile once in a while. <laughs> oh, she's a patient woman. She's a patient woman. Hey, when you're 88, you don't do too much of that. You just stand in the hall and say, we did it. Anyway, uh, no, I, I'm 88. How old are you now? 52. You look it. Thanks. I'll tell you this. No, when you get to be 88, you'll be able to talk about it. No, but, no. Uh, no, this show I knew I was going to be on because I knew they have about four gurneys in the back waiting for me. So, no, anyway, so th th this disease eats the flesh, and thank God they caught it in time. And uh, I got a little bit of uh, these operations, and, and now it works. It'll take a little while and with therapy. So I'll, well, you'll get back on your feet. Yeah, well, and uh, I, I must say that really the, the doctors were, were fantastic. They really were. They looked at and said, legs got to go. Anyway, uh, no, they didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think what happened is that they all went, uh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I wouldn't worry if it did go because Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp promised me a part on a pirate movie. <laughs> um. <laughs> hey, so folks, you... I tell you the truth. Everything I say to you, I did up in my room tonight and I laughed my ass off. <laughs> I tell you what, though, does that mean you can get back on the road? Are you going to go back and do... Oh, you're doing the live dates, you're doing the, I, I, the Orleans... I've and, done eight shows already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I take the cane and walk out and get around with it and, you know... Do you uh, walk around with the cane? You don't no, sit no, down? No, 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 they put skates on my ass and I... Just, I'm just saying, like Bill Cosby now, Bill, when Bill does his act now, he sits down. He sits down and he does his show sitting down. Nothing wrong with that. No, hey, he's a black man, he's got a president, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> no, Bill's a good friend of mine. You did a little take behind uh, my no, back. No, I just, I did a tiny little one. I was just, a, I'm just trying to save my job. Uh, you did a December. little take behind my back. I'm just trying to save the it job until Christmas, so dog. That's all I'm doing. And then he became a Nazi. One minute I he became a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi. We've been through this before. Okay. I just like doing a German accent and marching up and down. That doesn't make me a Nazi. Okay. <laughs> Anybody got a Valium? <laughs> yeah. All of them. I, the, particularly that guy that's in Lesbian Row, right? <laughs> He's had a few. You were very good, sir. Go to the dentist. Anyway, uh, no, your teeth are great. Your teeth are great. Broads aren't bad either. Uh, well, you know, that's... that's... I'm, a, I'm a married man. I, I, I'm married now. How, about, how long? You're married an hour. I was at... The... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, an hour and a half. Uh, uh, short. I've been married uh, uh, in May. It'll be 50 years. Congratulations. That's it. That's fantastic. You people have thought you haven't seen her. Anyway, uh, no, come on, no. I well, she'll know. laugh, because with the jewelry she's got, she's got to laugh. Well. Right? She sits down in Malibu with a ring going, that's a ship. <laughs> now, she's, you know, Jewish people always go with the jewelry. But jewelry's going out of style now. Everything's, you know, fake make makeup. You're not a Jewish guy, are you? The guy with the glasses staring at me. 
Irish. You're Irish. Oh, are you on mute? <laughs> Can you not? Can, you're meant to talk to me. The whole idea of a talk show is you talk to me, Don. That's the thing. Now you come. You don't talk to the paid hobos that we grow off Hollywood Boulevard. You come and you talk to me. They, they got their candy. Why would I talk to you? You're going. Oh, come on. You're, you're going off the air in about an hour. What? That's what I'm saying. I'm only here until Christmas. Come on. And you're bringing in one of your buddies from from England. Well, well. I love those guys. Mummy, Daddy's home. Anyway. Uh, why are they bringing in an English guy, honestly? You know, I, I, I think he's very, very good, actually. He's very good. Yeah. Very talented. Very talented man. <laughs> he is. He is. I've, I, you know, he's, he's very good. He'll be fine. Big liar. <laughs> no, I'm sure the guy will be fine. I'll, I can rush over you, here. You can, come and, you can come and help him out. You'll be on, because you were on the early shows with me. You said to me, uh, you said, I'll come on your show once it's a hit. That's what you said to me. <laughs> did I say that? Yeah, you did. You, you see the response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, you, you were a hit. You had a nice run. Now you go back to what you usually do in Scotland, playing with your skirt. That's not a job, though, playing with your skirt. I mean, it's fun and everything, but it's not a job. I'll, do, I'll move on. I'll do something else. I think I'm going to be a detective. Yeah, that's right. In a Jewish ghetto. <laughs> No, nah, you'll, you'll be all right. You, I know you're having, a, you're having a game show. Or yeah, I'm doing a game show. Yeah. And, 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 oh, I don't want to miss that. <laughs> I got a little twitch. Yeah, yeah. What? You don't like game shows? Everybody loves game shows. Sure, you know, it's like uh, Fallon, who's a wonderful kid. He said, you want to be on the show? I said, I don't play ping pong. And so, uh, I don't play ping pong. Now listen, that's funny. <laughs> now you know what I felt like during the monologue. That's why we went, that's, we cut, that's why we cut straight to you. There was no point in doing it anymore with these people. Uh, these are nice people. Uh, I guess the bus hit the wall and they're all here. <laughs> I think, I think it's pretty hot outside and they were attracted by the air conditioning. That's what I think is really going on. No, you always get a nice audience, really. Yeah. Not many, but a nice audience. <laughs> you know, I love over this section, Grandma Moses and a couple of other people. Hey. Come on now. Listen, no. we, have, we have to take a break. We have to take a commercial You break. don't have to beg. Do it. All right, then. We'll be right back with Don Rickles, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Don Rickles, who's just giving me some career advice and helping me out and being supportive, as you usually are. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what a I tell night. you who this was here. so exciting. I tell you who was here. Who? It was your daughter, Mindy. She came and did stand-up. Oh, is that what she calls it? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, she'll be offended by that. I love you, sweetheart. No, she's trying to be fun. And she has my delivery. She does. Yeah? I just hope, you know, it was a lot of years. I told her it's a lot of years. I, I worked in places with a boss sat with a bathrobe, and when, uh, while I was on, I went... I did that when Mindy was on. <laughs> no, she was good. Uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna cost you. No, oh, come on. <laughs> now she's a good kid. She's beautiful, and I wish her luck. She wants to be an actress, and she's talented. She, she might make it. Cause Daddy's getting tired of carrying her. <laughs> right, man. It's okay. She's Everyone's got a wonderful fine. husband, Ed, and they do okay. <laughs> now what are we doing? I was just going to, I was going to talk to you about this. Have you decorated this? Is this something? No, no. This, it comes like this with all the right. glitter? It's Broadway. like some kind of Vegas? It's Broadway. Thing? You don't know from that. You only know from uh, Scotland. Hey, 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 mommy, daddy, daddy, mommy. <laughs> mommy, daddy. You got the wrong place, man. Well, you come from Scotland, don't well, you? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. But me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your papers. Anyway, <laughs> he talks like he belongs here. One well, phone call, boom, it's over. No, no, I'm a, citi I'm a citizen now. I'm a citizen oh, now. Oh, you became a citizen? No, I became a citizen. Oh, yeah. that's neat. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. It's a very, very difficult exam. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Hello, America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you like gum? Do you hate Al-Qaeda? Come on in. <laughs> Get the FBI on the phone. No, come on. <laughs> Get this guy a meal. You, you, what's anyway, wrong? You uh, hate the skeleton. Why do you hate the skeleton so much? I don't, don't say hate. I never use the word hate. Oh, oh I really? I a young man that plays that part, and he's wonderful. Right. No, I just said when I was working with him the last time, I, I didn't know how to handle it because he was talking, and it annoyed me because how am I going to kill a guy like this? <laughs> you know, I had that flesh-eating disease once. <laughs> Come on. 
All right. All righty. Just when I was being nice, you turned yeah. on me. Yeah, I know. That's why. I, well, you always do that to me. What's, uh, what's that? You're playing the Orleans. I like the Orleans in Vegas. Oh, good. I'll tell them. Yeah. <laughs> No, Vegas is still Vegas. I mean, it changed from how it used to go, but Vegas, there's something about it that's always exciting. It really is. Atlantic City is having a little trouble right now, but they'll come back pretty strong. But Atlantic City, but Vegas is having a little trouble. Is but it? I get a, yeah, when I was single, it was no trouble at all. Uh, <laughs> a waitress went, <laughs> is that the tip? Anyway, uh... Can you say that? He's not wrinkled. He can say what he's done well, please. We gotta go. It's good to see you. Good to see you, and thank you for your time. I'm gonna go to a place now that's a hit. <laughs> no, I wish you the best. I know you're gonna leave the, in, in Christmas time next year, but uh, really, of all the jokes and kidding around, you're a real gentleman, and I wish you the very best. You and your wife, who has a lovely wife. She's and, very attractive. And you, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll say it. Huh? Uh, she used to be a hooker in Jersey. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You went too far. <laughs> Who would have thought Don Rickles would have gone too far? But seriously, from my heart, I, I wish you the very best. You're a charming gentleman and a nice man, and I wish you every, every success. Good luck. I love you too, pal. Thanks a lot. Don Rickles, everybody. We'll be right back. Control yourself. Control yourself. I will have a seat, but Kevin went bananas. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Gee, I'm not with the Lakers. I, I think they thought you were Henry Gonzalez from the Whitewater hearing. <laughs> Did you? Thanks. <laughs> well, it's good it's to see. It's going to be you. a long night. Yes. Indian talk, long night. No, it's, we it's have... wonderful to be here. Nice it really to have is. you. Thanks for asking me. I. Uh, since Johnny went off, I haven't been on with you for some time. You know, I was hit by a truck, but you were busy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was driving the truck. I was. Uh, you were driving the truck. <laughs> Sweet out of a guy, I'm gonna suck your neck. Really? Now, having a good time, Kevin? Oh, yes. Yeah, time. sure. <laughs> well, they're getting rid of you. Now, uh, Marcellus phoned in and said, Kevin has a personality. Now, <laughs> hey, hey, for the money you pay, this is funny stuff. <laughs> this is a nice crowd, though. The Very people nice love crowd. you. And it's well, nice of you to... Love you, sir. <laughs> I get the feeling I'm at a pep rally or someplace. <laughs> right. You say hello. <laughs> Sorry to get excited, No, Jake. no, it's... I know that throws you excitement, but... Uh... <laughs> We know each other a long time. We do know each other a long time. Thanks, Jay. That's a big help. In fact, uh, in fact, what? In fact, yours was one of the very first comedy albums I bought. You know really? That? I know. I have them both here. That's why I bought them. Oh, here. my God. Have you Let seen me... these in years? No, I haven't seen Hello, these. Hello, dummy, and Don Rickles speaks. There he is. My and mother I... would say, turn that crap off. <laughs> my mother never used the word crap until I played your record. <laughs> turn that crap off. You listen to it. You listen to Jack Benny. What do you listen to that man yelling at people for? Uh, you're so sweet. Well, and you're said... so good to your mother. And she's in Boston now going, <laughs> yeah. Mom, what do you do? And you're know, she's walking around getting an immigration paper stamped every day. And she's an American, for crying out loud. Considering she's from Scotland, that's very good. She's from Scotland? But look at you, look at you, very dapper here. Look at him with the, look at him with the cigarette here. Look at this, kind of... Well, of uh, course, I was a handsome young guy. Mr. Continental. Had a few bad breaks, and that's it. You know? <laughs> but I was young then, and those were, those were the days when Bill Cosby and Bob Newhart, yeah. the button-down mind of Bob Newhart. Yeah. Uh -huh. And those were the days when albums were big, you know. Right. And now that's over with, and I'm on this. Right. But, uh... <laughs> 
That's the way this business goes. You reach out, you try to get lucky. You know, I heard Kevin was the star tonight, and I said, I got to be on with Kevin. You know, that was my whole life, you know. Now, you're back from where? You've been on the road a lot? Uh, no, no. I, uh, on the road, yes. I was painting the middle line on the road a lot. Yeah. <laughs> on the road a lot, your mother come home on the road a lot. No, I was. I just came back. As a matter of fact, I went to a great place. Mm -hmm. It was called the... It's, it was called... It's the Foxwood Casino, owned by the Piqua Indians. Oh, you're doing well. Oh, you kidding? They circle a hotel every night. Oi, 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 oi. That joke now, could cost me. Now, where but, uh, now where, I don't know what you're doing... I, I do know. Indian reservations. I'm not like you. You show up in Vegas for two nights, and they say, sold out, can't get in. Any moron for two nights can be sold out. Right. With, well, you're on every night, for crying out loud. What is the challenge? I go to an Indian reservation where they're sitting in loincloths in the front with arrows going, I never go in there, I never go in there. Well, but I keep saying, I love Geronimo, I love Geronimo. And I had a wonderful time there. They were great. Yeah. I really did. I gave them a bucket of corn, and they left me alone. <laughs> Now, do you, uh, do you gamble when you go to these places? Are you a big gambler? I gamble on my act. Yeah. yeah no, well, no, I, I, I don't, I, no, I never gambled. In really? Years, I've been in Vegas over 35 years at the, between, between the Desert Inn and, uh, and uh, the MGM. Never Grand. gambled at all? Never gambled at all. Never, in fact, I did a picture years ago with Goss and Kane, and they said, deal the cards in the hands with dancing. I had dancing hands. I don't know because my father was the soul. What do you mean dancing hands? Dancing hands. What are you a moron? Don't you yes. know what dancing hands are? Oh, wait, wait, dancing wait, wait, hands are anybody... dancing hands like this from the nerves. Oh, I see. You mean you were nervous? Yes. What a smart as a whip. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you're scary. You've got this big show, you make $40 million a year, and you guessed this is, means you're nervous. A lot of these... <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm working with a scientist. A lot of these expressions from the 40s throw me. Well, of course. That's why you're on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because... So, go ahead. so you got dancing hands, and what happened? Well, no, because I, I never dealt cards, and yeah. I never, you know, not too good at gambling, and yeah. never, played, never played bridge, never played poker. Did you? No, I'm not a gambler at all, actually. What do you do? Well, I do what you, I do. I, I go to Vegas. I do and you my sit shows. around all day long well, in the garage. Well, no, I know do? what you do. You sit in your garage, garage going... <laughs> Mavis, the damn thing is stuck again. Ow, 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 ow. And Mavis is underneath the hood going, I'll fix it, Jay. <laughs> now, what do you do? What do you do in Las Vegas? None of your business. No, there you go. You no, do the same thing, I but do, the car. I, I, I make love to the wife. <laughs> all, right, and, uh, all right, there's two minutes. Now what? Two minutes? Yes, Why? Two minutes. Oh, you're the one that timed me. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, I thought you were working the light. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm married 29 years. How long are you married? Uh, almost 15. How come? But I must say, uh, no, I know your wife. She's lovely. She lovely. really is. Lovely woman. And your wife, a lovely woman also. Of course. Thank you very much. We both have lovely women. Now let's get some broads. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey, I love my wife. May God paralyze me if I would cheat on her. People on, you know, you say matter of factly, you're in Vegas, you're making love to the wife, boom, boom, boom. How often that... does Don, Don Rickles make love to the wife? How many times a week? More than 21? More than 21? No, I would say <laughs> I wake up in the morning, take, boom, shot. Right. <laughs> and that, and that's, pretty, that's pretty much the extent of it, isn't it? No, no, hey, don't tell me how many times. What do you do with Mavis? You stand I, by I, Mavis, I, I, you circle the bed and go, I'm rich, fake it. <laughs> Well, go ahead. You, you brought up, you said, I'm making love with a wife. Boom, well, sure, I said it. I didn't make it like boom, boom, boom. You're talking like I'm with a hooker or something. <laughs> There's a woman of 29 years, a nun I married, a nun. She, on the wedding night, I, and I was around, you know, before, I, I, really? as we all know, when we're young comedi comedians and you were as a young man, well, when you, you're still young. Right. But when in my day, when you're a comedian, you always fell in love with the singer. I met my wife and I fell madly in love with her. In those days, she said, listen, that's the way she talks. She goes, listen. Did you, did you futz around at all when, before you met me, did you? Now, who did you I marry? Richard you, Simmons? I'm talking to the people. Sounds like Richard Simmons you married. Richard's, no, I'm, I'm not that desperate. Give me a break. For, I married Richard Simmons. You're going to see me in shorts, skipping down the park. Going, We're free. We're free. <laughs> Now, 
No, Richard Simmons is a good guy. I don't want to let the no. people be misled. <laughs> We'll take, a, we'll take a break. We'll find out more about the sexual antics, ladies and gentlemen, of Don Rickles. That is the right. Came a horny show. Welcome back. Talking with Don Rickles. Hey, here's something maybe people don't know about you. You're like a huge sports fan. Dodgers fan? You big Dodgers? Oh, fan? Tommy Lasorda is uh, yeah? my idol. Is that right? In fact, we have a wall in the Dodger dressing room um, from the last phone call, uh, and it's the Don Rickles wall and the Tommy and the Frank Sinatra wall. Uh, Frank isn't here tonight, but he's my life, and if I may. Frank, I swear to God, I, I never touch Vito. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do that, otherwise he hurts the family. <laughs> no. But, uh, you know, and, and uh, uh, Tommy's been a great friend to us, yeah. and the Dodgers are... Are doing great. They have a plan this year. They plan to finish the season. Oh, okay. good. And, uh, How many games do you make? Well, I have season seats, and I, I, I think I went twice. But, uh, <laughs> see, they, they, uh, Peter O'Malley used to have it on Prime Ticket. Now we don't have it on Prime Ticket. So when I go, I go down to the dressing room. Yeah. And, and it's, a, it's an effort, but I love Tommy, and I love the ball club. Right, right. And Tommy makes me go to each stall. And they're all, the Dominion Republic, they're all young kids, and they're wonderful young men, you know, but, you know, they... They know to get on the bus, go to the hotel, they're taken everywhere. So I go to each uh, cubicle and I say, hey, like uh, I'll say to uh, when Offerman was up, I say, or, or uh, with uh, the different pitches, you know, from the Dominion, I say, how are you? Mate, Riga, you talk to Tommy. I'm ready to play. Talk to Tommy, will you? I'm ready to play. And I walk around, I stamp their hand, and they're happy. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the thing is, the thing is that the, that the whole thing, when I leave, I feel like I'm the president of the United States. These guys are so appreciative. You know, Mike Piazza, you don't have to do that. I say, Mike, how do you feel? Hey, oh, I'm going to hit a homer. And, you know, and you give him a cookie, and he goes away. Right. It's a whole damn thing, you know. <laughs> well, how about, how about, like, the Lasorda's always on these diets. You ever go on those with him? No, no, I, those diets are, uh, they, they give you what we call in Mexico, like, when you, when, you, when you drink that drink, I, I don't want to mention the product. Don't want to mention it. I, no, but it's when you drink that shape. drink, if I may stand up, when you drink yeah. that drink, you go, I lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> and then a Mexican guy on the highway going, you have trouble, Mr. Rieger? <laughs> and so uh, I stopped drinking that because the seat in my toilet started to get warped. Really? And, uh, so I didn't drink it anymore, you know, and Tommy's still doing it, but now he walks funny. Right. So, uh, but the Dodgers, are, are you a Dodger fan? Uh, I'm not a big baseball fan. Do you get fan, out of the house at all? I don't get out my, no, no. You sit in the house with a candle with Mavis going, we're rich. Spirit is santi, tutti, tutti. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's we me. are rich, what a bounty. Warm up the car, Mavis. <laughs> Now, how about golf? Are you a golfer? Do you play golf? I do play golf, but every time I play, I volunteer for the Jerry Lewis telethon. Now, see, I can't imagine you playing golf. Golf, because it's all golf to me is always, he's about to butt. He's getting up to the green. I mean, yeah. it seems like gentlemen tiptoeing and whispering. Well, I went down just recently with Bob Newhart and uh, Jerry Parencio and his wife Margie, the lovely people. We went down to a place called Cabo San Luca. And I'm not a good golfer. And Bob is like, you know, oh, yeah, I'm lying too. You know, that's his life. You know, he reads the books. And Margie, great golfer. And Jerry, great golfer. And I'm, and I, I got to be honest, Jay, I, I'm lucky to show up on the golf course. You know, I swing and I go, ha, ha. And then I hear, walk on, walk on with hope in your heart. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and that keeps me playing. You I know. see. I so see. We get, <laughs> it's a little deep, folks. Don't make me put up cards. Don't make me put up cards. <laughs> And so I, 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 I did this, and I play golf, and I play badly, but I enjoy it. But, you know. but Margie said, there's, and they pay for a couple of bucks, Margie Prentcher said, listen, there's a putt from, from where your hand is mm -hmm. to here. She said, Don, if you sink this putt, we make $25. And I said, okay, Margie, don't make me nervous. As soon as I hear money, I go crazy. I'd rather give it to charity and say, hey, boom, here's $25. Let me, she said, just, just make it. And I take the putt the putter, and I go, boom, seven miles past the hole. <laughs> the woman looks at me and goes, what is that, cute? <laughs> what, what are you doing? I said, Margie, I can't. When I hear money, I go crazy, because <laughs> I was never a gambler. And the whole thing was that the damn thing went past the hole, and boom, and they have nervous breakdowns. And Newhart does this great line. Uh, I, 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 you, 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 you missed the putt. <laughs> uh, 
So you got dancing hands as you were... Uh... Dancing hands. You never let up on that, huh? No, no. It's, 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 it's a new I company. hope you go to Cedars and my cousin's your doctor. <laughs> no. And standing over the get... bed and Jay goes, and they have to say, all right, Jay, just sit quiet. We're going to punch you once and hope the jaw snaps up. <laughs> He can't drink a soda without dribbling all over. Come on, let's be honest, for God's sake. This man's a moose. You put him over the fireplace, nobody's going to know the difference. Wait a minute. Uh, well, well, boo, boo, here, here's your boo. Boo, boo. I want you to do something. It's going to be a race riot. No, no. Let, let's have the audience. Don, just turn your head this way. Is that a coconut? <laughs> Okay, Jay leading, one nothing going into the last half. And the real trick is when you're ahead, is to get out when you're ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Rickles. I'm not going to be any good because I'm not going to be there. So. Oh, you're, oh, you're not going to be there? <laughs> no. Oh, you're they not... haven't invited us. Oh, really? Really, really, yeah. They can't fool me. Oh, oh, boy, times have changed. Yeah. Now, we tried to call yesterday, and you were out, what were you, hang gliding? No, I was gliding. I went out to the uh, Mojave Desert and did a bit of gliding. I, I've um, always liked flying. Oh, this is real flying. This is some drug-induced thing. This is actually flying. Well, this is, uh, this is the next step up, or it could be down, you know. Yeah. And uh, the Mojave Desert is one of the best places in the world for, for gliding, so I went out there and... Uh, now, is that very tricky? Because you have to catch, what, the thermal currents and yeah, all Yeah, you that? try and catch thermals, uplift, uh, you know, hot air coming up. We were trying to make for Beverly Hills, Hills at uh, <laughs> breakfast time over the Four Seasons, those meetings, you know, there's so much hot air there, you could have stayed up all day. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Did you skydive? Do you do that too? No, that's next, but um, I'm trying to do that behind the wife's back, you know. She's not very keen oh, on not... that one. <laughs> not keen on that one. Oh, man, that's great. I always do that myself. Yeah, you really? do that, yeah. I skydived last Thursday. Get Didn't open, court. I hit the wall, and boom, but I'm Jewish, so I wasn't hurt. <laughs> I think they put you on one of those big pallets, don't they? Shut up, Jay. <laughs> now, have you... Uh... Have you caught the Stones tour at all yet? Are you excited about that? Is it? Is it? I think it's great. Yeah. yeah. I, you yeah. know, whatever people say about the Rolling Stones, they're an original. Oh yeah. I really admire them for carrying on, doing what they like to do, doing it well. They're still one of the best. They're not the, the best because the Who were. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to the guys. They deserve that. You know, good luck to. They're carrying on. They're waving the flag of rock and roll. No one's better than the originals, and they're yeah. one of them. Well, you certainly are too. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, absolutely. My son loves you. If you get a chance, you can have a little bit of bull whip, lady. Clyde Beatty's alive. Uh, Didn't you once give a girl $300 to do that in a room? Again with a girl. Hey, what is it with you? Know. We're in a porno movie to relax them. <laughs> Doesn't she look like Mary Steenburgen? Joyce, in the how are you? Is it oh, Joy? Joyce. Joyce. Joyce, please don't hurt my body. <laughs> oh, what do you like? Yeah. Oh. Stop. 
See, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong with the sex. Well, wait, I'm not through with it. I was at one time, but you know that. Well, <laughs> you yeah. wake up in the morning, you hear those whips, and go, "Oh, where's my oh. whip?" <laughs> now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna try some target whips. Well, we need to start with my buddy here. Yeah, Dom, you're so no, friendly. Go, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Joy, tell yeah. us what you're going to do. Now, yeah. What are your credentials? You, you have I'm a Jew. I've been circumcised. <laughs> if you plan to do anything well, more with no, no. my big falcon, you're in trouble. I'll tell you that right now. Now, you're, now she's the cha you're the champion. Where right? is yeah. Freddie DeCorvid when I need him? For crying out loud. Yeah. Now, that actually, you, you hold the rose. You put it between your legs to the back. <laughs> you, you know about him, huh? <laughs> right he here. does blossom like this. He does. <laughs> Okay. Wait a minute. Let me talk to him. How are you? Okay. Here, right Don, you stand right like this. Who's yeah. going to edit this yeah, tape? Just, there you go. Okay. Okay, just put it out behind. I don't want to hit anything else. Now, I would put... Yeah. Once you you hit anything else, you're going to hear a Jew with a high voice. <laughs> but put okay. You never saw a black guy do rum bum. <laughs> Good okay. to see you, brother. Right here. Right here. Okay. Now, now put, put this way. Rose out this don't tell me yeah, where to way. put it. This you way. make a lot of money. Like this way. You get circumcised. There you go. Okay, a little bit further. A little bit further? further. Wait, yeah. a, wait a second. I'm not ready. Yeah. Don't worry, Timmy. You're going to be fine. A little, a little further. That's his okay. name, Kevin. Tim. Further. <laughs> Get to do it. This right. I want to see. This is going to be beautiful. But go for the gold. Say, it's a little okay. easier. <laughs> it's a much bigger target go for ahead. me. So. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I want you to put this in <laughs> your hip pocket. Put what that in my hip pocket? Yeah. Here. Should I take my jacket off? Hi, you guys. Can, you you can never thought I'd say hello to you, huh? Here we go. I'll take my jacket off. What am I supposed to do? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Just like that. What am I doing now? Okay, now. <laughs> Yeah. Now, there's Pick one up his jacket. Thing. He makes seven million dollars. You don't have to do that, sweetie. There's one little thing I need to do first before I do that. Get the I ring. just need oh, to. Jesus. <laughs> I... Look at this, the Jew in okay. Jerusalem. Okay, hold on. Time out, time out. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. There's a piece But just there, yeah. trust me that it's because it's so hip that it's doing that. But it looks it's great. It's a good thing. It, look, it looks good. It looks Thank good. you. Good to Thank see you again. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Congratulations on all the success of your show, too. That's Thank wonderful. you. Now, you had a big weekend. What, your sister got married in school? My sister got married. Now, we're here in the... got married. My one sister, my older sister, I'm now the last in the entire family. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A lot of pressure there? A lot of... It's not pressure. It's a lot of, like, sad looks. A lot of, like, oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, man. How are your dogs? A lot of that. Yeah. Such an ugly duckling, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, really? Did, did, did the relatives really do that? Are you? They're ju they're very kind about it. It's that kindness that just kills. You know, it's just... No, you know what they say? It was so funny. Cause after my sister got married, and it was a beautiful ceremony, and it yeah. was so sweet, and I'm, I'm saying we're on the beach in Cabo San Lucas, and I'm crying, and she's dancing with my dad, and it's so sweet. And David, her husband, I can barely say it, my sister's husband, his mother came up behind me, and she said, well, are you next? And I was like... I don't know. She said, it's okay. You have till you're 40. You can be a loner. <laughs> She's the oracle of the wedding, and I'm just this matron with 100 cats. That's my new vision of myself. <laughs> to be the spinster. Yeah, right. Well, now, hold on. You're not, 
What are you, 26? I'm, I'm 17. Oh, 17. <laughs> well, you're not even 30. So I'm excited to almost 18, and then I can vote, and that'll be fun, yeah. I think. Well, you know, Don was, was 38 when he married. Would you like to go to camp? Yeah. <laughs> If there was ever a case that was hopeless, so look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at, there's always hope, Courtney. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was your sister nervous? Just keep hunting. Was she scared? Was it? Oh, she was, she was very nervous, but she handled it beautifully, and we're all happy. And she had to take, do this huge walk down to the beach. It was at right. sunset, and they were getting married down by the water. And she's walking down, and she's with my dad, and this is what happened. And I didn't hear all of it, but she said that, she turned to my dad, and she said, Dad, I'm so scared. Please, you got to give me some, some words of wisdom. And Dad said, okay, sweetie. How do you sell a deaf man a duck? And all we heard was, Wanna buy a duck? And you're walking down the aisle. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a fun wedding. I know. It was. I, I, I think the old man's ready for the home. I'm saying that. Wanna we buy really a duck? It's a serious occasion. We don't really understand it in my family. <laughs> What did you get? What did your sister get for a wedding gift? Feathers? <laughs> <laughs> now you go ahead and chat with him. <laughs> Isn't he like every guy that's sick next to you at the bar? If you want to drink? Isn't he like the salesman from Dubuque? Hi, hi, honey, why? He's nice only seventeen. That. Give her a break, huh? You don't fool around. Now you're you? my favorite. Oh, oh thank you, Chris. Saying that. Oh, uh, you good. are. You're, you're my good. favorite too. That's good. Forty years ago, we could have worked something out. <laughs> Now I just sit on the couch and go, I got movement. <laughs> now let me ask you something. I'm going to yes. ask you. You were spotted yes. by one of our staff members at the Price Club. <gasps> really? Yes. It's For my those who don't know, place. the Price Club is like, it's like a warehouse where you... you where, it, it, Do you not have Price Club Costco? Yeah. It's, yes. Yes. It's like a membership yes. thing? Yeah, it's a members only thing. Oh, so it's, it's pretty exclusive. Just I found people. out when I went back and let a friend sign up on my membership, I wasn't actually supposed to be able to join. Ooh. But the guy recognized me, so I'm kind. I kind of snuck in there. Oh, so what do you? I mean, do you buy toilet paper in the gross ton? That kind of. I thing? have like 74 rolls of toilet paper in every bathroom in my house. I have pens. I haven't run out of a pen in two years. No, no. Why do you? you you're single. Why do you need to go to the price club and buy things? In it bulk? makes absolutely no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. I have a completely run, running out. Like if one day I ran out of a light bulb, I buy like 30 at the price club, and I will never run out. Just oh, I see it. <laughs> I afford it because one good thing about being single is that there's no one else to put stuff in my house. Yeah, yeah. So I have covers and covers. Like Tupperware, I've got every size, like from this to this. Have you bought that set yet? You know, I think I understand why you're single now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm beginning to understand. It's all coming together, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be very happy. Yeah. <laughs> but you, we do have a common interest. We both like bad TV. Because we talked about this the last time, remember? Yeah. We about we my, like mother, to watch. my mother's afraid no one's going to know I read. So I read. So, you know, so mom, it's okay. Everybody knows that. Yeah. But we are like, what, what is your example of like a good, bad TV Burke's show? Burke's Law. Burke's Law? Burke's Law is my favorite, favorite TV show. Yeah. Now, no, why is that? Okay. Uh, this is absolutely perfect. There's an episode that was actually about a late night talk show. Right. Where um, Ed McMahon played the rival talk show host, <laughs> which is brilliant. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. And Rue McClanahan was the widow, and Corey Feldman was her son, and Tracy Scoggins was the brilliant head writer. It's brilliant casting, isn't it? I mean, I just sit there delighted. Every time a door opens, there's somebody else with a new brilliant job. You're alone a lot, aren't you? <laughs> I want to find out what books you've been reading, too. We'll talk about that next time. Anyway, Courtney, congratulations on your show. Thank you, you so It's a great much. success. You do a Thank terrific you. job. Thank Courtney, Courtney, thanks. We'll be right back with Aaron Neville right after this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The only unattractive person on the show is my next guest. Do you know him? He has been a regular on The Tonight Show for many, 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 many years. He'll be performing at the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas, September 5th through the 12th, and at Caesars in Atlantic City, September 14th through the 17th. Please welcome the one, the only, the legendary Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen.
Mr. Chairman, let me talk about the hate. Yeah. Sweetie, have you out? I've been waiting an hour and a half. Backstage, you, you got through with your funny car bits. You looked a little nervous, Don. Uh, were you nervous? Were no, you I, 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 I was wonderful watching you crash into a fence. What funny stuff, really. Thank you. <laughs> An hour and a half of watching a blind guy how to go in traffic or some damn thing. Uh, I came out here, hey, you, you invite guests and you stand out here for an hour and a half with your cockamamie trick-or-treat little stories and gimmicks, no. and it's not going over. Forget about it, for crying out loud. Normally, no, normally. Normally? No, normally, when we have a big star, we bring them right out. Yeah, well, sometimes you just have to fill. I don't see the humor in that. Look at the one in the back, in the back row, and, hey, that's great, Jay. We've got a smart, she-she crowd here. Look at the roll in their underwear. <laughs> well, Don, how have you been? I, we had, we... None of your business. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I don't want to wait that long next time, huh? You want to come out right away? That's right. I don't need to watch you work out with your little trick-or-treat stuff. Don't make it, for crying out loud. <laughs> Bring out a guest and have a little class. Uh, Bring out a guest. Kira Sedgwick, uh, Sedgwick, whatever. Yeah, yeah. She's backstage now doing push-ups, trying to keep her mind occupied. <laughs> Anyway, good what to see you. What was the name you. again? I'm, I'm... Who cares what her name is? <laughs> Kevin Bacon's uh, Kevin Bacon's wife. What that's do right. I care? That's, well, you're Jewish. That's Kevin Bacon. What so does that got to do with? Well, what, do you I take a name. Well, so no, I figured it's Bacon, and that's a separate. What movie. is this? A Nazi movie? We're taking. <laughs> What's Jewish got to do? Have it or not, he's black. Did I make a big thing out of it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that means I gotta go work the board. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, what's Jewish got to do with the whole damn thing? I, I don't just like a, that remark. Just a you know, I know, I know how you are about ethnic humor. Why are you touching me? I, I don't like that. It's a, it's a very nice job. By the way, somebody. are you? What? <laughs> how do you hey, think you got know. on? <laughs> <laughs> you heard how they screamed? Yeah. <laughs> You're a wonderful audience. You really are. Snap out of it, huh? Now, let me ask you about, now, you know, Bob Newhart, your friend, was here, and you oh, guys... Oh, Bob, Bob Newhart, Bob yeah. Newhart. yeah. He's yeah, not yeah. here. He's at a state you sanitarium went, you, right now. Yeah. Well, you went on that cruise. Yeah. Uh, now, you don't seem like a cruise guy to me. I, I, Why not? Just hang around downtown Hollywood going, <laughs> what do you say, lady? Hey. <laughs> uh, I like to get the girls in the park on a swing. <laughs> but, uh, uh, the, the van got in heat. Hey, <laughs> there they are. No, I, uh, we had a wonderful cruise. We went to Vietnam. I, I think I told you about it. We went to China. Who, who takes a cruise to Vietnam? Oh, well, no. Our life is going to be this, sitting here all day long. My next guest, you don't do anything for crying out loud. You sit in the house with your wife, Mavis, going, my next guest. And she says, you're home, moron. You're home. Forget about it. We go on trips. You go on trips? We go to China. And watch those guys. And you are... Uh... Newhart and I went to China. It was yeah. great. We, he did the laundry, and I did the, I did the ironing. But it was great. Have you ever been to China, miss? You ever been out of your house? No, I don't think most people have been to China. No, well, it's a great experience. You sit yeah. around, have a lot of tea, and watch the guys going around going, how do my eyes look? And, uh... <laughs> and it's not... Oh, hey, there's no voting. There's no voting now. For the money you people are playing, I'm a riot! <laughs> They're now, sitting here like is this one of those carnival things with the Kathy Lee? No, is we don't go with Kathy Lee. No, no, God bless her. No, she's out of the ballpark singing to anybody to listen. Uh, <laughs> no. That's a joke. That's a joke. She and Regis get up in the morning. I don't get up that early. You know, that's like the memorial services when you get up that early. Right. You know. <laughs> but uh, no, she wasn't on the ship. We we had a we had a we had a wonderful time. We mm -hmm. we had a little booze and we sat around. And we took a crack at the wife once in a while. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have to do that, especially when the ship's on an angle. You know. <laughs> now, how long? I'm married 30 years. I just stand outside on the deck and go, "Are you ready?" <laughs> Put on a helmet and go right in there. Really, really. <laughs> That's right. You kids don't know about that. You're too busy putting on those little hats. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Where's my little hat? I'll tell you now, why don't you relax for a moment when we come back? Oh, you know what I want to ask you about when we come back? About when you panicked. Newhart was on here. That's said, a lot no, of no, no. He said, you panicked. You were stricken with fear. I was there. We'll, we'll tell the audience about it when we get back. See, this is a teaser to get them to stay. Is that what it is? Yes. Because yes. really, you're dull. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Tommy 
with Don Rickles. Now, Don, you're a big sports fan. You're a friend of Tommy Lasorda, right? Yeah. Tommy Lasorda, yeah, who's not on the diet anymore, and he's starting to swell up in the dugout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there going, wah, 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 wah. And he goes and he leans over and picks up a ball and goes, hey, 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 hey. my can is locked. <laughs> what are you, a seal? <laughs> this guy in the front. So you, you get a chance, to ask a question. You want me to ask which question would you like that for? The one on the top, the one that says they're dumping you for a new guy. No, no, you know what we should do? Let, let's do this. Let's talk about what, what I mentioned what I, in the last segment about when uh, your friend Bob Newhart, we were at, we were at New Hart's house, Newhart's house at a party. That's right. And you were frozen with fear. You made that up. I wasn't frozen. Newhart said it, not me. Your well, what friend. is Newhart know? Do you see him here tonight? He's in a state hey, asylum just saying, uh, uh, where's my telephone? Where's my telephone? Uh, we had a party at Newhart's house. There was yeah. a, a fire burning in yeah. the fireplace. Yeah. A log rolled down out of the and fireplace. you said front. I panicked, which I didn't do. I, I picked it up, put it back in the fire. That's you, right. you stepped on your wife going out the door. Well, of course. My... <laughs> <laughs> well, she was laying there. In fact, she thought she was a rug. What do I know? But, but uh, that was the night Frank Sinatra was there. When you're, in the company, there. when you're in the company of Sinatra, if there's a rolling log on your rug, you pick it up and you put it back in the fireplace. Otherwise, he takes your name and beats up your aunt. Uh, so. He is an intimidating guy. No kidding. Because he said to me, he said, think of being a detective. No, no, no. Look at how you think He said to out. me, what are you drinking? I said, I don't drink. What are you drinking? I said, a scotch and soda, a scotch and soda. I, just, I, I never had a scotch and soda in my life. I'm going to tell him you're making fun of him. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. And we're going to see you on the highway going, I got two in the stomach. Uh, but Frank, Frank's a great guy. You, you gotta be with him. He's great. He, uh, we had a dinner party the other night. You slapped my wife. Yeah. Uh, just to relax. Just to relax. Just to kick back. Yeah, you know, he's one of those kind of guys. You know, Sinatra's big. But you're big, and that's, that's, not, the main, that's not the main thrust. Yeah, yeah. But you were talking about the Dodgers. Right. The Dodgers are, they're, they're gonna have a great season this year. Yeah. Uh, Mike, Mike Piazza, you know, he's sitting all He's been home. on the show here. Nice kid, yeah. Yeah, he is. He's awfully nice. He sits home at night, and he just sits there and goes, Me strong! And you give him a bucket of pizza, and he goes away. Uh, a bucket of pizza? A bucket of pizza, right. What is this, a test? I don't know, but you're a... What are you, every word I say, you're going you're gonna to check it out? What, what, what is this? Yes, what? I am. When you hear the bell, go to history. <laughs> anyway, uh... You seem to like the Dodgers, Italian. The Dodgers, the Dodgers have a, a, a great... I, have you ever been down the locker room? Yes, I have. That's an experience. Yeah, I went to yeah. each locker, and I said, how are you? And you tell Tommy, I'm going to play second base, I'm going to play second base, you tell Tommy, I'm going to play second base. Then you go to the third baseman, and you say, how are things? I'm going to be with Tommy, second base, third base, third base. And you stand around, and I swear to God, you just blow the whistle, and I all get a shovel and start to work. But, uh... Hey, 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 you don't hear Lou Lipschitz shortstop. You don't hear that. You don't hear Vinny Bombanani on third base. It's usually Miguel Valera Caseros. I mean, that's what the Mexican guys do. They're good at grounders. <laughs> Capture this crowd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not a big sports. Sports crowd. No, no. Mostly Mexican audience tonight. Well, let yeah. me ask you. Don't pick on the Mexicans. <laughs> they do a great job with my lawn. I got a terrific green lawn, and you're not going to spoil it. In fact, then, then one more time, you bank, and you're going to be smiling in a chocolate factory. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but they laugh. You don't know what the hell's going no, on. I don't know what's going on. I've lost completely. Here's your, here's your whole act. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a like a queer lighthouse. <laughs> Did you ever look at yourself on television? Uh, no, Between I'm not the like chin, you. the nose, and the whole damn turning around, all you need is a stick on your can, and you got a puppet show for crying out loud. <laughs> Now, Don, you're going to have a birthday soon. You're going to be... Oh, none of your 80, business. is it? Oh, not 80. 80? 85. 85. And look at that. I still got movement. There you go. No, I'm not. I, I had a birthday. Anyway, you're going to be at the MGM Grand and at Caesar's Palace in Atlantic City. Don, good to see you again. Always pleasant to have your charm on the show. Don, here's Dennis Whitman. We're back with uh, Sarah Sedgwick from Something to Talk About. Okay, let's get right to it. My uh, first guest, a huge movie star these days. He also continues to be a top comedian. He'll uh, be the headlining act at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, April 25th through May 8th. He's got a birthday coming up where he'll be 91 years old. Please welcome Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
to see it, Don. The hell you got out there? A bunch of owls? A bunch of owls. Now you look great, gang. This is a smart she she crowd. Look at this guy in his underwear. And the guy looked. I got no underwear on. Where are you? He's on the honeymoon, that guy. I don't care what he's on. <laughs> what the hell do I care what he's on? Let me congratulate you on wedding anniversary. Was it 51 years you've been married now? 71. 71 years you've been married. And this crowd bought it. Are you crazy? How long have you been married? How many years? I'm married 31 years to a wonderful woman. She's right now in our bedroom at home going, when is he coming back? That's right, boy. When you get a little older, boy, <laughs> old spider gets busy. <laughs> old spider? Old spider, yes. Isn't that a cologne? You never met him. How would you know? That's right, old spider. When the hell did you and I go to a health club together? <laughs> I know when I went. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, do something about your body. Look at your body. I've My seen body? him in a shower. The water misses him. <laughs> okay, look at your notes. Jump I'm in. I'm looking. I'm asking about your anniversary. Say something. When is your anniversary? No, well, there's some very anniversary. insulting things about you. Uh, well, I don't care. I'll get over Where it. did you go? Did you take her somewhere? Did you travel? I know you love what to travel. What do you mean, travel. take her? It's not a dog. I don't walk it. It's a my wife. <laughs> but I take her someplace. Yeah, here, here, Barbara, here. Roll over. Here. <laughs> no, we went down. As a matter of fact, we were on tour with Joan Rivers, my dear friend, and yours. Yes, yes. And Joni and I, and we went down. We were touring, and we were in uh, a place called Me a place. So Memphis. A place, a place called yeah, Memphis. Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee, where they sit around on the porch going, I'll be damned, there's a bus. <laughs> Uh, and on the other side, he goes, oh, look at this, Louise, a cricket. <laughs> and uh, she and I were down there, yeah. and uh, we were uh, working at the uh, Grand Casino in, in, uh, outside of Memphis. Outside? How far outside? What the hell are you from, a travel agency? <laughs> I don't remember casino gambling Well, who is to remember? <laughs> Nobody, what are you? What are you, my guardian? I don't have to tell you where I go. <laughs> Gee, 40 million Jews, I got to meet a truant officer here. <laughs> So you're down there in Memphis. Did you go so I'm to... down in yeah. Memphis. That's yeah. right. And we celebrated our anniversary. And we were at the, uh, the, the uh, oh gosh, what's the hotel with, with the ducks? Oh, uh, you didn't want my the help Peabody. a minute ago. The Peabody. The Peabody, yeah. The pe I know. The roasted duck with the little duck. No, they don't roast the duck in the yeah. lobby, you dummy. They, they walk they, into the lobby and then no, they put it on the That's right. The ducks come out of the, they're up on the top floor and they come down. What am I talking about? I don't care about the ducks. I got my own troubles for that. Anyway, so the wife and I are sitting there. And yeah. Joan Rivers and her all big, we're having a big dinner, and the guy's coming with the flaming this and the flaming that. <coughs> Mr. Rickles, it's a wonderful anniversary. And a guy leans over and says, Mr. Rickles, all of a sudden we hear, bang, 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 bang. And I've been in enough hotels, as a lot of us have been. I said, that's ah, probably, you know, a rehearsal, or they're just checking the alarm system. The guy said, we're just checking, Mr. Rickles, no problem. And now we get to the main course, and the guy leans over and says, uh, Mr. Rickles, you'll have to evacuate, there's a fire. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> <coughs> And uh, we all got up, and we went outside. And as we were going outside, I, may I stand up? As, well, may I stand up? What, what uh, is it, say yes, Quinn? Yes, yeah. I'm like, uh, anyway, so I, I, I get up, and there's, there's the fireman walking by with a hose, big hose, helmet, the oxygen tank. He walks by, and he does one of these. Hey, what are you doing in town? <laughs> what do you got? I swear to God. I said, well, uh, uh, I'm here for, never mind that. There's a fire. Don't worry about it. How, how, how? I swear, how, how, how long are you going to be here? I said, will you get upstairs and put out the fire? He said, why? What do you want? Meanwhile, the lobby's got a little smoke and he gives me one of these. Because <laughs> I know how you panic in a fire. Nah, it's nothing. Every fire they call it a grease fire. You know, yeah. some guy's in the kitchen going, some Mexican kid's running around going, I didn't do it. I crying out loud, I didn't do it. <laughs> A Mexican kid said that. There's nothing bad about that. Where the hell am I working? Ellis Island? Did you get a chance to go to uh, Graceland, Elvis' home? Did yeah. You see yeah. He's, he's alive, you know. Really? Yeah. Yes, yes. I saw him in the back of the house smoking a cigarette. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, well, we went to Graceland, and it's great. The, 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 the rooms are decorated in early paint. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <coughs> Jeez, and now I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> God almighty, get it, get, get yourself an injection or something for crying out loud. I don't need this. I was a healthy Jew. I come out here, I can see when the show's over, I'm gonna be in a hospital going, <laughs> it was Jay Leno. <laughs> so, uh, I went over to Elvis Presley's place, 
And it's, you know, the mansion and so right. forth. And they all stand there, fanatic fans. You know. Big fans. Can't make jokes, which I did, you know. I said, Elvis is alive. The guy went, he is not. He's dead. I said, no, the guy's alive. You know something I don't know? All of a sudden, I had him convinced he was alive. So they all started to follow me. <laughs> well, we went on a private tour. Joan Rivers was with us. And we had a lot of laughs. And we looked around. We saw his plane. And we you know, saw the house. Did you ever meet him? Did you ever Yes. Work? Yes, yes. Met him at the Riviera in Las Vegas a lot of years ago. And he came backstage and said to me, Hi, Don, I'm Elvis Presley. Like, I didn't know. He had the wings on and he was flying around. And <laughs> had the mustache and the sideburns were locking up his neck. And in fact, uh, in fact, he gave me uh, one of those, uh, you know, he's got a lightning bolt. Is the, a uh, lightning bolt? Yeah. What do I have to, is this a playback? <laughs> he's got a what lightning bolt? What the hell's the matter? Everything I say, I get the feeling I got a problem. I'm he's okay. like a pen? Can you hear him? <laughs> The guy here in the front, snap out of it, huh? An old guy right in the front going, what a night, what a night. So, uh, you don't have to be that attentive. I'm listening. I, <laughs> no, you don't have to give me I one of these. I find this fascinating. I get the feeling. You remind me of no, one of these doctors. No, in talk show school, I they teach you to do this. I see by your chart you have uh, cancer. <laughs> okay, you come in Friday for the wonderful... Well, polonoscopy, and then we'll uh, check out the rest. I'm going to play golf. Anyway, so uh, that was a little doctor bit. I throw those things good, in because good. you haven't been much of a help tonight. Yeah, You're yeah. sitting there like you got the job. Well, let me ask you about your. Let me <laughs> let me ask you about your other famous. I know you have a lot of famous Hollywood. Friends. I saw you at the Clint Eastwood dinner. What was that? The American film. Yeah, uh, AFI dinner. Yeah, I you was go very, to every dinner. I know. Well, sure. Hey, you know, you got to get a hot meal once yeah. in a while. You know, <laughs> I could be with you, you, but I don't, you, I don't like yeah. to live in Johnny Rockets. You know, no. hanging around you. You know. <laughs> You ever hang out with him and his wife? Two burgers to go. <laughs> I mean, I go, I go class. You know, yeah. we go to a big restaurant. Yeah. You can't handle that. No, no. Newhart I'm not, I'm told not a me about guy. Newhart told me about that with you. You know, Newhart and I went had a lovely meal. Yeah, well, sure. You and him are perfect. You know, two of you would just sit there and watch the waiter die. <laughs> you know, two of them, a lot of fun. Huh? What well, do you want to do? Tell me about Clint Eastwood. Tell me about your famous okay. Hollywood pal. Don't beg. I'll tell you. Don't beg. <laughs> Well, Clint was uh, wonderful. He, he got married, you know. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be very happy. <laughs> but, uh, no, I wish him the best. He's great. He's like De Niro, the two of them. You know, you sit in a room with the two of them, and they go, they, this is the two of them talking. <laughs> and like a jerk, you go, huh? And the whole night, because they're big stars, you've got to make out like you understand them. Like you and I. Yeah, well, no. You're a dynamite guy. Your wife. Your wife is the thing that saves you. He's got a lovely wife. Mavis. Beautiful wife. She's a great wife. She really is. Wonderful wife. Do you know what we're going to Benini? Well, she's not, she's not that great. Let's not get crazy. I mean. Do you know we're going to Benini? Have you ever met him? I met him backstage. He Wonderful guy. Yeah, he's sitting there. He got oil all over my suit. <laughs> he's making pasta or something. He got oil all over, all over me. I think, you know. I said, hello, Roberto. Hello, Don. How are you? And he started rubbing all over me. We'll be right back with some of the right after this. Don Rickles! My next guest is probably the most popular entertainer in Italy. His latest movie is called The Monster. It is the highest grossing film in Italian history. The movie opens in the United States this Friday, April 19th. Very funny man. Please welcome Roberto Benini. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> uh, here, wait, wait. Yeah. Here we go. Here, here we go. Uh, the the uh, left one is gone. It's gone. Uh, sit down, my friend. Call up Cedars. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Hey, yes. There you go. Yeah, sit, sit. Don't jump on me again. Where? Sit here. Here. 
Sit down. Get out of bed. It's good oh. to see you again. <laughs> Piss. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Nice to see you again. Thank you. And you. <laughs> I think I'm in love. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Do you need a personal trainer? Why are you hollering? <laughs> I love Italy. Mm-hmm. I love Italy. I, oh yeah, me too. Too bad you lost the war. I hope not. Yeah, very yeah, yeah. well, let me tell you. So what happens? First of all, I must say, I must thank you for inviting me here. Oh sure. I must say, you are the most, most uh, handsome, beautiful man I have seen in the United States till well, now. Well, I, I want to thank. That's the truth. Now you too, eh? Him, him very yeah. handsome, yes. Both of you have cataracts. <laughs> now you, you, you started out in Italy as, as magician, as a magician. I started, yeah. Yes, yes. What, what? <laughs> the hell does he want from me? <laughs> no. This guy was nuts. He's uh, out of control, this guy. Uh, so you started out as a magician? <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 no. I, no. Uh, no so I start the way you do tricks? Play a magician, yeah. What, what, kind of, what kind of tricks you do? No. Card trick? No, no, very simple. The magician uh, hypnotized me. They, they hypnotize you? Yes, saying, uh, you are in a desert, it's hot. Desert, it's hot. And I start to, to pull, to get out my clothes. Take all your clothes off. Yeah, like this. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. Oh, it's very hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very hot. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. it's very hot. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we had a chance to talk. Yeah. <laughs> And then the yeah. magician said, you are in the North Pole, and they start to... And then you put them back on. Exactly. So the movie is, is The Monster. It opens here April 19th. Folks, very funny, man. Go see the movie The Monster. Be right back with Mitch Richmond right after this. <laughs> Fun talking with you. I'm glad we got a chance to talk and thank you very yes. much. Yes. Now yes. I would like to start. I you are a magician. <laughs> the movie is the monster. <clears throat> and of course, Donna Rickles. Don will be at the MGM Grand Las Vegas in Las Vegas, April 25th through May 8th. Legendary, that's just another word for old. Don Rickles is on his way out late. <laughs> on the other end of the scale, 17 year old, party of five actress. <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt is here. And uh, plus, the man, the Chicago Tribune, the man, the Chicago Tribune calls this guy the world's greatest lover. You know, I got no way to prove that. 
You know, I'm like, what am I going to do? Prove it to me now. No, don't touch me. I don't, how do I know he's the world's greatest lover? Yeah. But if the Chicago Tribune says it, it must Hurry be true. Up. Yeah, he must be true. <laughs> Keith Sweat is here, ladies and gentlemen. Old guys can't wait that long. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> My first guest, a good friend. He's Your Comedy last Central guest. paid spokesman. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be at the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, October 31st and November 3rd. At the Tropicana, Las Vegas, November 8th and 9th. Then at Giggles, Chuckles, Tee Hees, Chuckles, Aha. my fuck Please chuckle. welcome Don Rickles. Get him out. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Thanks. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks, Kevin. Sure, John. And thank the orchestra. God bless you guys. Thank you. And, and the girl. <laughs> but I tell you, it's not a Jewish holiday. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit. And I always wait for the guests. Uh, you always first. wait for the guests. Old. I'll give you old. Here, here's your old. That's what I said. Here's my old. I know. Old, old. You ever hear your jokes? No, I'll tell you this. I hey, I want to say, yeah, Jay, yeah. very honestly, yes. <laughs> this really, I, I, I love working with the Muppets. I, I, you know, I yeah. have a career, and now yeah. I'm working with puppets, yeah. and I'm working with, the, with, the, with Camelot, with, for Warner Brothers, yeah. Uh, yeah. Quest of Camelot. So the career is skyrocketing, oh, and I'm yeah. down to this. Oh, yeah. And so I'll tell you this. The very, sweetheart, you've got to snap out of it, otherwise you're going to get annoyed. I'll tell you this. Got a girl right in front going, where are we? Nah. So, <laughs> I know he didn't go over, don't blame it on me. So, no, hey, 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 hey. you're chuckling, and Mavis is in Europe going, he makes so much money. Oh, boy. <laughs> Mavis is his wife. You haven't seen her. She's on a moose hunt. Anyway, uh, uh, it doesn't mean anything, doesn't but mean they laugh. Anything. So, isn't it great they laugh out of deference to your age. Now, let me great? ask you. Now, let me ask you. Look at this body. Is this body old? I rest my case. That's the, same that's the same body you've had since you were 17. That's right. <laughs> you ought to know we were in the Navy together. That's right. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Oh, oh, oh. Now, let me, you just got back from Italy. Is that correct? Why does the hand keep going up? Are I'm you asking you a question, yes. Well, I know you used, I just, to, work, I, I know I, you used to work with Muppets, wait, so wait I have to go second. like this. Wait, wait, wait. That's two in a row. One two more and you get a slap. Two in a row. <laughs> now, let, let's... We, we got to calm down the pace. Yeah, yeah we're, it's just, we're just both going of too us fast. are out here. of control. Yeah. And you know, I, we're personal friends. Right. And now we're like, we got little keys on our can and we're going. <laughs> so we got to slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. Now, this is the way you got to remember your audience dull and fed up. <laughs> now, here's what I got to tell you. I yeah. just came back from Italy. Italy. Uh, you folks, uh, I don't know. Uh, they, they say, it's funny you would say that. Uh, Italy. My wife no, says, it's not Italy. It's Italy. Italy. It's not I, Italy. Well, that's right. But meanwhile, I got a big house with hunting dogs. Now, so, uh, we just came back. Folks, don't make me run slides. And so I, I, I came back and we went to Venice. Have you ever been to Venice? Uh, no, I haven't been there. Have did you been to the corner of the Prospect and Nine? But when you were in Italy, did you see a lot of Italians? I, you I, no. I, yeah, a lot of guys in gondolas in Venice going, Hey, Tony, we're missing the bananas. <laughs> but uh, we uh, we had a wonderful time, yes. the wife and I. Just, what was the occasion? Of what it? was her birthday? Oh, that's a lovely. She's week. aged, and I had to take her out of town. <laughs> right, right. And uh, you know, that's a little humor. When you marry 31 years as I have, you don't make love. You don't. <laughs> you don't make love. You just stand by the bed and going, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> now I'll tell you this. So we went to Venice. Yes. And Jay, we had the best time. Yeah, yeah. We went to the Cipriani, the hotel, you know, beautiful. You, you wouldn't know. I don't know the Cipriani. You, you, no, you don't know from that. You stay in bed and breakfast, and, and uh, Mavis, his wife, stands on the corner going, you want, you want some pasta? Uh, so uh, she talks like that. He's got a wife that talks like that. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question now. When you were there, I know they have those topless beaches. Did you go to any of those? Am I blind? I don't know. 
Yes, I saw a lot of topless girls. At Did the, you go at topless the, at as the, well? No, <laughs> my body, when I take a shower, the water misses me. <laughs> anyway, uh, you people never saw me in the shower. When I'm alone, the soap goes, oh, oh. <laughs> I got a fantastic body. Yeah? But, well, the water never hits your body because the chin blocks it. Yeah. But, uh... Hey. Hey, don't do this now. Don't turn on him now. The man was out here trying his best to come off funny. That's right. And he went in the dumper. Now be nice to him. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Don. Uh, hey, I'm always a booster. Thank you. But I must say, Jay, and, and we went to... Uh, Italy is great. Italy, Italy is a wonderful Italy. place. I love Italy. Italy is great, and uh, we had a we had a wonderful time. What now, did Barbara go topless at the beach? No, no. <laughs> Barbara goes topless, and her head hits the beach chair. <laughs> uh, see, that joke could cost me a marriage. <laughs> now, did you see any great art? Did you go to the? Uh, we saw David. David. Oh, the, the statue David, yes. No, no, the guy David. Oh, David, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a Jewish guy in the neighborhood. We went to see him. <laughs> A real moron. I'm working with a real moron. No, we went to see David. Yes. And he got bigger, by the way. Really? Yes. Yeah. Maybe he's just excited because you were there. Yeah, well, the first time. <laughs> okay. The Italian leading the Jew won nothing. Thank you very much. But I must say. <laughs> Son of a gun, why didn't I come up with that? <laughs> anyway, uh, that's true. He, but he did. We yeah. were right on the statue. Yeah. And then we, uh, we went to the Vatican. What do, you, what do you mean you were on the statue? Well, we were right on look top. at it. There was nobody to, there. You're not supposed to mount the thing. You just look at it. <laughs> you can't get on. This is why you Americans are If paying. I want to mount yeah. it, I mount it. All Don't right. tell me what to do. I'm a Jew, and, they, and I get excited when I see. <laughs> I used to be a moil. You know what a moil is? Yes, yes. That's a guy that lays a Jew out on the table when they're a baby and goes, boom, and goes, Israel! <laughs> That's too deep for you. I knew I was going too far. <laughs> no, a moil is when they circumcise you, and, and, and a religious man does it with a little razor blade. And yeah. goes, I never had that happen. That's why I'm like this. Anyway, so, uh, how did I get into this I don't whole know. damn thing? Anyway. You're talking about seeing this. So, uh, so we went to Cipriani, and yeah. then we went on to Capri. Right. Have you ever been to Capri? No, I haven't been there. No. Jay, why don't you do me a favor? I got a job. I'm Put not skates on, on your ass and like go you. someplace, okay? <laughs> no, you've got to go and enjoy, because, yeah. and, and you're part Italian. Oh, you know what I should ask you? Did you run into our friend, Roberto? Remember last time Roberto... Benini? Benini? I yeah. called him. I swear to God, I called... Benini, tell the people who Benini is. Benini is probably the funniest, one of the funniest... He is the Italian Jim Carrey, I he guess is. you would say. Absolutely. And yeah. the last time he was here, do you remember what happened to you? Yeah. Can we show that clip real quick? Oh, you here have we, the clip of that? Yeah, you were sitting here, and you did not expect this no, at all. I, I, I tell did you not. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> what the hell does he want from me? No! <laughs> 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 And I, and I called him in, 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 in Florence, and he wasn't there, and in Rome, and we couldn't get together, but yeah. he, he's, a, he's a, as you said, he's a marvelous artist. He really is. And, Very uh, funny guy. It, it was fun. And so, and the wife and I, we had a chance to make love, you know. Really? Yeah, in a gondola, which was, you know, a couple of times I hit the dock, but, you know, it was... Yeah. It was entertaining, and we had a lot of fun. But uh, you and Mavis never travel, so... Well, I don't get a chance. I got a job. I know. Well, now, what is this gift life. you brought me here? Well, you always give people good things and so forth, so I thought, this, it's time that I presented you with a thought. This is... I have been Mr. Potato Head for a You're Mr. Potato time. Head for right. me, a Toy Story Absolutely, movie. and I think... Oh, and the, you, you had this made for me? This is... Absolutely. Me as Mr. Potato Head? <laughs> well, uh, well, Don, thank you very much. It's a beautiful thing. Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Be right back.
was it, a parade in Anaheim? Okay. I mean, you give him a shot and he goes crazy with the band. They, they only play when the commercials are on. Never again, Kevin. When I say okay, you stop. All right, sir. You don't keep going. You're not going anyplace with him. <laughs> da, 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 da. Have a seat. Sit down. It's not a Jewish holiday. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> Now, Chris Kringle and all that stuff. We, yep. don't, we don't even have a tree, my people. You don't have a tree? No, no we're forest rangers. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the homes and cut them down. <laughs> How are you, Jim? I'm good. I'm very good. I know, like most hip people, you're living in Malibu now. I hear Don Rickles. They see sightings of you in Malibu. Sightings? What am I, an astronaut or a, <laughs> a bad star in the sky? <laughs> sightings. Sightings. I, I have gotten reports of Don Rickles. Yeah, we're living down in Malibu. in Malibu now because we, we bought a new home. I won't yeah. tell you where because it's not in your league. You know, you're... Yeah. Well, no, he don't live like that. He lives in the garage with a wrench, and he says to his wife, Mavis, there's grease dripping. You got to know his life. No, 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 please, please. I know you're all brainwashed, but don't applaud unless it's funny. I know it, before the show, he comes out and does 30 minutes telling him about his life and about his uncle who's dying, and then you go, yay! So don't worry with me. Just, just relax, and we'll have a great time. As I can see now, we're going right in the dumper because of you. <laughs> Well, let me ask you, how, any trouble with the recent storm? No, no trouble at all. Our, yeah. our home is like a bunker. Yeah. Had Hitler got a direct bomb hit, he would have lived the way our <laughs> home is. We got sandbags. Forget yeah. about it. I mean, the storm was great. The waves came over the, over the top of the house, and the wife said, this is ridiculous. Let's have a vodka. <laughs> and, uh, now, do you sandbag, Don? Do you actually... Uh... Do I sandbag? <laughs> I hire people for that. Jews don't sandbag. <laughs> Lou Schwartz going, more dirt, Irving. <laughs> we don't do that. No, we no. have the Italians do that really? kind of work. We have the Italians do that kind of work. And, and the, and, black, and and the and black brothers stand on the corner going, look at the way they're working. <laughs> Boy, you give them a chance, they go, what are you guys on? So Look at that, he said, what are you guys on? And the drummer went, he knows about it? <laughs> so tell me about New Year's Eve. You're going to be in Minnesota. Minnesota, in, that's my dream. In the dead of winter. And freeze my burgers off in Minnesota. <laughs> Sit around with all those people going, oh, I've heard a wonderful Don Rickle come to Minnesota. <laughs> I'm doing Fargo already. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to work in the casino there with yeah. all the Indians. Yeah. And you know the Indians. I, we worked in Foxwoods and we right, had all sure, those experiences. Sure. Yeah. And you know the Indians. If they're Indians, I'm a Mau Mau fighter pilot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hey folks, I want to tell you something. Everything I say, I said in my dressing room and I laughed my ass off. <laughs> Now, are you worried about a blizzard up there, though? Are you worried about the, the snow and getting snow? No. Well, you know, a blizzard is a blizzard, but you get a lot of money. Yeah. And something you know about, you know, because <laughs> you've got Warren Littlefield brainwashed. Warren Littlefield's the president of the company. He's not here tonight. He's out in the parking lot going, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> now, what, now, what plans have you got for the holidays? What are you doing? You're doing Notice something? the way he jumped right over that? Because <laughs> right. you know what you're going to do this year? <laughs> One more time, Kevin. I'm really, you're really getting to me. <laughs> Black brothers going bananas with that. Da -da! <laughs> it's your turn. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was going to ask you what you. Okay, what you, I'll what you go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Dear Don, please help me. This show is going in the toilet. I need a job. <laughs> I have never asked a favor of you. I am so lonely. Help me, help me, help me. Mavis decided to leave me. Why, why? I'm a lonely guy. I have millions of dollars and I have a big, big haircut and I am lonely. I live in Massachusetts and my family wants more money. Help me, help me, help me. Kiss my Kris Kringle, Jay. The, the notes, read the notes. Read the notes, the notes. read the notes. Did the notes you gave me? Well, how is your son Larry? How, how is that? Oh, my son Larry's doing very well. Yeah. Bless him. He's a... Uh, one of the writers on uh, Murphy Brown. Oh, okay. And this season they're writing, uh, unfortunately, about a, a disease. And I think that's great. That, that, unfortunately, about cancer or what have you. And they're, and they're injecting some humor. And there's yeah. humor in everything in life. And he's doing a wonderful job. I'm very proud of him. That's it. It's a serious answer.
Well, that's terrific. Now you're working in, you were in New York too, I understand? You yeah, I was in New York. My yeah. wife did a lot of shopping. Yeah. My wife has a great thing. I don't know about Mavis with, yeah. with, with the shopping, but you know, Jay, and, and you guys out there, you all know, my wife goes to New York and she says, uh, oh, not only in New York, but any place, but just recently in New York, she'll go, I'll take that dress, I'll take that dress, and I'll take two of those shirts and that blouse, and I'll take that. And I said, you know, I could use a tie. You got plenty of ties. You don't need it. <laughs> that's my name. You don't need it. This guy here in the front, I don't know who you are, but there's a new thing out called personality. <laughs> well, let me ask you, hey, look at this guy. <laughs> We're in the front row, wow! <laughs> let me ask you about, uh... you, you went to Larry King's wedding? Yeah, Larry King's wedding, he married a lovely girl, Shauna, a Mormon girl. Right, right. And Larry, as you know, is married eight times, but he's very relaxed because the Mormons believe, you know, go for ten and you're comfortable. <laughs> so, uh, I was at the wedding and they all had the, the big hats and when I came out I had a lot of pigeon jazz on the coat. Anyway, uh, of course, uh, you don't hear Jews in Utah. Jews don't go to Utah. We sell them the wagons. But we don't, uh, we don't, we sell them the wagons. Now, don't steam me, gang. Don't steam me. The guy in front went, they sell them the wagons. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but work on it, work on it. Anyway. Now, how is your, how is your film career? Are you doing another movie right My now? My film career, yes, Jay, is skyrocketing. Yeah. We just finished yeah. the picture. Of... <laughs> what are you laughing at? What did you do in movies? You did the home jobs. <laughs> You did the, 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 the no talkies. That's a, that's a little action to keep the show going. I see. Yeah, I see. Now, I what, see uh, tell me about the film. What film did you do? One second. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ice water. Fantastic. <laughs> to the, my Gentile friends, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> to my Chinese friends, finish the shirts. <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke. A little human here. We're not here. This isn't an Auschwitz. It's a show, for crying out loud. What are you, a bird? <laughs> you bring out the holiday spirit in everybody. Of I think that's the important thing. Hey, here's your Kris Kringle. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's your Kris Kringle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're not on tape. I know what I'm saying. Yeah. We are on tape. You don't have to repeat what I'm saying. <laughs> Boy, for the new year, we're going to yeah. get you a new jaw. Yeah? Thank yeah. You. <laughs> Johnson, we'll get you any job. Would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that again. We'll, we'll get, get you, you any job. Any job. <laughs> okay, Jay. You're going to love it. You're going to love it in Lebanon. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Anyway, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, I must say, yes. for the holiday spirit, on the straight, we've known each other a lot of years. A long time. And I want to say for the new year, this is the straight for a second. Johnny Carson was my hero and certainly yours. He was magnificent. And for the new year, you have sustained and done a marvelous job. Oh, yeah. I'm very happy for you and your family, and I mean this sincerely, for a good year, and you are a most gracious host, and I wish you continued success. And you too, my friend. The best there is, Mr. Don Rickles. Thank you, sir. My first guest will be appearing at Harrah's in Reno, May 21st through the 24th. He's appearing in two new films, Dirty Work, which comes out June 5th, and Quest for Camelot, which will be out this Friday. The one, the only, Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin, you got the job. <laughs> How are you, Don? 
Do you care? No, but I have to ask. You sound like you got a little bit of a cold. Pardon me? You sound like you have a cold. Well, you'd have a cold if you lived in a cardboard box on Hollywood Boulevard. Really? No, I have a, I have a little problem with my throat, but I'll be fine. Right. Because this show is everything to my career. Right. <laughs> now, I heard you have some problems with the El Nino. Were you affected by the... No, 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 no. My, my wife is going downriver in a canoe. Really? No, we had a little problem down the beach. We have a beach place. Oh, nothing like you. You have seven. No, I don't have. No, I have 14, one house that oh, I have. Oh, please! I have no. I beach knew you place. and your little, little tiny comic walking around saying, "Hey, da, da, help, help me, help me!" <laughs> now you got 14 houses, a lot of money. I, don't I have got any house. I have one house. You know, I only have one house. Touch me one more time, it's trouble. <laughs> No, we, we, uh, uh, El uh, Nino. Uh, uh, El Nino? El, whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> He's some guy with a taco. What do I know? <laughs> and what damage did you sustain? What damage? Well, basically, the insurance guy came and said, Boy, you've got problems here. Whoa. Anyway, we lost our pool. Forgive me, for those that don't have that kind of money, I worked very hard in my career to have a pool and a, and a beach place and a thing. It's not like... It's not like these overnight Charlies that work in the Bubbles Club and got a series. Anyway, uh, Wait, how do you lose a pool? Uh, where are you are? I worked the Bubbles Club. I'm not finished yet, huh? I'll tell you when to jump in. I'm talking. Oh. I hate that. Work on your hair. If it gets any higher, you'll put skates on your can and float. Right. I'm older. I'm older. You don't have to tell me. That's right. <laughs> Well, someday you'll be my age, and I, I can see you so. now with the blanket over your legs spitting up. <laughs> Make this, I gotta urinate! Well, how did you lose your pool? How did I lose my pool? <laughs> how do you lose a pool? How do you it's lose a ground? pool? Wait, what, do you have a bug ground pool? You remember those two, the, 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 the guy in the, in the broad on the thing going, We're in the Titanic! I was there in Malibu, and the waves were coming over the head, and they were coming over the house, and the wife kept saying, Where's my jewelry? <laughs> See, with Jews, we worry about the jewelry, really? not about our lives. You wouldn't know. You're Italian. You keep saying, you got any pasta, Mary? You don't worry about that. Pasta, Mary. Well, hey, folks, for what I'm doing, this is funny stuff. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Have you tried the Viagra? That might work for you. The Viagra? I'm no. <laughs> Spiders up there all the time. <laughs> I call him Spider. He loves that. Yeah. Spider, they're talking about you. Anyway, uh... <laughs> now you're going to Reno now. Yeah, Reno. Uh, 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 did you ever work Reno? Yeah, I was there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to work for Harris. They're, they're wonderful people in yeah. Harris. And, but I went there in the old days, you know, when yeah. it was rodeo time. When guys came with the, with the moose shirt and, you know, and the, the L cat and the, and the dead deer was on the fender and they all went, Alvin, he called me a moron. It was a she-she crowd, but now it's classy, yeah, you know, right. and they pay a lot of money. Not yeah. your salary, you know, because no, no. you're beyond belief, you know. Yeah, I mean. that's me. Now you got two movies coming out. Tell me about these films. Well, I'm, I figure after they are released, uh, you won't see me anymore. I'm too big. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when you win an Oscar, you don't do these kind of shows. So I won't be around too much, no, but no. hey, you'll manage. Look at the kind of crowd you got. Look at this guy. He's sitting here like he's in the toilet. <laughs> Get yourself a magazine. <laughs> anyway, uh... Now, Bob Saget directed you, right? Know? Yeah. Bob, Bob Saget. Bob Saget's great. Yeah. You know Bob. And so I know Bob's him. a funny comedian. He's, he's really a nice guy. He kept yeah, telling yeah. me that every day. I'm a nice guy, you know. Another annoying guy, you know, kept hanging around. Yeah. We did it up in Canada, and Norm MacDonald's in it. And right, it's, right. And it's, and it's, uh... Are you from Canada? Yeah. Well, kiss my hockey puck. Anyway, uh... No, I love Canada. That, that's all that they do in yeah. Canada. They don't make love. You get up in the morning and they all go, what are you going to do later, Shirley? <laughs> yeah, that's right. The staff went skating. Right. <laughs> A cracked staff over here went, he's skating. <laughs> when you hear the bell, go to history. Anyway. Uh...
Well, let me ask you, work with Scorsese and Casino, yeah. and then you go to Bob Saget. Is there a difference between uh, Martin Scorsese and Bob? I mean, is that a step up? Go no, I mean, I same. like them both, but I mean, are they the no, same? No, it's the same. One, one movie's $8 billion and Bob Saget is loan me $4. Right, right. No, but Bob's great. He's a yeah. fine young director, and Marty Scorsese's great. Oh, it's a little short for the room. Yeah. But uh, he's, uh, he's a lovely guy. You've got to put a pillow up so you can see where he is when he yeah. directs. But he's... Uh, He's a very wonderful guy, and Robert De Niro, who I, I carry. Some broad knows him? Anyway, uh, no, Bob's a great guy. If you, if you spend an evening with De Niro, it's like being alone. Uh, he's, he's, you say, Bob, how do you feel? <laughs> He did an animated movie. This is a cartoon. This qu what's this one? Quest. Uh, Quest for Camelot. Yeah. And I did it with Eric Idle, who's wonderful. Yeah. He Monty Python, and he's he's great. great do you artist. sing in this one? Yes, Jay, I do. And uh, uh, Carol Bayer Sager and uh, David Foster yeah. wrote the music, right. and Bob Daly uh, turned the pages. So what do you play? Anyway, uh, pummy. What do you play in this cartoon? I play a Mau Mau fighter pilot. No, I play a, a two-headed dragon. Two-headed dragon. That's right. That's correct. Two-headed dragon. Two-headed dragon. Anyway. Uh, it's a two-headed dragon. That's really? correct. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it's kind of weird, but, you know, for the check and the yeah, house, so it's, you it's, do it. It's somewhat autobiographical. Let's take autobiographical. a look. Autobiographical. Yeah. That's correct. Let's take a look. All right, oh, here, here you are singing as a two-headed dragon. Oh, really? Oh. If I didn't have you, I could do a lot of things. I'd be rocking with the dinos, swinging with the rhinos. I'd be dragonized this cave in a minute. Because I would be the dragon king. I would love this world without you. <laughs> you have fun doing that? Was it fun? Yeah, well, you know, David and uh, David and Carol, who you know, yes. and they're, they're most talented. And uh, you should see that. I mean, uh, the, even the grown-ups will enjoy it. It's uh, it was some wonderful stars in it. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it was oh, and a, a lot of fun. And uh, big personal things happening for you. Yeah, I, in my life, uh, my daughter, I, she, she She's said, a baby? don't tell me. Yeah, Is she going to get married now? I'm going to be a grandfather. Oh, yeah. I'm Any husband around? Grandfather. <laughs> Congratulations, Grandpa. John Rickles, be right back with Katie Holmes right after this. My first guest, a uh, terrific friend, great comedian. He'll be at the Las Vegas Desert Inn. Doesn't that sound like Rickles? I'll be at the Desert Inn Friday. The only rat not to be in the Rat Pack. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, he'll be there. The one, the only, Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Don, good to see you. What are you yelling? I'm right here. I know, but... <laughs> yelling like a, 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 a... Kevin? Thanks, Smitty, and the guys in the band, and the lovely Vicky, and the terrific band that never gets a chance to do anything on this show. <laughs> God bless you. You're a great band. Thank you, Don. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm doing a number right now. Why are they doing a number right now? By the way, that was uh, Fidelity, uh, Fidelity Investments. You know when you showed that, that little clip? Yes. That's what I'm doing a commercial for them, uh, you know, Ooh, for Fidelity. a lot of money. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, because I want to be able to get one of your jets. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, well, let me ask you, now you're about to become a great-great-grandfather, I understand. Not great-great-great-great-great-grandfather. Uh, what? Why don't you get me a blanket let me spit up on the stage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A great grandfather? I'm going to be a grandson. I'm going to be a grandfather. Oh, a grandfather? Yes. Oh, oh. You don't have any kids, huh? No, I don't have any Why kids. Why don't you read the manual? Huh? <laughs> I did. That's why I don't have any yeah, kids. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you lay there well, with let me Amos. Ask you Wait a minute. What? Don't just get off at one, two, three. <laughs> you make fun of me with the grandfather. You don't have any kids. When you look at Avis one night, make a move. Who's Avis? Avis? Avis is a rent -a car Avis, Avis is, is my Mavis. wife. Mavis, Mavis. It's <laughs> <laughs> Look, we got him. We threw him. If He's you... rattled. No. He's down. He's rattled. Nine, ten, out! Why are you getting me crazy with this stupid conversation? I saw your wife. She's very beautiful. Very beautiful. You ought to take a shot at her. <laughs> anyway, uh... Now, when 
does your daughter do? Now, what does the baby do? What does the baby do? Yes. Spits up. I don't know what the baby does. Wasn't born yet. We have we have a sonogram. Show the sonogram of the baby. Oh, you have a sonogram. <laughs> I'm very excited. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my, I'm going to be, I'm 72 years old, and uh, I'm going to have a, 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 I'm going to be a grandfather, and I, I'm delighted. My daughter, you know, she finally married a lovely guy, Ed Mann, and they, they, they're going to have this baby, and it's very exciting for yeah. me, and it means money and gifts and so forth. That's why I come on this, right. to try to pick up the money, and I know what you pay. Oh, gee. <laughs> for what you pay, I can't get her a kazoo. Well, let me anyway, uh... So I come on this show, and right. I do it, and uh, I'm very happy. I'm yeah. very excited. My wife is very excited. My, my wife is sitting there saying, we've got to sacrifice some jewelry and buy them gifts. Uh, but some jewelry. See, Jewish people buy jewelry. <laughs> See, well, let me ask you something now, Don. <laughs> I swear, look at this whole front. They believe O.J. Simpson was innocent. <laughs> let me ask you something now. You're being a, you're a grandfather, but a lot of the guys, you're, Tony Randall, these guys, he's older than you, these are all having kids. You ever think maybe you should be having another kid? Well, you can't do it like that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless you, you know, well, well I know. I, I, I've been married 33 years, yeah. as I said, and I make it exciting. Yeah. Well, it for exciting? example, like last night I was Cochise. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I, uh... Cochise? Yeah, well, you've got to find, you've got to do this with, with, with Mavis once in a while. You just don't go for the bones. You've got to make it exciting. Yeah? So I, I get in the nude and I put war paint on me. You understand? War paint. War paint. <laughs> you don't have to repeat it. This isn't on tape. <laughs> and I put war paint on me, you see, and I put her on the couch. And she's in a nude. I put war paint on her, and I circle the couch. And she just lays there going, attack, Cochise, attack! You know, I'm trying to get that out of my mind, that visual picture. I'm just... You, well, you, you do. You make love with Mavis. I'm sure you don't do that kind of thing. You're into cars. So you probably go, all right, let's jump start. <laughs> and you come with cable grease and the whole thing. You got to just get yeah, yeah, Well, right. you know a lot about cars. Yeah, right. I mean, you, you look at those hands. <laughs> yeah, you never got those hands it. dirty. Look, they're pink. Yeah, that's right. Well, you got the Italian hands. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey Marco, what do you want to do later? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Now you're in the, I understand you're in the Canadian... Comedy Hall of Fame. That's right. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Laugh at the country. No, no, I didn't know there was a Canadian Comedy yes, Hall. Yes, there's a Canadian Comedy Hall of Fame. Are you Canadian? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, who else is in there? I'm a Jew Frenchman. <laughs> well, who else is in the Canadian Comedy uh, Hall? Lou Schwartz, <laughs> Al Katz, and Tom Johnson. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a, it's a, it's an honor. They've had some wonderful stars. I don't know no, who. No, no. What is your connection with Canada? Because I worked in Canada many, many times. I worked in a place yeah. called the Copacabana many, many years ago. It doesn't exist anymore, right. and it was all French speaking. And in those days when I started out, I used to make fun of people, but with no rhyme or reason. I'd walk out like this guy here. You're an idiot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I happen to be right. Anyway, uh, no, I'm kidding. Are you an idiot? Yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> The guy went, yeah, yeah, I'm an idiot, yeah, yeah. Hey, do I win something? Anyway, uh... Yeah, yeah, you get to meet him personally, and he's a million laughs. He's the only guy on New Year's Eve you don't want to be with, trust me. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, I, I, I got this award, right. and I went up to Canada, I went to the Copacabana. Mm -hmm. Now, the Copacabana was all French-speaking, and I walk out on the stage, and blah, 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 and I say, you're a moron, an idiot, and the guy gets up and goes, and they all speak French, unbeknown to me. What's your first name? Uh. Right. <laughs> now, uh, so Tom, they all, uh, I use Tom to represent all of you. So Tom, they all, they all, don't make a thing, Tom, for crying out loud. I'm trying to tell a story. We didn't need that. So now, Tom, I turn around. I'll be with you in a minute. And I turn around. You just lean over. You look like a Buick. Now, sit back. You're, you're the host. Sit back. Relax. He always worries somebody else is going to take over. <laughs> so Tom, what's your last name, Tom? Wait. Tom what? I'm, uh, I'm uh, Lou Holt, and that's my friend Charlie Stahl. Anyway, uh, Lou Waite? What kind of a name is that? Tom, Tom Waite. Tom Waite. You're not the singer, are you? No, it's my brother. Really? No. <laughs> I don't... I don't, Wait a minute. I, don't, Wait a minute. I don't think we have to worry about anybody else taking over. What? <laughs> What is your name and where do you live? <laughs> hey, 
Anyway, so it's all French. And I walked up and said, sir, you, you, get rid of that jacket. You're a dummy. And the guy went, don't call me no dummy. I am no dummy. I am a Canadian, you dummy. You're a dummy. And the guy made a whole big thing, and three guys followed me out the door. And I, uh, I, went, I went back to the border, and they all said, I said, I'm a Jew. Let me go by. And I said, you stay in Canada and let them punish you. And it, that's, that's the whole story, Tom. And these people seem to know, have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Every time I talk to you, you're off to the uh, something or other Indian casino. Yeah, you well, I, I just got through it, which you worked. I worked with Foxwoods. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Indian casino. Mm -hmm. You know, there's only one problem. They, the whole night, they keep circling the hotel. <laughs> And then I got to come out on the balcony and go, uh, George Custer, I, I don't know him. I don't know him. <laughs> but they were very nice. And then I worked in a place called the Soaring Eagle. Have Soaring so Eagle. So I don't think I've been to Again, Soaring Eagle. Again, you keep repeating everything I say. <laughs> Soaring Eagle. Pass it. Soaring Eagle. <laughs> Everything is a, a repeat job with you. <laughs> when, 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 by the way, you were great. I hope you get a big check for what you did with that bit. Anyway, uh, a camera guy, you get him cheap. Very it's good. great when you do those bits. You get a lot of money from them. Don't if, show Don's future, whatever the hell you uh, do. Uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I did soaring it. You know what they did, Jay? What? They gave me the peace pipe, which is very sacred to the Indians yeah, at yeah, soaring it. Yeah. And I, and I did that, and I said, gee, maybe I should do some humor. But I found out to them it's very sacred. Yeah. And I did that, and I smoked the peace pipe, and I cut the ribbon. And then I met everybody, uh, the chief and so forth, and they were all wonderful. They all kept saying to me, yeah, well, yeah, well, what, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well. And I sold them a pony. Uh, uh, did they give you an Indian name? Yeah, they gave me an, well, you, you heard about the Indian name, right? What is, what is your Indian name? You ready? Laughing Dog. Laughing Dog. <laughs> That's the name. Laugh, I would think more like Stunted Buffalo might be good. <laughs> That's it, Jay. I have to go like Sharon Stone does. I have to go, folks. I have a premiere. I don't know what the premiere is, but I have to leave. No, you don't have to go. No, sit down. Why? Why should I no, say you everybody don't... else, every guest you have that's, that you think is important, whether it be Tom Hanks, uh, uh, Tim Allen, who, any well, of these they, guys. They genuinely have some. If you can prove to me you have some way to go, you can go. But you have no way to go now, do you? To... <laughs> you have nowhere to go, do you? Well, Bill Clinton. Now sit down there. You have, you sit till the end of the show. Sharon Stone has it. John Rickles will be joining us through the whole program, ladies and gentlemen. Be right back with Laura San Giacomo. <laughs>
He was a marvelous star, had a great reputation. And they said, Don, just do the lines, and there'll be a work light. And uh, but I said, well, will Mr. Gable be there? He said, no, 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 just say the lines. So to make a long story short, they put the light on, stood on the stage, and I walked out. I said, uh, sir, the submarine is sinking. The submarine is sinking. And off from the light, I heard, well, dive, dive, take it down, dive, dive. <laughs> and it was Clark Gable, and I went, and I spit up all over myself. <laughs> And then I met Burt Lancaster, who kept saying, you know Clark Abel? <laughs> anyway, so, uh... Well, here's why I bring it up. You were bald then. So I'm thinking, you started losing your hair about age nine? I started losing my hair when I was in the Navy and the Japanese attacked. R really? <laughs> really? I said, that's the truth. They put me on a PT tender <laughs> and I, with a, with a 20 millimeter gun, and I said, listen, I do comedy and jokes. Just keep firing at the guys over there. Just keep firing. <laughs> No, 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 you don't understand. I do impressions and jokes, and all I remember is like, da, 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 and, and then Captain said, keep firing, keep firing. And luckily, I came out okay, and yeah. uh, I went home, put on a few medals, and just sat in the house and belched. Really? Well, there you go. <laughs> Whatever that means. So you're a war hero. You're a war hero. <laughs> well, if you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. Oh, here you go. All right. As a war hero now, as a veteran... I'm no war hero. Don't mislead the people, for crying out loud. I was in the, in the Philippines for three years, a guy running around the jungle going, Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> and we had a Polish captain that kept saying, We're over here! The Polish captain, really. The, it's the Polish captain. <laughs> You gotta admit it, I'm a funny son of a bitch. Yeah. Now, well, I was gonna say, as a veteran, when you travel, do you get, st I mean, you, do they let you go through security? Yeah, do you oh, get oh, well, don't you go, well, you go private planes. No, you know? sometimes I go. Oh, come on, with your money, you can <laughs> You don't even need, the kind of money you have, they put a rubber band on your can and you blow on you into that. Really, really? No, I go, I go once in a while to private jet, but well, most of the times I go civilian, you know. And, and I love when you go through the thing, when they had the National Guard, not so much now, the guy says, uh, Mr. Dur Mr. Rickles, would you hold your hands up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Rickles, how long are you going to be in Vegas? Would you take your shoes off? Mr. Rickles, uh, do you plan to go out to Atlantic City, take, uh, empty your shoes, and take off your belt? Blah, 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 blah. And the guy keeps asking me questions, all of a sudden I'm in the nude, for crying out loud. <laughs> really? But they were doing their job, yeah. but they were annoying. Yeah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> And what is this? You're a, you're a hockey uh, mascot? Of yeah, the there's a, a Coach G. There's a, a, an Arizona Ice Cats. Yeah. And I, you know, years ago, and I'm Jay for the life of me, I don't know. I got the, I got the thing called ho a hockey pucks. Yeah, you're a bunch of hockey pucks. But that's, I don't know. Your, that's your word. You're the hockey pucks. But I don't guy. even know how that happened, you know? Yeah. Like this crowd cares. Anyway, uh, <laughs> one guy here went, yeah, what, oh, Rose, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> anyway, but uh, the guy says, he knows Rose? Let's see. <laughs> Jay, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Sit up. I, when I look at you, I think we're on a Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, I, 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 what was I saying? What you were talking about, you were the, the hockey man. Have you ever been to a hockey game? Yeah, what do you think? What? No, I, what am I, from Scandinavia, for crying out loud? I don't, yeah, I went you don't I used to like go a New York. Guy. Yeah, in New York, I used to go and see the New York Rangers. Oh, okay. Because then it was snow and ice yeah. at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah. Out here, it's 105, and the guy puts ice on, and it melts while he's playing. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, the Kings are a good team, but I, yeah. I don't see too much hockey. I, I go and see the Lakers, you know. Okay. Talk to Shaq O'Neal. Yeah, yeah. And are you still doing Vegas, and you're still, you're, you're like Mr. Vegas. You're, you're the... Well, Wayne Newton is, but, uh, yeah. and I got to kiss up to him, because the sign says, Wayne Newton, theater. Right. You'll see him when you go up there sometimes in the daytime. He's on a, la a ladder trying to make his ladders bigger. <laughs> anyway, uh, but the, the Wayne Newton Theater, and the, it's a great show. Yeah, it's yeah. a great show. I mean, it's a, they're great people, and I have a good time. And, and for Wayne, you know, in the daytime, I wash his horse. But uh, <laughs> yeah, do you know Wayne? I know Wayne. Yeah, yeah fun guy. Yeah. <laughs> and you're doing the Bernie Mac show? Bernie Mac was a... Great. Now, wonderful. who do you play? Are you a relative of some I play sort? a black guy. Really? <laughs> I'm a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, if you get a chance, join in. Yeah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> 
No, I play, I play Don Rickles. Oh, oh you're, you're yourself? Yeah, myself, oh. and uh, he has a, a, a physical problem, uh, health-wise, and I come to his house and I explain it to him, and it's funny, and he, he's just a, a, a sweet man and, and a great comedian, he really is. And that'll be December 18th right. on the Bernie Mac Show. Right. All right, Don, it's you always a, a pleasure. Yeah, I got a snob. Oh, okay. I'll check it out. Come well, back go, go, to, go to Wanamaker's and tap on the window. Well, don't be do. such a snob. Come around more often. Hey, invite you know, me. Well, we invite, invite you. Oh, you're too busy. I'm playing well, the Wumpa Wumpa Casino. I was, I was laying casino. by the front gate begging and pleading. <laughs> <laughs> you never even looked. Now, now, are you a fan of Eddie? Do you know Eddie Izzard? Yeah. Eddie Izzard will be out here in just a second. Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Howdy, boys. Uh, Did they uh, sit? Oh, they, geez, they stood up, Bob. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, guess the bathroom's locked. I guess it was for us. <laughs> tell, tell, tell a little bit about that. He yeah. was big once, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, no, I, I was busy running after Frank all the time. Yeah. Anyway, uh, no, Frank Sinatra came on the show, and, and uh, it, was, it was a surprise, so to speak. And uh, uh, Frank always said to me, call me Bullethead, you know. <laughs> that was his kind of humor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you laughed, otherwise your family got hurt. Hey, guys, thanks for sharing those memories. I know that you, you put all this together real quick, and, and thanks for coming by and, and taking a minute. Thank to you. May I say us. one thing yeah. uh, on behalf of all of us? Uh, Johnny was dear to Bob and I, and I, I, I think we can lift our glass. Bob, and, and we pray to God, wherever he is in heaven, that he'll smile and live forever in our hearts. And, and yeah. Jay, yeah. you were... A, a superb host tonight, and Bob and I, we, we love you. Thanks, well, thanks so guys. Thanks for coming on. There we go. Be right back with Drew Carey. You got the job. You're going to California. You're paying a big shot, you know? <laughs> that was cute what you did with, the, with, the, with the, uh, Jay Leno when, huh? you, when you put that in his tea. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> It no, I, that's a whole big discussion, and I wish you luck. It's going to be great for you and Jay, and I wish you a lot of luck out there, really. And you're going to be in Brentwood, right? That's where I'm not going to tell the address. Right. It's a bad area. <laughs> anyway, uh, a lot of mobs roaming the streets we in don't Brentwood. Use, we don't use the word mobs. Those are old days. Okay, Come okay, on. we'll get past you're that. Right. Do what you do best. Sit in a bar and go... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. You people got screwed. These are bad seats. <laughs> These people are over here looking, over, looking at the wall. <laughs> Have you met our new band leader, Ricky Miner? Hi. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> what the hell is he going to do for me? Hi, Ricky. How are you? A lot of good talk. A lot of good talk about you. You're going to love it living in Harlem. Anyway. Nope. No, you're a good guy. I heard a lot of good things about you, really. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. No. What? what is the origin of that Matador song? Why do they play that for you? you because I'm in heat for bullfighters. Oh, really? Is that what it is? No, because with my humor, uh, well, I always used to kid around with people, which I still do. Yeah. And it uh, reminds you of being aggressive. Toro, aha. Right. So, you know, the bull charge. Why am I talking to you? What are you, an historian and stuff? Yes, yes. Yeah. Talking to him like he cares. He, he's going to get in his car and go, nah, nah, nah. what the hell do I care about the bullfight? What do I care? What do I care? <laughs> Now, makes sound like he cares. Now, you're out the, on the road. You, the black guy, when you get a chance, start laughing, huh? <laughs> now you've got to be nice. I Since Obama, that's... they get moody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> now you're on the road. You're doing all the casinos. Why is your hand going? Is there traffic here? Yeah, well, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm over here, Don. Oh, good. <laughs> Where am I going with you? You're not hot. These are the people that help me. All right. Well, this crowd out here, I got cataracts. Where the hell are? You? But you love, they love you at these casinos. I go there, you're always well, you there. you know, you work them, too. Right, right, right. Without them, I mean, the Indians are great. The only problem, you know, what I don't like is at night, you know, with the ponies, they keep circling the hotel. Hoy, 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 hoy. Then I got to get out of the room, go downstairs, paint the horse, wish, wish Geronimo the best, and then do the shows, That's you know. <laughs> but they're great people if you like blankets. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh... -huh. uh so I, got, I got 300 blankets. You, you get gifts, too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, they always give you the blanket, yeah. yeah they always they, give they always, they, 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 how long have you had that? I, 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 just, just since you walked out. 
Man's a basket Well, case. how many dates? How many dates a year do you do? About 700. About 700. No, no, no. no. I do about, I do about, about 80. 80. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, okay. with you? What do you like better, the Indian casinos or the old mob joints? No, I like to work for Custer. Right. Yeah. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the mob joints. I'll call them mob guys. They're nice guys. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. You're, you're, yeah. okay. Tomorrow you're going to be in your house going, why doesn't this move? <laughs> Did you ever play the Latin Casino in Cherry Hill? No, I wasn't big enough. No, you weren't big I, I did. I did play the Latin yeah, Casino. Yeah. And I, uh, for Dave Dushoff. Yeah, is that who it was? Yeah, yeah, that that, was yeah that's who it was. He had a gun and he was going to shoot you. That's the guy who pulled the gun on me. That's it. Well, I, asked, he? I asked for a raise. He said, you still want a raise. I said, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, I guess he never saw your act. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh... So, so what, what are your pet peeves about traveling? Do you have some? You've well, traveled... Sure, but, uh, this, uh, this set stuff, huh? yeah. Uh, no, pet peeves, what, what do you love about traveling? Well, the thing, you know what kills me? You go through this, too. Yeah. You know, and you folks, the same thing, if you're like a half somebody, you know, uh, in entertainment or, or whatever, when you go in, into the thing, into the, into the, the thing with the beep, 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 and you go in and go, you step back, Mr. Riggles, I saw you in Vegas, you're wonderful, take off your shoes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Riggles, you were a riot in Pittsburgh, boom, 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 take off your underwear, drop your pants, <laughs> drop your pants, fire a rocket, do a flip in the air, whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. And it's all with hello, you know, so that's the tough part, going through the, uh, the uh, security. And then the rest of the time is, you know, as I have waving to my fans. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, now, as, as they chase the plane. Now, a lot of people might not know, besides your live act, you know, I've always been a fan. But I, you're a great actor as well, I remember. Well, thank you very you know, much. You've done some wonderful films. And then, of course, when talkies came in, I imagine that. <laughs> that, I mean, that was a big hurdle. That was a hurdle for you. Yeah, but he did run silent, run deep, right? Get away. Get away. No, you can't have... No, this belongs to me. No, you can't have anything here. No, you, lo you sit in your area. That's for the Gray Fox. Okay. No, but Run Silent, Run Deep. Run Silent, Run Deep. First picture with Clark Gable and Yeah, yeah you're in a movie with Clark. And you were good in that movie. I was, bet your ass I was. I was surprised you were good. And you, and you, 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 you want to know something? <laughs> hey, here, here I am, a young kid. First time in a movie. And there's Clark Gable saying, Now, kid, just... This gives me a chance to do my impression. Now, kid, just relax. You're going to be great in this. Don't worry about it. And Burton Lancer says, Don, you got to understand it's a submarine, got to understand how to, how to work the sub, how, how to dive, how to work the machines, how to work the... And, and, and Gable said, well, don't listen to him. He don't know what the hell's going on. Let's, let's have another drink. <laughs> he don't know what the hell's going on. Let's have another drink. <laughs> but, but you kids don't know uh, Clark Gable, do you? No. <laughs> oh. Three dummies in the back. <laughs> Well, you, I know you were, you were in Kelly's Heroes with, uh, with Clint Eastwood. That who, was pretty I, cool. who I carried. Yes. Yeah. Clint oh, you Eastwood carried him with you well, Clint Eastwood's a lot of fun. It's like being alone. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's got a great personality. Yeah. I love Clint. He's yeah. great. You know, you sit around and you go, Clint, how are you? <laughs> and then I did a picture, Casino, with Robert uh, De Niro. Sure. And the two of them could... <laughs> I want to thank the Academy and you people. I really appreciate it. See, when you mention somebody that's still alive, they respond. Ah, uh, see? <laughs> Picking on old guys, huh? I'm not a kid anymore. I'm an old man. But someday you're going to find out as you're laying in the box going, why did I make fun of Rickles? Why did I make fun of Rickles? Why are they throwing dirt on me? What did I do? What did I do? And when I you get, all get old. You know happens, so old. When I get to hell, they'll go, Jay, Don's here. Come yeah. say hello. <laughs> Look, we'll take a break. Well, with Don Rickles. <laughs> Legend Don Rickle. Don, how's, how's our friend Bob Newhart doing? You oh, right? he's great, Bob. Uh, you know, we've been friends for over 40 years. And yeah. It's apples and oranges. Yeah. You know, uh, if you know uh, Bob's great career, he's done so many great things. And we traveled before 9 11, we'd be practically around the world together. Yeah. And I I'm always, you know, it, it's always like Abbott and Costello, but I'm always the one that gets loud and he's always saying, take it easy. Yeah. For example, we're in Munich, Germany, so we'd be walking down the street and I'd go, Bob, just relax. Go, j j j j just don't start in. Don't, don't, don't kid around, okay? Just don't start in. And I'd walk down the street and go, Oh, man, Steve, and I see. And he'd say, Don't, don't do that. Gee, that's not funny. Not funny. And then we'd go in a restaurant, and the guy, the waiter would come up and say, So, would you care for the fish? We'd like the fish. And we'd like some rolls. Is that okay? And he'd go, Don't, don't start that. I didn't have a nervous breakdown, but uh, it was all in fun. He... He, he's great now. He's, he's at home just sitting in the living room, belching in the couch. So anyway... Uh, How did you first meet? Did he come to your show? Did you go no, to his, his, show? his wife, Jen, who we adore and love, uh, right. Barbara took them to see me in Vegas, and I was working in the lounge in those days. 
And uh, Jenny said, that's his wife, Jenny said, listen, uh, yeah, uh, Bob, you've you got to see Donnie. You're, you're going you're gonna to love him. He, he's, he's a good friend to, to my Barbara. Barbara and I are good friends, and you're going to love him, Bob, really. And this, I'll make a fast day short. He came into the lounge, sat down, and my opening line was, I said, oh, there's Bob Newhart with his wife, Jenny, a hooker. <laughs> and, and Bob, like, what, 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 why do you say that? Why, why do you say that? Now, you and your wife, Barbara, you celebrated your, is it 75th wedding anniversary? 95th. 95th wedding anniversary. <laughs> oh, it was I always loved the smart ass. I always loved the smart ass. Is it, is it 45 years? 45 years. So, so what makes, there you go. Don't applaud, you never saw her. Anyway, uh, so what makes the marriage work, Don? Huh? What makes the marriage work? Oh, I'm doing a lot of this. Yeah. Uh, no, what makes the marriage work? What can I tell you? Well, you take a shot once in a while, yeah. you know. <laughs> I mean, was now, when you're a Jew, you circle the bed and get an estimate. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, you're the other kind of Jew. You start, Shirley. I'm going to go get a paper. Yeah. I'll tell you. So it's according, it's, it's, well, hey, you've been married a long I'm time. I'm 30 years. Yeah, and, and look how happy you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, she, goes, she goes to Paris, and you sit here going, more oil, Charlie, more oil. Exactly. He fixes his cars, I don't know. Yeah. You couldn't Show fix a car, car could you? You, don't, you couldn't Jews fix don't the, fix they, they hire somebody. That's right, exactly. <laughs> now, I heard she gave you an iPad. Did, did you think that was a woman's well, product? Well, did you even know what it was? Well, an iPad, you know, that's the truth. I know nothing about if the you know, television goes uh, the, with the blinking uh, uh, midnight. I don't, I don't know the first thing about it. But now I got no, an iPad. No, television stays on after midnight now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how about, how about, how about shut up? So you got the iPad working? Were you, were you able to fire it up, the iPad? you get it started? You do that again, I'm going to get you on the Jerry Lewis telephone. <laughs> walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. Well, I want to hear about this, uh, this, uh, this iPad. This is fascinating to me. Well, it's not that fascinating. You buy one. It's $1,000. Buy one. Yeah. No, you, you, uh, by the way, I went on a, a, a flight. And we turned on the iPad, turned on the ball game, which you can see the Dodgers playing, God love them. Dodgers are playing, then I watched a movie, right. then I had a couple of vodkas, then I watched another movie, and the guy said, we're in New York. It, it, it's great, it makes time go just like that. Right. And if you have a broad with you, it makes it go faster, but right. uh, I'm happily married, and may yeah. God punish me if I would ever cheat on my wife. <laughs> no, that's a joke, I wouldn't cheat on my wife. You don't cheat on Jewish broads, they just lay in bed with a cold whip. <laughs> A cold whip. Yeah, no, a lukewarm whip. Shut up! <laughs> now tell me about... Well, he's a great help, though. He leans back and says, how can I destroy the Jew? <laughs> tell me about... By the you... way, you girls are very pretty. Fix your dress, huh? <laughs> uh, I want to hear about... Uh, hey, I'm, I'm 84, but the left, uh, the left knee is starting to bother me. Anyway, uh... Well, Don, it's always a pleasure. You're in, you're, in, you're in Toy Story 3. Next time you come back, tell us. We'll talk about that next time you come oh, back. Oh, uh, time's up. Okay. Time's up. Yeah, we've got to move on. Sorry. Thanks so We have many people waiting, but please. Thank, thanks please. so much. If you, get, if you, could, so. If you could just... God bless you all. You won't see me for another 20 years. God bless you. <laughs> Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Right back with Dwayne Wade. Right after this. Alright, okay. So when we was eight years old, me and my brothers made this song up. Alright? Give y'all like 20 seconds. Let me tell you about a day on the court, you see. Donnell, Dwayne, Demetrius makes three. We were making all the passes, yeah, cutting smooth. Shooting the three, yeah, we was in the groove. So we thought we set out to make a name for ourselves. We thought of a rap called the B-Boss Rest. So check it out, check it out, check it out, my friend. The real press, show you how it begins. Yeah, there you go. Good job. So who else has joined the Heat? Anyone else? Anyone else we should know? I got a jersey. I was thinking, um, uh, we can get him. Yeah, but you gotta pull that tape. Well, if, if you didn't want to play, I was thinking that. Yeah! Then yeah. you got a couple years left to eat it. See, we can get it. Get that to Don. All we oh, need Don to do is cut up. Well, Dwayne, thank Hey. Don Rickles!
Mr. Chairman. Oh, that's all with me. Don, Jeez, how are you? Wait a minute. Yeah. Who said you had to sit on a rock? <laughs> who does who designs this for crying out loud? Looks like a bad butcher shop for crying out loud. <laughs> Good evening, folks. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you. Now, big news. I was startled to learn this. You have a Twitter account. <laughs> Tell me about this. Tell me. I want to hear about this. <laughs> well, my wife was lonely. She said, let's Twitter. Right. Anyway, uh, no, it's a new thing for me. I, had right. a, I understand you were on it, too. Yes, yes, and I, I and, I, and I wrote some nice things. I said, you watch did. Jay Leno, and, you know, if you're lonely, uh -huh. maybe you'll laugh. Well, how, but, how, uh, how, many, how many tweets have you personally sent out? Two. Two. Anyway, uh, no, I, I just started. It's all new to me. You right. know what I'm saying? Well, I got a lot on my mind. I don't like to sit in the house with a, with a pencil and a paper and go, eh, I'm going to write to Shirley Clum and whatever. I don't need that. Well, let's I, see I got a big career, and, your... and they're all out there in the dark. That's his actual Twitter page. His first one says, Oh, there it is. Hi, I'm Don Rickles, posting my first tweet. Join me on my trip to greatness. <laughs> yeah. And what is the second one? Oh, I'm on Jay Leno Thursday night. Don't worry, he'll be funny. Well, that certainly <laughs> turned out to be true. Now, Lady Gaga has 11 million followers. How many do you have now, do you know? I just told you, what are you, dumb? What are you, how many? No, I have, I have uh, about uh, 30, I think. 30, 30. All right, that's the beginning. Is this a test when you hit a bell? Go to history. <laughs> the well, hell is this? I'm, I'm a guest. Don't, don't make me have a test, for crying out loud. Have you, tried, have you tried sexting? Have you done the sexting yet? Yeah, last night I gave her a shot. Really, really? <laughs> She was in the hall, I was in the closet, and I blow a whistle, boom, and I missed her. Wow. Anyway, uh, what the hell is it with the sex thing? What is it with you? Well, you, you Anthony Weiner, he got in trouble with the sex yeah, thing. Yeah, but uh, he don't have a pencil anymore. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, a pencil in Jewish means he doesn't have the big hose. Right. Anyway, uh, are you people sick? Now, I want to ask you, now, the Royals were in town last week. Did you see them? Did yeah, you... we had lunch. They were great. Yeah, really. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. Pass the butter. Mommy. <laughs> mommy, Daddy's home. Mommy. Would you... Hey, you, you talk about the Royals. Yeah. I went, this is the truth, gang. I look out at you. I know you're not there, but I look out at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great if you, you know, if you, if you, Ray Charles. <laughs> right. Anyway, Ray Charles was a black singer, rest of the soul, that went blind because he was working audiences like this. Right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Is that what it was? I, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, gee, I, I had never known the reason till now. No, no need to shout. I'm right here. No, no. That's anything to keep his name alive. Go outside and kiss the sign again. For well, look, now, hey, let me tell you about this. Go ahead. So, oh, thanks. <laughs> Gets $40 million for a show, and he says, go ahead, kid, do something. Anyway, uh, no, so we went to England yeah. with Bob Hope years ago. You remember him. Yeah. And I went, and we, uh, Princess Margaret was the guest. And I was sitting at the table, and, and all the big stars from England, every big star was there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting uh, next to Newhart, you know. Yeah. He was lonely, so I sat next to him. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> did you ever meet Bob Newhart? It's like being alone. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he's a dear friend of mine, so don't worry about it. Anyway, yeah. so I'm sitting there, and a guy comes and says, uh, Sir, uh, you, you're going on now. And this is at the very end. Hope says, I'd like you to meet him. I want to tell you, I want you to meet a guy. But, and he gave such an introduction, believe me, that I, I, I was afraid to go on. He, he won't hurt you. He's just a lot of fun. And it was Princess Margaret, who was big then. She was, she was sitting at the table going... <laughs> and the booze was running down the gown. <laughs> and they said, go out and meet her. Okay. So uh, I, I performed, and I did some funny stuff. The show's over. She said, I sit down at the table, and she said, uh, a, a guy comes up and says, uh, the man would like to meet you. I said, okay, and Bob Hope said, I'll go with you. No, no, just Mr. Rickles. And I go over and I sit down, and she says, hello, you know, you're very quick, very quick. I didn't understand everything, but you're quick. I understand you're Jewish. And I went, oldie. Yeah. I'm gonna be a Nazi, what is going on here? <laughs> and she didn't mean any harm, but the dossier said, I'm Jewish, she said, yes I am. She said, you know, uh, I understand your mother, my mother's gone now, your mother was A's 83 and she lives in Miami. I said, yes. She said, my mom is 83 and lives here. I said, let's talk about the Queen of England. I said, uh, yes, same, beautiful. And she said, you know, I understand your mom has emphysema. I said, yes, sir. my mom has emphysema. <laughs> I said, this is, this is unbelievable, man. I, I, I think it's great. She said, do you drink? Yes. She said, give me a double, 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 double. <laughs> And we were whacking it down pretty good. Yeah. And you could sit back. I'll, I'll talk go, to you. Anyway, uh... <laughs> keeps leaning over like it's his turn. Yeah. Anyway, uh... so so 
I know you're the host. You're not the. Anyway, so anyway, so listen to this, Jacob. So now I turn around. I said yes, and she says, you know, uh, I understand your mom has a condominium in Miami Beach. I said yes, she does. She said my mom has a condominium right down the street here, talking about the palace. <laughs> so it's an apartment in the palace. I said yes. She said, no, they're so alike. Palace, mom, both condominium, both 83, both with the They're so alike. I said, man, with one difference. She said, what's that? Your mom has a flag on the roof. Anyway, uh, a flag on the roof. I'm leaning forward now. Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. I hate to work to mutes. I hate that. Look, look, look. We'll, we'll take a break. More with Don right after this. There's a flag on the roof. Talking yeah. with America's oldest living World War I veteran, Don Rickles. Don, you better Howard. believe it. <laughs> Three years in the Philippines, <laughs> and now I got to smile at him in the restaurant so I get the right food. <laughs> no, I need the Japanese people are beautiful. Without them, my kids would have no toys. Well, no. Anyway, no. Uh, I want to ask you something. The Emmys came out today. You did a great sitcom, CPO Sharky. Did you ever get nominated for that? <laughs> no, they asked me to leave. Really? No, no. Oh. No, CPO Shockey was funny. It really, yeah, that it, it was a just good show. It, it, at that time, you know, they, they voted no. I got over it and I shot the producer. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I must say, what's amazing to me today, that there were so many new shows. Yeah. And guy pros like you think you weren't nominated. I, I got an Emmy, you know. Yeah, the, you won like for for your, for, for you got the, two, Mr. Warmth, yeah. the Don right. Rickles project. That's right, right. And uh, it, it was great, you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody mentioned you. But the, the <laughs> thing is, that the thing is that a guy like yourself. Definitely should have been nominated. No, I, I and, and, uh, no and Jimmy Kimmel and, yeah. and, and David Letterman. Yeah. Well, we won in the past. That's fine. No, okay. but you guys, every night you grind this out. And I say grind. It's not easy, especially with you kind of people. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, you're great. You're great. You, you say hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but put yourself together, huh? Anyway, uh, there's one guy on the loose in the back. Get a rope. I want to I'll tell you this. I want to ask you about reality shows. Do you watch any of those, like Jersey Shore? Have you seen that? No, the, the broad's too short. Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. it's an inside joke. No, I don't watch that. I have a lot on my mind. Yeah. Kardashians, uh, you watch that one? Well, when I'm in heat. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, you know, when you get to be my age, you know, nothing happens. Once in a while, you look down and the sparrow goes, hello. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you'll get to be that age. You make fun of it, but someday, please, yeah. God, you'll get to be that. I don't think you're going to make it. Right. But, right. uh... uh <laughs> When you get to be that age, you don't think of sex. You just sit there and you open up your bathroom and say to your wife, remember the old days? Right. <laughs> hey, I want to add you something. Wait, I'm, I'm not through yet. Go ahead. <laughs> remember the old, don't worry, I'll, I'll get out of this. Okay. Remember the old days? And See, when we make love, when you get older, you, yeah. you, the, the initial pop is not the big thing. Yeah. You circle the bed, get an estimate if you're Jewish. You right. circle the bed. Yeah. Get an investment done at a running start, you go bang! And she goes, Is that about it? Yeah. <laughs> now, how long have you been married? An hour. An hour. No, 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 no. I've been married 46 years. 46 years. There you are. Applause, applause, <laughs> applause, applause, <laughs> applause, applause. Now, where did you meet? Barbara? Wait a minute. You never saw her. Why are you applauding? <laughs> no, she's a lovely lady. Yeah. You know, on the wedding night, she said to me, Let's try something different. Let's really do it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. uh. <laughs> I shouldn't make that. She don't like that. You know, you know my wife. She's yeah. very, she's very low key. You know. Right. right. On, on the wedding night, she said, "Just don't get excited." Blah blah blah. And I was, <laughs> I'm a loud guy, and she's very quiet. You mm -hmm. know. It's like sleeping with a Valium. Right. Anyway, uh, oh, I said a Valium, and a couple of guys here, a Valium. <laughs> what the hell's a Valium? Anyway, so go ahead. So how did you? Where did you meet? Did At you a bus, meet? a bus station. A bus station. Yeah, she was a hooker. Really. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ha, 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 it's easy for you to laugh. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to get home tonight and say, hello, sweetheart. I'm a hooker. Here's your hooker. Yeah. <laughs> hooker this about 20 minutes. Now, the grandkids. No, yeah. She was a guy called Jack Gelardi. Uh, oh, I know Jack. Oh, good. Okay, here's a cookie. Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I know Jack. And Jack Gelardi was the agent at that time. Yeah. And, uh, 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 he, he was, uh, Rob Heller is my agent now, but right. they fight over it. Yeah. But uh, the thing is that uh, Jack, uh, w she worked for Jack as a mm -hmm. secretary, and I went to see Jack, and I said, uh, I'd like to see Jack, uh, I'd like to see, she said, what does it regard to? That's the way she talked, what does it regard to? I said, I'm a butcher, I have a truck outside with meat. She said, being a wise guy will not get you in to see Jack. 
And for some reason, that got me horny and I married her. Wow. Anyway, uh... <laughs> and you have grandkids now. Your grandkids are 71 and 68. Is that the girl? Is that... Am I right? I don't want to get... I want to get... Got a pencil? You got a pencil? He has a pencil right here. There you go. 71 is, am I right? Post becomes a smart ass. Okay. <laughs> uh, 71 say, no, my son, my, uh, my, my grandchildren, oh, well, one is nine and one right. is 12. Right. right. And they're going to be bar mitzvah. You know what a bar mitzvah is. Yes. It's a Jewish ranch. Right. right. Anyway, uh. I mean, are they, are they fans of your comedy? Do they understand what grandpa for does? For the money they're going to get, I am a giant. Wow. <laughs> No, they, they understand. They, they, they watch you. And, blah, blah, blah. and, you know, kids today, are, they're, they're really shocked. You know yeah. they are? are you, you adjusting your notes? No, I'm adjusting my notes because I'm, I'm... I'll just keep talking. I'm going to keep talking there. And I'll give... And you're going to be at the Mohegan I'm Sun. I'm my burger here, and he's going, good evening. He's going to be at the guy? Mohegan Sun, August 6th. The man still has to go out and work for a living. Yes. And at the <laughs> Arcata Theater. It's good to see you saved your money. He's out there kicking his ass. There's all these one-nighters. Arcata Theater in St. Charles on the 20th. Don, thank you, my friend. Get to work. Go see Don. Be right back with Bristol Palin right after this. Good evening from Los Angeles. All the sen <laughs> all the sensitivity training. Why have I got to read here? All the zealots of political correctness. All the humor police on earth have not failed to keep Don Rickles from his appointed rounds. And now, in these delicate times, Ooh. Mr. Warmth returns to series television in Daddy Dearest. Starting on Fox this fall, Rickles will play a loudmouth car salesman. Richard Lewis, there you see them, is his psychiatrist's son. Ah, uh, but can the patented Rickles approach succeed in this new sensitive era? Here with an unbiased answer is Mr. Warmth himself, the legendary Don Rickles. I am so happy for you. Did I pass away? What? I mean, it was like a memorial, a testimonial, like, like I died. By the way, Richard Lewis is a genius. Let's mark that down so he can go to bed now. You can go to bed, Richard. Okay, oh, he is, say that. Oh, definitely genius. No, he's, he's great. He, he made this whole thing happen, Danny. I know, Dearest. I remember the night it happened. Why do you keep, you still got that same habit again? We're not in court. I point. We're just a couple of Jews on a highway. Forget about it. Where'd you get that tie? Huh? Store. <laughs> get it in the store. You go to a store, you say, hey, give me a tie. But it's not like you. Well, that's, that's, hey, you wouldn't a wear a tie end. like this. this yes, is, I would. It's money. This is money. I know what you make. You go to Ted Turner's house every day and go, Ted, huh? <laughs> little increase, little increase. Anyway, Tell Daddy, me about you know, the show. I feel like, you know, in a Jewish temple. We'll start to pray <laughs> okay. hey, or main. Tell me about Daddy Dearest. Daddy Dearest is great. Richard Lewis, he came up with the idea. And Richard Lewis, you know, is a very relaxed guy. He's not here now. He's in a hot tub. I submerged, <laughs> and <laughs> and I love the guy. He's he, he came I up. Remember the idea? Yeah, and we went to Morton's one night. I don't want to drop there. restaurants. You know, now I got to uh, drop fourteen restaurants. Okay, so now we went to the restaurant and we're sitting there, and boom, he hits me with, the, "Hey Don, we got to do this." And you said, "Come on, let's have dinner." You know, and Richard doesn't eat at the table; he's on the floor. You know, <laughs> it's like it's like. A
You stop this. What, you don't confuse Okay, you're going to be with Joe. This is your fifth series. You had to bring that up. Huh? This one, this one. For no reason at all, you turned on me like a snake. That's no, two in a row. I just, That's two in a row, no. my comp fits, for no, no reason. I, it's your fifth series. Yeah, but I didn't make it with those shows. Now I'm working with the genius. This one's Richard gonna Lewis make is it. home this now. This one's gonna make it. Yeah. Better, because otherwise I'm gonna take Richard Lewis's comb and break it. How do you like, isn't this is weird? It. You now are called controversial. Yeah. You've been kidding this all your life. I've been doing it for almost 40 years. All right, Don said something to me which I uh, don't understand at all. He said to me during the break, Ask me about. <laughs> I gotta tell you this. It's easy to be honest. Sure. Don't beg. Just tell him. He says, ask, work into the questioning somewhere about the homeless. Yeah. How do I work this in? It? Okay. The homeless. The homeless. Oh, what do you think of the homeless? I think they ought to get furniture. No. <laughs> the homeless, what happened is I was in New York, and it's unfortunate. It's a true so, story. I, yeah, true story. And I, I must premise it by saying, I'm not making fun of the homeless. God love them. It's a tough way to go. But okay, it's homeless. Now, I'm with uh, Joe Bologna and Renee Taylor, who's also uh, on our show, and she's wonderful. She's a great actress, and, and Joe is cute. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, he's a good actor, but he'll get sensitive, but he sits in front of a mirror. I'll, I'll talk about it. He checks his face all the time. Now, so now we're in New York, and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and Joe says, we went to dinner, blah, 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 he lanes, what have you, blah, blah, blah. He says, hey, let's, uh, let's take a walk. I said, are you crazy? New York, take a walk late at night, we'll get killed. So Barbara and I, my wife, you met Barbara, you know, she's the one with the jewelry. Yeah, the one that keeps signaling ships. Anyway, so now the two of us are walking along. We said, we'll get killed, Joe. Said, no, no, it's New York. This is you were born and raised here. Nobody's going to bother us. Sure enough, all the homeless know me for some crazy reason. And it was particularly that night was black gentlemen. And they kept coming up to me. Hey, man, hey, baby, I love you, man. You're the best. Hey, hockey puck. You know that old uh, title I had? Hockey puck. Hey, man, boom. Give me some money. Come on, baby. Lay something on me. So I always have a shtick, what I do, which always reminds me of the Jewish waiters in Miami and what you and I come from. And give me a hand. And I go like this. I go like this. Here, for yourself. Here's, here's five dollars. Boom. And I put five dollars in the cup. And the guy says, hey, thanks, man. Hey, you're the best. And he comes running right after me. He says, hey. I said, here's five dollars. Buy yourself a ranch. And the guy turns around and he says, runs after me. He says, now I need cattle. <laughs> I looked at the guy, I took his name, <laughs> he's dead now. <laughs> anyway, no, not for me, no. That's it, funny. Yeah, of course it's funny, that's why I talk. That's funny, that's the word. Another thing about you which deserves a great deal of praise. What's that? All the hip young guys, mm. the Lettermans, mm. the Littles, the mm. Rich, the... the, 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 the oh, work, uh, it's starting no, to go on them. They, the, da, 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 da. they love you. Thank you. I love you. You're big with young comics. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry just made a statement to the United States government. By the way, it's so sweet of you to have me on. I know you're so busy with Clinton and the family. And what do you make of the president? Hey, hey uh, George Bush was always a good friend to me and Barbara Bush. Well, now you got Clinton. You're so tight. How do you get in there all the time? What do you bring, a matzah? What do you do? No, he likes me. I, I like know. him. Oh, well, sure, you like everybody. Sure, because for the program. Hi, hi. You get up early. You go, hello, Bell, sweetheart. Larry. <laughs> and he goes, oh, again, him. Again, that pain in the, you know what. But you're big with all these people now. Who do you, who do you, uh, does anything about the Clinton administration impress you? Are you impressed? Yeah, they're like, young and they're wonderful. They play volleyball. They never go to work. What do you think of the jogging? Do you jog? Huh? Are you crazy? <laughs> you ever have a Jew jog? <laughs> I lay jog. in bed. I pay a guy to jog for me. <laughs> crazy? Jog. No, I, I swim every day. I swim a half hour every day. That's right. Again, thank you for letting me know I do it. Okay. Anyway, I I'm going to take a home and the both of us, that's where we're going to wind up. In Miami, the two of us going, mm -hmm. Now, Rose, could I have some more milk? Larry wants coffee. What the hell's the matter with you? Let me take a break with it. <laughs> Every time you do that, I think we're two Jew wrestlers, and you're pinning me. From the picture, kiss my Bob Wolf. We'll be back with <laughs> we your did, phone call. Take oh, we did that great. <laughs> Dad, I am in the middle of a session. What? You mean you're not waiting for Jack Nicholson and the big tall Indian? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Mitchell. I was on the phone. He just ran right by me. So did the allies. <laughs> Don't take care of this. Just take this outside, huh? I'm sorry. By the way, we discussed your case, and there's no hope for you. Don Rickles is the guest. Daddy Dearest is the show. Let's go to some calls. Evansville, Evansville, Indiana. Hello. Hello, Mr. Warp, Your Highness. I would like to know, have you ever had your lights punched out for insulting someone? Did anyone ever get up on stage, punch you, hit you, get mad at you? <laughs> no, nobody ever punched me, hit me, got mad at me, or tried to hurt me. And if they do, I phone Zeno Zananano, who handles all my physical work. I see. Thank you, sir. You have not, you have not had trouble. 
Never. Never. No, in my career, I've had people that have been annoyed, but nobody physically tried to hurt me. And if they did, what are they going to do? I'm a Jew. I sue. I make big trouble. They don't want that. <laughs> I mean, come on. Fun thing, he spares no one. Absolutely. It, calling you politically incorrect is a riot. I don't even you know what that means. That's I the know. new thing. Politically incorrect. Every time you open up the paper, politically incorrect. But it's going to be passe. Because, listen, if you do something with technique and with class and with understanding, I make fun of the world. You know that. And if you... And if you know how to handle that and you treat people and you make fun of yourself hey it's not offensive why would they show up and see me why would i be on your show well i know why because you know you owe me right, let's go, I mean, let's, okay let's take another call okay sure well, hollywood don't california don't hello Richard lewis for mr rickles and mr king mr lewis calling yes uh hi i'm a comedian oh Richard i work lewis. with the uh with the maniac uh, as you guess i'm a big fan of yours too and great show larry it's Richard. Richard Lewis? Richard, oh, my God. Uh, Listen, I spoke no, to the no, clinic. The God, water is darling. hot. <laughs> Here's the deal. And I'll be what quick, is? because I know you have a, a lot of fans and a couple yeah, of women that want to call Lano. you. Yeah. The thing is, this whole, he, the thing is, I want you to know that I love you. Number two, you can put me down when I hang up, which I, and if you don't, I'll be embarrassed. Yeah. Number three, this whole politically correct thing, you know I'm a very liberal guy. Yeah. If, in, if Don plays a character, Larry, by the way, which we, and by the way, thanks for introducing me to this guy. Uh, but n nevertheless, if you don't have a guy like him, and I hate to be grandiose, like an Archie Bunker type, who, and you can't show people and educate people what's politically incorrect. So if we get any heat on the other side, it's wrong, because the show's going to be not only entertaining and hilarious, because Don's like a genius to me, and one of the right. funniest people, and not only that, but he's not mean spirit. I've seen him, like, sell out in so many shows, and at the end of the show, Catholics, Jews. I mean, I uh, hope you so. Don't, uh, Bob can watch anything because he's usually eating. How many loaves of white bread a day, Don? <laughs> Just Wonder to go to sleep. Wonder His mattress is white bread, a layer of bologna. Where are you and calling from, he goes to sleep. Anyway, I just wanted to call because I knew Don was on. If I didn't call, you know, I had to show up tomorrow and Don would, would, hurt, would hurt me. <laughs> but I love you, Don, and uh, good Thanks, luck with Richard. the new show because I'm leaving the, show. I'm leaving the country. I'm going to Sweden to have a sex change operation. You're the best, Richie. I love you. I love you too, buddy. And Larry, okay. I'll see you soon. So okay, see you at the wedding. I, wait, who's get, he's getting married? No, I'm marrying him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting married? You're so dumb. Why are Sa we Tell me what a moron. Sacramento. Hello. Sacramento, my uh, favorite time. Don, uh, you hosted the Johnny Carson show one night, That's... and you broke a box uh, on his desk. That's and correct. The night he found it, came over to the set of CPO Sharky, and, and uh, had a fit about it. Whatever came of that, maybe you can rehash it off for the well, audience. Well, no, it wasn't a, he wasn't. It, it was an inside joke. I broke his box accidentally, and, uh, and I replaced it, and I gave him a beautiful uh, cigarette box. And we're friends, dear friends, and he's, uh, he's special. Did you uh, see Johnny at all? No, uh, Johnny's at his estate, you know, watching the flowers die. <laughs> but uh, I don't he know. He's, he's pretty much, he's very good, uh, you know, pretty much within himself with, with his wife. He's well, had, hey, he's hey, look what's look. happened to Clint. He's with the president, praises him the other night. He's the hottest actor in Hollywood. Your friend, Clint. Yeah, did you ever work with him? No. Clint Eastwood's the kind of guy, when I did Kelly's Heroes, remember that, 100 Love, years ago? They Yugoslavia. said, roll him. And I was a kid in Yugoslavia, and I said, I'm the sergeant. Where are the men? He went, I'm in the men. And I was like, <laughs> And the whole show, I thought, was going on me. The man is the biggest star in the world by whispering. He's skyrocketing. And then when you go out with Clint, he, he looks at the, I swear to God, we go out, it's like you. He looks at the thing, gets the credit card, and goes, what, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? I said, ah, two dollars. Oh, that sounds simple. <laughs> uh, wonderful guy, though. Wonderful. The Hague, Holland. Hello. Oh, big in Holland. You kidding? I sell him the shoes. Hello. <laughs> Hello, this is Holland. Yes. Uh, uh, first, uh, Larry, I want to compliment you with your show. I'm watching it all the time in Holland. And, uh, Thank you. I want to ask uh, your man that... I mean, he can be very funny, but there's uh, a lot of serious things going on in, in, in Europe at the moment, like uh, things in uh, Yugoslavia and You're everything. You're calling him with a and, serious uh, question? I, I'm, 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 thinking, I'm thinking that uh, there, there's more to it than only being funny, like. Uh, I don't know what, what your question is, sir, but all I can tell you is, if you laugh at life with all heartache, there's, there's humor in most anything in the world. And if you laugh at life and your heart is good, 
and you're good and you go to sleep at night without planning to hurt anybody and you want peace as we all do, I can only say I wish you that and think peace and think of laughter because laughter can help a lot of us. You have always been that way. As we all do, I can only say I wish you that and think peace and think of laughter because laughter can help a lot of us. You have always been that way, right? You've always been... <laughs> that you never get to take pictures anywhere when you go on trips. You always oh, have new heart to it. That's right. So you said one day, I want to do it. That's right. So they gave you the mini cam. That's it. You started it. A half hour later, they're walking along, <laughs> and new heart said to you, you did shut it off. <laughs> and you said, shut what off? <laughs> the off switch. Right. You had a half hour tape of the ground. Right. <laughs> True? That's yes, right. Yes, you did that. And then I slapped him in the face, took a vodka, and went to bed early. <laughs> Is that why you're friendly with him? Because no, he's, Bob, he's I'm dull, friend, I'm, no. So you should oh, be the God, life of the party. Oh, gee whiz. Why are you? 
Hey, don't threaten me. I got a family. What are you threatening? I'm just asking. No, you start to lean over and like you're going to hurt me. I don't need that. Okay. Mark, take care of it. <laughs> the you black like brother standing there going, I swear I'll take care of it. Now, <laughs> I want you to know that I and Bob Newhart and I are very dear friends. Uh -huh. Why the wives? I always say that. His wife and my wife are like sisters. Jenny and my wife, Barbara, they get along great. And that's how I got to know Bob. But the basic thing, seriously, we both have the same values. That's why I love Bob and, and Jenny. We both have the same values. We're different, but we both agree. Especially when we go on trips. It's not like you, you know, chip in for the meal. We, we split, you know, we, we, we do it all the way. With you, you go like, don't, don't order that. It's expensive. We don't <laughs> think about that. this. Well, because I want the people to know. And I, I was, I was going to join you for dinner tonight, you know. But Hamburger Hamlet down the corner <laughs> with, with, just a, with just a bun? I got nothing against Hamburger Hamlet, okay. but that's not for dinner. But you and Newhart have a special relationship. Yes, we do. Jew and Catholic. Well, we don't bring that up. You know, if he does, I get annoyed. Oh, I mean, if we discuss Israel, that's important. If he wants to discuss Ireland and the Pope, uh, then I'm Russian. <laughs> but uh, when we discuss Israel, it's very important. I don't know the name of this city. San Antonio, Texas. They love you, Ed. Oh, I'll make them feel at home. <laughs> okay. Hello. Good evening. Don. Yes. I got to tell you, you are simply amazing. I'm just absolutely in love with you. I got to tell you something. Um, I know you're on your fifth series. <laughs> uh, I know you're getting ready to open with Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. Do you ever just wake up one morning and ask yourself, you know, I'm going to grab my golf clubs. I'm going to grab the fishing pole and, you know, I'm going to retire. Do you ever wonder that, sir? Well, dear, it's funny you, funny you should say that because I always say to my dear wife, Barbara, of 28 years, and you know Barbara, and I love her dearly, and I always said, when the day comes that I retire, I'll know that the audience is saying, hey, this guy's had it. I'll feel that. I don't believe uh, some of the greatest, uh, George Burns, Milton Berle, uh, uh, Bob Hope, people I respect tremendously. I, I, there's a list of some. And they say, retire to what? That's a, a cliche that some of my, my elders, and there's that many that are elders, that are big stars. I just feel that when the day comes that I think I've had it, I, I have, um, thank God, in good position, I'd like to travel around the world and relax and bump. Right now, I'm enjoying it. you don't think so, you're not going to quit. No, never. I, I think a flag goes up that tells you, gee, it, it's time to walk away. And I never want that to happen, that stand on the stage and I know I'm, I'm finished. I, I think I'll be a one step ahead. Hopefully. We'll be back with Don Rickles, Our Remaining Moments, with the star, along with uh, Richard Lewis of Daddy Dearest, after this. We just have a minute. I don't think I've ever asked you this. What is your philosophy of life? Uh, to try to skyrocket the fame. No. My philosophy of life is to really respect the people around you. I've been very fortunate. I have a fellow, Harry Goins, that's with me 40 years. He's a confidant, a valet, a roadman, everything. Great guy. I've been blessed with people around me all my life that I've been, I think loyalty is the most important thing you can have you in have marriage that. and in everything. You have that with Frank. So, Mr. Sinatra, I like to think that. I, I adore the man. I think he's, a, he's one of the greatest artists of all time, and nobody can replace him. And I'm not shining his apple. I don't have to. But I must say, again, he's the kind of man that shows great loyalty to people. You don't have to. But what if you criticized him tonight? <laughs> well, I, I'd be talking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you, we'll Larry. See you with Richard you. Lewis. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Larry King Live. Rosie O'Donnell and Don Rickles. What a pair. Hey, Rosie's terrific, isn't yeah. she? Don, you were wonderful tonight. You were wonderful, too. You were great, Don. Want to dance? Don. <laughs> so emotional. <laughs> Don. And you can get in the military now, too. Yeah. Just don't tell. Let me <laughs> suck on your neck. Don! <laughs> see you tomorrow night with Mel Brooks. This is some week. Oh, he's a brilliant guy. Don't go away. Can Why? I? Go away. <laughs> on Larry King now comedic icon Don Rickles why didn't you just retire why do you holler me what? <laughs> well I don't want to retire it keeps the mind going like you you're not retiring and you've been asked to <laughs> when you started comedically did you start insulting people no I don't use the word insult it's not insult today it's, it's exaggeration and an attitude some of these kids come out today, they, they try to do what I... You can't. It's, it's part of my personality. The truth is, you're also one of the nicest people alive ever. You are a sweet person. Did I make... No, I'm ready to cry. <laughs> Plus, were you a hero in World War II? Did you fire at the Japanese? Did huh? you shoot guns? Did... No, no, I shot at our own men to relax. <laughs> How much longer? <laughs> All next on Larry King Now.
Welcome to Larry King Now. Today's show comes to you from our palatial mansion in Beverly Hills with a man who needs little introduction. In fact, he is the, my oldest friend from Miami of 57 years, Don Rickles, Mr. Warmth. You may know him as a Hollywood treasure, the godfather of insult comedy. He skewered the likes of Reagan and Sinatra and Johnny Carson, and yes, me too. After more than six decades as an entertainer and a resume that includes the Johnny Carson Award for Comedian Excellence and the first ever Friars Club Lifetime Achievement Award, Don shows no signs of stopping. In fact, he'll be at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas, August 16th and 17th. He, why do you never, why didn't you just retire? Why do you holler at me? What? <laughs> <laughs> We're not in a big hole. We're in a Mickey Mouse apartment here. <laughs> Well, I don't want to retire. It keeps the mind going. Like you, you're not retiring, and you've been asked to. <laughs> but with me, the, the mind, you know, the mind, like the wife says, you've got to keep the mind going. And I had this, uh, the, on a serious side, had this leg problem. You know, it started out as a little nothing. And it became, I can't even pronounce it. If What's it, your, you have a disease? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Do you have a disease? No, when, <laughs> no it's, not, it's not. It's a thing that get, it's a poison that gets into your leg. I don't know how I got it. And uh, they came and the doctor said, we got to operate. I had seven operations. Wow. Yeah. So you can't stalk the stage anymore like you used to. You, well, I you will were eventually. I'm not finished. I'm not going to go in a wheelchair and, and spit up on myself. No. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, eventually I'll get rid of the cane and it's like a. But in the meantime. In the meantime, I told Johnny Depp, if God forbid, who's a friend, if they take the leg off, I'm not un unhappy, because I know I'll be able to do a pirate movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> make a ton of money, he's got to tell me I'm funny. <laughs> you, so you don't move across, so the act now No, is, I sit in a chair. Well, let's say I go to the, I'm going to go to the Orleans Hotel, August 16th, is Saturday night. As a comedian? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to go to watch you. Oh, what right, will I see when I sit there? Humor. No, I know that. Yeah. But you'll be sitting on yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, but, but it's a little different now because of the film, you know. And it's funny. Oh, they yeah. show highlights, right? Yeah. And, you know, all the stuff with Sinatra. You remember him. <laughs> I kid about him now because he's dead. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if he was alive, I'd, I'd be sitting there like this. <laughs> but uh, some great stuff with him. And, oh, I, I, uh, four presidents. It's, it's a good thing. So he showed the clips and then... Yeah, you... and then I do my comments. <clears throat> It's Which, a great idea. It is. Th thanks. <laughs> well, we had great times. Come yeah, on. but I, I used to know you in the restaurant in Florida. Yeah, pumping it. You yeah. walked in. I used to say, he's wonderful. <laughs> and and you I used to admit it for that. Time. You used to come on like a busboy. Yeah. And insult people sitting there waiting to have breakfast. Yeah. We, we had no, great times. Yeah. Going. No money, but great times. <laughs> as soon as I mentioned money to you, your glasses fogged up, and you, your brother and you walked away. <laughs> when you started... Did you, as <clears throat> comedically, did you start insulting people? No, I never use the word insult. It's not insult today. It's, it's exaggeration and an attitude. Some of these kids come out today, they, they try to do what I, you can't. It's, it's part of my personality. And so uh, I, I, I didn't plan on being a comedian. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, believe it or not. I come out of the Navy and I auditioned for the American Academy, and, which is a great school. And uh, acting was my thing. I thought, oh boy, I'm going to be an actor. And the closest and you did thing some I, great movies, and you did well, thank you. a great TV show, too. The thing I, I miss, you know, Ernie Borgnine, rest his soul, just passed. My closest thing to, like, Broadway, we did in the round. Uh, 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 did a play? The Odd Couple. And the funny oh. part is he played, he played, he played the, the heavy end, and I was the quiet guy. You were Felix? Yeah. And, and it worked. You were Felix? Yeah. I heard you. <laughs> the hell is it? Felix. All you host students, where did you go when you? I know I'm here, I know. How much longer? No, I know, that's what I did. I loved acting. So when did the comedy thing happen? When I found out I could make money. No, not really. Uh, the comedy thing, I was always kidding around. And so I started a kibitz around on Broadway, you know, and I worked in a place where off the street when the wind came in, it covered me with dirt. It's the truth. <laughs> A little, one of these little joints all around the car. Just doing that. Stuff and when did you fun. start saying, I'm going to have fun with people? I'm going to work off people? I really must, to my record, it was in joints in like in Jersey. You know, had a guy that used to sit in the front row with a bathrobe and spit up. It was great. <laughs> Probably was your father. <laughs> but the, the guy was, was, you know, all kinds of joints I worked in. You don't like the internet? You're on the internet now. This is the new world, Don. I got chills. <laughs> 
chills I got. <laughs> this is the new world, Don. I don't care. I'm 88 years old. I don't know about no new world. Thanks for the applause. <laughs> I'm 88 years old. Health is good. And I'm doing this because I enjoy it. And people show up to see me. But uh, new world, this new world. What the whole secret is, attitude and if they laugh. If they laugh, you can go to 100 years if, you, if God gives you that kind of health. And I always believe that. The kids today, I'm not knocking it. If they do, you know, boom, boom, up your kazoo and all that stuff. Okay, fine. People laugh. Okay. Well, but I don't do that. The truth is you're also one of the nicest people alive ever. You are a sweet person. Has anyone ever... Did I make... No, I'm ready to cry. <laughs> Did anyone ever take you serious? Did anyone ever get mad? Well, sure. Yeah, uh, not, not, not to my face. Uh, hey, when you... Even when it was Bob Hope, rest his soul. When you're out there, you know, when you're out there selling yourself, you can't please everybody. Correct. Not everybody's going to walk out and say, well, this is yeah. My friends do that, otherwise they can't come and see me again. <laughs> but uh, um, you, you really are selling yourself. And it's very difficult to have everybody love you. And I certainly know that, that the whole world loves me, you know. And so... Uh, when I, you started picking on celebrities... Oh, so I was... Who was I, the... I was in the car going home a lot. <laughs> do you remember the first celeb you picked on? No, no I... I the guy that really got me recognition was between Johnny Carson and Frank Sinatra, two of the biggest guys in the business. And time. we'll talk about them right after this. Yeah. What a segment, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're back with Don Rickles. By the way, we have found out what your illness is. Mm. It is necrotizing fasciitis. Yeah. But I must correct you one thing, John. I, I don't have the, the disease. In other words, the poison, This the, the doctors at uh, UCLA, they did a wonderful job. And they went all the way up to my knee, and they, and they got it all. And really, uh, you know, eight operations, so it was really... Do you know what necrotizing fasciitis is? Yeah, it's a Jewish fungus. <laughs> It attacks only Jews? Only Jews. Wait a minute. This is revolutionary. It attacks only Jews. And rabbis die. <laughs> rabbis die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> when the first time you picked on Sinatra, did you have any trepidation? Because I know he had a great sense of humor, but did you have some the little... The first time I, my mother went up to see Dolly at the Fontainebleau. He was starring at the Fontainebleau. This might not be the first time, but it, it seems like it. And uh, she said, would you... She called me Dolly. Yeah, but please, uh, Dolly, that was his mother. Please, have Frank, Frankie go. Frank, everybody was Frankie. That. Have Frankie go and see Donnie, please. You were in the lounge then? Yeah. In the lounge, at a, a play, it wasn't a lounge then. It was a club called the Murray Franklin's. Right. And a little 23rd there. Street. Yeah. And I went in there, and all of a sudden, there was a line around the block with, with what I do, which was not telling jokes. It was attitude, making fun of people, and not being hurtful, in my opinion. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on this. <laughs> this you know, this was touch and go for a while, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you a long time, and so it's like a mercy thing for me. You know? <laughs> so, no, so, so Larry, so, so what happened was that I started to do that stuff, you know, about making fun of people. And she Sinatra said... Sinatra came? Yeah, and she said, Frankie, go see Don. And he came in, and I never met the man before in my life uh, at that time. And I said, Frank, be yourself. Stand up and hit somebody. You know? <laughs> and, and all the guys with him went... Is that, is that funny, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> he traveled with scientists. <laughs> Frank, that's this kid, uh, what do you think, it's funny, Frank? You know. And, and then I traveled with him for almost two years. You worked with him? Yeah, and uh, we used to have a bit where I'd come out on the, on, the, on the stage and I'd say, Frank, you don't need that song. Forget that song, you know, when I do me, because I didn't want to do a stand-up alone with him. It wasn't for me. So we'd come up with the idea that I'd interrupt all during his act. So, after about three weeks, I come up on the stage, I go, uh, uh, Frank, the pipes, I'm a friend. It's gone. <laughs> and he said, is that funny? <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? Is that funny? Frank, it's a joke. We're doing a joke. I'm whispering to him. <laughs> I don't think it's funny. <laughs> he I, said that? No, I say. I'm telling okay. you, he said. <laughs> yeah, he said. And, and I said, oh, Frank, we've got to win him back. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and... Uh, Forget about it. Then I talked to him and boom. It was similar to Ed Sullivan. But she kind of said, now, here he is, a brilliant comedy mind. And I'd walk out on the stage again. I'd say, hi, Ed. Why are you out here? <laughs> he said, what were you, Ed? I'm supposed to come out here. Get off the stage. <laughs> now. Then he'd come and see me later at somebody's house and said, you were magnificent. I said, Ed, my career's over and I can't hear you. you know? But those guys, but they didn't mean any harm. 
But Frank was, uh, was when, when he, in other words, I had a relationship with him. If we went to dinner and, and I was eating, he said, you know, I, I said, Frank, I'm talking. <laughs> and he would stop and fall on the floor. You could treat him any way you want. Any, anyway, he was and marvelous to my wife. He was great with women, too, as his marriage records will show. Was, was it? <laughs> that, was, that, that has nothing was to do with it. Was it really, uh, was he dangerous? You know, I once asked you, did you ever knock Frank Sinatra and you asked me if I had relatives yeah. in New Jersey? Yeah. Was he really a tough guy? Frank believed he was a tough guy. But he was. He was a boxer when he was a kid. But he, he always used to say it when somebody bothered him. With Tony Gennaro, remember him? One night we were in the men's room and some guy was bothering him. Frank says, I'm going to drop this guy with a right hand. I said, Tony, take care of it. You know? <laughs> because he, uh, he liked that sort of atmosphere. Macho. Yeah, but he was... Uh, he had, I think, of all the entertainers I know, aside from Ronald Reagan, Mr. So, when you walked into a room, if he were alive today, when you walked into a room, like, I think you know this, it stopped, absolutely stopped. Yeah. People like, like now, just like that. I said, here comes Frank, would sit for dinner, boom, stopped. You know, same thing, uh, certain, the, Ronald Reagan, the same thing, you know. You kidded him a lot. Oh, yeah, well, I knew when he was governor, you know. I said, I got a cousin that's going to the chair tomorrow morning. <laughs> One phone call. That's all I need, Ronnie. One phone call. And he'll do what you do. <laughs> and my cousin died. <laughs> I must say, the Ronald Reagan inaugural was my biggest treat in life. I, because? Because I was in Hawaii, and Frank called and said, you're going to be in the inaugural, his second inaugural, Reagan's second. <clears throat> and they went to the cabinet, and they said, oh, what are you, crazy? Going to have this guy get up here and bang on us? So uh, 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 Frank would turn, turn around, and the inaugural was, was really, they said to him, uh, Frank, we're going to have Rickles. He said, let me put it this way. And this is a true fact, rest his soul. He said, if you don't have, if you don't have Rickles, you're not going to have me. That's exactly what he said. And I couldn't thank him enough. And from that, well, not from that day on, but we always, when we traveled to Europe together, he was always, he would order food and say, Don, you want it's delicious. And I would eat it and say, this is great, Frank. He said, you want to eat this crap? You know, he would do everything to get a rise out. You were on our show the night he passed. Yeah, I was, was a tall bearer, too. Oh, that, yeah. was a, that was an incredible funeral. Yeah, it was. A lot of things to talk about. God, we love being with you, Don. You're an American treasure. What do you think of the Joan Rivers thing where she walked off the show on CNN, then Letterman well, walked uh, off? You her? know, Joan's a very bright woman. She really is. She, in college, she... Smart as a whip, she really is, and she chose that that road to do what she does. And sometimes you you hit a bump and it don't go right. So I can't sit in judgment of what she Joan opened does. for you, didn't she? Yeah, many times. And you know she, she does her stuff, and and they laugh and they want her back and they pay her. So hey, more power to her. Uh, I know Charlie Steiner, uh, my dear friend, the Dodger radio announcer, yes. is here. It's great. And you once took a Dodger pitcher out of a game, right? Oh, you know about that? Tell me about that. I don't know if Charlie even knew that. What no, I, I went to a game one night. Uh, well, Tommy and I were, were pretty tight. So he said, put on the uniform and go out and take that picture out of the game. Was it spring training or no, a game? No, regular game. That was a, <laughs> a, a fan of appreciation day or something. Oh. I said, I'm not going out. He, 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 by the way, he got fined for that. He said, I don't care. Go out there and take it. So I went into the locker room and put on the uniform. And at that time, we looked alike. Now uh, Tommy has a... Carrying a little uh, basketball <laughs> with him, I don't know. And I love him dearly, so if he gets offended by that, he'll get over it. He'll hit a fungo to himself. <laughs> anyway, so uh, fungo to those that don't know, it's like they... Okay, back. okay. What is this? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm a guest for no money, and you're telling me to shut up. What are you okay. oh, no, I'm saying okay. So now, <laughs> okay, okay. I never heard that before. <laughs> gee whiz, gee whiz, gee whiz. Okay, uh, t- uh, Tommy says, go on, take him out again. I say, go on. Go well. And I walk like Tommy walks, and I do that. I come out to my mom and says, give me the ball. You can't take me out of that game. What are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I said, stop yelling. I, I want the ball. Tommy told me to give. You're supposed to give me the ball. This is God's truth. I don't give nobody the ball except if Tommy tells me. You, you don't like that. <laughs> they said, are you going to give me the ball? Or I'm going to make a stink out here. Boom. I want the ball now. And we're arguing. He goes, I don't give a damn who that is. You're nobody on this team. You can't take the ball from me. <laughs> With that, Harry Windlestep, remember him? The umpire. He's running out to the mound, rips off the mask. What the hell? And he sees me, he goes, what the? Can you get me two tickets for the D-March? <laughs> Truth. Two tickets for the D-March. <laughs> That's 
what happened. What a great story that is. It's now, that is a, that, you're, you're incredible. I'm gonna name some people. Give me your thoughts, okay? Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> what you, how many of those do you have? Okay. You have no opinions on these. Oh, she's a beautiful woman. What am I going to say? Okay. Amy Poehler, funny. I love her. Great. Great Kathy lady. Griffin. Lovely lady. And a, good, and a good host, yes. Betty White. Lovely woman, good host. Only I, I don't know how long she, she's going to dissolve right on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Newhart. Genius, you ask him. <laughs> Genius. No, he's my dear friend. He's the classiest, mm -hmm. most beautiful man I know. He really is. He's, uh, he's bright, he's clever, and he's... Uh, you tell great stories when you travel with oh, him. Oh, we traveled all over the world. He's a serious him. Catholic. Oh, yeah. And I'm a Jewish kid, and we... Uh, you went we, to we, Bethlehem we, with him. Yeah, well, the whole secret is, as you know, hey, I don't, I don't want to talk about marriage and love with you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Jesus, we'll be here all night. <laughs> Two priests and seven rabbis died getting you together. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I said, but I, I, uh, I, with Newhart, we went to Israel together. And we had great times. He always, he, he's, he's a, you know, he's a book-minded comedian, so to speak, and I'm a loud Jew from the neighborhood, you know. But we always loved each other and, and loved the basic, to this day, yeah. and loved the basic facts about each other. It's a great friendship you have. Oh, uh, and the key is, as I say in my show, is the wives, and you know that. His wife and my wife are like sisters, and if the wives get along, the guys, I don't care where the guy's from, you know, it makes for a wonderful friendship. Were you a hero in World War II? No, but I was there. I was in the Philippines for two and a half years, and I said, when I first, my father rested, so I said, go and enlist. I said, okay, don't go in the army, it's dirty. Go in the Navy, it's nice and clean. So I went and I joined up, and boom, and I, and I took my, the first time they took me, they, they took my, 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 my blood pressure. And the doctor came in, in Grand Central Station those days. Went, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's try the other arm. Ch -ch 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 -ch. You want to lay down? <laughs> <laughs> I said, why? He said, hey, hey, lay down. <laughs> then I get up. Ch -ch -ch. No. Would you stay overnight? <laughs> and I what did. was the matter? Uh, hypertension. Ch -ch -ch. Next you were day, nervous. Well, wouldn't you be if you're putting a hat and a uniform on you and you're, you're going to go to the hotel? God knows where. Anyway, so I said, uh, next day they, they passed me for some reason. And I went and I said, I said uh, Lieutenant, I do comedy and jokes. Comedy <laughs> and jokes. Okay. Yes, yeah. Go to the next station in Sampson, New York. What do you do, son? Comedy and jokes. Comedy <laughs> and jokes. Okay. I said, uh, then, a, then a Commodore came to see me. He said, uh, I understand you do comedy and jokes. Comedy. <laughs> and I started writing down. <laughs> comedy and jokes. I said, good. And the next thing you know, I was, was on a ship. I said, are we going to a station for entertainment? No, you're going to the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there, and it was two Jews on the ship. <laughs> me and one guy louder than me. It was great, you know. Rickles, the rabbi's here! You know, and I used to go, oh, jeez. Did you fire at the Japanese? Did huh? you shoot guns? Did no, no, I shot at our own men to relax. <laughs> How did you get this show? Did you fire at the Japanese? <laughs> no, two of them are working in a restaurant up here in town. <laughs> no, uh, no, I, we, we had a few incidents, but hey, the guys that really went through it. Uh, I mean, you never had a big action. Oh, I, I got a, a, a battle star, but. You did? Yeah. What is this, a test? <laughs> yes, when sir. we come back in our final moments, we'll play a game of If You Only Knew with Don Rickles. You won't want to miss this. <laughs> We're going Jimmy Fallon, play ping pong. <laughs> We're back with our remaining moments with the great Don Rickles. We have some social media questions and then a couple of personal questions. Alex Flores on Facebook wants to know what it was like working with Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese in the movie Casino. Absolutely fantastic. First of all, Robert De Niro was a guy that, <clears throat> before I met him, they said, don't kid around, he's a very serious take, take guy. Well, fast forward, the next thing you know, I'm in his trailer, and he's going, to us! <laughs> 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 I'm going to drink of that vodka and gin. He was a wonderful guy. And the first scene we ever did in Casino 
was walking down, they blocked off the whole, at night, midnight, night for night shooting, which was tough. And we walked down the casino floor, and I was like his bodyguard and everything. And I'm walking with him, and I go, I don't know, I forget, I said, I don't know, boss, if we, something like that, should we take the gun from that guy or not? Uh, we go, well, you know, we'll take the gun, maybe we we'll take the gun, we we'll, 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 we'll. I said, hold it, hold it, I can't, I can't. Marty, I can't work with this man. <laughs> I cannot work with this man. And the crew is up there laughing at me. The man mumbles, I don't need this. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I don't need it. The, man, the man's ridiculous. And Bob never laughed. Bob's going, I said, see, he even laughs, but he don't know where the hell he is. I can't take this anymore. And that was the first time I met Bob. And then, little by little, I ran the crew and the staff. <laughs> you got killed in that movie. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, the guy hits you. The he didn't kill me. He tried to. Pesci really tried yeah. to. Yeah, he had. To, they had a rubber suit on me, and they kept banging at me. You know, back. And he thought that was fun. Have uh, a meet Joe. It takes a little while. Heather Seven B S Love via Twitter. Do you have any regrets or things you do differently in your career? No, not really. I did impersonations when I started. Like a you did. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You did Cagney. I'm Clark Gable. Yeah, baby, dive, dive. It was good, eh? <laughs> Dive, dive, dive. Take it down, take it down. Okay. No, I was on Run Silent Run Deep was my first picture with Bert Lancaster. Bert Lancaster and Clark, and Clark Gable. And I, and I had, Clark was great. He was great. What and was Bert the, was great, too, but Bert was very kind. Bert would say, don't learn about the submarine. Don't kid around. You must learn why the submarine dives and why it goes up and down. And Gable would say, get that guy out of here. He's taking me crazy with that, <laughs> with that bull crap. What do we need him out with dives? Okay. Let's go and have a We spot. play a little game of If You Only Knew. I ask your snap quick questions and your quick answers. Oh, God, get me a volume. <laughs> First girl you ever kissed? You. <laughs> first do you remember girl. the first girl? I'm 88 years old. How do I remember the first girl I kissed? And first of all, I had a few girls that I knew from Vegas. Their names are not going to be mentioned on this <laughs> Mickey Mouse show. I don't mean Vegas. I mean, like you're a kid in Brooklyn. Uh, well, I wasn't in heat when I was nine. I wasn't dropping my <laughs> pants and saying, whoopee, here we go. What's the matter with you? How did I get on this thing? Jesus. What makes you laugh? Huh. This kind of show. <laughs> <laughs> no, what makes me laugh? Funny guys, really. Uh, of course, Bob Newhart, my dear friend. Brilliant mind. He really Most did. embarrassing moment. Most embarrassing moment? That's hard to say. Didn't they in Vegas once throw you, uh, Sinatra and the guys, make you go out of door nude? Yes, a steam room. That's right. You remember better than me. I remember. Yeah, they, we were at the steam room, and I, and I was kidding around. Frank says, that's it. Throw them out. Boom. And I was nude, and I went out right where all the Beecham brothers were, and I <laughs> stood there in the nude. And the people They were, threw you out of the room? Yeah. And I stood out, and the, and the people were like, what's the matter? You never saw a perfect body? <laughs> <laughs> so even that did not embarrass you? No. Oh, well, I, <laughs> funniest fan encounter. Funniest fan, I don't know if anything was that funny. That's, that's, it was really, guy, guys, I would say the Navy. The Navy guys come up to me. Yeah, what are they like? On the same ship, you know. As I said, I'm 88, and they're not near 88. They're close, but they're not. And they come up and they go, hey, Dan, remember me, Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> remember that night? You remember that night in the Philippines? <laughs> when we went to battle stations, you said to me, why don't we eat some candy? You remember that? <laughs> and I said, go away. <laughs> Were you ever starstruck? Sinatra, yes, yeah. and Johnny Carson, sure. Do you have words of advice for young comics? Get a day job. <laughs> <laughs> no, for young comics, I think you, 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 have to be, uh, you have to be right at it. You have to believe in it and rejection, rejection, rejection. If you can, as my daughter, Mindy, Mindy She's Rickles, funny. She's, she's starting out in comedy. And I tell her, it's a lot of rejection. You can't please everybody. I mean, you start out, you gotta build a reputation. And if you catch on, little by little. And it took me, <laughs> I was in my 30s before I started again. Mm -hmm. Do you still get a jolt when they laugh? Do you still get that? Well, you do too with this show. I've known yeah. all the years I know you, and you have the right guest, and things yeah. come along. Certain shows, if you feel, oh, that was my best. But I don't do what we used to do years ago. I, I told Joe Scandori, rest his soul, who was my manager at the time, I said, Joe, please stop with that. That was a five. That was an eight. That was a seven. You never tell jokes. No, no, not per se. It comes out a joke sometimes. But I, the attitude and what I'm talking about becomes a joke. Like What's that. the secret to your long marriage? 
a hooker. <laughs> you got a hooker. I got a hooker. <laughs> I, I, I can hear her watching this, and she goes, personally, I don't think that's fine. <laughs> no, no, you know. It. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. You've got a lovely wife now. You do. Uh, the friendship, the things you can talk about. You know, everybody thinks that the big pop is the, the old story. <laughs> it was for me for a while. <laughs> when I was single, I was, uh, you know, if a waitress smiled, I went, oh, you know. But <laughs> the whole thing is the friendship and, and the caring and, and your family. And uh, I got a lovely woman. God bless her. Oh, Barbara's 49 the best. years married. Hey, go to Vegas, August 16th and the 17th, the Orleans Hotel. He's still doing it. Oh, that's it? Oh, you only have a half hour? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Call <How'd> somebody. <laughs> a half hour? That's like I can clear my throat in a half hour. A huge thanks to my friend, the legendary Don Rickles. Be sure to see him at the Orleans Showroom in Las Vegas, August 16th and 17th. You can always find me on Twitter at Kingston. You tweet. I just did right now. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Let's hear it. Welcome to Larry King Live. Our first guest tonight is an old friend. We know each other 25 years from back in the days in Miami Beach when Don Rickles was struggling in a nightclub called Murray Franklin's, left to go to a place called Los Angeles and became a major star overnight and has been ever since one of the top nightclub acts in the world and also one of the highest paid. He's with us at our studios in Los Angeles. Don Rickles, it's... Don, you look so serious. What, what is this? How? Oh, because it... I can't believe I'm on such a stiff show. Listen, <laughs> Larry, you said I was successful. I tell you the truth, Larry, you weren't exactly skyrocketing to fame at that time. You were on a barge That's about right, 30 I'm... miles out in the middle of the water saying, come on the show and we'll talk. But it's good to see you again. Good seeing you, Don. Do you like the California life? Of course. My hunting dogs, we have a big estate. The <laughs> wife keeps running on the ground saying, we're rich, we're rich. It's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful life. It was better than Miami in two rooms with my mother, rest her soul, lifting up the curtain and saying, do you have a girl in there? <laughs> no, it's a great life. You ought to come out here, Larry, as soon as you can chip in and get a jacket. <laughs> you know, I don't know where I'm looking. I'm talking to a blank screen. You're over there. I don't know where I'm talking to. I feel like I'm Char uh, uh, Ray Charles without my organ. <laughs> What do you think of our studios in Los Angeles? I think they're cheap and they should be painted. <laughs> Bad area, really. Well, I, I walked into the office. There's one big drape and 100 people sitting at a desk going, uh, uh, they're all dazed. These people are dazed. Larry, do yourself a favor. Walk away from this. You don't need it. Nobody gets CNN in California. A, a, a little German guy in the cellar is still trying to read Hitler. He's going, I think I got Larry King. It's a little, little cellar. Don, you're Bad getting, move. am I right? Are you getting gray? Yes, Larry, I'm getting older, <laughs> doing shows like this. <laughs> what, what, by the way, folks, if you're watching and would like to talk to Don Rickles, if you want to put yourself to that, it's area code 202-342-6900. That's 202-342-6900. Cheer up, Larry. Don't be depressed. I can't stand it when you're depressed. <laughs> Don, for the benefit of the audience, Don and I have been together often on microphones, and it is very difficult uh, because he does make me laugh with hello. What about... <laughs> Thanks for apologizing to the crowd for my humor, Larry. All right. Certainly, always a big booster. Always been a big booster, Larry. <laughs> I hope you go out in the street tonight in Washington <laughs> and fall on your dicky bird. You know that. Don, the, uh, with the closing of... With, with Miami Beach isn't a nightclub center anymore. New York, the places to work are limited. Has that had an effect on you? Well, no, Larry, I've been very fortunate because the gambling towns have been terrific to me. Atlantic City, uh, the Hara Organization in Northern Nevada, the Sahara in Las Vegas. Uh, all the gambling cities have been a marvelous uh, way for, for me to go. And, and I like to think I'm in the way of uh, the saloon guy, uh, the Joey Lewis days when uh, the entertainer had a lasting power. And I've uh, had a great uh, uh, ability to, be, to have a staying power in these wonderful cities. And I'm I'm very happy with the tour of working in the, the gambling towns. They've been good to me. You're also a terrific actor, a terrific serious actor. You did a Hennessy once that I think was one of the great half hours of television ever done. Why haven't you done more with that? It was too powerful for the network, too powerful. <laughs> it 
the talent was so exciting, they, people grabbed their chest. They couldn't believe it. <laughs> I've done some movies. I worked with Clint Eastwood for a picture, if you remember, many years ago, called Kelly's Heroes. And I since remember. then, he's talking louder. <laughs> uh, I, I did the picture in Yugoslavia. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Early 1904. <laughs> and I was there with Clint Eastwood, and he talks, as you know, with that low voice. And the whole picture, everybody thought I was a mute because I kept going, huh? Because you keep saying, where's the guns? You didn't see the guns, where's the guns? So I had a lot of fun, and then I worked with Tony Curtis, uh, Jamie Lee's dad, uh, who's, she's on the show tonight. I, I happen to see her in the lobby with a Halloween mask. But uh, I, I happen to enjoy film and television, and they make jokes that I had many opportunities on television, which I did, but unfortunately the ratings were, were not that great because I only had a limited audience called America. But and, what, I, what, uh, I, what I don't understand, do you think, Don, is the fact that Anybody who has seen you work in a nightclub knows. I mean, you are one of the great, great nightclub comedians of all time. Do you think television, <laughs> do you think television limits you, the fact that it's this little box? I don't know. You know, when you're an in-person performer, you have to capture what, what I do. Uh, that goes with pretty much with uh, most people. But when you're unique, as I like to think I am, and I know I am, uh, the secret has never been able to, uh, the expression is harnessed. Yeah. that I can do what I do and put on that box so that comes across what Don Rickles is really all about. Uh, I, I believed in CPO Sharky, a show he had on. I, th I thought that was very funny. Uh, unfortunately, the rating system uh, plays the, it's, it's the, you know, you live and die by it. So uh, not to uh, do bad news, but it just didn't, didn't make it, so to speak. And ever since then, I've, I've heard a few people who are with the networks. What about the show you did with Steve Lawrence, the blooper show? Well, that, that was a lot of fun. I felt like Walter Cronkite with a bad headache. Uh, <laughs> originally, we were going to do jokes, but uh, ABC decided to get serious and go in the dumper. So all we did, we were a master of telling a story about tapes, which isn't exactly what I like to do. And the idea originally was we were going to have fun with it, but <laughs> the powers that be at ABC, and ABC is a wonderful network, as you know, they had a storm yesterday and the show went off. <laughs> but no problem. <laughs> Probably never be on that. Network. What do you What do you think of, of television network executives in general? I mean, what are they like? Because you've had a lot of experiences with them. Well, I can only say a dear friend of mine, Bob Wood, who was a former executive of CBS, was a marvelous gentleman. There's Brandon Tucker. There's There's many guys up there that really know what it's all about. A lot of them run scared because uh, hey, they got people to answer to. So these guys are under the gun in all sincerity. They really are, and every day is another challenge for them. And they take guesses just like all of us. And if it comes out right, they're, they're heroes. And if it goes wrong, they, <laughs> they're in a deli in Israel someplace. <laughs> now, your good friend Bob Newhart, on the other hand, has Who? been very... Newhart, your good friend. I don't, I don't, I don't recall the name. <laughs> <laughs> he has been very successful. Is that yes. part... Yes. Well, well Bob, is, Bob is a reactor. And Bob yeah. is middle-class America. I mean, if you ever spent an evening with Bob, you can watch a fly die on his lip. <laughs> uh, Bob is... Uh, <laughs> Bob on New Year's Eve, his idea of having a good time is watching his horn bend. Uh, we, uh, we, America loves Bob. I personally, you know, do all kinds of things to keep it going, like running my car over his legs just to keep him awake. But he's a great reactor, and the public loves him, and I love him. I really do, because I know if I go busted, he'll take care of me. <laughs> he's got that kind of mind. Real Midwest guy, you know, Wonder Bread with a bologna sandwich. You married late in life. It's been successful, though, right? Yeah, well, have you seen her? <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> now she's great. A, a trolley caught her on an angle. Uh, no matter. But she, little Jewish girl from Philadelphia, what did she know? She was standing on Spruce and Market, and she went, Sailor! And uh, like a jerk, I walked over, and we've been together ever since. <laughs> it is a happy marriage, though, isn't it? Uh, she's a darling lady. I've been blessed. You know, I think, uh, are you married, Larry? No. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> don't get married, Larry. I, mean, I, I, I can't picture you making love. The glasses probably will fog <laughs> up. Uh, Larry, I uh, find that uh, uh, my wife, uh, I got married, I was 38 years old. That's right. I got, well, I was alone a lot in my room. But uh, I must say that uh, she's been a great influence on my life, and uh, she's made it all happen for me with my own soul. She's given me peace of mind and great direction, and I, uh, I think the world of her. What I like to do often with Don Rickles uh, when he has been a guest is to just uh, throw out names and have Don react to them as he feels it. Ready, Don? Unrehearsed. Sinatra, at 70 years old. Some people go to temple, some people go to church. I go to him. <laughs> Ted Turner, 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> You're laughing and you blew your job. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Uh, fine with a box of chocolates. <laughs> Bob Hope. <laughs> I want to tell you folks. <laughs> that's right, that's what he does. All the I know that, Larry. <laughs> no, I don't you don't have, have to remind me what he does. I have a set at home, too. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be on his show, and I'll tell him that you know him and you've heard of him. <laughs> Johnny Carson. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> George Bush. George Bush. <laughs> Get him a tractor and a good farm. <laughs> Gorbachev. Larry, why don't I go to Washington and you sit here? And I'll laugh. <laughs> I, 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 I have a tough time. Yeah, as you know, Don, you've always... Well, of course. I, now you're doing Jolson. You... <laughs> no, you have... Don Rickles has just always made me laugh from the day... Yeah, you, well, we had Pumpernick's good restaurant. He used to dress as a busboy and come in. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. And insult people. But one other thing, and then we'll break and take calls, and I'll get out of this and let the public get this from you. Sure. They'll all have rifles and try to shoot <laughs> through the phone. <laughs> Why? How did the insult thing start? Well, to make it, to condense it, to be very honest, the insult thing started out of lack of having an act. Uh, many, <laughs> many years ago, I stood on the stage and told bad jokes and did Sophie Tucker as an impersonation. And nobody looked up. And suddenly I leaned down and said, sir, I'm getting fed up with you. Either you watch or I'm going to suck your neck, or words to that effect. And suddenly people started to laugh. And believe it or not, I had great success in your city, Washington, on 14th Street, in a place called the Wayne Room. And it was featured about uh, 12 exotic dancers in those days. They were called striptease artists. And about eight comedians. And we all stood on the stage and took turns. And I used to do jokes about all the politicians and everybody. Not jokes, but make fun of everybody. And it seemed to catch on. And it went from there. Now I'm a very big star, and I came on this show as a mercy favor. <laughs> Don Rickles will next be at the Sahara in Las Vegas, where he always works and has for 20 years. It's reported that he earns $200,000 a week. By the way, is that true, Don? <laughs> it's none of your business, Larry. Okay. Really? I don't want to go into it, Larry. You All probably right. have three G-men there and seven government guys okay. staring at me. All right. We'll see you. When will you next be in Atlantic City? I'll be in Atlantic City offhand, I don't, I think sometime in March, but uh, it's a bus ride for you, so don't worry about it. You, I'll chip in. We'll get you there. <laughs> okay. With Don Rickles, we start the phone call. Salem, Oregon. Hello. Yes, Mr. Rickles, I was wondering, what was the biggest influence that drew you into show business? Well, uh, my biggest influence, to be very honest, was, uh, why, to be very honest, why would I lie? Uh, to be, uh, <laughs> be very honest. Uh, Milton Berle. <clears throat> Milton Berle, years ago when I started in the days of Florida and way back in my very, very beginnings, Milton Berle was always my, my uh, idol, my uh, guy that I thought represented what comedy was all about. What was it like when you first met Milton? Was it all you thought? Well, it was it always, always a whisper. If you know Milton, Milton's a teacher, and you say, hi, Milton, he goes, shh, just listen. Why don't you listen? <laughs> I said, Milton, uh, I don't feel good. Shh, let me just talk to you. I'm going to listen. I'm going to walk away. Every time I'm with him, I think I'm a Yugoslavian partisan up in the mountains in a cave. Man constantly is whispering, but he's a dear soul. He's a great man. Kankakee, Illinois, for Don Rickles. Hello. One of my favorite Hi, right, Mr. Rickles, I, uh, I'd like to know if you've ever been confronted with somebody who's been pretty upset with you and you kind of felt threatened, and how did you handle the situation if it ever happened? It was my mother, and I took away some of her allowance. <laughs> No, I, I tell you, over my years, sure, I'm sure in my beginnings there were guys that, and ladies that came into a club and weren't particularly rooting for me all the way and were a little upset with me. But I never had an incident which you would call bad news. I mean, uh, and if I did, I was a great track star and had a good bike. <laughs> so I always kept on the move. Actually, now when we go to see Don Rickles, we know what to expect. I mean, we, you can't go to Don Rickles and say, I'm going to be offended by seeing you, the show. You can, but I have a few captains in the audience that could hurt you. That's right. <laughs> from the Copacabana days, they're left over. And they go, sit down, he'll do the jokes. <laughs> Malibu, California. Hello. Uh, hello, Don. Uh, I'm a fan of yours. And uh, my you. father happened to be John Biner. Oh, and, your dad uh, is the best. He really is. All right, thank you very much. And I was wondering, whatever happened to that cigarette box in the Tonight Show? Did you ever get it fixed or whatever? What happened? Yes, I, in fact, I bought a brand new one and gave it to Johnny. And I still haven't gotten a thank you note. But I'm getting over it. No, oh, he was I'll very nice. For him anyway. Bye bye. Yeah, give my best to your dad. What do you think of John Biner? Oh, I think he's marvelous. I, I watch mm -hmm. Bizarre and I, I just fall down. Uh, John was on the show with me many years ago when I had the Don Rickles show, and uh, 
it, just by walking out, like you say, Larry, certain guys, you know, there's a style about them. Don Adams uh, also is another kind of one of those guys. They say hi, and they make you laugh. And uh, Biner is one of those kind of guys. Isn't there a classic outtake, you and Adams, unable to finish a scene? Oh, you saw that, yeah. yeah oh, that's that was, one of the great... Uh, hooray for Hollywood. We, that's right. <laughs> we lit, it was like 4 o'clock in the morning, and Adams got to the point where he said, all right, Rickles, enough's enough. Answer and do it right, otherwise I walk. <laughs> man was always yelling at me, but he just talked to me and I fell down yeah. to this day. West Haven, Connecticut for Don Rickles. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, yes, I saw you on your blooper show and uh, really was wondering if you are going to be doing any movies or uh, TV shows in the future. And this is <laughs> Albany, Georgia. So it's not West Haven, Connecticut? It's Albany, Georgia? Albany, Georgia. I'm sorry. Gee, I was down there years ago with a band called Bubbles Becker and his band and we had a girl open the act that danced on a balloon, and I came out and called a guy a yo-yo, and he started to foam at the mouth. <laughs> uh, but I must say that uh, hopefully I will do, certainly do more television. In fact, I'm going to be on the Bob Hope special. I just did a little thing for George Burns. I did the George Burns uh, Comedy Week, which unfortunately was canceled. But I was on that and did a dramatic, uh, well, an acting part. And I love television, and hopefully I'll be doing quite a bit more. You worked in a movie with Clark Gable. <laughs> he worked with me. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, we did a picture called Run Silent, Run Deep, and Burt Lancaster kept coming over and said, does Clark like me? I said, go away, Burt. How do I know if Clark likes you? Go away. <laughs> kept bothering me every day. He and you... Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas is another one. Every time I see, I'm going to have dinner with him, as a matter of fact, tomorrow night. The truth, not because I'm dropping names, because Kirk isn't that big a name. But, uh, you know, and I say, Kirk, how are you? He says, what, do I look bad? He's one of those guys, you know? And the face is starting to go. I give him about a week, tops. He and Bert, they're all spitting up and wheezing. They don't know. They don't want to walk away. They don't want to make love to Ava Gardner when they were 21. Houston, Texas, hello. Hi, Don. Hi. 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 Hi, Don. I'm uh, calling from Houston, but I originally hailed from Jackson Heights, Queens. Remember that Yeah, area? that's where I'm from. Right, sure. Uh, my question is, um, uh, last year I saw you on Saturday Night Live, and I yeah. know you did a lot of ad-libbing, and uh, I mean, the show was fantastic. I was on the floor. Thank you. What was you. that entire experience like? What was it like working with Piscopo and the gang? Well, working with Joe Piscopo, I must say, is quite an experience, and the whole entire uh, Saturday Night cast at that time. And the great thing was, a guy called Dick Ebersol said, as you uh, said indirectly without knowing, uh, most of that was, was a set-up, ad-lib kind of situation. He had the sketches all written out, and he said, let Rickles do his thing, and you people respond to that. And I'm amazed at these people, because everything I said that had nothing to do with the sketch, they picked up on and made me look darn funny. And I was very proud of them, and I was kind of proud of the show myself. And was, I thank you for is that a fun show to do? It's frightening, because they say live, you know, and two minutes before you're ready to go on, you know, live for live, like I'm doing this, you know. It's live. But this, no, nobody sees. But I mean, uh, the shows that you see, you know, when you see Saturday Night Live and a guy says, live, you know, from New York, it's really live. I mean, you get out there and say something that, boom, that's not too, too tasty, that's it. You, what you say is, as they say, is what you get. We go to uh, Cold Strip, Montana. You're big there, Don. <laughs> Cold Strip. One of my favorites. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, you're on. Okay, I wanted to ask uh, Mr. Rickles that because when I was younger, I used to really be uncomfortable with his form of comedy, and now I'm older, I really enjoy it and think it's a riot. What changed, me, or did he, he stayed the same? What makes his kind of comedy so funny to me these days? I guess you saw both our names going to the same home. <laughs> but I, I, I must say that uh, I've perfected my comedy. In the very beginnings, it was kind of rough, but like anything else, when you do something different, you have to take chances. To this day, I take chances uh, in, the, in my own mind. But uh, you have to be different, and you have to be creative. And when you're different and creative on the stage, you're open to a great deal of criticism. And if you it do was. something off the trail, it's, it's hard to have everybody love you. Sinatra was important for you, wasn't he? I mean, the fact that he really enjoyed you. I mean, you well, tear him up. Well, here's a typical example, Larry. Uh, Frank Sinatra, uh, you, you know, the inaugural for the President of the United States last year uh, in January, last January. I was invited to Washington. I was in Hawaii, and Frank called me. And it was only because of Frank Sinatra. I'm sure the president and Mrs. Reagan uh, naturally agreed. But Frank was the guy that put his best foot forward and said, I must have Rickles on the show, and nothing's to be written for him. He can walk out into a five-minute spot, and I trust what he will say and do, and let him do his thing and make fun of the cabinet and the government and what have you, and I guarantee you it'll come off okay. And I'm indebted for Frank for that. And it was a marvelous show and a great treat for me because I thought I would never get an opportunity to appear before the president. And then we went to the White House later, and uh, the president wanted to hang with me, but of course I was busy, <laughs> and I couldn't give him too much time. Did you get to meet Nancy? 
Yeah, she came over and uh, she said hello, and I said, not now, Nancy, I'm talking to some people. And uh, she walked away <laughs> with her little sherry glass, and that was the end of it. <laughs> Ronnie was great. He wanted me to go out in the back and see his horse back at that time. <laughs> Jewish people don't have ranches. What do we know from horses? He kept doing this in the, when we were standing in the hall. I said, stop it, Ronnie. You don't need that. You know. So he to show me he was a cowboy star. He's a nice guy, though, you know. Keeps leaning over and says, how do I look? Great. You look great. <laughs> you know what I said to him when we left the White House to help me go? What? I said, whenever you're in California, you hear Mr. President? And he leaned over and said, yeah. And all the Secret Service, you know, like this, they got that thing in their ear, they're going, well, what do you say? What do you say? He said, whenever you're in California, whatever you need, you give me a call. You understand? <laughs> he followed me out on the lawn. What? I said, Ronnie, you heard me. And Sinatra was laying on the grass laughing, hoping I'd mention his name. <laughs> It was a long five days. You can't believe it. And I had some young kid that was a captain in the Navy. He was saluting me as the car door was closing on his hand. Boom, bang. I said, not now, Captain. He was driving the car, throwing his coat down for my wife. It was a whole thing. That's when I talked to George Bush. And I said, Mr. Vice President, it's nice meeting you. You want to see my tractor? Not now, George. Not now. Yonkers, New York. Hello. Sonny, baby. Nice tan. Nice, nice you, baby. Cool, sweetheart. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> I want to wish everybody watching and you guys a very happy holiday. And I do want to ask, do you have anything lined up for a pay TV special so we could enjoy your humor in our living rooms as we, as we are tonight? Yeah, why well, don't you do a, a pay TV special? Well, I tell you, again, the formats. I mean, uh, but I've you been can get a lot like, looser on pay TV, can't you? Yeah, oh, sure. But uh, HBO has asked me to do a, a show doing my own performance uh, I, that I do in a nightclub. And I don't feel at this point in my life I want to do that. And uh, any other format that they would come up with that would be uh, interesting to me and uh, by mutual consent, I would be more than happy to get that opportunity. But as, as of now, uh, nothing has crossed my path that, uh, you know, that would be kind of entertaining for me to do. To Phoenix, Arizona. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, this is Ellis Leibowitz of Phoenix, Arizona. How you what doing? You how you doing, Lee? How you doing? Ellis Leibowitz. Do you know this man, Don? There's no, but he sounds like we want to get in touch with each other. Don, big yeah. question. With all the experiences you've had in your private shows, have you ever had one where you felt you went a little too far and had some reverberations? Or You know what I'm saying. Yeah. What kind no. of ramifications of it? No. I'm, I, I'm listening to your answer. To be very I hope so, Mr. Lee Woods, or else why <laughs> yeah, ask the question? It would be murder if you hung up and let me talk to a wall. I won't hang up. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Lee Woods gives $300 anonymous and will listen to my response. Thank you, Mr. Lee Woods. Uh, <laughs> we'll now go on with the, with the Talmud Torah prayers and continue on with the services. I want to say, if Larry will shut up and let me answer this man. To be very honest, Mr. Leibowitz, <laughs> start to sound like a Jewish judge. I sentenced you to 35 years in prison. No, I want to say, Mr. Leibowitz, I really have never on the stage, anything I've ever done, I've never taken back in the sense that when I stand out there, you have to believe in what you do. If for one moment you say, oh, I shouldn't have said that, you're a fool. As an entertainer, this is in my own opinion and what I do. When I'm out there, I'm doing my best to make people laugh, and I'm doing with all earnesty. I'm not, a, 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 I'm, not a, I'm not out there to hurt somebody. If it comes off that way, I'm, I'm sorry in my heart, but I never take it back. In other words, I perform with my soul and with my honesty, and I think that's what makes me go. Oh, Maine! <laughs> beautiful, Don. That was a beautiful, beautiful... Thanks, Larry. I, I hope I touched you. There's a, there's a lot of tenderness in you that... Uh, People don't kidding? get to see. You're basically a, a bear, aren't you? Oh, you're kidding. You should have heard the wife on the wedding night. Growled all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Just laid there growling. I had to set traps for her. It was murder. <laughs> <laughs> you get, Larry, there's a hospital in Washington <laughs> that takes care of that special kind of cough. You understand, Larry? It's, you know where that's from, Larry? You don't wear a coat. <coughs> you go out in the... the yeah! See, you start to spit up. That's Florida. That's all the asthma from Florida. And all that poison that you had in you in Florida. It's all coming out now. It's like, it's like those guys in the cafeteria. Yeah! <coughs> you know, on, on the farina. <laughs> oh, God, I'm having such a good time talking to myself. It's great. I'm in a room with an earphone looking at a wall, and I'm laughing. This is the way you wind up in a sanitarium. <laughs> what a cheap show. They can't even get the host to show up. <laughs> I 
Why, why do the show? Let's just sit here and laugh. <laughs> here we are at Disneyland. Come into my mouth and you're in the fun house. <laughs> <laughs> Don, will you, will you stay an extra five minutes and then we'll... Oh, sure, it. if you beg. <laughs> <laughs> Don Rickles, our guest, in a, little, in a couple of minutes we're going to meet... Uh... <laughs> 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 ah, shut up, Larry. Get on with it. <laughs> 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 what an idiot host. <laughs> I just ended we'll, the career. We'll be back with uh, Don Rickles right after these words. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you bothering the people there in Los Angeles, Don? Are you, are you disturbing them? There's nobody here. There's one guy with a broom, and he keeps asking me, why am I sitting under a light? <laughs> nobody here. You make it like you have, a, you have a turnout. There's no turnout. That's a nice bureau there. Oh, uh, it sure is. That open hallway is great. There's people <laughs> just sitting there in their underwear, skiing. I don't know what they're doing. Worcester, Massachusetts, for Don... I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button, Don. What? what you don't care. Worcester, Massachusetts, hello. Hi, Don. Oh. Hi. Are you there? <laughs> yeah. Are you talking through a kazoo? Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I, I was just kidding. You. I was just kidding you, sweetheart. Just go right on. I, I want to I know one thing. Are you this funny if you would come to my home as you are on TV and making people so happy? I just love you. You Thank are you my too. most favorite, favorite, favorite idol in the whole world. Thank you, darling. And you can be I'm sure I, I, I won't be at your home. <laughs> you won't be, or you will be. No, I'll be tied up. I, I won't be able to stop. But, but if I drive by, maybe you can wave out the window or something. I guess her, bless question, your heart words. her question, Don, bless your heart was, words. Are you question, her question uh, was, are you funny off stage? Oh, are this you has, oh, this woman has an interpreter. Oh, <laughs> uh, am I funny off stage? Uh, well, uh, hey, if you have a death in the family, you're not laughing. I know. I mean, uh, no, I, I am uh, pretty much with my friends. Uh, it's according to what the situation is. If at home, sometimes I'm funny, but around the wife, I'm very humble because otherwise the shopping bill runs up. But uh, I must say, in all fairness, I'm pretty much uh, on an even keel when I'm around my family and friends. It's not joke, joke, joke all the time. Otherwise, you'd be uh, a little bit bananas. So I. I'm pretty much, when I'm away from the business and I'm not working, I pretty much relax and there's not too much humor coming out of me all the time. Don, we have just a few minutes. Anything first of all you'd like to say about Jamie Lee Curtis? She will follow you into that chair. She's a lovely actress and I'm happy for her success. She's been doing some great films of late and her father I knew very, very well. We, as I said to her off camera, we did a picture called Rat Race together and if she has the talent her dad does and she certainly is showing that, uh, she has a great career ahead of her and I'm happy for her. Not, nothing else to say, huh? You just really Well, I just wanted to say to you, Larry, as a favor, please don't call me anymore. I think this was an absolute waste. This will not change my life one bit. I personally feel your show is not going to make it much longer, really. You're an annoying guy sitting there in your little funny little sweater every night, leaning over, pressing. You're like, you're like a beaver. You're trying to snarl and get information. Larry, go back to Miami and do what you do best. Suck up a swamp. Don't bother people, Larry. Don't bother people. Anything you'd yeah. like to say about, we have a minute, about what show business means to you. I know that you always show like Show business to... means a great deal of money for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I could go back to my old job selling insurance like my father did with a big debit book in Woodside, Long Island and collect $2. Show business is everything to me. I get up in the morning with Al Jolson's picture under my arm. <laughs> I drop my pajamas and pretend it's a curtain. I have so much fun by myself. It's a wonderful business. There's no business like show business. I like that. Let me write that down. Sure, do that, Larry. <laughs> write everything down, because with the lines you have, you're in a lot of trouble, Larry. Don, I thank you so much. I look forward I to seeing you. I thank you, Larry. And I hope City. I see you in Atlantic City. Uh, the check is on me. No, Larry, there'll be no charge. Don't be nervous. It's a comp. <laughs> you, it's all comp, Larry. Don't ask. Do I have to tip the maid a D? Nothing. Just walk in with your sweater, sit down, and with that nose, you'll suck up the whole tablecloth. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Happy Hanukkah and a Merry Christmas. Same to you, Don. Welcome to Larry King Live from Los Angeles. Tonight, hold on to your side, it's caustic comic Don Rickles. And the diva of the divorce courts, glamorous Jaja Gabor. Now, live on tape, here's Larry King. 
Good evening on this Friday night in Los Angeles. What a night we have planned for you. Two distinguished members of the American Performing Arts will be with us. Later, Zsa, Zsa Gabor in a moment, Don Rickles. We'll be back in Washington on Monday night with Larry King Live. The Bork hearings open next week. We'll do lots of <laughs> follow-ups on that. <laughs> he kills me. I know him 30 years, and he kills me. Our first guest, a distinguished member of the American acting and dramatic community, <laughs> Mr. Donald Rickles, it is so nice to see you. Oh, it's uh, lovely to be here. This is a great treat to be in a, in a box. <laughs> this two-by-four box. What a treat. You don't like this studio. No, Why I do you knock it? It's a nice place. Every time I connected with you, it's always Mickey Mouse, like a little cardboard thing from a Hanukkah play. They made, they made a whole backdrop. That's Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. No, it's the valley. <laughs> the valley. <laughs> I have an uncle there. We don't talk to him. <laughs> What do you think of Bork, by the way? You think we should nominate him? <laughs> is he a shortstop? <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> he doesn't, Wait a minute. He's not going to change my life. Abortion, no abortion. I got my own problems. I really don't care, Larry. So no, let's not worry about Bork. You don't care? No, the man sits there in a big room with a bunch of other people in black robes, and they all go, <coughs> what do you think, Al? <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on. Don't worry about it, Larry. You got your own troubles. Just be Jewish and keep moving. John, why do you like living out here? Of course I, I mean, do. you're such a... No, you're no I would love to live in the Bronx. <laughs> in the Bronx, in the ghetto. I want to live I want to live in an alley and lay on the street, but the other people saying, give me a home, give me a place, give me a ranch. Of course I love it out here. Have a big home hunting dogs and a Jewish wife that just says, Don, oh, thing isn't shining. <laughs> this woman's just draped in jewelry. I took her to Europe, she fell over. She had too much on the neck. <laughs> right in the ground. But you're such a New York type. Miami type. This seems so laid back for you. You're not a laid back guy, Don. <laughs> Beverly Hills is sort of. It's not. I don't see it as you. You Al Jolson? Why do you keep doing <laughs> No. I like Beverly Hills. You kidding? Sit around, watch the movie stars, get invited to big parties, watch Marvin Davis swim. <laughs> it's a light boy. Well, let's uh, let's get into some things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Size forty-one short. <laughs> <laughs> and get him a blue shirt with a with a loose collar. He loves that. Remember those tailors in New York? Irving, perfect. This shoulder has to be fixed or you need an operation. Okay. All right, start the, start the meeting. Okay. That sounds like a wrestling match. Pin, pin. Okay. <laughs> oh, so that. All right, okay. Listen, okay. I'm a serious person. I know, you look, this, like, a, I know, you look like a weird Clark Kent. This, <laughs> this, <laughs> you had your heart fixed, but you never worked on your nose. Why did you get your nose done? As long as you're getting your heart fixed, you had your nose. Are you worried about me when I have my heart attack? Are you kidding? I went to Temple seven times and said, I'll never make it. <laughs> I told that to the rabbi and his hat spun. Okay, uh, uh, this this show won an Ace Award. Why are we leaning over serious? like a football <laughs> We're leaning over like we're two communists planning to do something. Sit back and relax. Uh, you're a nervous wreck. You know, like, I want to try to get some serious questions. Yeah, then. we'll get value. <laughs> By the way, Zsa Zsa Gabor is on. Following. <laughs> Time out, Cleveland. <laughs> Time out. Okay. <laughs> you have any thoughts on Zsa Zsa? Yeah, she's a lovely woman. She really is. You like her? Oh, yeah, she's lovely. She's great. She's great. You're going to find her when, when it's all over for her and a bucket of goulash. She's a lovely woman. Her and her sister I know very, very well. Ava. Yeah. I, I know the name. Yes. Is this a test? Yes. <laughs> Ava and her. They're going to put a full of bank job just standing around in the lobby going, Everybody get against the ball and the nice men step forward. They're, they're in heat, you know. <laughs> Don. Yeah. Please. Mm. Have you been... This is asked of Gary Hart. On Nightline, they asked of Gary Hart, I'll ask it of you. Yeah. Have you been faithful to your wife? Uh, well, except for Laverne. Hell of a broad. <laughs> Hell of a broad. She used to work with bubble gum, you know. What do you mean? Yeah, stand on top of the roof and yell at me, and I would dive into the living room, and she'd take the gum and go, wow! And the <laughs> suction would drive me in. It, it's a long story. Okay, Don't worry about it. Right. But you freely admit this. No, no, I, I love my wife. I have a lovely wife. I you have, have a good marriage. marriage. Oh, yeah. You married late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very late. No, I mean... I was on the highway. I was in a sailor <laughs> uniform, and she said, you got a minute? And I came over, and we've been yeah. together ever since. So we've been together now uh, 22 years. She's a lovely woman. Because you knew me in the old days. I ran around pretty You were good. a single guy. Oh, yeah. That's right. I, <laughs> I, was, I used to go around with singers. Uh, K-Star. Please. Lovely woman. Don but, Rickles and K-Star nearly married. No, Let's no. Let's reveal it for the first no, time. No, strictly a friend. No, strictly a friend. I knew I wasn't seeing her too often when she started making me carry the music. <laughs> <laughs> carry the music, you know, it's open. No, K was a lovely woman. We were just friends. But you, you were a long time. Many people thought you would stay a bachelor for a long time. Well, yeah, but I started smiling at a lot of guys, and then I got problems, and I mean, went to steam rooms, and guys went, let me see the towel off. <laughs> and it was trouble. So I, I started to go straight, and how everything is great. I got a Jewish wife just lays in bed, go, Whoa. How did you meet Barbara? Well, I met her. Uh, it was a wild party. I had blue socks on that night, and she was wearing a mask. No. <laughs> 
And the guy working the camera kept saying, Eddie, try the shot when she falls into the tub. <laughs> no, I met Barbara. Uh, she was my picture agent's secretary. Uh, a guy oh, called yeah. Jetulari. Yeah, and uh, he uh, still he's still a picture agent. And uh, I went up to uh, the office and I said, I'd, I'd like to see Jetulari. And my wife is one of those low-key kind of women. She kept saying, what is it in regard to? I said, I want to sell meat. I'm a butcher. I got, I got a pound of meat in a truck outside. I like to sell it to him. I said, I want to be an actor, and I want to see him. And she said, if you're going to be crude, nothing's going to work out. You understand? And that's the way we make love. She naps. It's great. It's great. Did you like her right away? Huh? Sure. I gave her one of those, too. Yeah. Just, just like that. Did you like her right away? Uh, yeah, I knew she was a, a, a lovely lady for me. Yes. Oh, I'm going to try to get some serious things in here. Okay, fine. The business has changed a great deal for the comic. Yeah. Where does a Don Rickles, if not for Atlantic City and Vegas, work? Well, to be very honest, the gambling cities between Las Vegas, Lake Tahoe, Harris, and resorts, and uh, the Golden Nugget, what have you, uh, the gambling towns are great to me. And once in a while, a theater. And once in a while, some television. And at this stage of my life, I'm very, very content. Uh, the gambling towns take up about 18, 19 weeks of my life. And I'm very pleased with that. And I'm a saloon guy by, by nature, my whole there career. There are no saloons in Chicago or New York. Oh, or yes, there are, but I just, I just don't like to get up off the couch. I mean, if I certainly wanted to work there, I, could, I, I lay on the couch a lot, you know, and just sit there and give orders to, <laughs> to my family who stare at me, you know. <laughs> when, when I cough, they think I'm going to die and they're going to take the house away, you know. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I enjoy what I do right now, and I think the only thing left for me that I would love to do is to do a major motion picture, and that... You're a terrific actor. You know, you did, uh, did you did a, an edition uh, on Hennessy once. The Jackie Cooper. Jackie yeah. Cooper, one of the great individuals. Just you and him, the whole show. Yeah, thank great you. Great performance yeah. when you were thinking of leaving the Navy. Yeah, right. That was a great show. You were wonderful in pictures. Why not? Why didn't you do more serious things? Because uh, Jackie didn't go any place. <coughs> no, no, no. Why didn't you? No, more? I. Well, I tell you, you get you get uh, Mark with the label of the insulting guy, the sarcastic comedian. And it's hard, I guess, for producers to see you in another, in another light. I've been off at films where it's always the guy with the, with the checkered coat, you know, the guy from the mountains going, what do you say, Shirley, you know, uh, Whoopi, Shirley, I don't want to do that. Someone along the line say, this guy can perform. Well, if, if the part did come up, it was to do it in, uh, say, uh, Spain for 17 years, and, or go to, go to Romania for 37 hours, go to Yugoslavia and get the runs and die. <laughs> I mean, so uh, to leave the country for a great, a great length of time would be very difficult. By the time I came back, uh, I'd probably be shaky not even being on this show. You know, and this means everything to me because, you know, <laughs> this shot could hey, wait a minute. skyrocket. Wait a big show. Are you making fun of this show? No, are you kidding? When the cable goes out, this is a, a light night. <laughs> a light night? Cable goes out a lot. Does it go out a lot here? <laughs> Every day. In fact, this will never be on. <laughs> There's a guy walking around with a clip of Larry King. I'm going to cut it right off. Nobody watches. This is a mercy show. This really is. I watch Tom Brokaw, you know, with the Statue of Liberty and big music and all. When you're on at 6 o'clock, I, I usually look in just as a favor because we're old friends, you know, just to see if you've got you a guest. You feel like uh, you're doing me a favor? I don't need that it, as a favor. Oh, yeah. I, you're a mercy friend. Definitely a mercy friend. Oh, you have mercy friends. Oh, yes. And you're on that list because we know each other 30 years, Larry. I remember you in Florida when you, was, you were single in two. Yeah. But you were different than I. <laughs> you used to go into canters and go, anybody? <laughs> An old waitress, a woman with a rag going, you want fish? I'll go with you. You want a piece of fish? You went with everybody. Hey, fix your mic. I think you might have observed. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought you got lonely there for a minute. Those were great days in Miami. Huh? You used to come on my show, Lenny, Bruce, you and Lenny That's together. Right. Lenny together. Oh. That's right. That's you right. used to come to Pumpernick's dress up as a busboy and insult people. That's right. I used to kid around like that, too. And I, uh, and I, my mother used to call your show up all the time. That's right. Soul. Dean Martin was the one that took you out of Florida, didn't he? I mean, the shot on his show made Don Rickles. Well, the first shot I did in Florida, if you remember, remember I was on with Jack Parr when he did the show from the Roney Plaza. A lot of people don't even remember that. Yeah. And I played a cab driver. They had me come on as an insulting cab driver. And Jack Parr at that time had no idea what it was about and what I was about. <laughs> None. And I said, you know, Jack, you're ridiculous. And get rid of your whatever. Your, your hat and wait in the car. And he did. <clears throat> and this was live. And I went... <laughs> to the dumper. And then my second big occasion, I went on with Earl Wilson, that's his sole cousin. And Earl, you know, was, was wonderful. He's a great guy to have at a New Year's Eve party. You know, he was like Ed Sullivan. They took naps together, you know. <laughs> naughty, 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 naughty. <laughs> and I was on with him, that didn't help me. So really, it was Johnny Carson and Dean Martin that really brought me to the attention nationally. Of, Martin puts on his shows yeah. on a kind of a regular basis, didn't No, he? no, he put me on quite a bit. Uh, he was very, very kind to me, Dean. And Carson. And Carson. And then Carson saw me in New York. And Johnny and I became a little bit friendly, and uh, then he had me on the show, and I did very well with Johnny, and 
fact, I'm going to be on in October with him again. And it's fun to be with Johnny. He has a chemistry. It's like being on with you, you know. We Nothing have. really happens. But yet I'm on. Because it's, <laughs> you know, it's an afternoon. You kill a couple hours and you go home. Oh, you know, hey, a, that's a nice warrant. You kidding? Got it off the truck in the Bronx. <laughs> that's a Rolex gold. Oh, of course. What am I, what am I going to wear? A Mickey Mouse job? Oh, no, yeah, but I mean, that's... Well, look at what do you got on, chop liver. You got a nice watch. <laughs> yeah, I got I a mean, nice shirt. Gordy, that Don't boy. be envy, Larry. Don't be envy. You got a good thing going. A radio show, an afternoon show, girls. You got everything going for you. Now, if your heart stops, you got a problem. <laughs> Tell you, that you got to work on. You don't look good, Larry. I'm a friend. I was kidding you in the, in the, in the dressing room. But really, Larry, get some rest. <laughs> By the way, uh, what a turnout you'll have. <laughs> I figure you, Riverside must be about 30 cars. I'll be in the back car going, I knew he wouldn't make it! I knew he wouldn't make it! And you'll be yelling, Bork, do you think Bork will win? <laughs> Bork, Bork, you'll worry about. By the way, we taped this yesterday, and we also, uh, Carl Malden was here, and he was on last night. I love Carl Malden. You have a thought on Carl Malden before we take our first break. Well, I think Carl Malden has had it. Had it? Uh, no, Carl Malden's a great actor. He knows Marlon Brando personally. He told me that when I met him the last time, and I gave him a cookie, and he went away. He's a really annoying guy. <laughs> and he's Yugoslavian. He sits around the Dan Tanners all day long, going, Dobra, Dobra. You ever go to Yugoslavia? No. Makes Mexico look like a warm-up. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. We'll be back. No, we won't. I'm fed up with you, Larry. We may be back with Don Rickles following these messages. Whoop. Our guest is Don Rickles. We go back a long way. Let me get this out before I leave you and crack up completely. On October 9th and 10th, Don will, brought, will uh, perform at Resorts International in Atlantic City. We're going to be there on October 9th, and he and Cosby are going to be on the radio show, maybe together. Maybe we'll even bring the cameras, CNN cameras, get them on television, too. That's October 9th and 10th. You can see him at Resorts International in Atlantic City. And then on October 15th for two weeks at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. Now, the last time he worked at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas, a surprise guest came out on stage, an old friend of his, Frank Sinatra. Right? That's correct. Came on stage with you. That's right. How many guys would Frank do that with? Uh, Benny Manzanini, <laughs> Aldo Guanano, and Rocco Paccaru. What about Frank? No one knows him better than you. No, I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say that. If I knew him better, I'd be on a hook in a market someplace, just swinging back and forth. No, Frank is a dear man, the most charming guy I know. I, I, I and my wife and his wife, Barbara, we think are the most stimulating couple. We've met many people. The two of you. Uh, yes, <laughs> together. My, stimulates my you wife. both did. married Barbaras. Yes, we did. How interesting that Yeah, is. it was. We discussed that once on the trip. <laughs> About two minutes. <laughs> but uh, we've had uh, we had a wonderful time in Monte Carlo. Uh, Frank, oh, every... every Monte Carlo together. Oh, sure. What, do you think we're going to hang around Jersey? <laughs> of course, Monte Carlo. No, we went to Newark. <laughs> Got a plane, we went into a, hung around factories and smelled the, the smelled the swamp by the train. What were you doing in Monte Carlo? Vacationing or what? No, no, no. I was working as a cabana boy. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank was sitting in, the, in his cabana in short with linguine all over his stomach. And everybody said, Frank, you look adorable. Who's going to tell him he looks wrong? You know what I mean? You do, and he slaps in the face, you know. He has eight guys around him who all talk the same way, like a truck hit him. <laughs> So uh, we had a marvelous time. He we went to Monte Carlo together on vacation. Yeah. Well, he was there already, oh. and he, we were in the Golden Nugget, as we said, doing a doing a benefit together. And he said, "Why don't you and Barbara come over and spend some time with us?" And we did, and we met everybody. Uh, we have, uh, Frank had a wonderful command. He had a suite there, which we paid for. I mean, this wasn't on the arm, uh, although I did beg a few times, <laughs> and I picked up a few checks. Did I know he ate that much? I mean, the man went crazy. <laughs> And we met Roger Moore, who kept telling me he was Roger Moore, which was very exciting. <laughs> and Michael Caine, who you know won an Academy Award, kept saying, you know, don't, I tell you, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, I said, how did you win? You don't talk English. <laughs> Man doesn't talk English. He's like a muffin. You have always been able to kid Sinatra, right? Now, there's very few people can get away with things you said about him, being old, pockmark face. I never you know, said pockmark face, no. Frank, you said, you said, Frank, no, what did you say? No, not pockmark face. You're old. Give me a break. Don't, don't, don't make it. Don't. Okay, you didn't say Park Market. No. You said you're old. I said, yes, I did say you said old. go up and have graham crackers and hot milk. No, no, I said, uh, Frank, uh, stand up, be, uh, do something everybody knows. Hit somebody. <laughs> and I did. Leave what? my mother alone. Uh, yeah, you know, I said, no, if, uh, if I don't act nice, you're going to. He's got my mother, got an aunt in Jersey. He's got the time in the chair. <laughs> He's really but, a good guy, though. Yeah, we, because we, it's always been that image, you know. But, but you've always so been much. able to kid him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this hand is a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> and the Monte Carlo, I came up with a joke he didn't like, and now his hand is numb. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, we had some great time. Now what about Carson? But before you know, I get to that, we met Prince Albert through Frank. Met Prince Albert, who was great. They, they said to me, this is Prince Albert, and said, help me God. Knowing me, Larry, I said, Al, it's great seeing you. 
The kid fell in the floor. He's 28 years old. <laughs> Prince Albert. Yeah, Prince Albert. I said, you've got to stop having your father. Look through the window. All I see is a mustache and a little wind <laughs> from the palace going, Albert, Albert. <laughs> old man's annoying. Put him in a home. You don't need it. Go down the cellar, get the money, and leave the country. Listen to me. And your sister's out there here like a Zeppelin. You don't need it. Out. I was doing all those jokes. And, and Frank kept walking around going, is that, is that funny? <laughs> he was great, though. I kept telling him he sings good, and that calms him. <laughs> I keep saying, Frank, what a voice. He goes, no kidding, really? You think so? I said, sure. It's old up for him. I can say that because nobody watches this. Who's going to watch this? He watches. Oh, well, hey, then you won't be seeing me anymore. <laughs> Maybe in Miami, a head bobbing up and down <laughs> in the middle of the bay going, it was Larry King, Frank, not me, Larry King. <laughs> He's a darling man, though, and I respect him. What about Carson? I'll name some, I'd love to do this with you. I name people, you tell us about them. Johnny Carson. His shoulders lock. His what? His shoulders lock. Ever see Johnny walks around like this, like barbells around his, you know, man worries about his body. I think he gets in bed at night and just says to the wife, not a ripple, huh, honey? Not a ripple. <laughs> she sleeps with a board. Not a ripple. Has a lovely wife, Alex. They just got married. Yeah. We gave him a lovely gift. What'd you give him? <laughs> Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Tight. Tight. Very tight. Well, we go to restaurants. He signs autographs. No tips. I said, Clint, you can't do that. People don't care about your last movie. He goes, Clint Eastwood, 1937, you're going to love my next film. <laughs> and he walks away. But Clint is a great guy. He, he really said is. you wanted to live his lifestyle. <laughs> well, well, the Yugoslavian, when we did Kelly's Heroes, I, I said in the contract, I said, I want to live the way Clint Eastwood lives. I had no idea that a pickup truck and a dog was his way of being <laughs> happy at home. I mean, and standing out in the woods. My wife and I like marble toilets. We're Jews, you know, tiling, nice, you know. Beautiful apartment. Well, we had electric toilets in those days. So Let me run down some others. Angie Dickinson, she got her star in Hollywood yesterday. Yes, Angie is great. She knew John Wayne. <laughs> you knew John Wayne? Yeah. Didn't you do a movie with John yeah. Wayne? Yeah. In fact, the first time I met him, I said, how are you, Duke? And he went, <laughs> It was great. Roy Rogers. <laughs> if you're lonely. <laughs> no, no, Roy's a great guy. He talks to Dale a little too much, though. Now your closest friend, your neighbor, your compatriot, Bob Newhart. Without question, one of the dullest human beings I know. I, I, really, I don't know how we're friends. I mean, all this guy does is sit in the bathroom, I think, with roll of toilet paper and bumbles and hums and, brrr, and plays with the, with the brrr. Got $40 million. America loves him. He's on television 30 million years. Why? Day in and day out. Huh? How do you explain that? Because he's like Wonder Bread. Nobody knows what he is. He's, like, he's not Jewish. He's not German. He's not Italian. He's not black. He's nothing. He's like a stick with a face on it. And the guy got hot as hell, and it's driving me crazy. Because I'm more talented than he, but I can't do that. i got to be nice in case I go busted, I can borrow. <laughs> you have, why have you, your television shows never made it? And yet, you, do you think it's because you have too much body energy, body energy, too much movement, you're too kinetic, that television needs people like Newhart that lay back? Well, I think the box, you know, it captures, uh, seriously, Bob has a great magic on television, yeah. as, as well as Carson. You know, they, they have a, a certain, that the audience can relate to. Uh, the shows I've had, uh, don't forget, uh, uh, Seatoe Sharky was not a bad show. That show, oh, I, I, like I, I that. believe it, it, it could still have stayed on had things been right, but that's old news. But you have to have the right vehicle for a Don Rickles. And uh, I'm, I'm very big, I'm very, everything is from the nightclub world started out as an actor, but everything is big. And so when it's big, it's a little box, as you said. So you have to have it that you can reach the people. And I think with the right storyline and the right material, uh, I can be successful. There's many, finish. many people who know show business pretty well would say the two of our greatest nightclub comics, the two greatest nightclub comics we have in this country today, pure nightclub comics, are Don Rickles and Shecky Green. Thank you. And neither have ever made big, big on television. You made it bigger than Shecky. Shecky's also a movement act, isn't he? Yes. We, we, I, I would say Shecky is what, pretty much what I do, and or I do pretty much what he does. Uh, we act out our performance. It's not That's like right. standing in one saying, the door across the street, and blah, 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 whatever. You move. Is. Yes, and I act out as well as he does, and I tell a story. And that's very hard to capture, you know, in a, in a situation comedy. And it can be done. It certainly can be done. I mean, look at Gleason. I mean, huh. who acted out a story huh. greater than a Jackie Gleason? So. Back to some more people. Gary Hart. Uh, Gary Hart, I, I think, is the kind of guy in my single days I'd like to hang out with. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know he makes some cute moves. You know what I mean? He was great with Ted Copley the other night. I don't know if you saw that. You haven't said <laughs> You probably go to one of those stores, you know. <laughs> Channel 7, you know, tap on the window. But uh, uh, Gary Hart has had his problems. I feel sorry for the man. He, yeah. he could have been a good candidate. Sure, yeah. the Democratic Party is, uh, you know, 
tonight. I spoke to Mario Cuomo. Cuomo, Cuomo yeah. Said, hey, you okay. asked for a friend of yours to yeah, get well, out got, of got, prison. Got, yeah, well, I got, I got a guy going to chair Friday, and I figured it. Mario makes a quick phone call, and if he speaks in Italian, it helps. Do you talk about it? Hot seat, hot seat, get him over. You know. But I think that... Cuomo, Ronald Reagan, what do you think of Ronald Reagan? He's a great guy to be with. I was at the White House, uh, through Sinatra, again, Frank. Really? Frank, Frank got Frank, you to the White House? Well, no, I got... I, I, I made a call. Hello, Ronnie, it's Don. I'm in town. No, I was at the inaugural, and it was great. And uh, Ronald Reagan, I, I, I'll never forget, we, we stood in the lobby, and uh, Frank said, say, say goodnight to the president when we were leaving. They were serving sherry, one of my favorite drinks. <laughs> sherry and, you know, some, some buck and a half wine, you know. And, and Reagan was doing one of these, uh, another round. Anyway, <laughs> Reagan, Reagan's great. He, he, he doesn't believe he's president. He keeps walking around. Going, <laughs> Anyway, we're ready to leave. I said, Mr. President, may I see you a minute? So they, and I said, uh, what is it? I said, listen, anytime you're in California, and I'm whispering, and, and all the Secret Service is on, what is he saying? 27 <laughs> Baker, what is he saying? All those guys were doing I thought there, I thought there was a whole room of Johnny Rays. They all got these little earphones. I said, what is he saying? What is he saying? He said, I said, listen, whenever you're in L.A., if you run short, you get, you get a call. And you know what he did? Larry, I swear to God, he went, <laughs> and all the Secret Service guys went, you know, because they're all robots. They all stand behind them and they do the same thing. If he's shot, they get shot with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bang! Oh, well, I'm, 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 I'm hit. I mean, it's one of those things. And Nancy was great. She was in the other room looking at her gown. <laughs> so we never saw her. You actually said, if you're in L.A., look me up. I actually said that. I did. Sure. And frankly, he was laughing, Frank, because, you know, because Frank, he thinks he could be governor of Jersey, Frank. <laughs> Can you see him, governor of Jersey? Uh, you're innocent. But Frank, he shot the guy in cold blood. The man's innocent. I don't want to discuss it. Should be great. But Reagan was great. We, we had a good time. We had, really? What? We had a good what time. What did you have for dinner? For dinner? I think we had the stuffed... Uh, <laughs> stuffed matzo ball. <laughs> no, we didn't have dinner at the White House. We were just invited in Drinks. the afternoon. Drinks. Sherry. And, and I said to you know, the, the black uh, gentleman that, with the white gloves, I walked over to the guy and said, here's a thing. Get me, get me my coat. <laughs> And the guy said to me, sir, we're not allowed to do that. I said, for you, for you. <laughs> you buy yourself a big cabin in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> you tip the way I yeah. George Bush, what do you think of George? I think he's a nice guy, I really do. I think he should work a farm, though. <laughs> he, no, he's a low-key guy. Very, very nice. It's, it's chill. I met his sons and his wife. It's very, very... Well, we're running out of time. Zsa going to be here in a couple of oh, minutes. That's a shame. I'd love to see the outfit. I love her. You know, I make jokes about her and Ava. But she's they're, a good they're, girl. She's a, she really is. She's a lovely woman. She's been in this country about 40 years and still can't speak English. <laughs> I mean, that's the shame. The immigration should send her back. They really should. I mean... She should marry some count and live in Borneo or something. But she's a lovely woman. And I always rib her. Because and she, she goes, Daddy, why do you say these things about me? You know. And then when you look at her, you know why. <laughs> but uh, her and Ava are very nice, and yeah. I love them both. Uh, Lasorda, what's happening with the Dodgers? Well, hey, hey, listen, you see by his stomach, he's swelling up. We're going to stripe him, you know, and use him as a beach ball. <laughs> no, the whole, trouble, the whole trouble with the Dodgers, they don't have one American-speaking kid on the team. He goes in the dugout and says, boys, we've got to win this game. Hey, Tommy, I can play the base. I can run, check on base, check on base, base, play, play, Tommy, Tommy. That's what I think. This is the outfielder. Come here, Pedro, what do you think? Look, Pedro, me, you're a public, I can play a general. Get up and hit the ball. I can't. i got to go back to my country. I'm a general. They all do a general. No bad, and the Angels, they're bad. What's going on with you? Well, the Angels, I really don't follow that much. They're out in Anaheim, and I don't want to go on the rides. <laughs> you go to the game, you got to go on the rides, you got to go on the slide, and Gene mark has got the hat over his ears, you know. You know, it's, it's lighter out there. You're, you're going to go out there like a jerk, because you need the, the attention. I don't go to Anaheim. A lot, a lot of Timmies in Anaheim. A lot of, a lot of what? Timmies. A people named Tim. Yeah, no, people in Chevys, a lot of Chevys. <laughs> with the clutch, with the bad clutch. It's like Henry Ford. I was with Henry Ford in Monte Carlo, my head the guy. And Henry's sitting there, and he says, Hi, Don, I'm Henry Ford. I said, Go, glad I met you. Once you go outside, my, my, I need a lube job. <laughs> just, just a few minutes. And he went, You need a lube job? He repeats it. That's how bright he is. You need a lube job? I thought he was going to put on gloves and do it. Thank you, Donald. Hey, hey. I can take a brush. <laughs> no, I got a break. Hey, hey, I, I understand. I got a break. Hey, hey I got a break. I got a leave, too. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Look at this. Two Jews saying, what a spread. Huh? Hey, you want more, more combi. More combi. That's those guys in the deli. Remember those guys with the match? That's another round of combi. Hey, what a... We'll be back with you. Whoopee. Yeah. With Zsa Zsa. Zsa Zsa. Zsa Zsa. Zsa will be back with a whole Bulgarian army. A whole wonderful thing. This don't, guy stinks. I'm sorry. Don't, don't go away. Don't go don't away. away. He's begging. He's begging. Don't go away. Stay and listen to this man. Smell his own body. Watch him. Don't go away. Goodbye, everybody. Here's the script. Who cares? Show stinks. Boy, oh boy, what a night. What a night. What a show. Thanks, Thanks a
Thank you for coming, Don. Oh, okay. <laughs> what else do I have to do? This was my, this was my dream, driving down Sunset. Air conditioning and one black brother in the front going, where you going? <laughs> he had no idea. We just drove You know how we love to have you on the show. And oh, I thank you very much for I, coming. I in. thank you. All right, now, let's, let's start right off. There's a big story yeah, going by on. By the here. way, are you in prison? <laughs> <laughs> I like this shirt. Well, it's smart. Now you get a nightcap and you run around and scare kids on Christmas. <laughs> Did you see Stallone the other night? Oh, you kidding? Sly, that's what you called him, Sly. Yeah. He's, he's great, he's great. Oh, like with him. the big neck and whole thing. <laughs> he's great, you know what I mean? <laughs> Personally, he's not going to go any places. <laughs> you know, Rocky 7, Rocky 12. I mean, the man's going to lose his marbles and have to look for a day job. You know? And Kirk Douglas is on on Monday. Oh, he's my friend. And don't forget, promote rag man. Every time you see Kirk, you say, how do you feel? I look bad. <laughs> he's one of those guys. You know. no, he's great. He keeps looking in the mirror going, uh, uh, I know Lana Turner. <laughs> I give him a cook and he goes away. He's an annoying guy. really. Is. But I love his wife, Anne. He's a, he's a sweet guy. He knows uh, Gregory Peck. You sit with the two of them and you take a nap. <laughs> You don't like old people, do you? Put down old people. Why well, is that? Like, I, you know, they're all wheezing and spitting up all the time. <laughs> hey, I'm not a kid anymore, but I mean, the people I hang out with lately, all of them. <laughs> I mean, who needs that all night long? Right, go to cocktail parties and the olives are getting shot all over the world. <laughs> what are you, a wrestling referee? <laughs> look at this, we became... Look at this, we be, we're, in, we're in South Africa. <laughs> Free Mandela! Free Mandela! <laughs> What the hell is that? You're sending messages with the desk? <laughs> 29 years, you still do it to me. I can't. I'm going to try to do an interview with you. Is it 29 yeah, years? Yes, 29. I'm going to try to. when we first met? Never. Pumpernick's restaurant, Miami Beach, Florida. That's right. And you came over with cottage cheese all over your face. <laughs> and you said, help me, help me. <laughs> and you dressed up as a busboy. Oh, those days were fun. They were fun. Everything is relative. You were making what? About a dollar? <laughs> I was making three, yeah. but I used to come on your radio show. That's right. Who I know. What? Lenny Bruce. Uh, oh, Mr. So he was great. Yeah. Okay. There's a big story going around in the inner circles of town that I'm now going to bring out. That you... Please do. <laughs> that you and Frank Sinatra, next year, are going to tour together. Don and Frank. That's, that's it. Except I've got to make sure I give him his medication. By the way, your, your earpiece is loose. I'm just going to put oh, it... You don't oh, fuck, I thought I had a wart. <laughs> No, you don't. You don't need it now. Oh, good. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. A, hold on, Charlie. In the booth. Can you pick me up? I'm sorry. The earpiece is out. Okay. Book. I'll be okay, Sam Donaldson. No. Comb it. Comb it. Okay. All right. Just leave it. I'm gonna just leave, leave it. All right. Let it hang. Million dollar show. I gotta be on. I gotta hang it. Let it hang. They just. Look, they told me in my ear that your ear was loose. That's my ears okay. never loose. They, they told me. My hand is funny, but right. my ears. Right. Are loose. They told me fix the ear. Okay. Okay, that's what I now just. The whole, the whole the whole night now. They're gonna people gonna no, be no, staring no. at the ear. Okay, I'll put it back in. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, Don. You wanna blow in it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's been four minutes. I haven't asked a question yet. Right. Well, that's the story of your show. <laughs> <laughs> Don and Frank, Frank and Don, tell us about it. Sinatra and well, Rickles you together. Know, Frank Sinatra, since my very beginnings, since Florida, or before I can remember anything, Frank has always been king to me. He really is. I think he's a great human being and a great man. And I'm saying that because he's holding my aunt in Newark. <laughs> but <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching Frank, he doesn't have a set. But uh, his neighbor might tell him it's a joke. But uh, he finally, and I've always adored him, and Frank said, hey, Next summer, you know, if all goes well, we'll be together on a show. The two of us will do like a concert. Live in kind person. Of live, no, we're going to do it in cartoons. <laughs> yes, live in person. You know what I mean? No, no, we're going to have the uh, substitute no, no, show no, no, up right? for us. He said it just that way, hey. No, 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 no. He pinned me against the wall and had Jilly go, <laughs> mm. That's a friend of ours. Anyway, but uh, no, and we're going to do this show together next summer. What a summer. great idea. You I, thought, I think how, so. How will it My work? only problem is that, you know, he'll want to sing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's not a kid anymore. How, how, you know, the summer would end. <laughs> and, and we all got to say, great, Frank, great. 
and it's shot. It's how, will, how will the show look? Can you, can you sort of... <laughs> what are you, Picasso? <laughs> no, no, no. The show will look like this, a wall. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like, he'll come out, you'll come out. We haven't band. decided yet, but the way I figure it, I'll do about an hour, and he'll do a cute five minutes, and then we'll wheel him What are they going to call it? <laughs> uh, huh? They're going to call it the Don They're going to call it Frank? Don Rickles show with the Italian struggling. <laughs> no, I mean, we're gonna, it's going to be Don and Frank. Uh, that, that's so you're right. like... Like Liza and Sammy yeah. of night. Liza and Sammy had their chance, and it was cute. <laughs> and now, uh, now I'm going to be with Frank and cheer him up in the dressing room. You know, because for many, many years, I used to hang around with him in the sands, and he'd stand there and say, how do I look? And I had to tell him. You were always very honest with him. Yes, Most I was. people are not honest That's with right. Frank. Is that true? That's why I can't lift this arm. <laughs> <laughs> is he really that strong? No. Come I, on, really. Look, really, is he that we come, strong? We come from a school of saloons, as Frank said. You know, when he, when he uh, testified, you know, about getting his license in Vegas and all, and, they, and you meet guys. And in our business, in, in the dressing room, you meet Tony Gambazano, Aldo Bambanunu, and then you meet uh, uh, a lot of people that are, uh, that sell meat to work in a butcher store and so forth. come in. But you meet, you meet people that are from another world, and that's the nightclub people. You say, hello, what are you supposed to say? Uh, don't come in the room. And Frank uh, has always been a guy that came up the hard way from the street and became one of our biggest, I think, an institution today. And I was a guy that followed in his footsteps in that way. Those kind of people were fantastic to but me. But Frank was in your, Frank always let you go the route with him, right? Well, I mean, you he had, made it possible. He's sort yeah. of like you. He laughed at nothing. <laughs> and uh, and, and that, that's, that's the biggest compliment I can give you, Larry. I said to Frank, how are you? And he went, is that, is that funny? <laughs> and four guys in the dressing room went, hey, 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 hey. And I had to say they were normal. Anyway, uh, but he, uh, he oh, I always had a camaraderie with him, and I always loved well, him. That's going to be mother a great show. All I knew and so we, we can, this is, we can, we're releasing this yes, guy. Don can, and we, Frank in 90. That's right. Uh, providing I keep the medicine near his bed. Uh, <laughs> and this, and his wife, Barbara, don't say, all right, Frank, try to reach the medicine. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that's a joke, Barbara. <laughs> she doesn't watch this anyway. It doesn't matter. Are you touring? Uh, <laughs> are we touring? <laughs> no, we're going in a, in a getaway truck <laughs> with machine guns. No, no, no. I mean, let me get it out, okay? okay. Oh, get it out. Uh, hey, not on the air. <laughs> Are you going to be in theaters, concert halls? No, no, no. We're going to be on farms. <laughs> we're going to work farms with a guy saying, I'm going to get the corn, Mary. It seems Sinatra and Rickles are entertaining. I'm going to husk these three things, and then I'll, I'll join you in the Let pickup. me get a break, okay? Okay, do whatever you want. Look right. at your clock and find out the show's over. Do you really know Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> He was great the other night. Really, he talks like a person. <laughs> I know Albert Brooks. Uh, yeah. I know Bob Newhart. Oh, well, I'll ask you him in a minute, okay? Why? <laughs> He's the dullest guy I know. Why bring so, him We'll up? be right back. Can we break? Can we break? Yeah, Frank says okay. It's okay. okay. Break. Okay. Frank, okay? Frank, okay? Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Angelus, the legendary comedian who worked with Frank for many years, Don Rickles. And well, though, we all know, as Quincy and Steve said so beautifully, his music is something, but... Uh, I always like to think of his being the guy's guy, uh, putting his arm around the little guy and letting you know he's, you're a friend. You were there this afternoon. Yes, um, I was. You was at that house a lot. Yes. You and Frank were social friends yeah. who traveled together, etc. What was it like today? Well, now today, uh, uh, oddly enough, you know, walking into the to house and seeing that living room and seeing the bar and the stools. We used to sit on Christmas Eve. He always invited us over, my wife and I, for a drink. And Steve and everybody here knows he was great that way. And, of course, when I came over, he yelled at me. <laughs> but when <laughs> I'd say, Merry Christmas, Frank, he'd go, why, why? <laughs> yeah. and I, I knew we'll warm and up. I, and I had to show him that I had You've my been act. serious for six and a half well, minutes. Well, you know, rest his soul, he would want us to laugh. I know, you know? he would. Sure. That, that he would. He Actually, would we should, we, we're here celebrating his life. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's what right. we really should do. So anyway, when I saw the chairs and all, it, it, it touched me for a moment. And, and then I uh, got a little lump in my throat thinking of those... Uh, How are they doing, the family? As Steve said, uh, she's a wonderful woman. Barbara Sinatra is, is, is like, uh, strong. I, uh, the children weren't there, the children. They're grown-ups, you know. Frank Jr. wasn't there, but I know uh, Frank Jr. He... How did you hear about the death? Uh, from our mutual manager, Elliot Weissman. Oh, you, he was yeah. both of you. Yeah, yeah. he called Collect. Vic, as I guess, was at your birthday party. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, Steve got him to get up and sing Happy, Happy Birthday, birthday to me. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, then it was over. I walked over and said, did I ask you to sing? <laughs> <laughs> Backstage, Don. Yeah. Right? You're, you're off, and, he, and then you close coming on together. And you'd hear him sing from that perspective. Or watch him work. To a show business veteran, what was it like 
to watch him on a stage? Well, it was kind of uh, exciting because, uh, as we all know, he was one of a kind, you know. The way he just... Yeah, well, his moves, you know. And, he, you know, I had better moves, but I didn't want to discuss it with him. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he'd do that, you know, and he'd get the audience really going. And then, of course... I was on first, so, you know, they, they were all locked up already. <laughs> but, you know, uh, also his peers. Great about him was his sense of humor. He took off a lot from you. <laughs> I used to see him and you. I used to see him in clubs. You did things to him. Unbelievable. Frank, where's look, your... Look how have big, your he, Graham crackers, look how big huh? he became. You made him, <laughs> where was he going to go if I didn't pick up? <laughs> you really... Did you... Your first time you wrapped him. Were you a little scared, a little nervous? No, I went home and I found my stove on fire. <laughs> But <laughs> Frank did other things. Sammy Kahn tells stories that when Frank says see in the morning, it meant three o'clock. What do you? I don't make well, up his he, bed. How do I? I'm know? asking you. You work for him. You travel. Well, I don't check when he's sleeping. Well, you think I stand over the bed? He's sleeping. No, I mean, no. Well, mo most he's of a us, man. Most yeah, of he us did. The, he uh, did uh, sleep late. Yeah. Well, he had to dry out. I, I think. But uh, you know, <laughs> See, Sorry, that's, no. that's what we always have to remember too. Because Frank, outside of being this great, this great artist, this man knew how to uh, party, play as well as he did work, and he parted, He could party the art out of party. The A R G. Oh yeah. Nothing yeah. left but a P Y. We had a thing. We were in Monte Carlo, and you know he loved Monte Carlo. So we, we get invited to Monte Carlo. Frank says, "Come on, join us, Barbara and I. We go to Monte Carlo, and Jilly rest his soul. That was his good friend and my good friend. And all of us, you know, Jilly. And when we got up in the morning." We were in the Herm Hermitage, and he was in the Hotel de Paris, in the penthouse, you know. And uh, R Prince René was making the room up. <laughs> but he was, he was in there, and Jilly said, listen, every morning when Frank gets up, don't leave the room till I give you the signal. <laughs> and like two, I thought it was Diary of Anne Frank. We were in the room with the curtains, and we go out, and you see a pink napkin, Jilly said. That means Frank's up. A white napkin means, I swear this a white napkin means stay in bed. <laughs> we were in bed once for three days, waiting for Jilly to come out on the balcony with a pink napkin. You know the Pope with the smoke? That was fast. <laughs> we'll be right. Yeah, yeah. It what sure would happen? happen. In fact, he had, he, uh, if, uh, Vic, you remember, he had bathrobes made up for all of us. Everybody That's had right. their names And I was the rhino. I had a Your... rhino's head on the back of me. He made up these crazy things. I was boy singer. Yeah. boy singer. Boy singer. Yeah, boy singer. Boy singer. Uh, Dean Martin. Dean was uh, the uh, big Dago. Yeah. I was the little Dago. <laughs> what uh, did you do in the health club? I mean, what well, in my case, fun. And yeah, there were firecrackers and all that kind of thing. A lot of booze. And... <laughs> Want to tell them the story that happened to you in the... Oh. In the... Well, one night, that one day, you know, Frank, that was his life, to get up and say, how can we screw up Rickles? <laughs> Man, I think he dreamed that. How can we get Rickles? What did he do? So oh. we're all in the steam room, and we're all in, with the towels around us. And he turns around, and I'm doing the jokes. I'm saying, Frank, the voice is over. Forget about it. Lay down. You're finished. But all my stuff. And all of a sudden, he says, I've had it with you. And I'm completely nude, and he throws me out right by the swimming pool, and I'm standing there. <laughs> and he locked the door. And he locked the door. And everybody, and, and the Jew sitting by the pool went, Oh, <laughs> you know, it was exciting because Spider yeah. was very. Debbie, nice. I know you got to go. Don, complete class. Well said, Don. Well, what is this? A test? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just, I'm admiring. I don't need you to okay what I say. I'm not. I, I know you don't. Go on and ask him. Did we? I no. think D Dean, rest his soul, his funeral, which I was at, and uh, was was an up tempo kind of thing. It was a fun kind of thing. Uh, but I think with Frank, as Steve said, I think it'll be. Uh, a very, very emotional event. Yeah. It's a different situation and a, a different time. And I think it's, it'll be very emotional. I, I'm just talking about it now, I feel. Mm. This is a loss. And Vic? Yes. Would you agree? You agree? Yes. Would you agree? You agree? <laughs> well, was, you went into a coma after the man finished the state. <laughs> I listened to what he said. Yeah, but it wasn't. He didn't say Lincoln was shot. All he said was, <laughs> you made it like it was something we're going to memorize and put you know, in the book of life. You know, I think you're right. I he think, became young Kipper with you. It was nothing, he said. I think Francis Albert Sinatra would have loved this roundtable discussion tonight with Vic, all his friends. Yes, you sir. Know, if Frank is watching, yes, and, the and you know he's is, watching, he's watching. Yeah. Right? Oh, then you're in trouble. I'm, because... I'm clean. Whatever you say, Frank. <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> you keep it up, Larry. You're going to be those glasses are going to be punched out. We, we, it, you know, can, Larry. Larry. Yeah. Can I just say something? You and may, I'm sure Vic. The, and I'm sure the guys will agree with me that one of the things he's left with us is his energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think about Frankie. You watch every time you watch him on TV and you hear his recordings, there's always that energy. I don't know where he got, he got it all. Don't you guys agree? Yeah, yeah he did. He brought great enthusiasm to his work. Oh, he's always and also humor. Great yeah. energy.
He was he was also the he was the he was the first American right. pop singer to bring some humor into music. I thought. You know? I thought so too. <laughs> I did. <laughs> he brought everything well, you, that was. I, well, I was talking about humor, and I, I don't you know. Have if a you favorite know about song, Quincy. Favorite uh, Sinatra song. Oh Jesus! <laughs> All of them. You blew it. You blew it. You lost the prize. Not a contest. Favorite oh. song. <laughs> oh, sure. oh, naturally, my way. You know. No, it, it's, it's diff I agree with I mean, Quincy. I, I think all of them. It's like, impossible. what's your favorite? Yeah, it, it's impossible. Well, my way told his story. That's why written. I say it, because my way told his story. I know? like the way you look tonight. Well, what do I care? Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it in a blue hat. Right? Ernie, thanks. Vic, thanks. Thanks, guys. Say good night. Good night, Quincy. Good night. Good night, folks. Good night. You. Hello, hello, is this on? Is it? Is this on? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, la Larry. God, he's got glaucoma. Sean, I'm going to tell you this before I say anything. It's a mistake. I'm going to give you a kiss, but yeah. somebody put a chair under my ass so I can reach it. Go ahead, Joe. How do you make love to you? You must come in on an angle or something. <laughs> I would love to be there when you make love to With your eyes and the way you say, not, not too fast because my heart could stop. <laughs> I know your health, your condition. How could this beautiful woman fall in love with a man that's going to die in about an hour? <laughs> And whoever picked out this costume, Emmett Kelly died, he must have gave you this outfit. All you have to put is a kazoo on your ass and you're set. This outfit I have never seen with the little stardust, that'll get her horny so you can make a move. And without your glasses, try to hit the bed and then bounce off the post and hope you get lucky. Look at the black brother laughing. Can't believe you're invited, right man? Two days ago, you were a waiter, and now you're a guest. <laughs> oh, your ass. Oh, oh, I must say, Sean, darling, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh. And you married, yes. And you married this man, uh, and you're a Mormon. And, and I love the Mormon people. The, when I die, I want to be buried in Utah. <laughs> with eight Jews, with dead seagulls on my body. <laughs> to the Mormon people, God bless you. You've done so much for our country. And it's a perfect match. You have eight wives, and he's keeping up the tradition. <laughs> and I must say, Sean, I know this man. We started in Miami Beach about 37, 38 years ago. And we were both schlepping around. And he had a radio show at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I used to go there. I was searching for women. Forget women. A moose, a horse, anything. I was lonely like him, and he didn't care. All he wanted to do was say, let's answer phone calls. And that's how we first met. Who knew that you would skyrocket a man with no education, nothing? A Jew from Brooklyn who knew nothing now sits with Henry Kissinger, says to Bill Clinton, you got a minute? I want to talk to you. I can't believe how you skyrocketed to fame. And this beautiful woman, probably, probably you've never been married, have you? And I want to say, twice, uh, two Mormon hats spun. Anyway, uh, no, it doesn't matter how many times you're married. This is the last time. This is it. If this goes in the toilet, don't call us. There's no more gifts. <laughs> I tell you now, there is no more gifts. Barbara and I ran out of gifts. Not you. This man, he's got four, four plastic glasses. Uh, we, and we try to make it cheap as possible because we know it's not going to last. But Larry, I love you dearly. And I want to tell you, you know what's exciting? Asher and Sydney are here tonight. This doesn't mean too much to you people, but they're the neighborhood Jews that he knew, and they keep saying, Larry, help us. And you do nothing for them, and they're begging. They're begging for a check. Al Pacino came thinking he would be the biggest name here, and unfortunately I am. Ted Turner's walking around the room introducing himself. Nobody knows who the hell he is. And I'll be honest, what could he do to me? His poem was boring. But I'll tell you this. Oh, no, oh, it's your life. It's your life. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Ted, if you're here, he probably left. 
Jane is wandering around the room trying to find if Robert Redford is alive. But I'll tell you the truth. You are, don't sweat, Larry. When you sweat, you know you're in trouble. Now, I'll tell you this. Don't sweat. Don't sweat. Don't hug me. We got enough homos around. We don't need it anymore. But I want to tell you, from my heart, to you, hold hands, hold hands. I say to you from my heart, a blessing from me. My wife and I, Barbara, we've been married 32 years. I have never been blessed having a more loyal friend than you. There are a lot of entertainers out there, but you have stuck by me and always been kind. Sean, you are blessed. This man has a reputation of, well, like being a little off the wall and what have you. He is so bright and so wise, and he's loyal. Every one of his friends from his beginnings have been with him, and he will be that way with you. With all the nonsense, I say for the new year, may God bless you, may you love each other, and cherish, it's so important, be friends and make love. I love you both. Mr. Rickles, we're ready for you. What is it? <laughs> I just said that we were going to meet with the old timer. No, 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 no. I, don't, I don't do local shows. Local, local, local chazerai doesn't help me. Chazerai, that's a New York, New, New York expression for have a corned beef sandwich. <laughs> but please, please, how did you get a show? How did you so dumb? I'm, first of all, I'm watching the, bear, uh, the football game, yes, and I, I don't need you here with the tuxedo like you're a catered waiter. We'll have uh, two, uh, two hors d'oeuvres to go. Now, you want to sit down? You better not no, sit. This let, is, let's stand this right is too here. sharp for you. What is it? It must be the thrill of your 35-year career to have me with you here. Can I be honest with you? Honest I've been working in Atlantic City on six, seven years of resorts. You understand? Yeah. You on the show have set me back about nine years. <laughs> I, I, so help me. The audiences were so up when I used to come out. Now, as soon as, as, soon as you get finished, they're all taking naps. <laughs> People have little cots, blankets. They're all sleeping. You really, do yourself a favor. Forget the songs, forget the film. Go back to Ireland and do what you do best. You know what I mean? What Hide that? in the house and try to pick off people. You know what I mean? Don't, don't bother anybody in show business. You don't make it in show business. The Abernathy girl, yeah. stunning. Yeah. But I mean, give her some lines. I mean, put her in the window in Macy's like a mannequin with a stick on her back. You know what I mean? I mean, you're ridiculous. The show isn't making it, Regis. I don't know how you hang in there. You're on cable now with some health, what? What is yeah. it called? It's Lifetime. <laughs> you say it like the world knows. I understand it's in downtown Hollywood and it showed in the all-night Pickwood Theater where guys come in with big coats and they smile with funny looks. It's a marvelous show, I understand. Two shows in New York? Yeah, none in America. <laughs> anyway, Hollywood, not one person asked for you. You know when you left? Really? People, people by the airport going... <laughs> <laughs> helping the plane. Hoping, that's right, explain it to your audience. Helping the plane. Oh, you're so, you're so bright. It's Come on, me. I know you're thrilled to have me. Oh, I you, know that. Are you kidding? I had big names with me. This was a downhill. And then what killed me is when they put your picture up. I swear to God, people were putting stamps on it and mailing it. <laughs> it was ridiculous, your picture. Oh, you my. waited so many years to have me with you. No, I did, Regis. The last time I saw you was with Joey Bishop. That's when I knew you, when you were a humble little guy saying, Joey, please, let me run and let me walk in front of you. If you have to sneeze on me. I mean, the man, I mean, now, those were your big days. When you, and you said to me, you think Joey likes me. Now I'll tell you the truth. The man twice went for a revolver. I had to stop him. <laughs> twice he was, had the gun pointed at you. But we stopped him. Yeah. And, now, and now your dreams come true. A little local show that doesn't mean anything and a cable show that people see in downtown Hollywood. <laughs> so you're set. You know what I mean? You get about 200 a week. You got the two twins. And you got your lovely wife, Joy, who doesn't have a buck of jewelry. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I saw that show on the Life Cable show. Yeah, right. It's a shame. You're, made a, you're making a wear those Mickey Mouse beads that you get out of a crane in Coney Island. You know those little things? <laughs> Buy us some jewelry. The woman looks Tell ridiculous. And a like house coat and a broom, too. In the halls here at night. Oh, gee. I mean, to keep a suite. I saw a judge. What are you doing, Joy? I'll be finished in a minute, Don. Uh, I just have to do one more haul and then we can keep the room. With part of the contract. I know. I knew it was part of the Lee Solomon made it. She punches up pillows. Great, your wife. She came in the room and said, What are you doing, Judge? She said, I'm the new maid. It's great what you do for a suite. Tell me the truth. How do you like my voice? The truth? Yeah. Let me put it to this way. If a woman was being attacked, your kind of voice. Would, would probably make them look up. I mean, you have, without question, Regis, really, a voice that's not trained, uh -huh. a voice that's never, never studied music, yeah. and it shows so much when you're on the stage. If you took one singing lesson, you know, possibly like, you know, maybe you could get hot like Deanna Durbin. Mm. <laughs> you know where she is. Yeah, right. In Paris, <laughs> saying, we'll finish the tower by Friday. She's cleaning off the rust at the Eiffel Tower. But really, Regis, uh, the voice is, is cute. Nothing great, nothing uh -huh. dynamite. Mm -hmm. You do, let me tell you this, you do a cute job. You worked in that club in Jersey. That's where I heard club you. Club Benet. 
Club Benet. Of course, everybody goes there. I got an uncle, he's a wino, goes in there, flat out on the bar, they let him stay there all day. He hardened there once. Nobody took him off the bar, and he sort of shit. Listen, it's a very nice club. Who got you that, Lee Solomon? Lee Solomon. Big hot agent, Lee Solomon. <laughs> Lee Solomon runs in traffic and flags down cars saying, do you act? The man is desperate for acts, so that's why he put you with me as punishment, because I once called him Jewish, which he happens to be, and he's trying to keep it quiet. But you have a lot of fun out there every night, whether I'm with you or not, right? Oh, are you kidding? I have about as much fun as being with Dennis Stein. <laughs> That's about the fun I have. Dennis Stein is dating Liz Taylor. Now. Yeah, that'll be an hour. Uh, <laughs> she'll find out his real personality, and he'll take a cab. It'll be, it'll be over. But we've had an exciting three nights here, haven't we? Oh, I got chills. You kidding? My underwear don't go up. It keeps going up and down from the excitement. I swear, my underwear vibrates. Really? Oh. What a, and what the a, crowds have been good? Like they've been dynamite. And not one person by the door says, what time does Regis go on? They said, is he still on? You know, like half the audience comes in after you go off. I swear, no, I, they're like this in line. Is he off? OK, let's get our seats. And they start running towards the seats. I'm sorry, the cameraman. I threw you a movement. They can't handle they movement. Can't. No, you have that kind it's of crew. Show. I know. One guy standing there with a baby brownie and another guy behind him with a big box going, is this on, Al? <laughs> Same crew like I left in that room in New York. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is great. You, huh? see, you, get, you don't see clip-ons in anymore. This is terrific. You become an usher at the low estate. Look at you on the road. Now, you just lounge around till I go out and warm them up and get them all set up for you. No, no. I just sit like this. Hope a girl comes by and I grab her, pull her in the room. See, I love my wife, but my wife has cataracts. So, <laughs> black people think that's a sailboat. But uh, don't worry about it, Regis. Uh, we have a wonderful It's life. been a thrill for me. Hey, Regis, can I tell you something? If we work together again, so help me. I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. The war's over there, but I'm going to just stay there in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, Regis, really. Don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. You stink. How's that, Regis? You stink. You're not good. You stink. And stay out of my life, Regis. And keep that AM show off. And never, I never want to see you again. I hope you get a boil on your neck. Now, here's what we're going to do. Over the years, I've interviewed Don Rickles in many, many different situations, many different areas. Uh, we're going to show you some of those tapes. Because we're pressed for time, I've just had to take excerpts from various situations. But uh, you'll understand as we go along what's going on here. Uh, first, let's go to a Tommy Lasorda luncheon 20 years ago at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Don Rickles signing in. Here we go. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the Lipschitz wedding. <laughs> the Lipschitz wedding, no. <laughs> Tommy who? Tommy Lasorda. He's the manager of the Dodgers. He's wanted by the Italian people in Sicily. <laughs> this man is wanted. I know he's wanted. He was in a cave in Salerno with my uncle. <laughs> Look at him smiling like it's a lock. He's got a personality like a bad dugout. <laughs> What is your name, sir? <laughs> My name is Regis. <laughs> Regis? Do you wear a dress? <laughs> Hello, Regis. Where's your earrings? <laughs> All right. That'll warm you up. That's good. Now, I have a, a montage of situations. Working from, uh, well, f the beginning, we were attending a Frank Sinatra roast. You came in with uh, Bob Newhart. I believe this is Century Plaza Hotel. These are all 20, 25 years ago. I'm interviewing Paul Anka in the uh, parking lot of the Palladium uh, in, in Hollywood. He was doing a TV special there. Don Rickles walked by. You'll see what happens there. Uh, we were at uh, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel uh, for a Sahara Hotel function, and an elderly man cut in line, and he got his. And, uh, and then later, at a Beverly Hilton function for Danny Thomas, uh, Don Rickles got attacked by a woman who, who actually routed him from the scene. So let's begin now with this Frank Sinatra roast, and Don telling me how much he loves my show out in Hollywood. <laughs> Newhart and I get up in the morning, watching AM. I remember you when you hung around Joey Bishop and you stood at the stage door and said, help me, anything, a cookie, anything. I didn't know that you got up. Job, apples. Let me sell apples. Now you're up in the morning and you're going, guess, guess a very tough question. Is Herbert Hoover got his own dam? You better let me say hello to you in a minute. Come over, on, here. Come over here. Come over here. How are you, Paul? There's a basket case landing four lines. Yes, can I help you? I'm talking Mr. Hanker. We don't need any strangers from Ralph's Market, if you don't mind, sir. <laughs> they are looking for some derelict. He seems been sitting in an alley with a brown bag and a bucket of wine. Just stop it. Go away. Is he singing? Is I'm not telling way? you anything. Why did I wear this outfit today? Why did I wear this outfit today? You want to get yourself a tree and become a <laughs> 
which you that can't even fun. use, but you're a definite parakeet in that trick-or-treat outfit, <laughs> making a fool of yourself. Paul, it's good to see you. Right, God bless you, really. And good luck. He has a great show. Some great big stars are in there. You're yeah. included? Pardon me? That's you're included? included? Oh, no, I'm on a tour. <laughs> I'm in downtown L.A. on a tour, and the bus got stalled here. And that's why I came by the Palladium. I'm waiting for Lawrence Welk to suck bubbles for a half hour. <laughs> Dumbbell, why am I here? Go away, Regis. <laughs> That's why you'll never be a star. You got some sort of wheezing disease. Who are all your friends here tonight? What is this party all I have no idea. I'm with the chef's union. This man here, this is a Chicano, and I'm helping him out. They plan a strike, and I'm going to lead the march. We're going down to Parker Center for a few laughs. Isn't that nice? That's great. <laughs> Hello, Mom. <laughs> ABC News doesn't go to Torrance or anyplace else, does it? No, just stays in town. We stay right in town here. Good. Tell me about your summer plans this summer. You and Newhart going away? Yeah, we're going to go down to the beach and attack a lifeguard. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to Paris, but you wouldn't know too much about that. It's too long a bus ride. Right, but this guy wants to I hate an old guy that's hungry. I hate that. Anyway, uh, now you look terrific. Irving Berlin. Anyway, good to see you, Irv. Love you, too. Daddy Simon asked me to kiss you. Yeah. And this is just some weird woman. <laughs> anyway, everybody wants, uh, everybody wants to be with you. All right, lady, wait in the back. Wait in the car, lady. Oh, lady, you can't touch you. Lady, what do you want what from Don? Give me a break, my career was hanging on the front here. Danny Simon asked me to kiss him. Danny Simon. All Lebanese was surrounded. Warm up the car. All Lebanese, I don't have a chance. They got the wild eyes, don't they? Okay, God bless. Get the truck, get the truck. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl. He took over. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl who wants to give you a kiss. Hello, my darling. Will it be a donation? Shalom, shalom. Uh, Regis, this turned out to be a special, Regis. It's a special. This lady still wants I don't know who this lady is. <laughs> <laughs> what are a newspaper stand? Go huh? well, downtown Hollywood. <laughs> I, I don't need this kind of bedlam. You know how Danny goes. You know how Danny goes. You know how Danny goes. I hope your camel dies. Let me alone. I'm not hanging with anybody, Regis. Goodbye, Never call me again. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, this is Don Rickles and myself uh, on his first national TV appearance. I know he likes to think he was on Tonight Show first, but I had a little national syndicated show at That's night, right. so I'm taking credit for that. 1964, and uh, we had uh, three wonderful appearances then. Now we continue. Now we are backstage, Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas. Now you would think this hard-bitten uh, show business pro, does he ever get frightened of audiences? Never, except once. And a tour of England, but he didn't feel the audience knew who he was. It's a great story. Backstage, Sahara, Las Vegas, in the 70s. The English, like they would make fun of us, you know, their, their humor over there was like, a, a dog can have a tuppence too, and a bowman and an ale, and a pop and tuppence. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody's going on the piano says, I'm not, not, not going to go over. They won't get it at all. Because they're doing tuppence, tuppence too, and they have it, you know, and a beer of ale, and a point, and a point. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was in shock. So anyway... Finally, the new heart went on. Bob went on. He did his telephone thing, you know, mm -hmm. and he was great. And Bob does something that go can communicate. What am I, you know, yeah. calling a guy an idiot? You know, not going to get screams, maybe. Everybody there was a prince or a count, and there wasn't one prince that was a dog. There were real princes. You know, you say, here, prince, and a guy jumped on you. you know? <laughs> okay. Finally, after all these years, we are together on stage. At the, at the uh, Resorts International Hotel. Oh, my God. This is into the early 80s now, and uh, I'm in the dressing room right next door to yours, and I had a camera crew there, so I went into his dressing room, and this is what Don had to say about my act with him that night. Hey, Regis, can I tell you something? If we work together again, so help me, I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. The war's over there, but I'm going to just stay here in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, Regis, really. Don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. You stink. You're not good, you stink. And stay out of my life, Regis. And keep that AM show off. I never, I never want to see you again. I hope you get a boil on your neck. There you go, a little Don Rickles retrospective through the years. That's good. Me and my That's pal, Don. That's good. We'll be right back with Martin Lawrence. We've got Joe Hi, 
everybody. Nice to see you. It's Tuesday, March 19th, 1996. Kathy Lee on vacation. Are you ready for my co-host? You better be because here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Don Rickles. <laughs> Nice to see. That's it for me. <laughs> Don, Don. Uh, what, a, what a day, huh? Yeah, my pajamas are in the hall. <laughs> Have a seat right here. It's so good to see good you. Good to see you. This has been my life. <laughs> I said to the wife this morning, I said, sweetheart, I'm not going to stay with you. I'm running over to see a guy that I know is not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Don. Nice to see you. We go back so many years, so and many finally years. we're together here, taking Kathy Lee's place, which nobody can do. It's <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> how does it feel sitting in Kathy Lee's seat? Uncomfortable. <laughs> no, no, she's a lovely girl. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, why do you make trouble? Well, I'm not making trouble. I just did. Did you ever work with Kathy Lee? Did I knew when she was Kathy Lee Johnson. We did the uh, President uh, Reagan. Yes. Uh, well, the inaugural, the first, right. the second inaugural here, and she did with Bush and yeah. Reagan and so forth. And and then uh, I used to walk by and go, "Hi, Kathy." <laughs> she kept saying, "Want to go out with me?" <laughs> <laughs> and then Frank was in the hall with a helmet on, punting himself. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Frank just gets up in the morning, and goes, "Can you tell I'm old?" <laughs> You don't have to worry. You can't do nothing to me. I don't even live here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Don, it's good to see you. Uh, Listen, Gelman and I just got back. I know you're heading down to Tampa at the end of the week to do a concert down yeah, there. Joan Rivers. Joan, Joan Rivers. you and She's Joan. She's a wonderful star. She really is. Where are you going to be? Because we're, we're at gonna the... We're going to be in a hall. Uh, <laughs> the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center. And Gelman and I were just there yesterday. We did our act at uh, Clearwater and at Sarah... What act? I remember you with an act. Man comes out and does Danny Boy, drops his pants and fires a rocket. <laughs> That's the act. I mean, what are you? Are you still doing Danny Boy and showing the films? No, no. Not, That's what you used to do. No. You remember when you worked with me yes, in Westbury? Yes, of course. No. So it, boring. <laughs> you got out there. Oh, Danny Boy, the pipe, and three cops were in the front <laughs> going. <"Bow." laughs> I mean, you do all that Irish stuff, now, <clears throat> Dame. You know. Now, now you have an act. Yes, yes. You don't need a holler. I'm right here. <laughs> Sarasota, thank you very much. Clearwater, thank be on the lookout for Don Rickles. Tampa. I will be working Sarasota at Clearwater. You'll be at Tampa. <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> Tampa Bay Performing Arts. Tampa Bay, right. So, welcome to New York. Did you, have you, are you having fun here? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I got in the car and he uh, was hijacked. <laughs> no, no, I love you. Did you go out last night? Raised. I was yeah. born and Yeah, of course you were. Of course I went out last night. No, I worked the lobby. <laughs> I was in the hotel folding newspapers for tomorrow. <laughs> Did I go out last night? Of course. Yeah. I went to Coco Pazzo. Coco Pazzo, fine restaurant. Yeah, but they, nobody has cards. They're all walking around going, you went that day? They're all talking like, uh, you know, like the boat landed Friday. <laughs> do you want pate? What do you want? Pate? What do you want? Pate? <laughs> I want some pate. You want some pate? I said, are you Italian? No, no, Portuguese. <laughs> Any, any stars there last night? Oh, yeah. Sly Stallone was there in the corner, standing up on a table, going, Hey, hey. <laughs> so I threw him a boxing glove, and he went away. <laughs> oh, it was nice. We, we had a nice. I was with Jerry Parencio, a friend of mine, and his oh, wife. Oh, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, you don't even know him. What are you going to get? <laughs> Used to be partners with Norman Lear. That's right. They're yeah, very sure. big. Absolutely. No, Andy Williams who's not here tonight. He's taking a nap. <laughs> Hey, I want to tell you folks something. Everything I say, I did in my dressing room, and I laughed my you-know-what. <laughs> so I know it's fun. <laughs> now, you've met everybody here. You, you've met Gelman once before? Yes, Gelman's a great guy. He was in my dressing room trying on my clothes. <laughs> And Art, of course. Art Moore, yeah. yes. Art told me yesterday that you're still giving Gelman the medicine to make him. <laughs> <laughs> who's the bigger man, Gelman or Art? That's a good question. Who, who is the bigger guy? You've been on this 11 years. Don't you know who's in charge? Yeah, but, but I'm afraid. Who, who is uh, the superior to, uh, in well, it that? depends on what you mean. Yes. <laughs> well, don't make this a test. Just answer the question. <laughs> Art when is my boss. When you hear the bell, go to history. <laughs> what? Art is my boss, yes. Oh, Art is your boss? Yes. So why did you tell me he's annoying? <laughs> <laughs> well. 
kept sorry. saying to me, oh, it's so annoying. I know. <laughs> well, now it's come out, see? No, he's a nice man. He came in, he opened the door, he said, thanks for coming, and then I slammed it on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. And that's Julian. Hello, Julian. Julian Abio. I heard a lot about Julian Navionio. Yeah. Good. Let me see your gun. <laughs> You're Italian, right? No, 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 no. He, he, he's Basque. What, that's better? <laughs> Basque is great. You live in Spain and you try to pick off the king. <laughs> hey, pick off the king. Folks, read the papers. <laughs> Boy, you get him right off the bus. They just suck. Go, Regis, Regis. We're going to see Regis. There's Mullen. Mullen? Mullen, Mullen man. I know Mullen your father, man. Moon. <laughs> nice to see you, Mullen. You're Irish, right? Atta boy. We need you guys for parades. <laughs> nice uh, guy, Mullen. Uh, A lot so of good talk. You're, they're going to promote you. You're going to get off the floor and get his job and stand. <laughs> They all lay on the floor. Uh, like I, don't, I don't know why he's know. sitting there, or why he can't stand up. By the way, I was in Memphis, Tennessee. Have you oh, been yeah. to Memphis? Yeah, I have. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I saw a trolley car go by. <laughs> and Jonah and Rivers and I and my wife and I, we spent our 31... You know it's that long. We're married 31 years. How he's... about that, folks? 31 years. You know, every time I go past the old Buggy Whip restaurant on the way to LAX, that's where you had your bachelor Jeez, party. You remember that? And I was there, and uh, we had, uh, it was very And funny. Red Buttons played my mother, remember that? Yeah, Red Buttons played your mother. Yeah, dressed up as my mother and did a whole thing. And, <laughs> and they had some tapes of Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Let the crowd laugh. <laughs> they had some tapes of Barbara, you know, before you were married, yeah. talking to your yeah. confidential tapes. Oh, but tapes. I was a happy Jew then, boy. I was... <laughs> Now, you know, 31 years, she just lays in the bed with the jewelry signaling ships. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. But you two have remained happily married. Who would have thought that you, you, you were the stud stallion of Las Vegas? I was big. You, 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 it, it, I, hey, folks, you didn't get married don't look right at me up. now, but in my day, boy, I used to work with singers. They'd go, Swanee, who is that? <laughs> anyway, but I was very big with singers. I know you were. And I, then I met my wife, and she was like a Valium. She, on the wedding night, she just... <laughs> on the wedding night, she just stood in the other room and went, I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> She's a great gal. 31 her. years. That's right. My Two gosh. children. Like your kids. Your uh, kids listen, are and I, grown ups already. I met a guy who tells me that a friend of his, a guy by the name of Man, a young, young guy named Man, is dating, was dating, maybe she still is, Mindy. Man. I, a guy named Ed Man, I think his name is. You're getting into very dangerous oh. area. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My kid is beautiful and she's she met a guy. She is a knockout. Mm. I don't know how. <laughs> But well, once I came to the guy. bed on an angle. <laughs> <laughs> so she's fine, huh? Yeah, she's she's a lovely girl. She's, uh, she's now, uh, my, and my son's a, is a producer and a writer. He's in production and he writes, and they're doing very well. That's and they good. keep coming over the house for the check. <laughs> <laughs> And, and when I get sick, they all stand by the bed going, come on, Dad, try to reach the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have a trivia question. Oh, this is exciting. I always watch this, this part of the show. I never miss this. Mm. Do you ever watch our show? Are you kidding? I use it as a nightlight. <laughs> Tomorrow on Live, country great Faith Hill will be here. Mm. Toys for the entire family. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You still sit on the floor and say, watch the train go through the tunnel, Joy. <laughs> Diane Sawyer from Primetime Live, Beautiful a touch girl. of class, will be my co-host. Oh, you, you're okay. really he can't, He'd like to stay for all week, but, you know, come on. <laughs> well, and this kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> I got to borrow for a taxi on the way home. For <laughs> and comedian George Carlin will be here, Great too. Great comedian. All right, now. George appeared, maybe, George appeared in the 1991 uh, film Prince of Tides. What Academy Award, this is Gelman's idea of a tough question. I don't, don't give the answer. No, no, you're kidding. <laughs> what Academy Award winning uh, actress, singer, songwriter, producer, director, also appeared with George Carlin in the Prince of Tides? Okay? Mm. All right, you, mm. you know the answer to that? Of course I know the answer. All right, okay, just wanted to make sure you knew. My heart's racing, it's so exciting. <laughs> Great lineup. What did they? What did they win? A coffee cup? What did they win? Uh, uh, I don't know. To tell you the truth, well, find out. You're the host. Find out what they win. <laughs> Bottom of it's the on card. your card. You win two weeks at Regis's house for breakfast. <laughs> A Dupont 
Comforal sleep product for four dollars. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> the guest today from what a Martin. Cheap gift. Ooh. Martin Lawrence will be here. Great. From a new movie called Race the Sun, Jim Belushi, and of course the lovely Joan Collins will be here. Let's go right to the phones. Let's go to Texas. North Richland Hills, Texas. Robin Gurner. Hi, Robin. How you doing? Hi, Regis. I'm fine. Hello, Dan. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Great. You've been to Texas? What, do I look like a rancher? <laughs> just, just one. Uh, yes, I've been to Texas. It's the United States. I'm a citizen. I've been all over. <laughs> You're talking to me like I worked the fence in Mexico. <laughs> I've been to Texas. So, Robin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, like we're, we're, we're interested. <laughs> no, we are, Robin. I'm just kidding around. Good luck to you. Okay, What's your, what, what kind of bird's your husband? <laughs> what kind of what? Bird. <laughs> She's a Robin. Oh, what is he? I got you. One. Way, way up there. Way ahead of all of them. You're happily married, aren't you, Robin? I sure am. I'm a homemaker. I'm mother of three young children. What is this, a coffee break? <laughs> This is my only relaxation of the day, to watch live with Regis and oh. Kathy Lee, and I love it. Well, yeah. good, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing my makeup, but do you like the dress? <laughs> That's wonderful, Dan. Thank you, sir. All right, Robin, I hope you come up with the answer here. George Carlin, 1991, The Prince of Tides. Who was the lady in that film? It was Barbara Streisand. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Oh, please, uh, uh, I didn't know how to talk. Uh, please, pick a number between one, uh, be, be, between, between one and 160? Okay, <laughs> these are tough things, boy. <laughs> between one and 160. 38. 38. 38. Congratulations, Robin, you and our lucky audience member. Winner have both won DuPont Comforel Sleep Products. For all the comforts of a perfect night's sleep, this set of DuPont certified Comforel pillows, mattress pad, and comforter provides ultimate comfort and support from DuPont. The prize is valued at $665. Don't you love that? Taxi! <laughs> we'll be right back. We're going to have a retrospective with Don Rickles. Some of the interviews we did over the years. Right back in a moment. Still ahead on live, actress turned author Joan Collins, comedian Martin Lawrence, and from the new film Race the Sun, actor Jim Belushi. Dinner. Is that right? Yeah. Don was just telling me that in Memphis during his anniversary uh, dinner, they had a fire yeah, at the Joan hotel. Yeah, Joan Rivers, we were all sitting together, and we're sitting there and having a big 31st anniversary party. And, you're, eh, 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 and everybody said, don't worry, no, it's nothing. And five minutes later, smoke was all around. The guy said, <coughs> you, better, you better leave the hotel. <coughs> and Joan Rivers got her two dogs. She left, and I was a survivor. <laughs> But the fireman coming into the building, if you know how these guys are today, I swear to God, the guy walked by and I said to the fireman, on the 12th floor, and the guy said, how long are you going to be in town? <laughs> I said, there's a fire upstairs. He says, I know it, but how long are you going to be in town? <laughs> I had did a 20 minute conversation. <laughs> Very casual. Yeah. I was on a plane Friday going down to Fort Lauderdale. In mid flight, the plane had to turn around and return because somebody had threatened the plane. Oh. Seven hours to get down there. What aggravation, you know? Some I thought you drove. <laughs> no, no, but it really was uh, that long. Could, that could be scary. Yeah, it is very scary. Yeah, it's but you were explaining if something happened. <laughs> All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. Over the years, I've interviewed Don Rickles in many, many different situations, many different areas. Uh, we're going to show you some of those tapes. Because we're pressed for time, I've just had to take excerpts from various situations. But uh, you'll understand as we go along what's going on here. Uh, first, let's go to a Tommy Lasorda luncheon 20 years ago at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Don Rickles signing in. Here we go. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the Lipschitz wedding. <laughs> the Lipschitz wedding, no. <laughs> Tommy who? Tommy Lasorda. He's the manager of the Dodgers. He's wanted by the Italian people in Sicily. <laughs> This man is wanted. I know he's wanted. He was in a cave in Salerno with my uncle. <laughs> Look at him smiling like it's a lock. He's got a personality like a bad dugout. What is your name, sir? <laughs> my name is Regis. <laughs> Regis? Do you wear a dress? <laughs> Hello, Regis. Where's your earrings? <laughs> All right, that'll warm you up. That's good. Now I have a, a montage of situations working from, the, well, 
the beginning, we were attending a Frank Sinatra roast. You came in with uh, Bob Newhart. I believe this is Century Plaza Hotel. These are all 20, 25 years ago. I'm interviewing Paul Anka in the uh, parking lot of the Palladium uh, in, in Hollywood. He was doing a TV special there. Don Rickles walked by. You'll see what happens there. Uh, we were at uh, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel uh, for a Sahara Hotel function, and an elderly man cut in line, and he got his. And, uh, and then later, at a Beverly Hilton function for Danny Thomas, uh, Don Rickles got attacked by a woman who, who actually routed him from the scene. So let's begin now with this Frank Sinatra roast, and Don telling me how much he loves my show out in Hollywood. <laughs> Newhart and I get up in the morning, watching AM. I remember you when you hung around Joey Bishop and you stood at the stage door and said, help me, anything, a cookie, anything. I didn't know that you got up. Sharp apples. Let me sell apples. Now you're up in the morning and you're going, guess, guess a very tough question. Has Herbert Hoover got his own dam? You better let me say hello to you in a minute. Come over, on, here. Come over here. Come over here. How are you, Paul? There's a basket case landing four lines. Yes, can I help you? I'm talking Mr. Hanker. We don't need any strangers from Ralph's Market, if you don't mind, sir. They are looking for some derelict. He seems to been sitting in an alley with a brown bag and a bucket of wine. Just stop it. Go away. Is he singing? I'm not telling way? you anything. Why did I wear this outfit today? Why did I wear this outfit today? You want to get yourself a tree and become a which you That's can't even use, but you're a definite parakeet in that trick-or-treat outfit, <laughs> making a fool of yourself. Paul, it's good to see you. Right, God bless you, really. And good luck. He has a great show. Some great big stars are in there. You're yeah. included? Pardon me? That's you're included? included? Oh, no, I'm on a tour. <laughs> I'm in downtown L.A. on a tour, and the bus got stalled here. And that's why I came by the Palladium. I'm waiting for Lawrence Welk to suck bubbles for a half hour. <laughs> Dumbbell, why am I here? Go away, Regis. <laughs> That's why you'll never be a star. You got some sort of wheezing disease. Who are all your friends here? And what is this party all? I have no idea. I'm with the chef's union. This man here, this is a Chicano, and I'm helping him out. They plan a strike, and I'm going to lead the march. We're going down to Parker Center for a few laughs. Isn't that nice? That's great. <laughs> Hello, Mom. <laughs> ABC News doesn't go to Torrance or anyplace else, does it? No, just stays in town. We stay right in town here. Good. Tell me about your summer plans this summer. You and Newhart going away? Yeah, we're going to go down to the beach and attack a lifeguard. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to Paris, but you wouldn't know too much about that. It's too long a bus ride. Yeah, but this guy wants to bus I hate an old guy that's hungry. I hate that. Anyway, uh, now you look terrific. Irving Berlin. Anyway, good to see you, Irv. Love you, too. Daddy Simon, ask me to kiss you. Yeah. And this is just some weird woman. <laughs> anyway, everybody wants, to, everybody wants to be with you. All right, lady, wait in the back. Wait in the car, lady. Oh, lady, de lady, what do you want from Don? Give me a break. My career was hanging on the front here. Danny Simon asked me to kiss you. Let him. Danny Simon. All Lebanese were surrounded. Warm up the car. All Lebanese, I don't have a chance. They got the wild eyes, don't they? Okay, God bless. Get the truck. Get the truck. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl. He took over. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl who wants to give you a kiss. Hello, my darling. Will it be a donation? Shalom. Shalom. Uh, Regis, this turned out to be a special, Regis. It's a special. This lady still wants I don't know who this lady is. Where are newspaper stand? Go downtown Hollywood. I don't need this kind of bedlam. You know how Danny Bill... You know how Danny Bill... You know how Danny Bill... I hope your camel dies. Leave me alone. I'm not hanging with anymore, Regis. Never call me again. Go away, lady. Oh, yeah. Incidentally, uh, this is Don Rickles and myself uh, on his first national TV appearance. I know he likes to think he was on Tonight Show first, but I had a little national syndicated show at That's night, right. so I'm taking credit for that. 1964, and uh, we had uh, three wonderful appearances then. Now we continue. Now we are backstage, Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas. Now you would think this hard-bitten uh, show business pro, does he ever get frightened of audiences? Never, except once and a tour of England, but he didn't feel the audience knew who he was. It's a great story, backstage Sahara, Las Vegas in the 70s. The English, like they would make fun of us, you know, their, their humor over there was like, a dog can have a tuppence too, and a bone and an ale, and a pop of tuppence. I'm not gonna go over. They won't get it at all. Because they're doing tuppence, tub and two, and dab, and you know, and a beer of ale, and a point, and a point. So anyway, Finally, the new heart went on. Bob went on. He did his telephone thing, you know, mm -hmm. and he was great. 
And Bob does something that the girl can communicate. What am I, you know, yeah. calling a guy an idiot? You know, <laughs> not going to get screams, maybe. Everybody there was a prince or a count, and there wasn't one prince that was a dog. There were real princes. You know, you say, here, prince, and a guy jumped on you. you know? <laughs> okay. Finally, after all these years, we are together on stage at the, at the uh, Resorts International Hotel. Oh, my God. This is into the early 80s now. And uh, I'm in the dressing room right next door to yours. And I had a camera crew there, so I went into his dressing room. And this is what Don had to say about my act with him that night. Hey, Regis, can I tell you something? If we work together again, so help me, I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. <laughs> Wars over there, but I'm going to just stay there in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, Regis, really. Don't come around anymore. Oh. The voice is weak. You stink. <laughs> You're not good, you sting. And stay out of my life, bitches. And keep that AM show off. I never, I never want to see you again. I'll be gonna boil on your neck. There you go, a little Don Rickles retrospective through the years. That's good. Me and my That's pal Don. That's good. We'll be right back with Martin Lawrence. We've got Joan Collins and Jim Belushi too. That was good. All right, our first guest is a uh, star and executive producer of the popular sitcom Martin, uh, which he plays the uh, fictitious Detroit uh, talk show host. Now he is also the star, director, co-writer, and producer of a new film called A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Very funny, very talented young guy. Here's Martin Lawrence, everybody. <laughs> Hey, Don Rickles. Hey, man, you quick. You quick, man. You, you're bad. You're a bad man. He's a bad man. Hey, but, you know, every time I come on here, yeah. Kathy's not on here. I want to meet Cody, too, oh. along with Don Rickles. Well, this, this looks a little bit like Cody. Yeah. Okay, okay. So he'll be Cody? Yeah, he'll be Cody. I'll Kathy, get my scooter. But next, right, well, well, next time I come on here, we have Don, you, yeah. oh, well, this is your show, you and Kathy, yeah. and Don and me yeah. and Cody all and right. my little daughter. Let's do the show. Come yeah, on. all right. Where do I sit? Martin, right here, baby. It's all good to right. see you again. Thank you very Boy, much. Boy, this guy, one of the big hits of the year with Will Smith, the the, uh, the two guys. Uh, uh, bad Boys. Bad Boys, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was, and you're making a sequel to that? Uh, well, Maybe, if huh? they can get it together, yeah, yeah. it'll be nice. It'll yeah. be nice. Well, but somebody got a major movie star in our midst. Dad. How do you like that? Yeah, why not? He's a talented guy. Yeah, yeah. That's the movie star. Yeah. Casino. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, did yeah. you see him in Casino? Go Man, ahead, give us a bit. I didn't of... like to see him take that beat down. Though. Yeah, no, no. yeah. A lot of people went. Well, I, I carried De Niro. <laughs> 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 but no. De Niro got to work with you, so yeah, that, that that's was a good right. thing. That's right. It was a kick for him. You, right, you right. Bobby. <laughs> and Sharon Stone at my age, Martin, she was, Martin, she was yeah. terrible heat for me. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> tell me the truth, Don. Did you get one? No, no. Uh, I, the, the wife wouldn't go away. <laughs> All right. I understand. So you're a new daddy since we saw you, huh? Yes. Oh, yes congratulations. Um, and how's that? How's that working out? Changing your life, Martin? Ch it, it, it changes your life, you know, but um, I'm, I'm learning every day, you mm -hmm. know, and... Uh, you know, be a father, it feels good, you yeah. know, and never be a husband, you know. Now, when the baby cries in the middle of the night, who gets up? Uh, I, I got a good wife, so she gets up, but, <laughs> you know, if the baby cries too loud, then I get up. Uh-huh. You know? And then go to work. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a strict father? You think you're going to be a strict father? I, I don't know. I don't want to be too strict on them. I, I think once once kids get to a certain age, we have to have some kind of understanding of them because they have their own. They they grow. They start to take on sure. their own identities. So mm -hmm. you know, I just want to be able to understand my child so that I can be able to help him if I can. Now, how old is he? She. 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 How she. old? About two months. Two months. Yeah. And the name? Jasmine. Jasmine Page Lawrence. Well, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. A lot of work. Ladies, y'all go through a lot when y'all in that, that delivery room. I had to cut the cord and everything, man. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> Check on the baby, check oh, on the wife. Yeah, man. was there a, a lot, lot of work, yelling lot and of screaming work. in there? Yeah, it was, but I had good doctors. See the side night in L.A., uh, Dr. Johnson, all those guys really mm -hmm. took care of me. You know, took day, care we, of us, man. You know what, we weren't, we, we weren't able to go in the rooms and see all that. That's right. You know? Yeah. As a matter yeah. of fact, I talked to a guy last night, Andy Sedaris, who was in the Cedars of Lebanon Hospital in Old Hollywood with you at 4 o'clock in the morning while you were both waiting for your babies. Yeah. You and Andy Sedaris alone waiting out there until the baby was yeah. delivered. Mine yeah. came right through the hall. <laughs> Well, that's, that, that's a good thing. They didn't have to stitch nothing no. up. Right, 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 right. That's a, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. 
<laughs> well, Martin, you know, you have just, you know, done it all, and now, of course, you're directing your own movies as well, huh? It, this we, new one called A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, I mean, I think it's just, we're in that kind of time. People are trying to decide what they love and what they hate. And this movie, you know, you this world is about relationships, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, in this movie, you know, um, Thin Line Between Love and Hate, uh, Brandy Webb, who's played by Lynn Whitfield, you know, I want to get with this woman for all the wrong, wrong reasons, and I make a bet to get with her, you know, with uh, Bobby Brown, who's, who plays T, and uh, you're not supposed to bet on her, uh -huh. a woman, and a woman's not supposed to bet on a man. And as a result of that, I get caught up into this, like, fatal attraction kind of thing. She won't leave me alone. Oh, one of those. Yeah, because I'm really in love with somebody else, uh -huh. you know what I mean? You started to play a little game with right. her, and now the game has turned on you. Exactly, yeah. oh, exactly. Yeah. And she whoops my bleep, <laughs> you know. Says, you know. So I go ahead and take the beating for the ladies. I'm gonna get you for all women. <laughs> and and, and Lynn, Lynn tears me up in there. And, uh, you She's know, a good, good actress. Uh, she played Josephine Baker, right? Yes, she yeah, did. Yes, she, she was, did. She was here. But on the but show. I, I have to say I couldn't do this movie without all of the support I had. My super producers, Doug McHenry, George Jackson, um, my my band cinematographer, uh, Francis Kenny, uh, my editor, John Carter. Uh, all my associate producers. Yeah. And, I mean, just everybody. My line producer who made sure we didn't go over budget. Right. You know, uh, but Bill Carraro. But the thing Carraro. is, the bottom line yeah. is you making the calls as director, you know, and that's quite a responsibility. And Well, it's quite a re responsibility. You're wearing a lot of hats. And when you wear a lot of hats, it makes your head very heavy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a lot of responsibility. But, you know, I was just happy that Savoy, New Line, everybody that I got to work with, yeah. I, I was given the opportunity to be able to do it. Don I said that he wanted to be in my next movie. You know, all Martin did was lean across me and say to him, I'm happy to meet you, and he said, I'd be happy to do your next movie. <laughs> now, it you, never stops. Well, what am I going to ask you? What are you going to do, a home movie in your house? <laughs> <laughs> this is a big star. I'm, I know. I'm with Harry Nobody. Hey, you, hey, <laughs> hey that, but that is good. I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you know, that you mentioned that with... Where I have a deal with Columbia, but you know, they're a lot, you know, I'm getting ready to go off and do a movie with Disney called Nothing to Lose with Tim Robbins, who, you know, Ooh, was nominated for director, mm -hmm, sure. best director. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's called Nothing to Lose with Disney. Mm -hmm. And Don, have your people call their people. <laughs> and so we got a deal here. Put Don, in, put Don, put Don Rickles in the movie Nothing to Lose with me and Tim Robbins. You got a hit, man. You got a hit. Did I, did I tell you this would be a turning point in your career? <laughs> and sure enough, a movie offer is poured in. My pants are wet. <laughs> we got a great soundtrack in this movie. It's called The Thin Line of Love and Hate right there. Good soundtrack, stuff. that's the soundtrack. And if you're riding in your car and, and you didn't see the movie, you, it's like you saw the movie, but see this movie and hear the soundtrack because you know how it all goes together. We ain't got much time, but all right. I'm glad to be here. Thank it you. comes out April 3rd. Yeah, it does nice. on a lot with you. Right one about back with John Collins. Yeah. At, at, at Hollywood Studios, we were doing for Eddie Jones. Still ahead on live actor Jim Belushi. Good. Having a good time? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great with you. <laughs> All right, you remember the Dynasty series? Are you kidding? Joan was oh, tops and One still of is. the most beautiful women in Hollywood. She sure is. The scheming vixen Alexis Carrington on that Dynasty show. She's also known for her best selling novels. She's written a number of books. Here's her latest one. This one's already on the bestseller list over in England and is uh, making inroads right here on the bestseller list in the States. Here's the lovely Joan Collins, everybody. <laughs> How are you, darling? Nice to see you. Hey, how are you, Don? How are you, sure? Hi, nice to see you. Hello. You look great. Oh, Have thank a seat. You. Thank what a becoming you. color, huh? Don't you oh, think? It's not that easy to wear this color, actually. Clashes with my book cover. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should have been nominated for an Oscar for Casino. How about I thought you, you, you were wonderful. Yes, wonderful. yes. Wonderful. really Wasn't sharp, wonderful? yes. He Thank really you. was Thank very you compelling, <laughs> and to you know hold the screen with De Niro, and all <laughs> oh, eyes were easy. on you. Fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you, Joan. That's very sweet of you. No, it was great. Uh, very good, good movie. Joan, it's good to see you. Gee, you've been making so many headlines in the papers in the last couple yeah, of weeks with that big lawsuit against Random House. Won. Yes, and yes. you won. I won. Uh, good yeah. for you. Yeah. 
you know, I never understood. I never understood that suit. They commissioned you to write two books. They yes. gave you the advance, yes. and then they wanted it back. They wanted the advance back, but you know, they didn't want it back immediately. They waited until Swifty Lazar dies. Well, you know, you know, uh -huh. because they didn't want to antagonize him because he was a very tough man. So five weeks after he died, they asked for it back because then they didn't care if they tried to wreck my career or <laughs> or if um, he was angry because he, he wasn't around <laughs> to be angry. Sure. But it was um, it was a totally about a contractual dispute, mm -hmm. totally, in which they, um, they played another card. They played the card of let's trash her, let's ruin her career, let's say she can't write. You know, I have had a few best-selling books. Absolutely. And, I mean, and this one before. In, you've written about then. six books before this one, yes. right? Yes. yes, I have. Was it tough going to court every day? Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> yeah. horrible. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's very tough because everybody's looking at you um, and the court TV thing that's there all the time, that is particularly nerve-wracking mm -hmm. because you just know that everybody's looking at you for... And I am the sort of person that shows my emotions on my face all the time, so I'm trying to keep stone-faced. Um, which but a was, couple I of times you did. Oh, I, you did oh, I saw up. the yeah. court TV. It was so embarrassing. Yeah. I, well. I looked like I'd won the pools <laughs> <laughs> or the lottery <laughs> when I went. I was. I was very thrilled. But this is not that book. This is an altogether different book. No, <clears throat> this is a different book. But I did rewrite the courtroom scene at the beginning from my own experiences. It starts with my heroine Catherine coming out of court mm -hmm. after a particularly nasty court case, and so I, I rewrote it because it was also fresh in my mind. Yes, yeah, sure. But no, this is a book about a. Um, a glamorous and very sad television superstar in a television super series who um, has got a very miserable and sad and misunderstood life and is looking for love in all the wrong places. Wow. And finally yeah. finds it thinking yeah. it's in the right place but it isn't. And so it's a, it's a novel of betrayal and it's um, based quite a bit on something that happened to me a few years ago. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's based on my life and dynasty actually. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. A lot of that, yes. Really? A lot of it is Was that a sad on... period for you personally? Yes. It was oh. very sad. Oh. Yes, I was going through a lot of very difficult times at that particular time, but mm -hmm. I didn't let anybody know. The show must go on. Yes. And then I thought that I thought that everything was going to be sort of okay because I met this man who I thought was absolutely wonderful. Of course, all my friends knew he wasn't, but um, they said, you're not going to marry this guy. You can't, you can't, you can't. And but I did. You did. Yes, and that was a and big, they were big right. mistake. They were all right. Oh. All of you. Why we said, it? no, you were right. But yes. why is it that Joe... Lucky I didn't send the gift. <laughs> <laughs> But why is it that Joan Collins, you know, as experienced, as knowledgeable, as wise as she is, wouldn't know that? I don't know, because I think that there's such a thing as getting sucked into somebody's magic aura, mm -hmm. um, which is what I did. And um, I think that in the book, in Infamous, I painted this character as the most attractive, wonderful, funny, amusing, uh, good-looking, sexy man that you could possibly ever meet, mm -hmm. which is not exactly like the husband was, but I made him a lot better. Close. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So that you can understand why, why Catherine does it. I don't know. I think that women, unfortunately, I do think it's true that women have much more of a romantic streak than men, and I think that I... What is it about a man that, a woman, that women admire the most? Is it uh, personality? Is it looks? <laughs> if what? this was an English program, I could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In England, she oh, can no, really yes, tell you. <laughs> no, I think, actually, you know, I think it's humor. Humor? Yes, In other absolutely. words, you, you would find yes. a guy like Don Rickles would be very attractive to you. Oh, yes, yes, but Barbara's already got him. I know, <laughs> but don't fight. Don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I think that humor and also I think... Being a friend is the most important mm -hmm. thing in a relationship, mm -hmm. and being each other's best friend. And well, that. tell me now, I'm just curious, are you over that period of your life? Are, are you, and the, you won the lawsuit, and you're writing these books? Yes. Is this a better time for you? Oh, much better, yes, absolutely. I've been in a very good relationship for eight and a half years. We're not going to get married. We don't need to get married. Marriage is for children, as far as I'm concerned. And um, I'm doing what I love, which is that I'm writing a lot. And I'm also, you know, I, this has been optioned for a, uh, a, a movie of the week, miniseries. Could you play the, I think you yes, could. Yes, I could. I put a mohair blanket over the lens. And I <laughs> 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 of course I could. It's based on me. Well, sure. Yes. Well, why yes, don't we? You're going to do it, aren't you? Well, I, yes, that's part of the deal, actually, I think that, I, that, I, that I play. I but it's a, what? I think she's very attractive, don't you? You're not looking. Of course she is. <laughs> Thank you. Of course she is. You're both very attractive. Yeah, you really? Yeah, Thank but he so gives much. a better performance in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Too
got it. Missed again. Here it is, and Joan Collins, incidentally, at Barnes and Nobles on Fifth Avenue at 12 o'clock, making a special uh, personal appearance and autographing her book on Fifth Avenue, Barnes and Nobles. All right, Joan. Thank you, darling. Thank, Thank you here. very, very much. It's good to see you again. Good luck to you. Yes. Exactly. We'll be right back with Jim Belushi. <laughs> exactly right. Isn't that fun? You get to walk out and, and uh, work with the audience there for a few minutes? Oh, are you kidding? It's a treat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, where else are you going to be? You're going to be in Tampa Bay, and then you're going into Not Arizona. Tampa Bay? I'm, what am I, on a fishing trip? <laughs> going to be at the Tampa, Bay, Tampa Art Center. Yeah, Tampa with Bay Joan Art Rivers, Center. Yeah. And then we're going to go to Fort Lauderdale. And then I'm going to go to Denver, Denver. Colorado, to the Paramount Theater. Yeah. And then I'm going to go to Phoenix, to Union Hall. Wow. Outside there, do where college kids are, and then they'll show up. We'll do the rah rah fight songs. <laughs> and then I go back to LA and lay on the couch and watch the wife go, thousand and seven thousand. <laughs> Big paydays. All right, our next guest began his career with Chicago's Second City improvisational comedy troupe, can be seen opposite Halle Berry in Race the Sun. Uh, inspired by a true story uh, by some uh, apathetic teenagers and their triumph in building a special solar race car. Here's Jim Belushi. <laughs> the big Belushi. Hey, hey Jim. Jim. How are you doing, man? Good, good to see you. Long time, Jim. Good to see you. How are you, long man? Long time. It's a long time. Good to see you. Saturday great, Night Live. Saturday Night Live. How many years ago was that? They worked About together Saturday 16, Night Live. 10, 10, 10 years ago, yeah, probably. I got makeup on his... Oh, yeah, my new suit. suit. My new Donna Karen suit. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Yeah, oh, he was hysterical on that show. He had a lot of fun in those days. Well, too. we had cue cards, we had lines, and Don just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, kid, hold the card. He just made it up. We just won. <laughs> you were very funny. We and you were great in Casino. Oh, geez, I, I want to tell you. This oh. is a tribute to Casino. I want to tell you. I saw that movie and I saw you in that movie. What? This done. This done. You were great, man. I only had one problem. You know, the, that old method school. You know, De Niro, you go, where are the, where are the guns? And he'd go, <laughs> and the whole movie I was doing, huh? <laughs> but he was great. It's yeah. a lot of fun to be with. It's like being alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you were great, man. Well, I was thank, really proud of you. Thanks great a million, Jim. You good so luck Jimmy, in your new film. Oh, yeah, yeah good bro. Good things are happening for you, huh? Always, always doing something. Movie man. coming out? A sitcom uh, in the works? Sitcom in the works. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about that sitcom. I saw it on the paper today. Yeah, I saw that. In the and they had a right figure. Here. I don't know if you saw this, Don. $16 million to the big Belushi. Oh, oh man. man. $16 million. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> you want more. I uh, double it. <laughs> double it. I got to take down on. I got to take, you know, <laughs> yeah. fishing in Tampa. What's the sitcom about? Is that... Um... Well, the sto we're still working out the storyline. Uh, Chuck Lorre, who, uh, who wrote and produced Sybil and uh, Grace Under Fire is doing this, and he really has a talent to write to your voice. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we're still working out the storyline. So good, well, that's yeah. great. Very funny idea. He's a very talented guy, you know. Not oh, only Jimmy, actor, Jimmy. but he also uh, uh, he's Dan Aykroyd's son. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and has his own band. Yeah, yeah actually, the, I got a band at the. Play at the House he's still of playing Blues? House of Blues. He's the House of Blues. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Danny I saw Danny and I, the other night. Yeah, yeah guy he's guy. him and I are partners in the House of Blues in Los Angeles. A hot. Hot club on. Uh, and you on play the, the harmonica in the band? Uh? I play a harmonica in a couple songs, but uh -huh. uh, I mainly sing. Well, you're not a threat to Bruce Willis then. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bruce and I are going head to head in oh, the, yeah. you know, the Battle of the Bands. But, but you uh, played for the president. I played for President Clinton in September at the House of Blues. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. And that was he, scary. You know, did he say anything to you? No, he was smiling and yeah. nodding and, and going. You know, he knew all the words to Viva Las Vegas. I really? mean, yeah, he was. <laughs> He was Wait mouthing the words over Viva the Viva Las Vegas. Yeah, right. Shut up, Rudy. <laughs> Hollywood legend, an entertaining audience of more than a half a century now, recently wrote his memoir detailing his early career as a struggling comedian and then what happened on the way to the top where he stands right now of comedy. Mm. Rickles' book in the stores right now, and please welcome America's newest author, Don Rickles. <laughs> How's the family? Good. <laughs> Mark's good. The family's Mark well. Good. The kids the are doing great. God bless. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Thank you. And I want to tell you. 
good. It's so good. It's so good to talk to you. It's so good you've been to my talk to you. you've been my life. You've been my life. <laughs> you smell good. God bless you. Oh, you <laughs> smell good. You smell Gotta lose some weight. I'm trying to go for it. <laughs> Have a good meal, Kelly, otherwise you're gonna be on the floor. <laughs> Hi ladies, what is this? A cookout? <laughs> They must have got up at 6 in the morning to watch this trick-or-treat show. That's right. That's what they do, guys. This is the big show in New York. Why? This, why? Why is this a big show in well, New York? Well, because... Kelly I'm in California. I turn it on in the morning. You know why? Why? Because when there's a storm, there's no lights. <laughs> No, this is great. You're both doing a wonderful job. How's, how's the family? Oh, <laughs> so good. Thank you, my God. God bless. Thank you. But he's not kidding. Every morning he sits there in bed and he watches our show. No I do. Kidding. I do. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm married 42 years and she's on the other side going, Is it dawn yet? <laughs> We married 42 years, Kelly. 42 That's a goal. Years. He's married, Incredible. what, 30? 30, 37. 37. We had dinner last night. Is Anymore. What, what's your they always say in Hollywood, right? They break yeah, up. And right. No, no. I got a wife. Great. Just sits there with the jewelry and in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> we have a great life together, really. Yeah. She's home now watching me. She goes, I think it's clever, but you'll, you exaggerate the way I talk. <laughs> she does talk like that. That's why I married a Valium. <laughs> There's one lady on the end that's stunned while we're talking. She's sitting there with the, with the sunglasses on the forehead like this. <laughs> Lady, it's a show, not a zoo. For crying out loud. <laughs> no, nice people. That's just, how'd the black guy get in here? <laughs> Good to see you, baby. <laughs> You're laughing. I to check your room. <laughs> Incidentally, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Yes, Don turned uh, 81. 81. You don't win a prize. <laughs> 81. And still going strong. And you were great on Letterman last night. Yeah, I, I, uh, thank you. I, they, I got good remarks about it. I thought did you? it was a lot of fun. Dave, Dave's a great... In fact, we invited him for dinner. That's right. We did, oh, Kelly. And... I'll talk to Kelly. He was just so dull. <laughs> <laughs> but did he show up? He never showed no, up. No, but he picked up the check. Oh, he... No, is that Honestly, true? Well, if it was Regis, he'd... Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, no. Anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's a big sport. <laughs> Listen, but That's right. At the end of the dinner, you know, paid the bill. The guy said it's all taken care David of. We said, who did it? No, Mr. Letterman. Yep. Wow. He yeah. He'll pay anything. That's what he, that's what He'll he He'll pay said. anything not to have dinner with us. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great remark that Kelly made. You haven't heard that in years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> let's get some skates and go to school. All right, let's talk a little bit about this book. Yeah, some, some of the pictures in it. This is, look at this friendly little baby right here, Don Rickles. Oh. Growing Jackson up in Jackson Heights, Heights Queens. How about that? Oh, sure. 60 some hundred years ago. And then with your dad, who was kind of like your inspiration. He yeah. was a fun guy, right? Yeah, Did was. they encourage your, your comedy career? Well, in those days, it wasn't. Like, we didn't know what we were going to want to be an actor, you know. Right. So I, sure. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. How I got in there, don't ask me how. I, I, <laughs> to this day, I don't know how. But with people like Tom Poston, who we just lost, rest his soul, and Jason Robots, rest yeah. his. And when I think about it, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> my, my son goes up to my, my study where I work, and, mm -hmm. and he comes up there, and those pictures all on the wall, and he goes, dead, dead, <laughs> dead, critical, hanging on the ropes, <laughs> cancer, cancer, dead. That's my father's friends. <laughs> but thank God you're with dear friends, and you're in good health now, because they stepped on your heart, and everything's working okay. That's now. right. <laughs> Here's the best friend you ever had, your mother, yeah, Edna. Right. Yeah, that's my mother. Yeah, terrific lady, and uh, she was with you right through the whole thing, right? She was, yeah, she was sort of a Jew pattern. <laughs> yeah, she's a very strong lady. You know, you know the type, you go to Radio City Music Hall, she said, Where is the line, please, for the tickets? And I go, Ma, will you hold it down, please? Don't, what are you, self-conscious? Stop it. Our tickets, where's our tickets? <laughs> and the guy in the front, his hat goes, Ooh. And then through the years, befriended all of the giants in our business, including the one and only Frank Sinatra. Oh, he was the guy. And yeah. do you miss Frank? But, yeah, but I, I make jokes about him now because I can, you know, he's dead. Because <laughs> you know, if I said it today, you know, I'd be on Jerry Lewis's telephone. <laughs> walk on, walk on. <laughs> oh, and here's the lovely Barbara. Yep. That's oh, us my on, gosh. That's us on top of the cake. <laughs> 38 years old when you got married. Right. Yeah. Had a problem. 
What Did you? Yeah, I used to sit in the bathtub and make it bubble. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long story. Well, well, you hadn't met the right person is one reason That's why. A, you, hey, what are you, a detective? No, but... <laughs> I hadn't a, met the right person. You hear that, no, gang? But believe it or not, I have a stage manager. Went, is he talking to me? <laughs> yeah, forget Gelman for 20 minutes. <laughs> tell Gelman what you told me, how you're fed up with him giving you orders. <laughs> <laughs> and Art sits alone over there. What are you, a leper? <laughs> <laughs> Got a crack staff here, Kelly. I mean, we're all spread I, out. I know all about all it. All watching, all watching a guy to see if you're going... <laughs> <laughs> You feel all right? You feel okay? I feel fine. Starting to sweat a little bit. Don't, no, don't no. go on us now, kid. Don't, don't go on us yourself. now. No. Kelly's on the phone. Mark, he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, put on your suit and get your ass <laughs> over here. <laughs> Bill Paul's will come right back with Don Rickles in a moment. Don Rickles, incidentally, will be appearing in Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget, May 25th through the 27th. And uh, and look, let's let's go let's go into our days together. Now you started here with Frank, right. many many years all over the world, all over the country with Frank Sinatra, and you wound up. Just leave the thing on. Uh, uh, you wound up with the me. thing. It's not a thing. Well, the camera is what I'm trying okay. to tell him. Leave the thing and the camera on. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You will tell look how happy you are that you're with me. Son of a in thing. resorts in the, in Atlantic City in the old days. Look at your outfit. Look, somebody threw a bucket of chalk on you. Look at it. <laughs> What are we? I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shot here. There we are. Yeah. Two guys looking for broads. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh my God. That Look was our first appearance on TV together. Look at that. I got... That Regis Philbin show, it yeah. was called. You look like a stick. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I'm handsome. <laughs> There we are. Aww. In the dressing room? Oh, and on this show, as a matter of fact. Years ago, yeah, you yeah. came, actually came live on the show. That's great. And here we are. Uh, yeah, oh, that's, that's an dressing room. That's hey, hey, Reed, are we adorable? <laughs> are we adorable or what? Love you, Don. Yeah. <laughs> that was great, Don. Okay. <laughs> that was good. That was enough for you, you have to write in the office? Yeah. Okay. I have it. Remember when you took the driving test? All right, hold it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put, put, don't you have an assistant? Please! <laughs> You're on your own up here. Don't you understand? Forty million guys off camera, and the two of us are where the cards go? <laughs> and the dummy assistant's going, cards? <laughs> what cards? And he's sitting over there saying, my outfit looks great. <laughs> I'm Art, I'm Art Moore, and I look great. <laughs> Bye, God. I don't know what my job is. What is his job? <laughs> Kelly, what is his job? We no one know. knows. Nobody knows. We don't know what his what job is. He's Peter LaSalle. That's what he That's is. That's what he is. We dress him up on Halloween, usually like Wonder Woman, and we spin him around and yeah. watch him fall down for about minutes. And you know, Kelly, minutes. but I must say, he's very stylish. You are yeah. stylish, Art. He's a good And when you came man. in the dressing room and said to me, I got to go out there with them again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, I don't tell the truth, and God bless you, you're going to get a better job. You really are. <laughs> You're going to be, uh, you're going to be uh, Gelman's helper at his other house <laughs> and pick up cards like I do. So are you excited about tomorrow night's appearance at the 92nd Street Y? Oh, I'm going to drop my pants and fire a rocket. <laughs> That's the joke Letterman loves. That's he loves thing. that joke. No, that joke. I saw you heard you him love say to that. to the desert, my friends, to the oh, desert. Oh, my God. When you review the movies, you go back to Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Years ago, Kelly, I used to say on the stage, I used to say, to the desert, my friends. And I forgot about it. Now, he comes, we work to together. To the desert, my friends. That's what I get to every night desert. in the dressing room. To the desert, my friends. <laughs> to the desert. Like a moron, I get a sheet and throw sand over me. <laughs> <laughs> to the desert, my friends. But tomorrow night should be exciting. What are we going to do? You know, that's a huge deal. I don't yeah, think Kelly either one of you deal. really He doesn't realize. understand it. It's no, a big deal. No, it's a big deal. And I have friends that are going. Tom really? Yeah, authors all over the world have appeared there. But my only problem is, he's going to be the host for me and mm. introduce the, the whole setup and we're going to show some film he's in some film and we'll talk about the book and uh, the only problem is they're going to bring up about his heart operation and who cares I mean, <laughs> they're going to say Rickles book and then he's going to go the left bone was cut away right yes up into my elbow under my thigh <laughs> through my groin up into my mouth and now everything works <laughs> yes that's what he does. Well, and you didn't have one Jewish doctor operate on you. Not one. <laughs> Every time you go to Mount Sinai in, in Los Angeles, yeah, Cedar Sinai, Dr. Lipschitz, Dr. Katz, <laughs> Dr. Makowitz, you had Ed Johnson, Tommy Thompson, Ed Finney. <laughs> These are guys that come in with a hammer going bang, 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 bang. <laughs> 
the damn thing working, Al. <laughs> Jews go in with gloves in class. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead, Lou. He's dead. <laughs> That, it, the same thing happened. The same thing happened with the, with the Larry King. You know? Sure, right. Yeah. By the way, Larry King, do you know what happened? His neck went into his throat. <laughs> <laughs> Do Larry King, he loves it. Uh, yeah, God. Yeah. You know what he does? There's Larry King. Yeah. Larry King goes and gets on the air. Mr. President, he's with the biggest oh. people in the world. <laughs> Mr. Senator so-and-so. Oh, God bless you, Captain Johnson. Mrs. World so-and-so. Mr. Vice President. Boom. Dissolved. Now I'm alone with him. Larry, how do you feel? Do you think I should have the corned beef lean? <laughs> should I have maybe a poached egg? What do you think? He <laughs> becomes a little Jew from the neighborhood. A little poached egg, maybe I have. <laughs> Larry, you're on. Mr. President, how do you feel? What's, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow night. And I thank you, Regis, on, on, the, on the truth. First, I want to say two things. Mm -hmm. uh, Kelly, this is the, the, you just belched. I did no, not. I, I, I did not belch. He cleared his throat. I, I know cleared, a belch when I hear it. I you cleared belch. my throat. I was just about to say something nice here. Uh, I did. You heard it. What will I do? You belched. I'm I did embarrassed. not belch. I want his name taken and I want him thrown out of here. No, I want to say something serious. <laughs> Kelly, this is the truth. God bless you. We've been friends for many, many years. And for you to come over to the Y tomorrow is a wonderful treat for me. And God bless you with your health. I'm delighted you're doing so well. Thank you, Doc. And this lovely lady has been a big supporting person for you. And, and of course, Joy. And Barbara and I, we love you very much. And again, thank you for all your support and the help with the book. I appreciate it. You want me to hold the book up now? Yeah. There it is. I know, Doc. The Rickles book he right loves, there. He loves you more than anyone. He loves you. Oh, Knocks them every which way but loose, Saturday at 11.30. Coming up next on Live from Marina Del Rey is Hollywood's original Mr. Nice Guy, Don Rickles. He hasn't had a nice word to say since he had hair, and that was a while back. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Thank Good morning. You. Nice to see you. Guess who's not here? Pick on us anyway. We also have Stephen Bauer, wonderful actor. He was in a uh, like, great movie, Scar. Boy, he's a good looking dude, dog. Wait a what, second. What did I say? Wait a second. Now, uh, by the way, good to see you off the no. ship. <laughs> I'll, make Fra I'll make Frank feel at home. 27 blue! Anyway, uh, <laughs> when you played football, I'm a friend. You were lousy. Anyway, uh, no, it was a great football play with the Giants, and I must say, Kathleen, it's so good, and I know how delighted you are that Regis is downstairs critical. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Kathy, say, it's Hollywood. It's all me. <laughs> Who needs that midget downstairs? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> it's a, a little, little humor. <laughs> she's wonderful, and Frank's married to her, and she's going to get every dime he's got. <laughs> anyway, uh, and Frank doesn't have much except ABC Sports on Monday night going, run, run! <laughs> you don't see Jewish guys playing football. We, we usually own the stadium. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Well, that's the truth. What a smart-looking crowd. Everybody's in their underwear sitting here with sunglasses. But it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for me to be on a show that's not going to make it. And I really want to tell you... All of Hollywood is talking about you people on the roof, because if this don't make it, Frank's going to do a half gain it. It's one of those boats out there. But, Kathy, I want to wish you a lot of luck in your marriage. I Thank really you. think you made an error. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't picture him making love. <laughs> well, he sits in his bathrobe with a helmet on. Anyway, uh, I want to wish you a lot of luck, Frank. You're a great athlete. Sit down, rest. Kathy, I'll give you a call in an hour. Okay. I'm happily married, but I am in heat. Anyway, uh... Take care of yourself, and I'll see you around. I'm going to visit Regis and find out if he's well. Because this man was on the bed, and the doctor kept saying, snap out of it, Kathy's getting bigger and bigger. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Regis right now? I gotta go that way. Leave me alone. Okay. Leave me alone. Go get and get rid of the nurse out of here. All right. Don Rickles. What did I say? I guess he's on his way to see Reg. Oh, okay. what a pair that's going to be. I guess next up we're going to find out if Regis is really sick. And, and who could find out better than Don Rickles? He'll take his temperature, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll be right back. Where's that Regis? i got to see this guy. Man won't survive the day. Will not survive the day. Where is this man? Look how quiet it is. Oh. Don, I'm over here. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> they said you were sick, but... I mean, get some wax. This man's gone. It's over. Listen, I don't want to catch... Where's my mask? 
I don't want to catch anything. First of all, would you like a real good physical? <laughs> anyway, gosh, you look so bad. We just gave me a mask and everything to no, check you okay. out. It's not, it's not contagious. Hey, I'm a friend. No, I don't want to touch you. Really? No, no, I don't need it, Regis. I, I got to be honest. I was just upstairs with, with Frank and Kathy. They've How been they knocking you. They've been knocking you. They don't care about you, Regis. Really? No, the two of them are up there. Frank's laughing. He says, this guy's never going to come back. Never. Yeah. They have me a, together. And I'm a friend now that I yeah. see you. Yeah. You got about a week. <laughs> shaky, tell me, shaky. Tell me the truth. Now, I know you're a devout Catholic. Yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah. Go to church. Go to confession. Go, no, no, no. If you go to confession, you'll be there for two days in the booth. Don't go to confession. Just, why, why are they talking? Are I don't talking? know. I don't know. Look at you, though. Look at your eyes. Look Bad? I, let me just listen. Oh, it's a damn shame. You could have been the biggest thing in Hollywood. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Now it's going to get all over me, and I'm going to get sick. My luck. i got to get sick. Okay, now listen. Tell me what's going wanna... on up there. Are they doing well? Do you think they're really in love? To be honest, yeah. she's dressed like a nurse, yeah. and he looks like, you know, yeah. he's out of it. He's out of it. I think the, the man has, I think, too many punts in the face. When he played ball, they kicked, and it backfired right in the face. Too much. He looks, and the neck is not in the show. Uh-huh. All right. He's much older. All right. She, I, I think he takes her in the park and lets her play on the toys. <laughs> it's murder. You got a happy marriage, though. I saw your wife. Joy is around, yeah. Looks like a closet hitter. But ah, don't worry about it. Tell me what's going on out here in Hollywood. Has, has Frank Everything. Sinatra called? Why do you stay in this hotel? Why don't you get a smart suite or something? This is the... When I'm in New York, I stay in the best. You're staying... Look at this. The, the, the pillows are gone. This right? is a magnificent hotel. Uh, you is... don't go for nothing, Regis. I know you were tight with the buck. You always have been. This is the presidential You're known as suite. Cheapy, cheapy Regis. Presidential cheapy. suite of the Marina Beach Hotel. Oh, wonderful. I'll drop my pants or fire a flare. <laughs> now, has Sinatra called to ask how I am? Frank... I'll tell you this, if a bus hit you, I don't th and you were pinned under the wheels, I don't think he'd look up. That's what Frank thinks of you. you know, I'm a friend, I, you know, I know the man you know person. bothered me? I missed dinner with you and Ed McMahon last night. What a break for me, because I know you wouldn't go to the pocket. Who picked up the check? Ed would have, but he didn't know he was there. He drank one martini and took oh, a Oh, is he drinking martinis now? No, he's doing great. He's a sweet friend and doesn't his he lovely order, wife, Victoria. Doesn't he order the wine and the brass? No, no, no. <laughs> he did that once, and we thought we had a ship on our hands. He started up. Smoke started well, what did you guys nose. talk about all night, you and Ed? We talked about Johnny and how we're going to get rid of him. Yeah. And then we just discussed you for about a second and a half. Yeah. Then a fly died in my drink and we went home. <laughs> but I mean, you're not too stimulating, really. A lot of things are happening here in Hollywood and you're know, locked in the room sick. Oh, it's great. Oh, I mean it. Sophia Loren. President Reagan. Huh? Yes, I saw him. And you know what he said to me? Huh? Anyway, I don't know what it is with him. I kept saying, Mr. President, you look great. Huh? We had a lot of that. Huh? And there were so many Secret Service guys around with the earphones, yeah. there was water on the floor, and I shorted out. <coughs> I apologize. Oh, it's all right. Germs all over. The audience is going to get it. Frank's upstairs now with Kathy Lee going, he's going to die. He's going to die. That's going to be my show. My dream came true. And you're going to be down here with little Joy with the little white robe just sitting there. Look at your arms. Wow. How long have you had that? That's native rot. I lost about uh, 10 pounds. Huh? I lost I'd about say 10, 20. 20. A good yeah. 20, yeah. You look, so you look tell great. me about Reagan. How does he look? Ronald Reagan? He, yeah. he looks okay. Yeah. I think when he retired, it was the right move. The right, the right time if to go. Went, if he went four more, we'd have a lot of trouble. And Nancy? Uh, she was okay. Yeah. She kept telling Ronnie he looks good. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, now, what else is happening? Tommy Lasorda, the Dodgers Open training he's in He's great. Beach. I was with him the other night, and we had spaghetti, and... Uh, I put Goodyear on his backside and he it's flew right away. over the table. The man's uh, about 300 pounds and he keeps saying, uh, Dodgers are going to win it all. <laughs> and little raviolis come out of the He's mouth. got a restaurant. He's got a restaurant here in the marina. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Uh, <laughs> you, eat, you eat fungal bats. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Now, wait, didn't wait. they have a last uh, night roast for him? Didn't they call you? Didn't they sort of plead with you to come? and yeah. Got on his knees, sucked my ankle. Yeah. Really. Dragged me all over the floor. Please, Don, please. But he had Tony Martin in the wings. And I told him to go away. He was annoying altogether. And uh, I entertained for Tommy. And he, he just sat there and he kept saying, I'd like to meet my friend Vinnie Bombaz, Charlie Magazzano, Aldo Bobolini, and two ball players from the Dominion Republic saying, Tommy love me, Tommy love me. And they were spitting on the floor. Tommy love me. What a game, what a game. Real dummies, yeah. real dummies. Well, you got rid of him. He's out of your life. Uh, Tommy, if, 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 unless they win it again, then I'll have to kiss as you know what. Yeah, right. But if they don't, I'd That must have over. been exciting in the fall here in Los Angeles when they won the championship. Oh, it was terrific. Were you at the ballpark? No, no, I was outside going, get your programs! Of course I was at the ballpark. Sure you were. I had great seats.
In, in the clubhouse? The I went in the clubhouse, but when I take off the shirts, <laughs> Man, huh? murder, murder. It's like an old gym. <laughs> Terrific. But I was there speaking to now, all the guys. Now, what's going on in you? I understand you're going to be on the Newhart show. That's going to be great. March 13th. Terrific. Bob Newhart finally realized that I can help him. Absolutely. Now, will you play Rickles or will you play a character? No, I'm going to play a Mongolian fighter pilot. <laughs> no, I'm playing a character. A character sort of a, uh, a little mixture of a guy like you on his way down yeah and uh, i don't want to give away the plot well, but, fine, it's a, it's, but it's 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 sort of a, a television personality and it's a lot of fun because and you know because to be with bob is like alone sure you know right. i don't you know if you know been, bob you've been around the world again we've been friends may i have that yes yeah, yeah. your your disease is spreading to me you know this is how it started look with at this, uh, this room do, do they have air conditioning or is that girl going to stand on the roof and blow on us the whole <laughs> this is uh, how it began with me the sweats you know well, to you today from uh, Disneyland in Anaheim, uh, California. They're celebrating their 35th year. And it was just last year that we were out to the coast for the first time. Marina Del Rey. Yes. And uh, Don Rickles came on the show. And of course, you may, some of you may remember I was terribly ill. At, you had pneumonia. Uh, had terribly. pneumonia. Was laying on my deathbed. This was almost mine. And, <laughs> and Don came, up, came down to my room. Yes. To cheer me up. And here's a little bit of that conversation. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Well, the last thing he allegedly said to me on that tape was, you got a week to live. I know. But I fooled him. I hung you around You sure anyway. did. A lesser man would have been dead, but here you are. <laughs> He's appearing at Bally's in Atlantic City on September 22nd and 23rd. He's standing backstage right now. He's just demolished Mickey Mouse. And here he is, Don Rickles, everybody. Yes! <laughs> they gave, they gave me producing the game. Oh. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. <laughs> oh, my. Is what? this on? Yeah. You got about an hour. <laughs> Gee, you, you're better again, huh? I, I, I love props. <laughs> this, is, this is a treat, Disneyland. I, I, I was here, I was here about uh, ten years ago when Mickey Mouse came over and said hello, <laughs> and I punched him right in the mouth. <laughs> Something about that mouse. Yeah. It, it, it's great. It's great to schlep all the way out here to be with you on your schlep show. Schlep all the way out. We sent a helicopter for Mr. Rickles, $400 an hour, no expense spared. Chop it, you're right in. That's right. And we landed, and the pilot said, don't stay. It's a bad place. <laughs> Look at all these people. They yeah. spent all this money to get these seats. This nice? What kind of boy? Sure. Why wouldn't you get a turnout? There's a guy by the gate going, well, come on, watch Regis, come on in. Here, here, it's free. You'll get candy and a trip around the world. And look who's sitting in the front. Have you ever met my producer, Michael Gelman? Is that the kid? Yeah. That's you the still one. got the pimples? <laughs> <laughs> Sits in a bathroom at night going, look at that one. He doesn't know how right he is. Chase, my, looks good. No socks. That's the new thing. Yeah. Right. I knew it was you. I thought it was me for a minute. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself sprayed. <laughs> anyway. And, and you met Cody backstage? Oh, that was a bit. The kid's wonderful. Yeah. He really is. He really, he? He's running around with a helmet on going, tackle me. <laughs> he's a wonderful child, really. Thank good you, John. I know you love children. And I know. And Frank is now, what, 74? Yeah. <laughs> And Frank's doing this, come on, Cody, come on, Cody. <laughs> They're going to turn uh, on you. They love Frank. Boo, boo, sure, sure. <laughs> what do you know? Frank sits in a booth going, Wait, was that a touchdown, Lou? <laughs> They're talking like Frank's a rocket scientist. <laughs> you got lost stuff. These are bad seats. <laughs> anyway. Uh, these so, people, what are the people with the tags? You're from some sort of camp? That's a ticket to get in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> eight feet high, the ticket is. <laughs> Now, as you may know, Mr. Rickles has just completed a tumultuous 10-day, 11-city tour yes. with Pia Zadora. Well, and Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra was there, too, I think, wasn't you see? he? Oh, see that remark? You're going to love it in Brooklyn on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Frank. Uh, does Frank ever, ever ask about us? Once he went, uh, Regis and, and our cab hit your aunt. <laughs> no, we never talk. Never? He's, yeah, right. Where's he going with you? You're going no place. <laughs> You're hot for five minutes. This is all going to end. You go back to your old job. <laughs> you have to Joey Bishop's car. <laughs> he was with Joey Bishop a hundred years ago. It's a long story. <laughs> now he has a big house in New York, and he just sits there going, hit the buzzer and bring in joy. That's his wife. <laughs> She has to play maid. But what was it like working with Frank? It was great. I ran in front of the car and checked for grenades. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you get up every morning and say, Frank, you're marvelous, you know. <laughs> you don't do that, he slaps your wife. But, uh, 
No, he's a marvelous star. Frank, yeah. if you're watching this, and I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> when he starts watching Regis and Kathy from Disneyland, yeah. I'm going to put him in a hole. <laughs> But uh, Frank Sinatra's a great star. I, I, I heard that for 11 days. <laughs> but uh, I, of course, my lips are chapped from walking behind him going... <laughs> <laughs> it's rough and he walks fast, Very you know. <laughs> but you do it just to keep your of name alive. Course, of course, You don't get a break like you two guys at Westbury <laughs> sold out with the tickets of $4. Dollars. This weekend, if you're in New York, maybe I can get you in. Oh, please. Well, we Because I want to hear when Irish eyes are smiling, one of the hit tunes... <laughs> Of Pennies from Heaven. Oh, that's his new one now, Pennies from Heaven, right. Yeah. You always sang, and you always stung. <laughs> hey, hey, folks, I'm only telling you, hey, for the money you're paying, that's a funny joke. <laughs> I mean, there's no voting. You, you people were out in line at four in the morning just so you could see Cody throw up. <laughs> now, have we talked about Cody too much? No, the kid is wonderful, if that makes Kathy happy, yeah, and, you know, it I helps said. you and have a partner, you know. <laughs> you know what happened to the other partners. <laughs> they all left. Anyway. Uh, that's right, keep me very happy. That's right. You know, he, he went through everybody. Because <laughs> I used to be very close. He'd sit in the trailer with me and tell me, how are we going to dump this one? <laughs> anyway, uh, great, great chairs. We'll chip in and get a carpenter to put a nail in. What about yeah. Pia Zadora? Was she fun to She's work with? She's wonderful. She's a lovely lady. She really is. Her husband's a multimillionaire, and they <laughs> kept giving me money to stand next to her. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, she's a, she's a lovely girl, and her husband is, is great. And she sang great, and Frank enjoyed her, and I enjoyed her. And, and it, was a, it was a lot of helicopters and a lot of planes, and that's why I said send a helicopter for me, but, you know, two hours on the freeway no, not, not for right. this, and it's syndicated. You yeah. know, this is on in Iowa at four in the morning <laughs> with some guy milking a cow going, they're on, Rose! <laughs> Regis and so true. On. <laughs> Keep milking. Keep yeah. milking. But you skyrocket. It's better to be in local. You know what I mean? We're hot right now. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, hey. It, it is stone here. gets hot, and then it cools <laughs> off. But let me, uh, you also were at the White House this summer. Yes, that was a big thrill. Uh, president George... called you himself? No, the president of Hadassah. Yes, the president. <laughs> yes, uh, George Bush. In fact, uh, he, he called about three times and asked me uh, to come to the White House. And all three times we were... Busy doing Too things. busy to go to the president when well, he called? Well, sure. Well, you would ever spend an evening with him? <laughs> <laughs> you also don't get paid to do the White House, right? Uh, you don't get paid. No, it was one, I, that's the first time I met you. At yes. The, at the inaugural for Ronald Reagan. That's exactly right. But George Bush has been a great friend to uh, Barbara and I and his lovely wife, Barbara. And we were invited to the White House, and Joe, Joe Morgan was with us. You know the black ball player? Yeah. He, kept, he was in the main ballroom hitting grounders to himself. <laughs> anyway, uh, but we had a wonderful time, and yeah. I sat next to Mrs. Bush at the uh -huh. dinner. <laughs> and she kept saying, you want another, you want another belt? <laughs> oh, there's my train. <laughs> it's the 941 to Westbury. But we had a, we had a great time. Did you get up and perform at the White no, House? No, no, no. Uh, well, I wasn't performing. I was a guest. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call it was performing uh, the vice president. Uh, Dan, Dan Quayle. Quayle. Dan Quayle. By performing, he was walking around the lobby going, is there any secret service? Somebody guard me. <laughs> <laughs> the little guys with pop guns. <laughs> Did I get him? Oh, anyway. Oh, no, he's this charming guy. You know, we had a couple of belts together. It was great, you know. <laughs> and, and George Bush sat right next to I was amazed about my seating. Sitting next to Mrs. Barbara Bush. How do you like that? And the, the occasion was, and I'm a Jewish boy from New York, and we were honoring the president of Tunisia. <laughs> and he came in with his sheet, and four other guys going, <laughs> and they were smelling the rug for about a half hour. I hate it I when they, they do were that. In the yeah. <laughs> smelling the rug. Smelling the rug. That's what the, one guy came in and said, he started smelling the rug. I said, don't do that. The president's here. Sit up, sit up. It's the guy's religion. Oh, that's so <laughs> Kathy wanted me to say that she loves Bob Newhart because, you know, Bob yeah. Newhart's a dear friend of mine. Yes, We're going is. to Europe this year, unless, God forbid, you know, yeah. somebody on the desert gets moody. <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> then there'll be no trip. <laughs> but Bob doesn't mind. No bullets, nothing bothers Nothing's him. Bothered. He just stammers his way through everything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Kathy worked with him, and Bob's a good friend, and uh, he couldn't be here today because she didn't want to give him a helicopter. <laughs> anyway, uh, going by bus is a long ride. Just, it's well, going to be a whole new world for him, right? Does he have a new series coming on? Or? No, he will, though. He reads the phone book and they put it on the air. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's really you can do anything See that? The bee was trying to sting the Jew. <laughs> sting the Jew and win a trip to Disneyland. <laughs>
Now, don't forget, Don will be at Bally's in Atlantic City later this month, on September 21st and 22nd. It's that's this weekend, isn't it? That's right. It's this weekend. Well, you mean while Kathy and I are in Westbury? Yes. Nearly yeah, sold out? Yeah. We'll, we'll probably be alone with one guy with bubble gum sitting in the front going, I'm going to Westbury later. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll do great. I mean, when you see tickets for $4 and fruit and candy, <laughs> how, how can they miss? Jeanette McDonald and Nelson, Mc, uh, Nelson Eddie on their way back. <laughs> I want you to say goodbye to Gilman. Gilman, you're a Jewish boy, right? Not that that matters. <laughs> but next year, you're going to be in this seat. Anyway, uh, good oh. luck to you, Gilman. All right. And I'm a friend. Get the nose fixed. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Don Rickles, everybody. We'll be right back with the Los Angeles Laker girls in a moment. Tomorrow. How old were you when you first started to notice girls? Oh, I think uh, as I fell on the hospital table. Uh, I, uh... Tend to hey, go overboard in that area as a young man, uh, that, did you? Uh, that's a question we all, you know, yeah. uh, the last, uh, what is it called? The last motion picture show? Uh, yeah. What was the name of that movie that won the you can Dick, are these toughies? <laughs> uh, what's the name of that motion picture? The last picture show. The last picture show, good. Later on, we're gonna, I, when you hear the bell, go to geography. Uh, but no, there, see, there was another movie. I'm asking him a title. question. He went, uh, no, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> That's not on the list. No, wait there. It says here, Get out dumb of there. comedian doesn't ask midget questions. No, there are two movies with a similar title. There's well, one that called was, The Last Well, that reminded movie. me of that uh, young way of life. I don't know, as far as girls. I've always, uh, I was, uh, as all guys that are supposedly aggressive or loud, which I'm, well, hey, okay, I am, but uh, I got married very, very late in life. I was 38 years old and, ser and searching desperately. And my wife uh, was, uh, well, I don't want to give her rage away. She could, you know, fall over or something. But she, uh, yeah. I met her as a, as a secretary, and I said, uh, she was my, in fact, she was my picture agent secretary, and I was down to nobody. I was going to dances, you know, with, with, with women that had shoulder holsters, you know. <laughs> I, was, I was hanging around with girls that like to do a lot of dipping, you know. Uh, <laughs> way back then. Yeah. You know, uh, Benny Goodman was playing the tango. All you know? the old dances. So uh, I, uh, I used to go and uh, I, met, I met my wife, and I'll never forget it. And she's a very, as you can imagine, you always marry opposites attract, they say, you know. And uh, I came up to my picture agent and I said, uh, I said, Miss, I'd like to see my picture agent. She said, what is, what is, what, that's the way she talked, my wife. What is your business, what is it regarding? I said, it's regarding I want to buy meat. What is it regarding? I want a job. And she said, crudeness isn't going to let you in. And I married her now. We just sit around the house and I go, why, why? She gave me two wonderful children. They're wonderful kids. One gave one, them to you. Oh yeah, well, I helped out. I, put on the robe and circled her. Anyway, uh... Circled, never mind. And then it was over one day and she went, what a miracle worker! Uh, but, uh... See, that's what I mean about being restricted on television. That's we should true. be able someday to speak right out and say it like it Could is. Could have said what you really meant. Right. If she'd really been Right, been and then the show would be a hit instead of this la dee da stuff. <laughs> We'd have the but, whole world listening instead of four guys in Elko. But it is television. What age were you when you had your first homosexual experience? <laughs> I just... Hey, it's there. It's there. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm sorry, I was 11. And, uh, <laughs> he was a tall cowboy from Dallas. <laughs> it started out, he came in the room and went... <laughs> You started, and I hope you have an ending for this. Sometimes, well, you tempted me. The most awful things will pop into my well, no, head, that's true. and you, you pride me a little really bit. Would it be great if you really could talk? I don't mean in a crude way, in a vulgar way. I mean, if you really could talk about, you know, th are, you, are you married, Beverly? Yes. Oh, good. Then you understand all this. I certainly do. <laughs> I thought being with mother away so much, you no, never no. got a chance to. I gave up sucking my thumb a long time ago. <laughs> okay, Beverly. <laughs> Hey, this, this could be a long night. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if he showed up in your audience some night at the opera? That's all you would need in the middle I, of... I the admire opera stars. Jan Pierce is my only claim to fame. He, he sang at my uh, cousin's uh, bar mitzvah, you know. That, you, yeah. would know you wouldn't know about that. That's, you know, your crowd doesn't have that, you know. You, you just oh. let the girls put on white dresses and hop around the church for an hour. <laughs> we, uh, 
We, uh, we make a whole ceremony and come up with envelopes with a lot of gifts and, you know, a uh -huh. lot of cake and kichel and wine, and Jam Pierce was there singing. Kichel? Uh, uh, kichel. It's a cookie. Don't worry about it. Right. <laughs> when we take over the world and you're a prisoner, you'll eat plenty of it. <laughs> No, no, the I black know. man up there went, he ain't gonna take over the world. <laughs> no, no. That's only a joke. <laughs> no, I, I, I know what Keith I, 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 I. <laughs> Well, there he is, folks. The real dumbbell, it's the host. <laughs> Why don't you get in touch with Paul Winchell and work on his lap? <laughs> Sorry, you got, I, my Came muscles here. are sore. I can't. Like your muscles are sore. Well, too bad. But we take a hot bath and watch your duck for a half. <laughs> Beverly and I talked uh -huh. very nicely. We came out. It started out so great. And then you started in with homosexuals and what have you. <laughs> you upset Beverly and ruined my whole day. I am. And I'm going to grab you by the legs and make a wish. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think, oh. <clears throat> oh, I think I... I think I've herniated my diaphragm or something. Well, use an ointment, it'll go away. <laughs> I know, let's, let's, we must try to taper down here right, a little we bit. We right. Wilson's coming out, and you know the pace he sets. <laughs> okay. He's in the back playing with the pages of his book, waiting for the wind to come up. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll lower the, the tempo a little oh, bit. Okay, so fine, whatever you say, Dickie. You're going to do some theater in the round uh, things. Is that actually theater in the round suggests plays? Are you going to yeah, do well, your have, you, have you ever done in the round? Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Seriously, Dick, I, yeah. have you ever done that? No, I've never appeared in the no. round. Do you ever get out of the house at all? <laughs> you could come right from here back to your house. And I even read articles about him with his wife. You married Lamont Cranston. <laughs> Nobody sees his wife. I understand she sits in a house and opens up the drapes and goes. <laughs> But it's a oh, nice man. Oh, Beverly, Beverly knows your wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Well, when would we get to meet her? I mean, it's a whole mystery. We never see, in fact, nobody ever sees you. Well, he hangs around in front of the Plaza Hotel at night saying to the policeman, anything happening? <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we're going to do in the round, we're going to be at San Carlos, as a matter of fact, in San Francisco, uh, huh. starting, uh, gee, what's the date? I forgot. Anyway, uh, and then we're going to be in Chicago May 1st. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, we're going to do a show. Uh, Peggy Lee and I, I'm just thrilled about that, is oh, going to be with me in Westbury, Long Island, here uh, for two weeks. And then we're going to be in uh, Washington for a week. And previous to that, Vic Damone and I will be in uh, San Carlos and then in Chicago, two weeks in Chicago and uh, one week in San Francisco. And I just love the, the uh, feeling of the round because it's like a real house party and it's a hard ticket. And people come like in opera to see you. Yeah. In, in saloons, they do come to see you, but there's uh, waiters and there's the busboy saying, you want to, you want to, you want some water? And, uh, right, the punchline. right, right. You're yeah. saying good evening, and there's a guy in the front going, "That do what? Didn't I give you some of the napkin? The game, who you call me?" <laughs> and one okay. guy's in the hall, the cook, going, "I got a cook, and he's making all that money." <laughs> so it's a long night, so, you know. Yeah. But you are going to appear in the room. I'm glad yes, to hear that. I'd love to see. It's great to see work. I saw it at the Copa one night, and it was just side splitting. I must say. Well, once a year, the Copa Cabana, and I hope. Uh, uh, saloon, uh, uh, like, and I call it saloon, like the Copacabana, stays forever. I hope Mr. Podell goes on, goes on forever, really, because uh, that's the last of the uh, so-called nightclub. I mean, the Americana, okay. Caterina Valente, by the way, is a marvelous star, Diana Ross at the Waldorf. But that's more of a sort of a she-she kind of an atmosphere. The, the nightclubs, what I call, per se, is the Copacabana. But Are nothing making like money to... Pardon me? Are enough of them making money to survive? Uh, is it? Well, I don't think like there's it? enough seasoned performers around, Dick. I, I think, I don't know how Beverly feels about it, but it, yeah. it's very difficult to uh, throw a new talent into the Copacabana. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a tough, hard nightclub audience, and they, they, they yeah. want to laugh, and you better why, be... Uh, why is there not a cultivation of more nightclub talent the way there used to be? There was a time where there were dozens and dozens of nightclubs, even well, here right in New York. I think it got to be such big business. You know, at one time it was more of a... We could work in the mountains, you know the old expression. Right. Today it's the Concord uh, or uh, Philly Greenwald, and it's a great deal of money. And they haven't got time to let the the guests, you know, pay a great deal of money when they go there. And it's no longer the atmosphere of uh, 
uh, gee, you bring out a guy for fifty dollars and let him be funny and do impersonations. Well, I think the do. whole economy has changed. I used to go up yeah. to do the opera nights at those places. Right, and the uh, I read, and uh, the uh, that the team that travels all around the country, they're very good. Uh, I know well, exactly. Catherine Grayson and Howard Keel are now appearing in Las Vegas, which is nice right. to see that kind, your kind of field in Las Vegas. I would wish you would come to Las Vegas. Oh, I don't have that kind of talent. Uh, oh, please. No, I really don't. I mean, uh, to be... pack them in at Vegas. Sure. Well, perhaps for a night, but the sound of a voice like mine, uh, mm. first of all, won't take a microphone, because then it'd be, it'd be the noise, really, uh. and I don't mean this immodestly, or modestly, I mean the noise becomes <clears throat> oppressive. There's got to be a let up and with a high-pitched voice, uh, constantly singing into a microphone, and the voice is too big for the microphone. Anyhow, it would be very irritating. I couldn't listen to a soprano just screech away yeah. all night. It would not be fun. Well, right? if you ever do, please come to the Riviera, because oh. that's our home. And I'm sure that uh, Harvey Silbert and Eddie Torres, they would love to have you. Well, I'll come room. visit when you're there. Please do. Husband <laughs> and your husband will be there, and my wife will be there. We'll, we'll work something we'll out. We'll do something. We'll <laughs> <laughs> send a message. We'll be right back. There we go. Oh, John. What the hell are you, B. Wayne? <laughs> when, <laughs> when, when the deep purple That's right, that's before their time. I know, Jake. everything is Jack, how are you? I've got to say hello to an old friend. Jack, how are you? You look great, uh, I, 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 thank you, Jack. And what happened? What's wrong, Jack? Well, you don't look good, Jack, really. No, no, Jack, sit good. down, will you? Don't sit? grab the mic. It's not going to be 10 minutes. I just said, how are you, Jack? Oh, John. Yeah. You know, it's great. I'm I remember so... him when he was a comic in Washington. He used to no. say to me, get me a broad, a snail, a moose, a horse, anything. anything right, yeah. He's Help still me. Saying, sit down, Jack. It's over. Oh, yeah. thanks. Anyway, good to see it. Look at that, huh? Billy huh? D. Williams on guitar. Anyway. That's not Billy D. Williams. Oh, I'm sorry. They all look alike. Oh. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Sorry shot, about that. It's a little humor. Reggie. You say that to any black guy on the street today, and you get rolled. Yeah. No, <laughs> except Reggie's a black belt. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Well, I'm Jewish, and I bought your belt. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, we won't worry about that. Good to see you, Reggie. I didn't know you were Jewish. Oh, uh, well, you'll find I out. I thought you were Italian. You'll find out when we send you out in the desert, and you're sucking sand. Ah. Uh, anyway, you do eat Italian, though. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, uh, Frank Sinatra is my whole life. I know, but Frank I is saw very you. Dear friend. I could. By the way, I must say before you. Why talk must anymore, you say? It's my show. I know. But you don't there must is say. Some, there is some talk that it's shaky. Oh. But uh, I have to tell you all, it is so nice to see all of you. This is my dream to be on Merv Griffin. I mean, when he called me and said, "Would you be on this show?" See, I work. He's a puppet. Yes. But when, when we, we do this, do these... you're getting on my nerves. Now. I know. I'm I am. That right now. <laughs> How long have you been that? Well, wonderful. All the Mexicans think you're a rooster on the roof. Who does that? <laughs> Two Mexicans went. Time to go to work. <laughs> Where are they? Uh, there are. It's the guy over there with the hat and the rake. Oh. Look at this. The, the Polish guy went, I don't see no guy with a hat and a rake. <laughs> There's a Polish How guy. How do you know he's a Polish guy? Well, look at him. He's sitting there dazed. <laughs> now, and look at this Excuse crowd me, there. sir. Are you Polish? No. What no, is your heritage, sir? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. If this is going to be a contest, what is your heritage, sir? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> then you're Polish. <laughs> when you forget, you're Polish. <laughs> Remember what your people said in Warsaw on Saturday night? Where are we going to hide? <laughs> Well, good luck to you, kid. I don't care what... You him. sound Norwegian. You can't kid me. You sound Norwegian. You Norwegian? You Norwegian? I'm German. Hey, I know what the hell I'm saying. He's German? I don't need you. Wait a minute. You he what? said he's German. You're German? Yeah, now you're... No gonna trouble. Get... <laughs> no trouble. We were wrong. Had you won, you could have been up here. Anyway, uh... A couple of more weeks and you could have won it. Mm. But that's the way it goes. Are you a tennis player? No, no he's not a tennis player. He's getting an operation. Oh. But anyway, uh... <laughs> When you make up your mind, call me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> listen. I'm listening. <laughs> you are so bad. I can't believe it. Can you picture when the show's over? This guy's going, I don't think that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> listen, uh, I'm only kidding you, yeah. fella. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, 
Turn it off. Do you play tennis? Anyway, don't worry about it. Hey, can I ask you something? What is it you want to know? suits always bulge out because... My God! Good to see you, Alice. Anyway, uh, Alice. Bill, look at these guys. What are you guys doing? Getting an enema there? What are they doing? The guy's holding the wire and this guy's going, no, I don't... No more water! No more water! Boy, nothing that misses that. your eye, does it? Of course not. That's why I'm a star and you're in this little Mickey Mouse theater hanging on by the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping Coca-Cola calls and says, here's your check, Merv. <laughs> it's already here. <laughs> you know, it's so good to, to see, see you. Are you yeah. oh, going to do that a whole night? I'm not going to do that a whole night, no. But there, nothing can come out of your lips that I don't already know. <laughs> <laughs> Except that night in Rio. Uh, whatever that means. Now... Yes. Yeah, Mort Lindsay went, oh, that was a good one. <laughs> you know more. Of course. Huh? I spoke to the Institute. You're going back Friday. <laughs> He's just sitting there going, what a night. What a night. <laughs> anybody, what else, a anybody else you want to destroy? No. Who, maybe don't. let's ask him, who wants to be destroyed? No, no. Oh, look no. at all the hands. There's I, a, I don't, look I would at the big guy. Huh? He's a nice yes. kid. Does he pick on it him? It has, uh, what does that say, pet cat? What's that say? Mazda? Mazda, it's a lamp. What's your name, son? Rick. What? Rick. Stand up, Rick. Let's see all of you. Oh, my oh, God. I would... Hey, Rick, thanks for dressing up for the show. <laughs> Come in tomorrow night with your jock and we'll let you swim the room. Yeah. You really get the A crowd here. Why not? There's a guy here in his underwear going, what a show, Harry. What a show. <laughs> hey, showtime with Murr. <laughs> you go to college, son? Stand up. Did anybody tell you to sit down? Get up! Okay. Uh, what, 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 what's your last name? Finnegan. Oh, Finnegan. Finnegan. Ready? <laughs> You're an Irishman, I right? I would pick on the Never Irish touch if me. I... Never touch I'll me. I'll touch you if you do Irish. Because Finnegan's going to suck your Finnegan neck. Finnegan and Griffin, I'm Irish, pal. Well, don't hear. Then here's a candy. <laughs> now, uh, that's all they do. They sit around going, Monsignor. <laughs> Jews don't do that. We said, here's 300, Rabbi. Give us a basket. Huh? <laughs> now, uh, Finnegan, you're a nice kid. You go to college? I already went. You already went? No, I said to college. college. <laughs> I knew you were going uh, for that joke. I Boy, like to work with a midget with a fast mind. <laughs> now, you went to college, huh? What college you go to, son? Northern Illinois University. Oh! Everybody. It's great. Kidding. College. What'd you study? Farming? <laughs> What'd you study, son? Finance. I got a Jewish mind. Move up. <laughs> the hell are you doing in the back? Good boy. Good yeah. luck to you. Are all of you from Germany? You're from Germany, too? Yeah. yeah. Good? No. You know why you lost what? the war? Everything locked when you marched. Oh. <laughs> See, anyway, the Germans are laughing. <laughs> of course they laugh. Because <laughs> later on, they're going to get me in the alley going, OK, Jew, let's hear those no, jokes again. <laughs> what part of Germany are you from? West Germany. Pardon? West Germany. Well, we of course, West Germany. We know West Mike, Germany. Like, we're going to check it out. Huh? Here's your border patrol. Oh, we'll be back after this message. That is miracles. I always thought that he was very brave on the stage, but when he got with those, with his peers, like Frank Sinatra and Deep Martin, that he was going to be a pussycat, I almost died. We were in Washington. The last time I saw you was the inauguration. Yeah. Coolidge, and uh, <laughs> and we we're uh, there, and so Frank said, "Come on, we're going to have some eggs, little scrambled eggs at the hotel, right, the Madison." So we go to this private thing that shut off all the doors, and there is Don and Barbara and Frank and Barbara. Oh, everybody's married to somebody named Barbara, <laughs> and Ava and me and uh, Dean Martin yeah. and Rich Little and his wife. Okay, all of a sudden. He went to work on Frank Sinatra. And for one hour, he pounded him and attacked him. And I thought, well, it's all over for all of us in show business. We're all going to be out tomorrow. It was probably the funniest performance I have ever seen in my life. I was sick for two days. I could barely take the oath of the office at the inauguration. And you, and you know what's so marvelous about the whole story is, ever since then, I have an aunt missing in Newark. <laughs> Aunt Gertrude, oh, I can't find her. You are know. relentless. You wouldn't let up on him about the Chinese restaurant when he turned the he table. He is like, you know, when you hear about Benny Goodman, rest his soul, yeah. uh, passing away. It's the last of a world. I was just uh, in Lake Tahoe at Harris. Well, when this is on, it'll be maybe passe at the time. But 
I was there with Buddy Rich, and to watch Buddy and his band work, oh. and I loved it. You came from the band world. Yeah. And to see all these guys and to hear Frank tell these stories. So just recently in Atlantic City, I was at resorts, and he was uh, at the Golden Nugget for Steve Wynn working as a waiter. And, uh, but Frank called up and he said, listen, come on over, let's start like the old days. Is your wife here? And I said, no, my Barbara, I married a value. You know, I got the kind of wife on the wedding night went, is that about it? Yeah. Uh, and it was. Just, just lays there belching and wheezing, has yeah. no idea what's going on. But, uh, <laughs> you're laughing, that's gonna cost me a lot of money. <laughs> but, uh, so, so Frank called up and he said, no, no, we'll, we'll what are you doing? I said, well, Frank, I, I'm going to go to bed. I got in the same night. Friday, I do one show, and he does two at the resorts, uh, at the, the Golden Nugget, because he doesn't make the kind of money I make. So uh, he, he did two shows, and he said, come on over. I said, no, Frank, I, I really can't make it. I'm very tired. And I never turned down Frank, you know, because it could be violence. Mm -hmm. So I said, no, Frank. And he said, well, come on. Well, dissolve. The show's over. I give him, and there's three state troopers in my dressing room going, Mr. Rickles, are you ready? <laughs> and sirens outside. <laughs> I said, well, what's going on? I said, Mr. Sinatra requests you're coming over Ooh, to his show. Ooh, that's heavy. And I did what you did. Ooh. <laughs> Morons do that. Yes. Ooh. And so... But don't uh, we have fun? Yes. <laughs> Let yeah, me finish. I'm trying to. So, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I naturally got in the car, and I went over there, and... Uh, they all said, Frank wants you to come on stage. And I said, oh, well, if I feel it. I said, you know, give me a little, uh, little uh, ginger ale and uh, let me relax a little bit. So they said, well, the Frank wants you on now. Now, I said, don't tell me when to go on. I know when to go on. And I walked out and he was doing the summer wind. is coming through and the wind goes by. You know, that got him quiet. Yeah. Summer wind. Yeah. And the day, I think I got an album. Yeah. And the days go by. Look at this, all on the front one. Wow. Yeah. And, and two best. in the front went, ooh. So uh, I started. Was that Tony Bennett you just did? Shut, shut up. up. Yeah. So now I went ahead and I started a kid around and boom, and I walked out and I did 20 minutes on, you know, saying, Frank, it's over. And boom, boom, he laughed. Yeah. And then uh, Jilly and a few of his friends were in the back and they hurt my aunt. <laughs> and uh, I had another aunt that they didn't find in Newark that they were pistol whipping in the back. It's oh, a long story. Geez. I always make Frank heavy. He's the first one to laugh, right, Frank? <laughs> oh. <laughs> right through the camera, he hit me with a BB gun. Anyway, so uh, we laughed and we had a great time. He's a great man. At one phone call, you're going to be in Carmel saying to Clint, Help me! He hasn't got that kind of power. He doesn't? No! Well, I do. Oh. Anyway, uh... Oh. Gee, you gained weight. I, I gained weight. I went to about two pounds of fat. Look at this. <laughs> Might have been a money belt. Wow, why am I... I put on the air conditioning there. One guy on the roof going... <laughs> I've never seen you sweat. Well, you, when you're on this kind of a show, you got to fight for your life. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these people. They came in off a bus. They were on their way to Indiana, and they were stopped and were demanded to come in here for right out. <laughs> hey, remember these guys? Ain't there going to be no meeting? <laughs> Uh, it's not easy. So listen, you're on Showtime. Yes, huh? my darling, it's a girl. Anyway, uh... Yeah. Hey, uh, can I get a, a cup of water or something? Why is it that the guest doesn't... You been out late? Anyway... <laughs> Nobody ever did that to you before? No, interview, I never had a yo-yo yodel while I'm talking. <laughs> Ah, uh, but you're okay. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Remember these kind of Mexican waiters? You want some more water? <laughs> you want some more water? What a party of six? You want the tacos? <laughs> Who wants the anchovies? You want the anchovies? Get <laughs> some anchovies. Hey! Spiritus Santi Tutti Frutti. Jews, you better duck. <laughs> the black room went, you get that stuff on, you get kids. <laughs> oh, it's great, though. It's great when you got a slow audience. Yeah. <laughs> you, you want, remember those guys in New York? Yeah. From the back, right, those bartenders? Want another beer, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Two more beers, Harry. Two more beers, Harry. <laughs> okay, Eddie, anyway, we're out of beer. I'll get the course. Okay, yeah, uh, it's not easy being on with you. And all the guests. Oh. Gee, 
here. I, just looking around the room, there are a lot of people going to be waiting in the alley for you. Yeah, well, they don't have to worry about me. I got my guy, Harry Goins. Been with me 30 years. Black man who always says, hey, they're stabbing him. Anyway, uh, uh, who's that little skinny guy that was No, there? he's not skinny. He's big. He's he, big. He's black. He's a bucket of coal. That's what he's he is. He's a little skinny guy. I saw him. Well, you're going to see him later when your wallet's gone. Oh. No, he's a good man. He's with me 30 years. What the, why is this over my hand like a tallis here? That's how you story. started. But the, he, uh, he has been with me 30 years. He's a marvelous man. He really is. You met him in the back. I met, oh, I know you him You met him at the well. inaugural. He wasn't allowed to sit at the main table. Oh, yes. No, he was. He was behind Frank, uh, guarding his back, and I was in the front, guarding his front. Yeah. And you were on the side telling Ava, uh, to, not Ava, I'm sorry. Yes, it was Ava, yeah. telling her how big you are in show business. Uh -huh. And she kept saying, here's another cookie, Merv, go to sleep. Yeah. But he and Ava go out together, because she's a lovely woman, lovely yeah. star. Yeah. Have you ever met her? Yeah. Look at who I'm asking this crowd. This woman here went, I'm from Iowa, I never met anybody. <laughs> Where are you from, darling? <laughs> Good. Good, you got it. You son of a gun. That's my favorite place. <laughs> anyway, uh, I go there on a Saturday night with the wife. Uh, Saturday night in Iowa. Look at that, Harry, a bus. Yeah. Now, we're going to run a clip here. Oh, fine. Yeah. Uh, and surprisingly enough, it's your show? No, no, it's going to be your show. Uh, Don Rickles on the loose. Thank Is that what it's called? No, no, we made it up. Yes, that's what it's called. Just read the card, dummy. Read the card, read the card. Don Rickles on the loose. Oh, this is an outtake with Tommy Lasorda. Gee, that must the two of you together. Then how long have you been in America? Huh? <laughs> well, I know Tommy Lasorda. Is he thrilling to be with? Oh, yeah, you hit him a pop-up, he understands you. Yeah. He's great. Just sits around, throw dirt on him. He goes, I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is showtime. This is cable. This is cable, right. Is, you... it, is it a clean show? Well, it's cable. You get a little more aggressive. You know, it's something like this kind of show. You know, mm, you can say anything and nobody watches. Ah. So, uh... Ah, uh, if there's any more booing, I'm going to take names. <laughs> Look, that's the woman from Iowa. Johnson. Anyway, uh, but, uh, no, it, it's, it's a fun show. It really is. And yeah. uh, it's, it's uh, yours truly being around the city. Am I on it? <laughs> yes, you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you called and begged and spit up all over yourself, I yeah, mean, yeah. how could I say no? Right. But I'm very happy that you are one of our guests, and mm -hmm. Bob Newhart's our guest. Paid? Tom Lass Pardon me? Paid, I said. No, no, there's no money involved. This is a charity. The Don Rickles Foundation. Ah. I happen to have a rare disease. My tongue is swollen. Ah. And, uh, we... Hoof and big mouth disease right. is what it's called. Good. You said it. <laughs> said it. And you're going to suffer for that hook nose pain and ink. Well, it... Anyway. Now, but... this, this is an hour show? No, no. It's 20 seconds. Oh. It's an hour show, yes. An hour show on uh, Showtime. Now, people have to pay for their show. I mean, pay for the show. That's well, wait, you were on the networks free for many years. For many years. I have failed on many a show, and I ask you now, have this man destroyed? Wait a minute, if you failed for free... Because we know... Why should we pay for cable and watch you fail for money? Because you're annoying little pain in the bag ass, oh, that's why! <laughs> I'm out of control. <laughs> From the tape, I need a volume. <laughs> Forget a volume, I need a broad, a monkey, anything, help me. I can't take it anymore. That was wonderful, Tom. Yeah, of course. You'll probably get an Emmy just for that moment. No, no. This huh? show nobody watches. How can you get an Emmy when nobody sees it? I'm going to submit it. It's on in Newark at 2 o'clock, in so, Jersey at 4. Well, are you? In, in Pakistan at 6, at 8.30 in the afternoon in, uh, in, in Orlando, Florida, yeah. and Tuesday night in Elko, Nevada, and once in a while in Iowa if the wind is right. <laughs> you must read TV Guide. Look at the whole band. The shipment must have came in from Columbia. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Don Rickles on the loose. Uh, this is an outtake with... T oh, this will not be seen. This is an outtake. Hey, you're smart as a whip. <laughs> oh, well, now, they're only going to see this here. That's right, here. <laughs> and I jump you and I check you twice. In other words, it wasn't good enough, the scene, to put on your... I'm getting stuck. Yeah. With Suck my ring. Oh, shut <laughs> Don Rickles and Don... And who? Uh, Don Johnson. Don, Don Johnson. Johnson. Who looks like Tommy Lasorda. No, what uh, did you well, see? watch the tape. Yeah. I'm so fed up. <laughs> you should be. Keep this up. You should get a massive one by Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> I've seen a lot of Italians, but this is the best. This man gets up in the morning, his wife puts a cord on his...
makes him a blimp. <laughs> but I want you to know this, Tom. You're a great manager, and he's my dear friend. He teaches these guys every day where America is. And I want you to know this, Tom. You're making a ton of money. And I like you a lot. And do me one favor. Stop fooling with my wife. With my wife. I know it's you. And she gets up every morning going... Dun, 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 dun. I love you. Get out of here. Root for the Dodgers. They're the greatest. And these are my boys, the Fred Waring Glee Club. Let's hear it, guys. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! You're out of line. <laughs> okay. See. Very good. Very good, guys. Now, well, when are we going to see that? Huh? I, I say, when are we going to see that? Ah. It no, begins the airing the 23rd of the month, and then it goes on into infinity. Until right? the August or the second week in May, when Bert they... Lancaster comes back as a general. Ah. They just keep playing it and playing it. I don't know what they do. I get my money and I go home. You, you're concerned. You still want to be hot. I just want to get the money and go to, back to the beach and sit there and wait till morning. You just want to live forever and go on being a big star. And Merv, it's not going to last, really. I saw your cardiac and I saw your tests and I'm telling you now, count every day. <laughs> uh -huh, look at a couple of fans go, no, that's not true. The man is ill and he doesn't know. <laughs> We'll be back after this message. No, you won't. You're... I'm not coming back.